that's actually pretty good for the camera. That's not bad. Just go over just a little bit. But yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's do 11 it. Eleven years later. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's what? been eleven years. I was just thinking about that today. Thinking about what I was doing in 2010. So I got home from college, and my friends like. I'm never going to play the... I played it. Get out of your way. Yeah. Uh, I played the I game. Know. I'm never going to play it again. That was actually not way better than uh, what I thought it would be. <laughs> but he's he's like, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. And so I was like, all right, all right, I'll try it. And immediately I texted him. I was like... I, I, as soon as I finished, I was like, yeah, I've, I'm already starting this again on Nightmare to get the rest of the pages. He's like, yeah, yeah this is exactly why I just gave you the game. Which, is, that's, that's honestly... So, well, here, uh, for anybody that's watching this on YouTube later, welcome to the 24-hour-long video. That's <laughs> you might interest <laughs> Oh, I didn't on. even think about that. It's going to be a 24-hour-long video. I'm uploading it like that. And fuck YouTube if they try and stop me. <laughs> uh, but welcome to Rated M for Immaturity. And thank you, No Name, for joining me for... Yeah, this will be uh, this will be an intense one along. Yeah. So, I, a hundred and... It was a celebration of 126 followers. And hitting officially hitting affiliate status, which did Absolutely. happen like a week or two ago now, but like still did you like one big stream for that? Yeah, uh, and let's celebrate. I, I can't imagine a better game for me to do that with. So, and you can't start with Nightmare. You have oh, to beat it once. I so forgot that. I in this one video, I may play through the game two times That'll because be... this game's not long enough to last a whole twenty four hours. Yeah. So I'm going to probably restart the game on Nightmare and then get, trophy Get hunt. like eight hours in yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, plus like, you know, people have got co-hosts coming in and out. Like it's mm -hmm. going to be, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. And you know that um, the voice actor of Mac, uh, not Mac Bain, Alan Wake, Matthew Peretta, is also who is playing Dr. Casper Darling in Control. That's the same guy. Except that's what he really looks like because they actually. Oh, yeah, that's him right. Action. That's right. Whereas in Alan Wake, uh, you've got Matthew Peretta doing the voice and then this Finnish model, Ilka Billy, doing the body. So oh, the body's model I forgot that. This guy. So, like. Like, there's even uh, like a Poets of the Fall music video where mm -hmm. you've got him playing Alan Wake through this entire... Yeah, I remember that. Hey, welcome What's in, up? dude. Jiggly Gamesh, how's it going? Welcome to the 24-hour marathon stream. You got the camera set up <laughs> like Chris was yelling at me too earlier. The lighting's not as bad as I thought it would be at night. It's actually decent. Yeah. I expected it to be like really hard to see. But yeah. That's actually not, I don't think it's terrible. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it seems <laughs> fine. How are you doing, though? I hope you're having a good time. Thank you for coming to join us for the stupidly long stream that we are about to. <laughs> he was dead. Good job, I Alan. I remember this. Do you remember how bad of a runner he is? <laughs> Visually? <laughs> like the animation no, of it? No, it's not even that. It's how fucking quickly he gets tired. Oh, if I do some goddamn yeah. jumping jacks, man. <laughs> like, what, like, I do remember that now. Do some, I mean, I, I, it's a, I'm, I'm very hypocritical that was... for yelling that at everybody. <laughs> but... <laughs> that, that was one of the complaints I saw. Someone said they wish they would have put in a stamina meter or some kind of visual representation yeah. because you're going to try to sprint and do your duck. The <laughs> other thing they wanted is a uh, danger behind you warning sign for those throwing axes coming at you. Yeah, yep, yeah. It's like, he's got like a spidey sense. No, do not reverse it. Tyler's not here. <laughs> Tyler's the only person I know that actually does play his games play with the inverted, inverted controls. Though you can see the fluid motion of it, though, mm -hmm. already. You can just tell. And yeah, let's try his, make his, him exhausted right away. His body movements just look better. Yeah, like smoother. you can still tell it's an older game, but like I mean, yeah. again, they only put a fresh coat of paint on it. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's not a, it's not a, not from a remake. scratch remake. Yeah. They're not trying to. I mean, they're not even really trying to add a ton of stuff. I appreciate the good luck. Thank you. And I know I literally have already memorized that there is one. I need to Coffee find. I really want to find the uh, uh, thermos like that. 
that, also, like, that like yeah. you know not not branded not official alan wake or anything we'll just find one but that like happens if i have like it that. yeah if i have it anyone who's an alan wake fan will think of it hey sham rocket how you doing welcome welcome in thank you for joining us i hope you're having a good night day whatever whatever time of day it is yeah it's know. uh it is all times when we're streaming for World the future yeah, that's we're, true or yeah or for the future yeah if you're watching this on youtube later <laughs> Oh uh, God! Recognize me, do you, Ryder? You can also, I can also tell that the draw distance is a lot better here. Like hmm. you can see way, um, way off further into the distance than you could in yeah. the original. And that's actually one of the reasons why the original looks darker in general, is because they are they are they purposely darkened the image. Oh, you're Central Time. Cool. So are we. So are we. So it's the exact same time for you. Oh, there's one of those QR codes. Oh yeah. Well, we already watched the videos, but we if anyone those. wants to watch the videos, I'll at leave home. it up for a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, just in case. Oh, and then there's the diving suit on the poster board there too. Uh huh. Ooh. Um. X to jump in case you haven't played a video game right. since. <laughs> I, I wish don't even know what tutorials would have an option that was just I've played a game before. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, did you know that Alan Wake was actually well, running dude. at? Uh, 540p on the Xbox 360. No, it was it was 540p up res to 720 by the console. Yeah, but it was still natively Weird. running in 540p. So this is going from 540p did, all did the way they, to 4K in a single. Remaster. Is that just a part of the development hell? It I mean, it was like five mm -hmm. or six years. It was to supposed make. to be a launch title for the 360. Okay, the yeah, 20. that explains it. Oh, so it was definitely. Alan just doesn't question that the gate opens on its own. <laughs> it's video game rules. Yeah. Well, it's also horror horror story rules. Fair. Well, and I guess isn't this is this? Am I remembering this is dream, some sort of sort of a dream this, sequence? Yeah, this is a dream. This, this and or dream. like Alan's future sense. We're or perhaps yeah, perhaps a prophetic future sight or something. And like or that. well, and I guess I suppose spoilers for the end of the game, but like Alan is kind of writing the whole game. Story and in a way, I mean, I, I don't. That's not even like potentially. End the game we don't. Know, we don't know that that's for sure true. Obviously, well, there are other influences happening. Yeah. Well, the rules as as they as we understand them, I think are established fairly early on in the game. But the yeah. the, the book, you start picking up the pages and. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. As they're, soon as you get your first things. page, they tell you. Yeah, it's pretty early. Someone's on in the game. someone's seeing the future. Also. The collector's edition of Alan Wake comes with a book written by this character who only appears in the dream sequence and then never in the game again. Interesting. And the collector's edition of Alan Wake, <laughs> right here, right actually. There. My nads, the uh, the actual like f looks fake like a book. a book. Yep, hollowed out book. It's comes a great with way to do a it. book written by, compiled by Clay Stewart. Who is okay. that guy? An old, like, I want to say high school? He was like, what, yeah, a high Alan school down like or something? And in this book, they actually get into um, a much more backstory for the Agent Nightingale character, the FBI agent. Oh, that's just chasing yeah, because they were going to do him as a playable character. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah, ended up scrapping point. that when they stopped being open world. Yep, yep. And, which uh, was super early. And that book, uh, ooh, look at that Tom, Tom the, the Poet poster. That wasn't here in the original. Or there was a poster of that. that, that Thomas Zane to in Tom the Zane. film. Yeah, because they didn't talk about him being He's a filmmaker until the actor. Not is that new? Is that or was that in the original? I think there was something like similar here. Okay, but it wasn't. It, it didn't have as much on it. Like they yeah. updated it. Well, yeah. I guess you probably couldn't have read that small print in the, in the 540. <laughs> It said Emil Hartman on there too. That's funny. Yeah. Well, because Emil uh -huh. Hartman uh, was Al, uh, was uh, Thomas Sands' assistant back in the Oh, day. that's right. Hey there, Thomas Zane. Ostensibly. Right. Or you want me to focus on it? <laughs> okay, I'll do that for your tutorial. Cool. Does that go away if you walk? past the area or will it just so. like focus behind you no it, it did go away it did go away it goes like this hey god right lies a deeper darker ocean scene where Alan are doesn't even call a lake home yet and more serene yeah In quantum break two of the main characters are named Paul Whoa. Serene and Beth Wilder 
Oh, I didn't even. No, the main character is a quantum break. Oh, Paul Serene. What's Which? uh, what's the actor's name? Ah, uh, Ian Gillen. Yes. Mr. He was, creepy. He was, he was pretty good at that. He's pedophile in Game of Thrones. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. That's another character that Game of Thrones just shat all over in the in the show. Yeah, I mean, who didn't they? Well, the, they did. Yeah, that's true. Ending. They did just kind of ruin every character. <laughs> But, like, he was one of the ones I thought got it the worst, just because, like, in the books, that character is, like... Yeah. ...set up to almost be, like, Batman levels of, like, just always constantly the smartest person in the room, right? Right. Like, and and people show. didn't know it, and he pr made people, uh, kind of underestimate him on purpose. Yep. No, he was... He, that was a smart character. I thought the ending... I thought one possible ending was going to be a showdown between him and Tyrion, in terms of wits. Yeah. That well, they were going to be the two sort of powers behind, or, or brains behind the powers. Right. No, I mean, that would have Did not happen. That, that may have seemed like a yeah. more logical point to build up to. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh... Even the model of the this, like, hitchhiker taken dude, they really worked on. <laughs> Yeah, there it all go. looks nice. God, it just looks so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna shine my flashlight in your face, God. Granted, it's way early, but it definitely is nice to see. Like that, that there was the, the game was FPS so was misty. Yeah, just the fog was so heavy and the, everything was so dark. The Follow the light. Oh no! Don't click the main <laughs> menu. Go! Don't do it. Right away. Alright. <laughs> Fuck up my save immediately. Ha, because he literally did. He just... did. Oh, I thought he fell off. Like, off the. I wonder game if they'll have done anything to the AI in this at all, just because these were not all. They were not necessarily the smartest enemies. They were not. But, that, I mean, story wise, that kind of fits when they're true. mindless. That's true. Yeah! Now, okay, I'm curious. When we get into an Alan Wake 2 or a Control 2, or as we, as we get further Whatever into this it universe, will be. how useful is Alan going to be when Jesse <laughs> is there? But right? also, like, how useful is he going to be once he's out of a place where he has power with his writing? Right, like, how will that... Like, like how, yeah, like, I'm just so... How will they make his character? I almost feel power, like... Matter, you know? I almost feel like you could make him a villain. Well, uh, I mean, there, he certainly, there's some implications. There's I mean, there's the Mr. Scratch stuff in Nightmare. Yeah, and well, and that's the thing, is the events of American Nightmare, like, technically Didn't actually happen. sort of happen, like... Because the whole thing, the whole game of American Nightmare is essentially a message that Alan is sending out into the yeah. world. Right? Um, and the not Barry missed literal... the whole thing of yeah, the one person. Course. Way to go, Barry. Alright, dog, please don't pull on cords. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you stay up here. Me? Oh shit! You don't need to... You fall off the side? Yeah. Yes, you did! Awesome. Um... I'm, I, I'm sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, we were talking about uh, Under Nightmare. Oh, there's a... Uh, yeah, uh, Alex Casey. That, so that's one of the things they probably put in for a lot of the yes. uh -huh. uh, Oh, posters. That makes yeah. sense. It's an in-universe product that feels a lot more natural. I like it. That's that's so much better than... Verizon Wireless? <laughs> yeah, well, and they didn't they even have some of the TVs playing Verizon Wireless actual ads? That I genuinely don't remember, but maybe. God damn it, I didn't, Alan, okay, I you didn't do some exercise. Seriously, I didn't remember that either. But um, when I was reading about them taking it off, someone said a couple of the TVs play in the, in Verizon the ads. DLC, in one of the DLC episodes, there's a moment where uh, he, he's on the phone with Thomas Zane, and Zane does straight up say, Alan, can you hear me now? Oh he no! Does, he doesn't actually say it, in the, and Come like, on. the Verizon logo is like on screen on the phone too. Like I, I want to say like either right before or at the same time that he actually says it too. So it's I mean, 
it's a it's a uh, little it's a little over the top, but I it's kind of funny at the same time, just because yeah. it was like almost like they were admitting that they put things acknowledging like, yeah, we, we, we know we did that, <laughs> acknowledging no. that your video game was just full of products. I mean, yeah, I, I wonder how well how much of the. I, mean, I, I can't like think the, of another game other than maybe like racing games and or just various games, sports games. Marvel's Avengers has ads in it. Uh, you can buy like phone company themed costumes for all, for, for all the characters. Oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> so I haven't looked at that bad. in a while. It's bad. Um, yeah, that's rough. Oh, hey, her horrible fish face is gone. Yeah, her face is so much better. <laughs> So is his. They both look more like the cutscenes. Yeah, well, they, they look more like the live action, the actual actors yeah, that they're. Yeah. The or, sorry, that's what I mean. On. The, the yeah, occasional yeah, right, right, like the live, live action, action scenes. Like, yeah. Yeah, it looks so much more like the real guy. Oh, I'm so happy. This looks so good. Welcome to Bright Falls. You know, I, when they originally announced this, I was. Oh! Didn't have it in my mind that they would do more of a remake, but like I'm, I'm yeah. so happy with just upgrading. A remaster the is bit. fine. This looks great. I, I think that if they do a huge universe, down the line we'll get a, maybe they'll do a, a, a master's a collection. One. Yeah, edition. I can see that. I can see that. Like once a once an Alan Wake sequel has proved itself to be profitable, yeah, viable. Maybe. <laughs> right. Well, and just the whole universe since. I mean, we're already, like, it'll probably already be missing Quantum so, Break. That's, yeah, I mean, if we even, also. That's uh, Mott, the kidnapper, from later in the uh -huh. game. He was Just hanging out. originally going to be, they switched Same. him and He's the... even making comments about how he's going to fuck with us. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm coming. Oh, shit, you know what? In all the times I've played this game, I've never Never gone up here. Never, there's nothing up here, but I've never, I just had to do it. Now you have. Now I've done it. I also feel like the colors are just stronger and more vibrant. Yes. They just they just look more. Lost some of the gray. Yeah. You remember when, like, all video games were just, like, brown and gray for a while? In, like, the early PS3, 360 era? Just all the all video games. They were just, they all... Hey Pat. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat. I'm Pat Main. Wanna? Yeah. Okay, where? I can I like trying to remember idea. where is Bright. Bright it's Springs. Washington. Okay. It's Washington. Bright Falls. So is Pat yeah. Main just a reference? I mean, there's so Probably. many Stephen King influences here. I'm sure. Stephen it is. King writes everything in Maine because. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone be, responded to one of his tweets. Ready with my Federal Bureau of Control mug <laughs> there. I had to make a point. I, uh, that. One of someone responded to one of Stephen King's tweets that said, uh, "Well, they say write what you write what you know, which <laughs> explains a lot from you." <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, like the way he every, the everyone's an author or a writer or a child, right? And everyone is or everything is in Maine. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say at least he didn't Shyamalan himself into a movie like Lady in the Water. Oh, there's, Although he yeah. did kind of do it in the Dark Tower books, though. To be fair. Yeah. No, but, he did. But I swear so did you see that, that guy was him. His head? Yeah. He, it looked like Michael Keaton in Bat in, in the original Batman. Like he had to like turn his whole torso <laughs> to move his head. So you can you can still tell in certain places. Yeah. It's like, we'll this is we'll say Pat has back trouble. Yeah, he's got back trouble. <laughs> yeah. I also just... like the idea of Alan just like because we know that he's got a temper and he's kind of mm -hmm. an asshole. I like the idea of him just like them just writing playing that up even more. Like he's like, you have a lovely wife if you don't mind me saying, fuck you, man. Why did you? Just immediately getting in the guy's face about it. Yeah. Also, what is ba what's Barry up to? I was like, gonna say in the modern world. I just got a notification from Google Maps saying you you you've reached a new milestone. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you put a review in there ten years ago, and now a hundred people have looked at it. I guess. I guess. I have. <laughs> I have. Um. Hey, Google constantly tells me people love my reviews because I reviewed a couple of the places in the airport. And apparently people are oh. looking at Google for what restaurants are worth eating at at the airport. The real answer is the employees change weekly, so so does the quality. <laughs> the real answer is... 
I also just had to do a sound Yes, I that's a good that call. Earlier. But we are good. We are good. Get back to the car. Oh. You're at the car. Like. Oh, uh, also, I believe that's the Oldsmobile from Evil Dead. Oh, yeah. So that's okay. an intentional reference Isn't there. that the car that he was driving when he hit the dude? I think so, yeah. Which is not, I didn't, I never even clicked that that's not even Alan's car he's yeah. driving. It's Pat's car, apparently. <laughs> the guy, the guy behind him. He just happens to be. Carl Stuckey. Oh, I was going to watch Bright Falls again. Oh, the miniseries? The miniseries. Yeah, I did yeah. just watch that this year, but I was going to... Yeah, that's a fun little addition. I'm almost kind of surprised that that wasn't, like, something they threw in to, like, the extras. I mean, like what we talked about before, uh... I don't know, it probably wasn't on stream, I guess. But we, but we were expecting or hoping to see Undyed Nightmare. Or not Undyed Nightmare. Oh, American, American, American Nightmare. Nightmare. Right, they're very similar Tied, titles, tied into... Uh, tied the, into this. Oh yeah, like as just a as a DLC. Yeah, they, 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 I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Because they had the other two DLCs. Maybe they'll put it out for it later. Yeah, or because because of the fact that it's not canon exactly. Maybe yeah, they do that's leave true. It out, but I think it does do still bring up some interesting hey, ideas. Hey, that's the Lady of the Light. Yep. Which is basically just the log lady from Twin Peaks, but with a lamp. <laughs> oh, of a log. I mean the whole diner situation here is well, this, very this Twin Peaks. Comment about the coffee, too. Yeah. Is, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 That's like, that's instead of the pie, right. is it? Right? There's actually people walking around outside. I don't that's think that's the original. There was maybe like one person standing there. Yeah, that dude's head just. Those, Sheriff or whatever, <laughs> Ranger's head moved weird for a second, but... Oh, uh, what do we got here? We'll the take our sudden time really stop. Soak all of it in here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're trying to fill 24 hours with a 16-hour exactly. game, so... <laughs> and it is not a 24-hour long game. Oh, that's the doctor uh -huh. uh, that checks you out when you're at the police station. I was right? going to say, I bet they added in... We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Or, or I don't even people. know if they were added. These pictures I were probably here, mm -hmm. but you couldn't see them clearly Maybe, enough. Yeah. Well, here's another interesting thing too. Uh, at the at the very beginning of the game, hey uh, guys, Tor or Tor or Tor Noden. So check this out. At the beginning of the game, uh, Pat was right mm -hmm. narrating, right? The radio host. He mentioned uh, uh, the neighboring town, like, and them having, like, a, uh, a rival, like, festival to Deer Fest, like, the neighboring town Watery. Oh, yeah. That's where Ati went to vacation in Control. He's got a poster in his janitor's room called that says that it's, like, the dad for the town of Watery. I... <laughs> I love those guys. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> See now, I would love a game set in the seventies. When those two are young, when they're young. Not only that, but you you could also do a game that just te that tells the story of Thomas Zane and Barbara Jagger, mm. and you could have them as a big part of that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, where? Wait, coffee famous. Ah, there you go. Cool. All right, we're gonna walk away from that quickly because yeah. I don't get a copyright <laughs> strike on that music. It's a, it's a like, it's a terrible song, but it's also a great song. <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I, I because it's so goofy that. and it knows it's goofy. It just owns it. I'm gonna see if we can turn up the brightness just a tiny <laughs> bit, just because I feel like, and some of it's playing on the. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That, I think that that's is. actually what it wants. Yeah, that looks yeah, like. Yeah, because I just want to be able to see the dark parts a little bit. Yeah. All right. Mr. Stucky. Mr. Stucky. What was the name of the guy in Bright Falls? Does he ever actually show up? Oh, I no, I don't think that. so. Actually, or well, you know, it's been too long since I've watched it. I should yeah. I should have watched it again prior to the stream. Let me. I'll just look at IMDb, I guess. And to meet your wife. Since it's a show. Oh well, there you go. If only there was like a little computer. I insist. I like how she says I us. insist, but Alan never argued. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just like trying to be creepy. Don't even try and fucking say no to me. Hey there. I turn around again. Is a special place, very inspiring. Uh huh. Uh, I just go out the exit door and just leave. 
No. Also, do you notice that that doorknob sound? Mm-hmm. You notice From, what kind of handle this um, is? This is not a oh, doorknob. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a doorknob yeah. on that door. <laughs> I was going to say... It's also the that, exact same sound effect from Max Payne. And I think they used it in Control. Did they? I think when you go... If you go up to the the doors in the motel too early. Oh. We're also going to check this out. We go back down here. And I think it, I don't think I caught this on my first playthrough. But she's gone. Oh. He, and he makes a comment about it. Yeah. If we go back and check again. All right, Jake I'm Fisher. To... Okay, Jake Whoa, Fisher. It? Jake Fisher is the name we have to look out oh, for. Oh, and he fell asleep. Even that sounds better than <laughs> <laughs> I wonder because those those characters, Doctor Hartman, to come pick him up, they wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake. I yeah. love that. The little those little pieces. Oh, I can't wait to see like, so, so, there's a big like FBC monitoring station. Like, for Condor, Cauldron Lake. Yeah, like But do you think it lake. was there before? Oh, yeah. I think they turned Hartman's Lodge yeah. into the monitoring yeah. station. And maybe built, maybe they built more on top of it, right? But, like, I, th I think they took that, that and kind of turned it into... Oh, Carl. <laughs> You're in for a... Uh, he's, well, he's got to have a bad day ahead of him. Yeah. He's got a real bad day. I was going to say a rough night, but I can't even rem remember if he makes it all the way to night. <laughs> right. I think he must—he must have to a little bit, just because like, just being daylight outside probably wards the darkness off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but like he's definitely—he's looking like he's already foggy in the head and such. Right. I didn't want to talk. All right. I wanted to bury my head in sand. There was there was uh, there was one shot. Now I'm uh, obviously I'm missing the mountaintops, but um, so I watched the first two episodes of Midnight Mass. Oh so yeah. Since that's super new, I will be spoiler <laughs> well, free. Yeah. Or liked at the very least. Fantastic, though. If you, really especially like if you so like far. Stephen King, it's it's definitely got Stephen King. I also think uh, Mike Flanagan has just been a oh, gem yeah. of a horror creator. Oh yeah. Like, like I haven't, I, you know, I didn't love every single project, but right. I mean, nine times out of ten, I think he has been, uh, yeah. you know, come out with a pretty. Damn I good think product. the biggest problem with Bly Manor was that they was calling it a horror at all. Yeah. There were ghosts. But I don't think it was a horror. No, I think it was, it was a, a love romance. story. Yeah. Here's the thing is I, I'm i okay with that. I just didn't think it was an interesting love story. <laughs> like, yeah. anyway. So, I, the, 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 I thought the best... <laughs> that's actually a good question. What if I just abandoned her here and I got in the car and I drove away? <laughs> I thought the best parts of it were uh, ideas that they played with. But I don't think that they ended up... Bye. Coming through successfully. Um, yeah, no. Like I, the I agree. the idea of how ghosts worked and how they portrayed yeah. it, I thought was really cool. I just wish they spent more time. But the characters didn't get fleshed out as much as the ideas. Did. Yeah, like it's funny to me that like the haunting of Hill House, I thought had so much more. Aha! Hey, hey. Look at that. there was a thermos up here. Good. They I expect you to try to back. run away. <laughs> yeah. What is the focus there? The cabin. Oh, uh. Or the, oh, it's the lake. Do I think? The cabin obviously okay, got its yeah, there. From the shape of the island. It, it looks like a giant it. bird leg. See, so, there you go. Allison mentioned, it mentioned it the lake was a caldera. We heard it Lake Caldera oh, earlier. Because of the Dormant Volcano. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. about that. Because, uh. In Dormant the 70s, Volcano under it. Did that never even. That well, so in the, the that's the what the, that's the thing is the the report of what happened in the seventies as far as people in the regular world think it's are a aware of it was that it was a volcanic no. reaction, it but it was the actually island. the dark and, and the light. Well, and that's uh, and the Zane. Thomas Zane wrote the volcanic mm -hmm. eruption to cover oh, up, like, yeah, because right? that's part of the thing is he learned his lesson about bringing his wife back without writing in a consequence that you're he writing had to, you writing. Yeah, the darkness takes advantage of plot holes. Mm -hmm. Right, like that's a weird so meta part of the story, right? If you like, if you the leave whole, uh, well, in your, in your uh, writing, anyone you're in like, the Discord can check out. I posted all of the Penny Arcade comics. Oh, I'm still gonna look at all of those later. Um, I know you showed me some already. But I'll but. I'll read a line from one. Uh, Di and also Diver's Isle. It's like if M. C. Escher was a writer and also a douchebag. <laughs> 
Well, especially when you get into the the actual deed, like the DLC yeah. in the dark place. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Too, where the where you're. Of. I love the. I think it, uh, I simultaneously think it was hokey and also. It's uh, the hokey. That love it's... the pointing your flashlight at words to make them a real thing. Oh, I love to that. To make to I give you feel. I, I think visually, like it would not work in a TV show. No, but, but as a game, game mechanic, game. it's great. Bird like cabin. Bird like cabin. Baba assigned. Yaga, Barbara Jagger. The Baba Yaga. I wish that they had. Remember well, our, I guess uh, it is an island on a bird leg, but yeah. it's got it's got the feathers there. Yep. Look at yeah, even the the shape. Of That's it. like, cool. Yeah, they, they, there's so much cool little attention to detail. I was gonna say I won't say I won't say any. Oh, no, we don't want to jump. And in. someone in the, the game water? says, "Yeah, I was oh, say, that I won't water say looks." Name, but there's a when you were on the. That, uh, Oh, Thought see I was there. To Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'll refrain I do from saying the name, but uh, yeah, the water looks fantastic, though. Um, I like. There's it. It looks look way better. Good. The shadows are flat. The shadows are the flat. Shore, yeah. Oh, the reflections. I should say the reflections should move, shimmer with the water movement, and they kind of stay static. I'll come in and But it's way better than it was. Yeah, it's because I'm uh, running around. <laughs> Bye, hon. Got to explore the island we're about to stay on first. Yeah. Which honestly it. isn't a bad idea. Yeah. Advice: If you're gonna stay on an island, check it out. There Wait, might be bears or something. These are the bird feet, right? It's like uh -huh. each of these little juts is one of the. Yeah, that's a dangerous thing about like um, Ghost of Tsushima did it, and uh, the original Night of the Republic game did it, but where mm. you actually have to literally f walk into every little spot to fill oh. your map in. Yeah. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. Was there it is. Miss if you didn't walk out here. But these days, it was no longer a hotel. So I bet it was a hotel. Oh, I bet that was a hotel when that, yeah. uh, Tom Zane was around. Absolutely. So, uh, again, another that was thing. That I mean, it was probably to... like that. The old hunting hunting lodge. The old. There's so many great themes in this. We're coming into somewhere new, isolated. Yeah. I mean, right away they 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 isolate you to the small town, and then they isolate you further onto an island. Right. Just instantly, like, get you into like the and most. The generator had been connected to the power cable. Uh, well, we'll come back because <laughs> she's, we're gonna have dialogue telling us to go fix that. Yeah, we'll get the dialogue there. Ooh, Ooh, what what's the? that? The oh. Had once been the oh, TZ and yep. BJ. Yep. Thomas Zane and Barbara Jagger. And Alan's just talking about the power cable. <laughs> yep, he's just like, ah, this is power. It's also genuinely surreal to be playing this on a PlayStation console. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's so weird to me. That's funny. I, I didn't even think about it. For for the just hell for this I've, I've always been more of a PlayStation guy, right, for the most yeah. part. But it's like around before she even comes in here. Hello? Anyone here? Thomas Zane's books. books in her dreams Zane's to press, to prevail. Catholic I'd never heard of him before. I didn't even think the about that. The of me, the temple of shadow and mist. I'd like to read those books. I would love if they did a series of novel tie-ins. I mean, it would make and so much things. sense for this game. Oh, right? Like, that was, okay, like, one they time. just, like, rented this cabin, and no one's been in here for a long time, and there's just, like, an open wine bottle sitting there. That also, that counter looks, that stove looks fucking dirty. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's an open wine bottle. <laughs> I mean, oh, maybe it's not open. I thought that was oh, a cork sticking out of the top, like someone had recorked it. Yeah, and maybe if it's even olive oil. We'll say it's cooking utensils you know or how cooking lame supplies. The, uh, real life gladiators were. What I know, that mean? seems like a weird segue, but <laughs> it was WWE. It was WWE. Yeah. Here's the thing: there were straight up painted murals on the sides of buildings of gladiators <laughs> holding bottles of olive oil and like talking about how oh, like advertisements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From 100%. this like Hulk Hogan, yeah. Royal Hulkus Hulk. Ho I can't. I can't make the July fourth, nineteen seventy. Yeah. That's when the cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the whole thing sunk. So was that the last time anyone was here? Well, does he tell anyone he's staying? At, like he never checks with anyone. Like, oh yeah, I'm staying out on this cabin, and for people to say, uh, oh yeah, there's there's your owl imagery from yeah, from Twin Peaks. Cause well, from Twin all... Peaks and from Baba Yaga, the, yep, he looks at true, the owl, and then you see the flashback of her. Yeah, yeah. But then it also focuses in for you that the out that the front of the windows are owl eyes. Right. Oh, and look at there's the diving suit. There's the suit. diving suit. 
It almost looks like he's holding something too. It does. Could be holding uh, Barbara. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the lyrics in that in one of the old Gods of Asgard songs, all the way back when this game first came out, it, they it should gave me the idea. They should copyright those so that playing the songs that were written for this game. You know, I don't actually know if it, those will cause copyright strikes. It's don't more be like the David Bowie and the yeah, like yeah, the abs- other oh, ones that absolutely. I'd be about. Roy Orbison. Yep. Yep. Not bad. It's- We're also we're totally gonna listen to all the yeah. music every little bit. Ellen's just like, come on. Uh, I'm trying to stay like low. A, he did. I was a, He got in a fight with the paparazzi at least once too. Yeah. No, it's like. Do you remember when Toby McGuire? Oh, we got a. Re- I, I never went back and looked for the FBC from Alan's the oldest house you can see from Alan's apartment window. You know what? Here's here's the thing about that. That was ruled as not people, real. Yeah, people just kind of Dang. seeing something when okay. it wasn't really there. That's too bad. It'd be cool if they added it for this. I, I would have loved to see them out. add that, yeah. that in. Um, but who knows? You know, maybe yeah. they'll uh, maybe maybe they'll do that. Maybe they'll maybe they'll yeah. put that. Something tells me they probably won't. But yeah. Um, but but we but we don't know what the what those QR codes right that bring mm-hmm. you to the little videos online. There are there is some new content here, even, yeah, if, it's absolutely. A, even if it's minor. And it and it right. it seems to be progressing the story some too. Oh, it straight up sounds like the opening sequence of yeah. an Alan Wake too. Which also like is it Alan Wake two? Does what is it? It doesn't have a different name. It, like what form uh, does yeah, that game take? I think it's like a control two because I think a control two can't take place in the FBC. Right. It has to be investigating an AWE. Yeah, it has to be out in the world, or it has to be. I don't like. I don't know. It's got to be something else. I mean, I almost think Control 2 might be Alan Wake 2, where Jesse comes out to Cauldron Lake. In, we, well, we know both are in production. Oh, okay, separate, that's right, that's right. We know that they're both in production of separate games. Alan Wake 2 first. Okay. So, I'm thinking... But they could, they could, Alan Wake 2 will probably, to some oh, extent, sure lead into... And set, so here's the thing, I, I, I think that the, so in Control, you've got your two expansions, right? And mm-hmm. Since we're playing Alan Wake, I'll r- r- refrain from getting Whoa. too spoilery <laughs> about Control. Uh, yeah. Just because, who knows, maybe somebody but comes got, in and they know Alan Wake, but not Control. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to refrain from spoilers, to heavy spoilers of Control. Yeah. But there are two expansions for Control, the Foundation and AWE. I believe that AWE, and I think pretty obviously, is all about setting up Alan Wake 2. Mm-hmm. And I think the foundation, and I'll say, I'll say the oh. name of the former, because um, yeah. people don't know what I mean unless they play the game. I think the former and everything in the foundation, that is specifically set up, set for, up for, for Control, control 2. 2. Yeah. Nice. Hey, Rat Queen Arts, how you doing? Good evening or morning or what, uh, middle <laughs> of the night or whatever time it is where you are. I hope you're having a good one. And thank you for joining us for the marathon stream. Good to see you. Oh, this wait, 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 wait. Go the typewriter. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was damn it. Say. I walked into the wrong room. I, guess I, have a small I totally walked into that's the wrong the, room. Uh, right here. That's the typewriter that Stephen King, the kind of typewriter Stephen King started writing on. Hey, yeah. I'm lurking, but I want you to have my view count. Gonna get oh, a bird in there. Hey, thanks for the lurk. Lurkers are always welcome, Rat Queen Arts. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a good burger. I hope your burger's good. What, what kind of burger are you getting? I'm curious. Where are you going to get a burger? Is it a, is it a good burger or is it like a late night trash food burger? Because either way is good. Barbara just appeared for a second. Mm hmm. Just for like a brief second, she just kind of flashed in. Is there. that her. Not sure yet. Still chill um, fantasize? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Is that her stopping by to meet the... <laughs> to meet Alice? But I suppose. Well, I mean, she essentially, she... Triple O's. Interesting. I've never had Triple O's. They, I guess that must just not be Regional, in yeah. I wonder, is that a local one, or is, is, it, is, it, uh, is it me that just somehow <laughs> doesn't, doesn't know? I haven't it. heard of it either. Okay. I'm always interested in trying new burgers, though. I love, I love me some food. I also love, like, you, you know she's afraid of the dark and you'd fucking just walk off yeah, and leave her alone. Yeah, seriously, he does that constantly. He's, well, Alan is a dick. <laughs> no, that's true. He's, he's canonically he's just kind of an asshole. Oh, and there's the birds. I... DC, that's all I know. Okay. Okay. 
the the birds are totally a Alfred Hitchcock reference to to a degree. Yeah. Well, they, so they were gonna do other animals because they have all those yeah. lines about the dogs missing. Yep, yep. But I don't Actually know. Actually, have um. Uh, there's another thing we could pull down here and look art at occasionally. Book. I actually have the art book for Alan Wake, uh, which uh, was very hard to peruse. find. It's called Alan Wake Illuminated. Oh, no. I had to order. I had to special order that because they, they have not printed that in a long time. Hmm. Um, but there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. They show you some concept art for like unfinished missions that like were going to be in the game. Oh, there's nice. a whole bunch of stuff um, about the cut content, and character designs. You know, it's it's got it's got a lot to do. A lot of creative process. Here's the thing. I'm gonna end up playing this game two playthroughs probably for the just for this one stream, or at least part of a second playthrough. Yeah. I will have to do a whole third playthrough though because there's or four playthroughs off really? this remaster because there are I believe two commentary tracks. Oh yes, that are in this remaster, that. and I don't want to do those on the stream because I just I feel like me listening to a commentary. I don't yeah. think that's an interesting. Oh, stream. I see why but they didn't my own use time, the bears and wolves. They're kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share the wolf with the... Uh, can we get, like, the eyes of that wolf? Like, uh, on the... It looks so goofy. Yeah, well, and <laughs> it's, it's got, like, ridiculous. a... Uh, Alright, and we woke up... Hey, look at that. problem. That was a Verizon uh, billboard. Stucky's, that Stuckies, makes sense. Yep, Stucky's gas station. Man, that wolf is rough. Oh, and in the no trunk. No pun intended oh, there, the I guess. The, the, the Creator's Dilemma, Dilemma by, by Dr. Dr. Emil Hartman. Hartman. That looks Something like David Cross. It does look like David Cross. <laughs> like Cross. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I'm Bill <laughs> Hartman. <laughs> well, here's an interesting thing that I think is going to come up in either Alan Wake 2 or perhaps have its own whole game, perhaps. But um, there are some documents in control that um, kind of allude to this concept of there being this like black market for supernatural oh, or possessed objects. Yeah, yeah. Now, if Alex Casey is supposed to be an mm -hmm. alt universe Max Payne and they wanted to do a Max Payne game that is properly set in this universe, mm -hmm. Alex Casey investigating the underground black market. Is he but he's FBI, not FBC, right? Yes, he's FBI. Yeah. So that's the thing is maybe he doesn't know that it's supernatural, but like kinda like Yo, Max Payne as but he, he knows unravels about... the conspiracy. Because all the Max Payne games are about unraveling conspiracies. Yeah. They, yeah. they may not be supernatural, but they are about unraveling conspiracies. <laughs> I just walked over that walked down <laughs> the log and up the rock. I actually am glad that he didn't get stuck there. That's a nice but it's also a very uh course, looking good. era specific thing where the lighting's looking better too yeah oh well and just the, yeah the shadows there's the the hello this is really Someone smooth there? so far i'm really impressed because that last oh yep he just spit the pages, pages out okay the other thing when i was first playing or when i went mm -hmm. through night nightmare mode when mm -hmm. i saw this for the second time um I was thinking, uh, was it even Alan that wrote these pages? I, I do, I do believe it is, based on some of the stuff that happens yeah. later in the game. But yeah, it would I just be like, interesting to. What, I was just thinking about like, did Alan write anything? But uh, also, here's another so before, both before of these. I boot these Scenes. in. Here's an interesting thing. Um, oh shit! Don't let me lose my train of thought. What was that? What was that thought? Please come back. Right, I'm going to play this while I think about it. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so the fact that the title of the book is Departure. Mm -hmm. Do you know why that's interesting? No. So, classic hero's journey. Oh. Campbell's Monomyth. It is, it, is the, it is a story told in three stages. <laughs> oh, Step one, that's so departure. meta up its <laughs> It is, yeah. Step one is departure. Uh, uh -huh. Step two, I forget the name of step two, but then step three is return. Yeah. Right? And it's the, it's the, it's the classic, like, three-stage writing philosophy behind kind of a really kind of classic 
hero's classic journey. western Sorry. hero's journey yeah now what's interesting and you can actually in the so in the beginning of quantum break there's the big chalkboard with all the alan wake references mm-hmm. in the first level of quantum break and one of the things that's brought up on this chalkboard is they they write campbell's monomyth and they say departure, departure return re, re, uh, and then uh, the second step is a bunch of uh, question marks and then return is the third one right Hmm. In the at the end of the last chapter of the DLC, when Alan starts writing the next book about oh. how he's going to escape from the dark place, it's called mm-hmm. Return. Yeah. Here's what's here's what's interesting though is with the the idea that the step the second step is all the question marks, right? That's control because Jesse fulfills the classic archetype oh. of a hero's journey story. Yeah. So Alan had to kind of. Right? Like you kind of needed a hero's journey else. in Jesse because Alan's not morally good enough to have a classic hero's journey, yeah. but Jesse is. Nice. Right? Like they did do it, and that was in Quantum Break. That was 2016. They were planning that shit already. Yeah. They were planning well, the and some of them anyway. In universe, AWE was spray painted everywhere. And also on that chalkboard uh, in Quantum Break, it's it says AWE, and then it has two things, and one says oh, yeah. uh, Altered World Event, and then the other one is Alan Wake Experience. Yeah, and it's like what? what, what which one is know, it? Which one is it? Because because if in, in, in you know really if you think about it, that the DLC for Control that ties into Alan Wake mm-hmm. is called AWE. It could you could think of Read that it as Alan, Alan Wake, Wake Experience. Experience. It could be that. It's what Alan Wake experienced. In, I mean, that's literally is what you're trying to investigate. It, yeah. I also wonder, like, could they do games based on other individual AWEs yeah. that don't necessarily? Well, I'd just like, like to see. I mean, what about Jesse's maybe it would be like a weird like thing Lord? to do it? But I was gonna. I want. I was thinking they could just do infinite DLCs yeah. on Control. That's true. If they and just have just you keep going into new... They're like, oh, we released a new game. There's also a DLC that's backstory. Right, right. That would be cool. I mean, I would I don't totally think they'll do it. It's a, not, it's but... not like... It just doesn't make it sense in how the game industry going. works. Yeah, and it would also be so much work to keep going back to, a, right. to one game and kind right. of adding stuff. It would, t- it would turn it into a single-player like GTA Online where there's constant... I mean, I'm up for a single-player game that adds... Con- I thought, you know, yeah. for a little while, when it first came out, I was like, well, maybe that's what the Avengers game will do. Maybe it'll uh, be a better game I because wish. they'll keep adding you know, more yeah. single-player. So I, I thought the, 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 the parts of that game Even that if it was single-player, I yeah. actually enjoy. Yeah, I mean, and you can play the other stuff in single player. But you can tell the levels are not designed but to yes, be single player. Exactly. The levels that are and the AI. designed. Yeah, the AI. The AI is somewhat <laughs> ignores your allies and will and will focus on the player. Mm-hmm. And that is not what you really want. That 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 Avengers game just turned into a dumpster fire of microtransactions after a while. One of the things yeah. that really bothered me about it is you you could talk to the vendors and they would literally have a line of dialogue that would like guilt you into not buying stuff. Yeah. Not buying the microtransactions. I also love just the silly shit that they say sometimes. Which yeah. is similar to the hiss. Yeah. That's kinda of similar to the hiss and control. That's true. A lot of similarities. Fair and square. Don't you can't walk through those claws. Apparently not. <laughs> I, I tried. I was gonna try. Oh, so loud. He's laughed at Alan like, "Oh, coffee break!" And now, while he's getting chased, girls <laughs> read a page while we're being uh-huh. chased too. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm really curious because they did. Did you ever see the? Um, there was a uh, like 12 minute kind of concept. It was like a pitch video for Alan Wake 2 they made shortly after the first game. Um, and it shows just like slightly more advanced AI, like oh. the Taken like like throwing an axe and it gets buried in a truck, and then a different Taken picks it up to attack oh. you. Like some cool stuff where they're like yeah, that throwing nice. the weapons around, or. Uh, or, or uh, one of the one of the really cool things is at the end of that little prototype video, and some some of the stuff in that prototype actually, like a hotel gets repurposed for American Nightmare. Mm-hmm. They actually reuse some of the assets they put put together for that. But uh, but the but the interesting thing is that they talked about how in Alan Wake Two they wanted to play with different genres coming to life. So like he gets oh. into this room and he's like, oh, you're right, I'm getting out of here. And then a fucking UFO picks up the like building, 
because it's okay. like, well, you know, if it can bring writing to life, it could theoretically it can do bring any genre. Of oh, totally. To life. Right? So it like, doesn't always have to be horror. You can do sci-fi. You can do fantasy, even. Yeah. Throw some like orcs and crap at him. Yeah, why? Right? Like you can do. That's another. You know what? That's uh. That's I want to bring this up to you. Do you remember the albino twins with dreadlocks from the second Matrix movie? I didn't that? until you said that, and, and now I can book, I literally see ghosts. them. Yeah. Remember how weird that was? <sighs> I yes. It's, okay. I totally forgot about because them, but now I. That's an example. Is that okay? Of a huge missed opportunity. Look at look at that sweater in that. So like that's two shirts. Yeah. Why? <laughs> and it's it filled it. out in a body. Like it looks, it's, yeah. Well, but, you know they couldn't. They didn't used to be able to program yeah, flat clothes. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Um, I think there was some another pickup like a uh, ammo on that table back oh, there. Oh, was there? Oh shit! Yeah, there was. I, was. I love listening to the weird shit they say. Oh no, it's batteries. They are not Energizer. <laughs> Wait, who is this? I'm talking about cholesterol. It's Stucky. Okay. It's Stucky outside. He's so he's just like saying stuff that's like, it's like been in his brain. Yeah, like it's like it's almost like it's uh, just regurgitating, a trying to. Yeah, it's trying to imitate being a person. But it's like, it's not quite able to. Like, yeah. not fully. But no, in, okay, so in The Matrix, right, there is a genuinely really interesting concept that's brought up in these sequels, in the sequels, right, that they, but they don't do anything with them, right? And that's the idea that there's all these other Matrixes that have happened in the past, right? And, oh, yeah. And, they, they, and in supplemental material that is not in the movies... <laughs> They talk about oh, how in some house. of those previous versions of the Matrix, they had supernatural creatures existing in the world, and that was one of the versions of the Matrix that Whoa. people's brains like, rejected because it wasn't realistic enough or it didn't fit. Like they, yeah. they, they, they were able to pick up on it being fake. But that French guy, the Merovingian, has like a collection of those leftover programs from previous Matrixes, and that's what those twins are. Oh, and how yeah, much more okay. interesting would the Matrix sequels have been if they were like, here's vampires and werewolves well, and all this crazy fantasy yeah. shit because it's a fake world anyway. Why yeah. not include a bunch of shit like that? They, but then they didn't do it because, you know, they didn't I want to make it interesting. something about the new one. It might, well, like, why, why uh, are... I am why so not looking for it. <laughs> yeah. But they're talking about why are there's a gold shining on there. Yeah. So um, so this is for a, a, a stash. So it's an arrow there. And this is a this is for a stash of uh, emergency supplies yeah. that the lamp lady has left around. Um, also, I have been thinking about getting a tattoo. Oh, the- <laughs> uh, so what I, my my thought is, I'll get uh, I'll, like somewhere I'll get of the black pyramid from Control, mm. and then as negative space, I'll just have no ink. Oh, nice! In of the that. shape of that torch, so it'll be the it'll be the black That's pyramid cool. with that symbol kind of in it. Nice, which I, I thought would be kind of a cool. Cool tattoo idea. I was the only thing at the... I can imagine from these ga- from these games that would make for a yeah. good tattoo. I really had to think about that to come up with one. Um, you could always <laughs> get Alan's face. <laughs> that's what I was gonna. That's I wasn't gonna say that originally, and then I was like, oh, that'd be a funny one. I was gonna I say get get, get an old gods of ta- Asgard oh, tattoo. That'd be cool. That would be I've very thought cool. about that one. I was looking, they never, as far as I could tell, they never sold an Old Gods of Asgard shirt. And I was kind of surprised. Cause they actually just, in the last, like, two months, started an Old Gods of Asgard merch store. Which feels like Oh, because I went to the sequel. Remedy Control store. The it's Remedy like store. Website. It's like pretending it's a real band, kind of. Yeah, that, okay, I gotta look at those. I gotta look at those. Well, I saw a bunch like, of people made them on, like, Redbubble and, and right, like things. Right, like the fan-made ones. Um, which, I mean, I've been... And they had, like, they this. had the tour dates from the poster in the game and everything. That's but, fucking great. There was, um, um, I don't remember, God, I don't remember where it, I can't remember who said it, but there was a, there was like a game developer, and I cannot remember for what game or who the guy, what the guy's name was, but he, he was, he did an interview and someone, the person interviewing him asked him about merch, and he, and you know how like they typically frown on like, like official, right, you know, people from these companies, they tend to frown on, like, that fan-made merchandise and stuff because yeah. it's like they're not receiving any right. profit from it. But this guy was literally like, yeah, I don't think we're going to make that, so, like, you just go to, like, Redbubble. It. Like, he was, like, he started <laughs> listing, like, websites that you could go go to to Cafe get the... Press. Yeah. 
Uh, T Public. Yeah. I've got a lot, man. This shirt's actually from T Public. My, my cowboy bebops. See a space cowboy. Oh, it's gonna be no. I I mean I already think it looks terrible. I I'm not I'm not into it at all. Like you know if you if you if you, if whoever if you end up liking it, fine, whatever. I'm not here to tell you nice what guy. to like or not. I just hope it's not. It so gives me uncanny valley. Even though they're real actors, the the like they give they did like a like a they showed like the opening sequence, and it's the it's the song right. It's the actual opening it's, sequence, it's but with opening sequence, and they recreate a bunch of shots. But it gives me uncanny valley. I understand that, because you're expecting to see a very specific shape. And... John Cho is also too old. He's too old. I'm like, I'm sorry, but he is. Like, I, you know, yeah, I appreciate... Well, it might the... be like they're doing somewhat of a continuation. So maybe it's after he's gotten older. That was the only thing I could think of. See, but the thing is, is that from what I... I, I think it's a side story that takes place throughout... Jerry. Yeah, it's like it's almost like oh, this was something that happened off screen, and now we're doing this story. Because we didn't see them, uh, you know. There's definitely stuff happening in between. There. Right, like, right. I mean, Those you up, yeah. Them, you know, there's so few episodes, yeah. ultimately, right? Like, there's not that much. Well, to I that. saw it. It looked like there's a bunch of the villains from the show in it, which didn't doesn't totally make sense. Yeah. Because they didn't interact with each other ever in the same. Right, and again, that could feel really forced. Like, here's yeah. the thing. Am I glad they didn't whitewash it? Because Netflix especially, well, right? That's what I was going to say. I but, it's better than the Death Note one. <laughs> yeah. But even then, it's like, is that is that all? Is that the only standard we want to hold it to? Oh, no. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> this is like, yeah. I don't know. I just Sometimes why can't we let artistic for mediums exist in the format that they exist yeah. in? Yeah, you don't have to live action everything. see what happened with the Cats movie, people? <laughs> like, come on. I still... I still think the special edition DVD should have the cut where they had all the cut? cats had assholes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, we got the Snyder cut. Where's the butthole cut? <laughs> God, I've I've been Somebody ranting about this to everyone. I forgot. Yeah. I haven't talked to you about this. Maybe maybe we did talk about it. Okay. Why is it called a Snyder cut? It's just a director's cut. It's always been a director's cut. We've had director's cut for eons. People, now you have to tie your name onto it, as though the original I, movie wasn't yours. Well, it was it's totally disowning. Well, well, it wasn't yeah. because Joss Whedon came in and refilmed mm -hmm. like eighty percent of the movie. Oh, right? and that's people, right. So just, that does just change lithium it. Lithium batteries. They're just lithium. Mm -hmm. They're not no brand now. But no, um, I, here's the thing. People hate Joss Whedon now, and yeah, he, <laughs> yes, did he turn out to be an asshole? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, he did. But does that suddenly make the things that were good that he made not good? No, I don't. But I also, don't agree but with some that. of those good things, like he doesn't necessarily get the credit. Not Take for all Buffy. Of it. Not for everything. The, one of the best characters whole... of Buffy is Spike. He wanted Spike to die after five seasons and oh, actually yeah. physically pushed James Marsters against a wall and yelled, You're gonna die if that, I have anything to say about it. Yeah, and then in his not face. Good. And it's that's, like, come on, I agree, man. I agree, I agree. Totally, totally fucking just... Um, There's, he, he was a creative that like get, let his success get to the head. Yes. That was a big part of it, right? He, he got a big head. Well, and especially, success. yeah, early Buffy was so popular. But... I, but I also, like, you know, fire, as much as yeah. people want to throw him under the bus, and I get it, he's, he's an asshole, but you know what? He still did yeah. things that were good, and you can't, we can't just say that he didn't because yeah. we don't like him. You know, like, it's, it's, he may not have been the... So many still revered, like, especially, like, classic literary art. Mm -hmm. Authors and stuff. H.P. Lovecraft. Hey, well, oh yeah. I mean, and he he to some extent has gotten some of a post reckoning. But oh, look sure. at he's also Poe dead, so was an asshole, to right? Exactly. You know, it's to do but like Poe, even freaking. Um, I mean, Tolkien. A... Tolkien was a dick to people sometimes. Yeah, I mean, shit. It was World War One. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get it. It's it's a thing where like you know what I'm perfectly Actually, willing to acknowledge. Tolkien's a bad example because that sh that book is so filled with like weirdly unsubtle racism and stuff. But... Well, the orcs are references to the Germans. Um. Yeah. But but the the descriptions of them as like tribal and I think he uses a word like mongoloid or something Does like it? that. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, just I like mean, I mean All right, yeah, you can you can ease off a little, bud. Yeah, no, I mean I get it. I get it. But it's also like 
I don't know. There's there is a something to be said for viewing something as a product of its time. No, yeah. yeah it's, and like, not that you, we can't you don't, those you don't have either, to we totally, throw out the whole thing. And in fact, you should look at it and, mm-hmm. and, and see the Lovecraft problems and grow. Was so cool because yeah. it was almost like a commentary on that well, while also being yeah. an adaptation of it all at once. That's um, part of what I liked about that show. The staircase I, was broken. I had uh, to on some other way. The Ballad of Black Tom... That's another, yeah, that's another um, one like that. I need to read that. That's very good. Um, totally honestly, is. better better horror story than, I mean, not that uh, Red Hook was ever a great one. Yeah. Obviously, it's it's memorable, but it's, um, but the, no the Ballad of Black Tom is fantastic. And I just started reading um, an Irish Coffee. author, K- Caitlin R. Kiernan, okay. has done a bunch of, um, Taking the creatures and the worlds that he's created mm-hmm. and doing newer stories with them. That's um, cool. I love. I see. I like that. And I hers, like that. yeah, like, hers like, are, have been pretty good. We can um, we can take you know. We, I like that because it's like we take pieces of things that, that we have all these great concepts and like and sure, leave behind some, some of the things that can be left behind or or include them. Yeah, but, but and, like, and comment on them. Have yes, like a conversation yes. about it, and I, I think that's a really interesting way to handle that. Yeah. Like, well, well, you know what you just made me think of? Did you know that there is? Um, okay, so there's another Evil Dead movie in the works, mm-hmm. and it's called Evil Dead Rise. It's going to take place in like a city, in like a like a oh. like, like a like a big apartment complex. Interesting. And the director, um, <laughs> float like a butterfly. Uh, is I haven't watched his movie yet. I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was called, but he's like an he's like an indie Irish horror director. Like his only movie oh. I think is by like AT4. Okay. And that's and they like went out and got this dude who only done like one weird indie movie huh. before, and just like with Fede Alvarez who did the Evil Dead remake, which I mm. actually like that. I think that's one of them. Those yeah, I still remakes, haven't but, seen that one. Oh, have you not? Oh, we should watch that sometime. Yeah, I enjoy. It. It's not, but it does it have the greatest script? No. Did the original Evil Dead? No, no. <laughs> In fact, the original it almost Evil Dead, doesn't need. It's supposed to be fun, I think. Yeah, but yeah. the original Evil Dead wasn't supposed to be funny. It was unintentionally funny. Yeah, and then that's they true. only in the sequels were funny on purpose because yeah. the first movie was kind well, and of and not they, great. And mm-hmm. they went, I mean, exponentially on that because Army right. of Darkness is just oh, absurd. I, and I love that movie, but it it's, is all cheese. <laughs> You know that's yeah. after Lord of the Rings, or actually before Lord of the Rings. That's like that's like the first like I think well done kind of big scale castle siege sequence in like a genre oh, film that I can think of. Like yeah. there's some like <laughs> Battle of Waterloo, like some of these you know historical like yeah, action military films. movies. Yeah, and... like before that, that like that that did stuff like that. All right, but like that's the first time huh. that I, I can remember that. a fantasy film. Doing a castle siege action sequence with huge armies. With huge and... arm- Those skeletons are so funny, man. Oh man! I can't wait until the um, Evil Dead uh, game. I really hope they do an Army of Darkness, like even as a sm- like an there will be like a, levels. We've only uh, seen one in the trailers. Okay. Yeah, so I would love to see um, an Army of Darkness. Because uh, you can like, play as like Evil American Ash Nightmare as a character in the game size. Oh, like a well, like a single player. Yeah, yeah like See, a little that's bit. That's what of, I want to. Single, a little um, bit of single player. Because you you've started to watch Ash vs Evil Dead. I have watched watch some of it. Probably half of it. Half of it. Okay, so you, just just enough to, to 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 for me to be able to tell you that they uh, had a five. I think there's a collectible. Somewhere really? I saw a shining, maybe behind. Be- uh, behind these locks? Be- no, behind behind us. Oh, behind Walk us. Past it. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, no, it was that. Ah, okay. I saw the light shining on it. Uh, but but they had a five-season plan for Ash okay. vs. Evil Dead. And because of how much the show got pirated, they yeah. were canceled, and unfortunately, two seasons before the end. Uh-huh. So you only get three seasons. Now, I obviously no spoilers, but season three ends on a place that I think works as an ending to the series really mm. well. But 
is they have said would have been the ending regardless of whether it would that was the ending they were going to do for that season no matter whether they yeah. were continued or not so it does hold promise for something really interesting mm-hmm. to come that now we may not see however what if they couldn't did those other two seasons In as a single player video game because Bruce be Campbell sweet. doesn't want to play Ash anymore. He, he's done. He doesn't want to play that character right. anymore. So you do it in a, in a video game where... You can just do the voice. Yeah. He's doing it for the multiplayer game. Clearly he doesn't mind. Clearly yeah, he just doesn't want okay to do with. the like, well, you know, in physicality the original, of it. And why would you at his age? Yeah, you know? absolutely. In the original Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell... You know the, some of the... Like the blood and the guts like the actors that are in the more modern evil dead stuff they get it easy in the original mm-hmm. evil dead that was like fucking food coloring and dog food they were throwing in bruce campbell's face oh god <laughs> you know filming the first evil dead movie bruce campbell got so much fake blood in one of his his uh his like the blue mm-hmm. work shirts that ash always wears that and it was so cold outside that the shirt froze into like a hard solid object he brought it inside to, he, to try it by the fireplace and he like tripped and dropped it and it shattered like glass the I hope someone saved or the not t-shirt but the shirt shattered like glass I hope someone saved the pieces of that oh like that'd be hilarious watch them watch them go for like a million dollars each yeah like a, exactly like a little triangle um, of t-shirt <laughs> and it's you know it's not frozen anymore it's just a bit of red cloth now yeah <laughs> You know um, what would be great too in that if they're in the in that multiplayer game if they're doing all these levels right mm-hmm. like you get a castle, yeah, right from monster dog is second best the famous dog is third best. Oh, he's talking about like the hot dog eating contests in the town. Oh yeah. Uh, but but like I would love to see them do the cabin uh, yeah. from the remake and have like the uh, there's there's I won't you know I won't say anymore. <laughs> but there's a there's something that make that would make the cabin in the remake really a really unique different level. Yeah. And all I'll tell you is that at one point during that movie in the production they used sixty on your right. sixty thousand gallons of fake blood for one scene. Sixty thousand so gallons. Sixty thousand for one like I ten mean, minute, that's, like fifteen minutes. That sounds like production. more than like ten, The Shining yeah. coming I, down that hallway. <laughs> like it, it might be. Yeah, I, it might be. It was a lot. Oh, it was speaking of pirated, did you ever see pictures of the pirated Alan Wake? Yeah, and he's got a. He's play, got the he eye a, patch. Yeah, he has an eye patch. He actually like looks like. And a they pirate. let you play the whole game. The only thing they do is, um, that that's one of my favorites. And then the um, uh, what's that? You. Oh like, wow, that was all the shotgun ammo we had. Uh, safe haven. Sweet. There's a game where you're, uh, it's like, you're an indie game developer. Oh, in the game? Uh-huh. And like, you're, you're, it's, okay. you're a game dev company, I think. Oh, And so right. it's like somewhat resource management or whatever. I kill everyone in a game dev company and Goat Simulator. Yes. <laughs> well, isn't it actually I mean, their it's studio? I supposed to be the studio, though, um, yeah. So they, I so mean, in this, in the, if you pirate the game where you're, a game dev company. Mm-hmm. Uh, once you get your get your like new gonna be popular game published, right? Your company fails because everyone pirates your game. Oh. <laughs> and then it's an action. And it, and it ends. And it ends the you can't get any more progress. Oh really? Uh huh. That's hilarious. So it's like an alternate ending almost that some people who played the whole game and you know achievement hunted then went. And played the pirated one. That's hilarious. To get this other ending, basically. That that's that's so fun because of course just like they had, having a great good sense of humor about it, people are gonna pirate your game. Yeah, like I like I like things like that where it's like you know it doesn't break the game if you pirate it. Yeah. But, oh my god! But it, you, it'll call you, you see, out. <laughs> right, but it'll totally call you out. So like because because people were like complaining to to remedy on like Twitter. Back then, oh. about like, well, there's something wrong with my copy of the game. I don't know what happened. And then they were just like laughing at the people that posted that to the Twitter. They're like, yeah, I'm fucking right. You don't know what you did. Yeah, like, there's only one way this could happen to your game. How does Alan, like, for, I guess I guess he was writing crime novels, but for someone who's just like 
a writer who can't run 20 feet. <laughs> he's right. got a good handle on how to shoot a gun. He, that's true. He just, that's like, true. picks up these shotguns and is like, oh, yeah, you just do this, 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 like... You hand me a shotgun. I will not. I mean, you will, right, I don't know how to. I don't know how to crack I, and reload. I know unless I you show me. Know my way around a handgun decently yeah. well, but I've never shot a shotgun before, so I, I could not tell you how. I don't think I've shot a pistol, but uh, ah. my friend had an M1 Garand. Ah. Hit me believe. in the back of the head, guy. Fuck off. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that. Those are the spots where. Some of the people we're talking about, can't we get a little like a spider sense? A little warning, yeah. Even just a little, like an amplified sound of the hatchet coming behind. Yeah, you. no, I can totally see why that would be a. That, how that's annoying sometimes. So yeah, are we supposed to be going? Up? Especially, especially when they hit that, like it's right after you finish dodging, so you can't dodge twice. Right. And he's already. <gasps> yeah. <bad>. Right. <laughs> Out of breath. Are we supposed to be going? <laughs> I, I, I so lost oh, my way. The, the map up in the corner. Yeah. Go towards the... Go for the gold. Alright. Um, <laughs> I know this see... game so well. I've played it so many times. Gets lost with the first... <laughs> basically the first hour almost. I want to see... Um, scenes of Alan working out in the dark... <laughs> Just like run jogging oh in place god. in the dark place. How just like funny. I gotta be able to run faster next time. Oh my god! There, be, I, I want there to be <laughs> like, like a working out in his prison cell. Basically, uh, I want there to be an '80s workout montage, uh, <laughs> flashback in the second game. I, I want him to come out of the dark place. Lifting his typewriter. Yeah, <laughs> lifting the type. He's doing fucking. Oh my god! It'd be hilarious. I hope he. I, I would love it if he came the out table. just ripped. Like he's just got like a fucking six pack and he comes in <laughs> super muscular. That'd be so funny. It'd be so ridiculous. It would like so funny. Yeah, it was, like, what was his? Like no, his what if character. Barry showed up and he was fucking ripped? I would love that would be to so see funny. Barry. Like, we dealt with crazy shit, so I had to start working <laughs> out. He's and got could... like a fucking Ghost Rider chain of Christmas lights. This <laughs> is fucking whipping around. <laughs> oh man, I it ended, it ended up not being, but I was so excited when I saw um, Nicholas Cage's Ghost Rider. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> when I when, when I, I thought I saw Barry in Quantum Break, and it ended up being oh, just, yeah. that dude's script that he keeps pitching in random scenes. Oh, that's just terrible. Yeah, yeah. it's like. Time heist or something? You know, no, time heist. Wait, there, that's there's Avengers. A, uh, you, 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 it's you, something like that, though. No, I, I do remember that. That was great. I will say, though, in control, it's not necessarily easy to find. Oh, we have nine flare gun shots. We'll use some of those. Is this the, yeah, I guess that's because it's the first flare gun we've used. No, it does Why that every it, time. Oh, really? Yeah, if you if you hit it right and like get a bunch of enemies at once with it, it'll do that slow-mo effect every huh. time. Um, but if you in control, there is a it's in it's it's in the AWE expansion. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a page. Ooh, let's get that first. Well, okay, so let me back up a little bit. In the main game in control, there's the take control song, right? Yeah. Now there is a hidden sequence of numbers uh, inside the song backwards. What? So you have to record it with separate audio equipment, then play it backwards, find this number sequence. People did this like right away when the game came out. But people couldn't. People didn't know what that was for. Like, what? What are these numbers for? Like, what are these supposed to be used for? Like, what is what's going on with that? So, what it turns out, what it turned out is that there's a there's a hidden room in the AWE expansion that would come out more like a year after the original game, mm -hmm. where you enter these numbers into you, you, oh you use gosh. these numbers <laughs> to like pick times on a clock face, and you enter this mm -hmm. code into a clock face. And it opens up this whole secret area, and you get a bunch of stuff. And one of the things is you get a hotline. And Alan talks about where Barry mm -hmm. and Tor and Odin Anderson have, like, basically gives a little bit of an update on their lives. Yeah. Post the original game. That's funny. Hey, how clearly we'll be able we will be able to see these? Because I remember these being like super grainy, grainy. and kind of hard to make out, like what was going on. All right, people I like are settling dolly in for is an just episode slowly of attacking things. you. Wait, what'd you say? That dolly in the corner was like 
It's, oh, it was like moving it's a little like bit. It moves a little bit and it was leaning <laughs> on you slowly. Yeah. Oh, ha, funny. Quantum suicide. All right, people, we're going to sit Paul and watch the Night Springs episode. <laughs> that is a little clearer. Yeah, it is. That is a little clearer. No, I'm curious. Oh, this is you... the guy. Isn't this the guy that looks kind of like David Cross? Yeah. Yes, that he is. He doesn't actually. I think on Is the... David Cross mixed with. Um... Why can't I think of his name? I, I Happy can't Hogan. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, John Favreau. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, David yeah. Cross mixed with John Favreau. Or, if, or you could say Foggy Nelson. Yeah. Do you remember the Ben Affleck Daredevil? Yeah. <laughs> Not that you want to, but if you do. <laughs> I like how it's clearly dubbed over. Yeah. Too. Like they, they clearly dubbed the voice. Like they, the, the lip syncing is not there. Did you? So have you ever played the, the original Max Payne games? No, I have not. Those would be fun streams. Yeah, be those cool. would be really fun streams. And those I could I, we could do the first one because I could I could download that on the PS5. Oh. The first one. Uh, the second one's not on the PlayStation Store. But I could do. We could do the first one. It's old. It, sh yeah. it shows its age. <laughs> yeah, I would I'd but, definitely like to see those, especially if the Alex Casey stuff ends up. He's an alt universe max. He's a hundred percent an alt universe max pen. There's even two uh, in. I think they're going to end pages. up doing an Alex Casey game. Don't yeah. you think? I I think that's a distinct possibility. The fact that he's It'll now be a modern or Max or Payne he'll game. be in or yeah exactly or, or he'll be in an two or too. control. Yeah, I think I, it's interesting. What because, if you like, play as him? For Alan, for Alan Wake 2. Right? Well, in the beginning of Quantum Break, there's a video mm -hmm. you find of an F F the FBI looking for Alan Wake and running into yeah. Scratch, right? And Alex Casey and is that, the That's that main case. detective, which it, the reference there, the actor playing Alex Casey in that Easter egg kind of short film thing in Quantum Break is Sam Lake, the head writer of Remedy, who in the original yeah. Max Payne was the face Got of it. Max Payne. And he did this like like weird like smirk and it was like a static image that didn't move like it was this really yeah. like like it was he just he was, he always had this smirk on his face this is permanent his face didn't change expression doctor felt by his own hubris right away they're talking about hartman yep immediately immediately references to hartman um. but uh but but then uh later in this game you know, there's that there's that TV interview where Alan's like on a talk show. Do you oh that? yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the other yeah. person sitting next to him is Sam Lake, on the show. And it, right oh, do the, the face. And he, yes. Yeah, at the end of the segment, he's like, "Man, one more time before we go. Can you do go before we go? Can you do the face with for us one more time?" And he and he looks at the camera, and goes, he does the Max Payne mm -hmm. face. So like having Sam Lake play Alex Casey in that short and Quantum Break was a reference to him being the face of Max Payne in yeah. the OG Max Payne game. Did that do something? <laughs> what did that do? It just stopped grabbing the log, I guess. All right. I mean, it doesn't seem useful, but okay. <laughs> it's a button in a video game from, like, I just, I mean, I this would, era. You've got to press it. I mean, i got to press any button, I see. If you, if you put it, a side okay, that's but like, I, press like, it, even more. I say, I say this era because, like, I keep, I don't know. So much of my my video game humor ends up being related, or I I just have read a bunch of Penny Arcade. Sure. But uh, they're talking about in their, one of their comics about Skyrim, and having grown up in the era where if it's interactable, you want to interact with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the character Gabe is like is hoarding brooms and. They're showing like the real if your inventory was real, so the, oh. <laughs> the adventurer has just like a million brooms tied to his back. He's like, I don't want to reach the broom dungeon and get stuck. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, that's not my genuinely don't like about Remedy games. Or, I'm sorry, not Remedy games, uh, Bethesda, Bethesda games. Does. I don't like that there's just an infinite amount of shit to pick up. I don't <laughs> like it. I Let me pick up the stuff that's important. I understand I going for verisimilitude or, or immersion, but at the same time... But but those games yeah, aren't super. Uh, they're immersive they're trying to the make LARPing. Anyway. That's true. Kind of. I just I mean I'll I'll just take away my gamer card if you want people, but I don't <laughs> like Bethesda games. 
I don't. I don't like him. I only because well, and you were. Like you were Marlin. also. I feel like the fact that you were a Fallout fan for the first two. But yeah, when it was and Black it got Isle. changed. Yep. Like automatically engenders some, it, 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 uh, creates it some the, resentment. It, it, but you know because what? they it was less they, the gameplay and the more the writing yeah. too. Because I the, the original obviously the gameplay, yeah, and I, that completely was gone. The, yeah, me, the gameplay the, and, was it had to change from the original. Or yeah, didn't and have I'm okay to, with that. But it was obviously like going to progress. I like New Vegas. Yeah, New Vegas. Oh is, really? Well, here's the thing: I, Black Isle Studios broke up. Reformed as Obsidian, mm-hmm. yeah, and then fall in New Vegas. So I started New people. Vegas recently, and I've had fun with it so far. It's just, it's, it's just like it's got the it's got the personality mm-hmm. of the original, the humor, the writing. Yeah, because again, it, it literally the people that made the original came yeah. back um, as a different studio to work on it. Um, yeah. those that that team also did the second Night Seal Republic game. Okay. Which was un which was released unfinished because mm-hmm. uh, fuck EA. Well, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it seems like they're learning a lesson recently, but let's see. Yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah, they put yeah. out four games in the last two years, three years, that I genuinely liked. Well, and they learned... The previous ten, so... They learned their <laughs> microtransaction <laughs> lesson on from Battlefront 2. And then that Jedi improved. Fallen Order proved that they can mm-hmm. put a game out that's single player. That's a complete game without needing to buy DLC for it. Yeah. And I mean, I'm even okay. I'm cool with there being story DLC if it's thoughtful yeah. and priced well and, like... Doesn't feel like it's ripping you yeah. off. Of course, EA's does. Right. Like in Mass well, Effect and 3, when one they of the cut things... a whole party care member out that like was crucial to the main story. Yeah. No, I. They they've they're they've been one of the worst for a long time with it. They won worst Feminine company Activision. of the year of the BP oil spill. <laughs> EA won I... worst company of the year of the BP oil spill. Oh, uh, that doesn't surprise me on so many levels. <laughs> both the both the BP <laughs> gets away with stuff like that, and the people <laughs> still hate EA more. I just I love it because it's like a BP fucked up the ocean. Right. But you know what? Fuck EA. <laughs> Fuck EA anyway. You know, I what feel really like I feel like the EA do? stuff people encountered it in their daily lives more, unless that's they're true. living in the fishing town. Right, that's true. Also, Which you know, oh, it's, Midnight it's, Mass. Well, I, I, we won't go too, into it too much. But I'm still only dealing with the first the, two. But yeah, okay. But, wanna, they, but they do include certain stuff about like oil they live in a they live and, in a fishing village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought that that was a a cool way to isolate the community even more. They're already Absolutely. on this island, and. And then you take away the the fishing, take away the fish from a fishing village. Oh well, essentially, you just ruin the economic structure mm-hmm. of a of a entire like small society. Yeah, basically. I also just wanted to point out, you know what is dates Resident Evil two more than anything? The gas mm. prices at the beginning oh, of the game. Oh, funny! <laughs> I just wanted to point that out because that's really funny. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Oh, hello, cat. Or that there'd been some kind of... <laughs> I have a cat here. Cats get views, right? Hi. I think that's, I think that's a proven hello. internet rule. Everybody loves cats. Go? Okay. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I was going to come see you until you picked me up. Yeah, well... You fucker. <laughs> now I'm leaving. Hi. No, she's gone. Right. The story, there's only darkness. I can feel it's just like... I feel like Alan should be more weirded out at this point by seeing this video. This yeah. hasn't happened yet. He hasn't sat this, at that is, desk this and has written. This happened already. No, that ha- he, oh, cause, that's cause when he was he, first looking at the typewriter. Well, cause he, cause he, cause, well, no, no, that was in the dark place. Because we, well, we jumped into the lake oh. and then we woke up a week later in the crashed car. So, he, so yeah. he's already written this that's book, right. right? He's got all this missing time he doesn't That's remember. right. 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, surprise competitions, live music for the children. Buck Tooth Charlie. That sounds like it could be. Uh, I always I when not it, PC. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But well, like I think it's a, I think it's a I think it's a deer mascot. Oh, Buck, that would make right? sense. I went to my mind went to Simple Jack from Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, um, no, I'm thinking something about my brain. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, 
uh, a mascot dude, a mascot oh, taken chasing you. you. <laughs> that would be great. I hope I hope we get some stuff like that in, in the inevitable full sequel. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I forgot that there was like an actual like map, like mm-hmm. a real map. Oh, and Watery. That's the town Watery. Mm-hmm. That's where Ati goes on vacation in control. Is that town right there? Funny. Well, in Watery, she, there's another one. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder probably. if they added more references to Watery just because probably. it came with control. He was one of my favorite characters in that game. Oh, Ati! I hope so I hope he plays good. a role in Alan Wake too, because he specifically mentions how he knows the Anderson brothers. Yeah, that's right. right. When he gives Jesse the cassette player, he's like, "It's a gift oh, yeah. from my friends yeah. to you." The song is a gift from my friends. About you, sort of. <laughs> right, basically. Again, with the prophecy. There's no show. island on. Oh yeah. There's no island. You look like you've taken a because it sunk in the 1970s. Yeah. Are you okay? I mean, he did have a bad hit to the head, too, to be fair. Yeah, both of those are true. And if you remember, her father... Uh-huh. There's an FBC. Yeah. Well, she wouldn't have believed you. Also, she'd arrest you because you shot a bunch of people. <laughs> You're right. Don't tell her that. <laughs> what about the gun on it? Did you, did you, did yeah, you, did he's got a shotgun on him. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to just hide that. It's 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 down the leg of his pants and hidden, and the video stock is logic. hidden in his yeah video game logic for sure. It's like Red Dead Two is like the only game that's ever solved that um, issue because you could see every like item, right? Like on your person um, or in your small bag, and if you can't, if it's too big to go in your small bag, it has to be on your horse. Right? Yeah. Like they actually, Red Dead 2 is the one game where they actually made the inventory like make sense in a real world. Oh context. yeah, that's. Oh. Yep. So we're not. Bye, yeah, we're not Bye, the music play. Sadly, <laughs> I love. Go I look love up. Uh, what what is it? Um, we can just tell people what song it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's in Dreams by Roy Arbison. Oh yes. Okay. Well, you can be on I just that because I, I had the soundtrack and I listened to it so much. Oh nice. It's a great soundtrack. It really is. Very good. I'm like genuinely sad that we can't just let the music play a little on the street. Yeah, more, you know? but I, I, I want it to is. It is a good tracks. atmospheric addition for sure. And it really gets the the feel, the TV show feel of it, like kind of letting and sitting with. The I forgot how bit. much of it was. Like they were talking. I was reading about how like they kind of made it because it was the era of. DVD box sets, and that's yep, why they included yep. the commentary on it, and yep. well, like uh, flashbacks I mean, like this coming this was after a cliffhanger. Ten that it came out, but it was also like 2005 when they really started making yes. it. Yes, yeah, that exactly. That was the era of the Sopranos, Six Feet Under, The Shield, mm. The Wire. What is going on in that light there? Oh, yeah, there I go. was glitching out for a it's minute. It's like the light in Until Dawn. Yes, yeah, lantern. Oh, oh he's uh, still working on his cover? Is that what's yeah, going on? Yeah, for the sudden stop, the final Alex Casey book in which yeah. he kills off the character. And his... Oh, and we features. can also see the buildings outside better. Yeah. So we could, we could really prove... Uh, <laughs> that it's not the that FBC. It's not the FBC headquarters, yeah. And also, go in here... It looks like it's just this one building that you can see now. Oh, there's another QR code. I'll leave that up on screen That's for a few second seconds one. in case anybody yep. wants to scan it. And then he's going, he's got the other Alex Casey books on the and shelf those, right here. And aren't those guns supposed to be Max Payne's gun as yes, well? Yes, they are. The fu- also, the second uh, the so, second um, uh, Max Payne game is called Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I was reading today that a bunch of these were Things that I chapter want, titles for, Alec, or for Max Payne yep. stuff. Yeah, the guns are 100% a reference to Max Payne. And then these manuscript pages, we just picked up two. It's true what they say, but... That's James McCaffrey. That's that's mm-hmm. the voice actor of Max Payne. Yeah. Who also is Thomas Zane in this game and Director Trench in Control. Once these all start crossing over, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna have only three voice actors in the game. <laughs> right. Well, like or like Courtney Hope, who plays Jesse. What did in I just Control, see? Also oh, played Beth oh, Wilder the in animated Quantum series Break. of Star Trek. Uh, Magil Barrett, who played. 
who does like the voice of the computer in all of the Star Treks. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. stuff. She's like uh, her and uh, Nichelle Nichols, Lieutenant mm-hmm. Uhura, are like all of the women on the show. Oh yeah, yeah. And then uh, the only people who are only one character are um, Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner, mm. who's. I'm so convinced he's gonna like die in space it. this month. So they're sending him to space. He's gonna <laughs> he's, he's gonna get told by some professional astronaut like not to open do some door. Oh, he's gonna like, no, I'm good. the Captain Kirk, and suck them all into space. Well, he's, at some point, he's gonna get bored and start looking for green pussy. This <laughs> William Shatner is going to he's, do that. <laughs> it's gonna be like I understand. I I no, I don't. Do yeah, I was gonna say, do you do you understand? I was gonna say, I, I understand the appeal the of the wanting to do space tourism. We're not there yet. Yeah, you <laughs> we're, can, we're not ready for that. You can tell that there's not a building there now. I feel like the they took resolution. away the hint of a building out there, just so people didn't think. To, that yeah, was the case. to not. Yeah. Just to, just to make people not uh, be assuming things. N- not lead them astray. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, it's the fact that it's in New York. It, he it says coffee's on like he just... Well... I mean, we didn't do anything but press the button. Also, I don't see it working. I don't hear it. I was going to say... I know what a coffee nothing, maker sounds like. There's nothing happening. <laughs> and you don't... I was going to say, don't you usually say that, like, when the pot's full? Like, after it's yeah. been made and you yeah, can drink it? Yeah, not when you start working. I mean, the coffee's not on. Yeah. It will be on. The coffee the machine is on. Yeah. You the coffee maker on. is the on. The coffee itself is oh, not hey. on. I just finished those cover mock-ups. <laughs> They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No They're on your... I didn't think you'd get them done this No, and this is her office. Oh, that's right. She's So she yeah. makes the covers for his books. My dear. Also, like, the, co- oh, really? the cover of Max, the Max Payne games are black and white with some red. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it's like... It could they're, be they're more telling obvious. You, what are the what are the titles of the books on his shelf? Oh, Did on they her do shelf that? In here? Or on her uh, shelf? Yeah. Let's see. Because his is all can his we, stuff. Uh, uh, we can can't really read it. Like, yeah, we can't really. Does this game doesn't have a photo mode? Does it? No. They oh, that would have been that. a nice addition for this though. I would have been super when you clean into up that. the graphics. Yeah. Maybe they'll, sometimes the games will add that just in updates though. So like yeah. we're playing, we literally started this the minute it came out. So like in yeah. theory they could That's true. perhaps add that if people ask for it. I'm gonna tweet at Remedy. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet at Remedy. Oh, and speaking of Barry, I'll do it right now. I don't know where my phone is. Never mind. <laughs> Did you lose it? Somewhere. Could be in a crack it's, in the couch. Yeah. yeah. I think. See, look how scared of the dark she is, and he left her in that oh, cavern like a fucking asshole. Like I would, yeah. Like, I would like if he had, if he somehow didn't know that ahead of time, that would be but one the, thing. They, they had been together for a long time, and this is a flashback. This yeah. already had. He but knew. also, he knew. If you're, if she's that scared of the dark, she would have candles in her office. That's also a good point. There'd be, there'd be lanterns. Candles, and he said we'll break out the candles, powers. but like, oh, well. yeah. Okay, well then prepare for it. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's my thing. Also, I mean. I guess I guess they're working with like paper a lot, so maybe candles on the desk isn't the thing. But like, but like in the know. living room, have a yeah. everyone what has a candle room? on the table. <laughs> or, or how about a battery powered lantern? This was 2010. Those existed. I had one. I know that those. I know that they were battery powered. Lanterns. Yeah, I forgot that the clicker was like a thing from his childhood. Mm-hmm. That's well. That's why it brings up that whole Ouroboros idea. Like, did Alan Wake create mm-hmm. Thomas Zane? Did Thomas Zane create Alan Wake? I don't know. <laughs> Alan created Thomas. Created Thomas. Created Alan. It's almost like it. It almost becomes irrelevant. <laughs> which one really created? Like, if yeah. if, if that's, even, oh, yeah, if that's even the case, or again, if you know, if you go with the whole prof- the idea, the prophetic. What is prophecy, the? That's you know what that, like is it just establishing also, they're in a city? That's the police also referencing siren? Max Payne because all oh. of, all of Max Payne one takes place during a snowstorm in New York, and there's sirens all over. Oh. So that's also a visual reference. And you have yeah. I don't know how you make sense of it within like the it's just story. an homage almost. Just an homage, yeah. 
Here's that doctor we saw with the. Okay. Yep, yep, with the fish and the. Also, like, he's still wearing the same fishing jacket. The fla- the way the images flash there, uh-huh. really make me think of. Uh, or well, or I should say that the way that some of the dream sequences happen, in Midnight Mass, make me think of. Oh. Where they flash the images, mm-hmm. kind of, and the more of them at, get added yeah. and flashes over time. Absolutely. Really made me think of this. Um. Oh, the cat's playing. The... Wow, that's an obnoxious... <laughs> what? Are you... I, I don't know if I ever noticed that before. Oh. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. What is, wow, what really is the line? What Phallic symbol. Phallic from, uh, from, symbol uh, from Wicker Man. Wicker Man. Oh, they should make a Wicker Man game. I would play Wicker Man game so fast. But, like... You know, oh, you, you gotta Cage. have Nick Cage voice, voicing yes. it. Yes. Also, did you know that Nicolas Cage actually pitched a sequel himself, personally? He died! So, here's the thing the movie would take place entirely in Japan, in Japanese, with all Japanese characters, except his American English speaking ghost would be screaming at all the Japanese people about these. <laughs> That was that was his own idea that he like, was like, I want, him, I want this to be a movie. I love him. He's such a. Gem is the wrong word, but he is unique beyond him. belief. Yeah, no, I love Nick. I love Nicholas Cage. Wait, uh, yeah, what are these? I think I think these are some of the uh, coders and developers. Yeah. Uh, from the uh, um, Are they? They could see. be references to carry some of the people that got like that got killed or missing in that Bright Falls miniseries too. Oh, that's a good. I wonder if that. No, it's, I don't think it kid. is him. Um, I was gonna say, are these the guys that Alan just we just saw Alan shooting? But yeah, it could very well be. Honestly, that's probably the case. Uh, we're gonna go check out every place other than where we're supposed to go. <laughs> the completionist's nightmare. Like I said, we gotta make this last as long as uh-huh. possible. <laughs> Oh, so someone tried to steal the parade float? Well, we saw it that at, like, some gas station, station in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's true. Oh, there's a page in here. Looks like someone really crashed the garage. Over. Yep, Stucky did. Mm-hmm. So, Stuck, so, so Shadow taken Stucky stole the parade float, and... Yeah. yeah. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. I am. You gotta tell me when you finish the AWE expansion. I gotta just do that there now. Some cool, cool stuff in there, especially at the end. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta get. I got caught up trying to. Um, what's What's the fight in that one you don't have to do? I mean, there's a bunch of side stuff that you, in theory, don't have. The to guy. Do, she's also definitely a Twin Peaks reference. Oh there yeah. Was, there was a there was a the secretary had mm-hmm. a voice that sounded just like that. Um. There's the one boss where you fight him early, but then the he former? runs away and you can finish it after the game. Is that the former with the big eyeball? It's no, it's one of the. Have you started looking for my the first yet? place you fight him is the room with all the pneumatic tubes. Oh, the fir- the flying asshole is it Tomasi? Yes. Yes. The security, the security so I, ch- I was trying to beat him, and I that's and like, then that's what I kind of burned me out. I actually had a harder time with that than any other boss in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but like that just really got me. That's just how he me. moves. Like it should like have the Alan Wake. <laughs> set it right here, so. I need to take this. There you go. It's, it's an unknown way. caller, but he's telling the sheriff who's investigating him, I need to take this. Right. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to. That that kidnapper, that's the guy that was on the ferry. Mm-hmm. There's a hole in the fence on the last one. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page. He could absolutely just hand the phone to the cop. He could. Well, oh, Alan does lots of there. stupid things. <laughs> That's kind of his uh, mo. Yeah, he's not the. I mean, like he gets he, he gets better as as we go on. Oh shit! I can turn it off. <laughs> I've never Those tried that before. Space aliens. 
I've never tried that before. That's amazing. I, I, I didn't realize they... I, w I would have thought it would be unclickable after you turn it on. Yeah, I, I thought so, too. Does he recycle his... He's, oh, nope, he's not happy. He's still mad at us. Uh, all right. Now he's just drunk. <laughs> Is he drunk? I can't tell. He's like drunk and taken. Dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one. That's interesting though, because like the Barbara Jagger one, that yeah. taken or that piece of the darkness does express human into like human yeah, levels into yeah, yeah. greater. Whereas, I, I mean, again, it's like that one seems more human than the other. I mean, others, say the, I mean, the I same as out. the bright, the light presence, you know, True. also has that intelligence. True. On the left. Again, it does, it makes you wonder. Mm -hmm. It really makes you wonder. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for this. Uh, let's just see here. I forgot I wanted, I like pulling up the stream on my phone at the same time so I can really kind of keep an eye on everything. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of viewers and followers on this channel um, that it is like probably 2 or 3 a.m. for them right now. Yeah, I've been noticing that. I think that. as we get into like the, you know, 3, 4, 5 a.m. Well, is when was... we're going to start really seeing people kind of come in probably. There's a number of people that were on, like the the the, the, what, the origin of time or whatever. <laughs> Wait, what? The Greenwich Mean Time, or the, oh, or the yeah, zero yeah, yeah. The zero uh zero hour is a different thing, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Now that was a powerful kick for someone who can't run 20 feet. Maybe that he can jump explosion. really high, but that's it. Maybe. I've that, never seen possible. him. He doesn't jump in a single time in the game other than jumping yeah. off cliffs. No, 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 there's totally a jump button. There is? Yeah, there's some mild platforming puzzles. We've done some, even. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he kind of, like, launches over jump. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's a kind of a bitch jump, but, like... Yeah. <laughs> again, it's like, why can he jump when he can pick Alan, that button? Alan needs a double jump feature. <laughs> Where's my wife? In theory, just he could jump write off of some darkness. Ability. Yeah, just gives himself super like out of all the superpowers, he just makes himself Super Mario. <laughs> hey, uh, we haven't talked about that Mario movie yet. Have we? The only, all of that casting is going to take me out of the movie because it's not the characters' voices that I'm expecting, and I'm going to hear the celebrities. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, you know, I don't disagree with that. However, here's a, here's one counterpoint to that. I there's a video of the video game Mario voice mm -hmm. speaking in like full sentences. And it and would like be rough. It would be and rough. I hate it. I yes. fucking hate All it. All of those characters speaking to. fully. No, you're right. I don't think you shouldn't make this shit in the first place. Yeah. There's no, no reason I agree. to make it in the first place. Um, I the one caveat is that. It's hilarious that Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong because his laugh sounds like the ooh, 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 Donkey Kong sound. And <laughs> that that's the only funny. redeeming feature of that to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just against video game adaptations, to be honest. I just don't like it. <laughs> Most of them don't work out. It's so rare that they're good. I just, and especially movies. Especially movies. TV shows, there's, a little, there's been a little more luck with that in recent times. Witcher, I think, has been good. Um, Castlevania, I think, is genuinely. Like, I think fantastic. animated is the way to do it. Yeah, and even then, only with certain ones. Absolutely. You know, not everything needs to be in every form of media. Like, you remember getting chased around by him in control? <laughs> Isn't that wild to think that's like right? Like, but but in the. Like that voice actor actually uh, in the sadly scenes with died them. between um, oh, really? Alan Wake and Control, so when they changed hear his actor. voice lines. Yeah, that's not the original guy. Well, and I mean, it's even if it was, his voice is so modulated in Control. Yeah. Well, you, you wouldn't have been able audio to tell. recordings before. Oh, like, like, yeah, that's right. And it sounds like it's the same guy. Mm -hmm. They got a really good like impersonator, but. 
See, this is I'd invite kind of you to stay at the lodge as though he's inviting him to, like, stay in a hotel. Right. But he's like, I'm inviting you to stay in an asylum, basically. Alan. Basically. See, that's why I think it would have been funny if you just started trying to fight the radio host. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just have this reaction every time someone Anyone. talks to him. I'm Barry Wheeler. Barry is such as a though anyone's going to know who he is. His Hawaiian shirt and parka, <laughs> his looks, puff coat. It, he's dressed like Fat Mac from Always Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> the Tommy Bahama shirts. Next time we see Barry, like, next game, he's going to be jacked. Just like Mac. He's going to be cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's literally something that He's going to have the same arc as Mac. <laughs> He's just, what is it? I'm building mass. Yeah, he's, I'm, I'm cultivating mass, all right? I'm building mass. Yeah. <laughs> God, what a <laughs> ridiculous arc for that show. Oh, I haven't yeah, watched all of the last season yet, either. Uh, it's, I, I mean, it ha it's not always perfect, right. but, like, God damn, does I think it's pretty consistent for the most part. Um, Considering how long it's been going? She, I mean, look at Supernatural. I'd rather not. <laughs> I know, but like, it I, I really year. loved that show for a while, and they just jumped the shark so many times. I think Supernatural has six really good seasons. Yeah, and it just falls apart like literally. And there's the still movie. fun episodes here and there. That Scooby Doo that one. Scooby Doo one's great. The Scooby Doo crossover is awesome. I'm almost kind of okay with all the shitty seasons just because <laughs> just we, got because that we eventually episode. got that. The whole show, I think, should have become animated, and then it should have just been a Scooby Doo I... show. I, yeah. Or they honestly should've... animated. They yeah. could have done so much more stuff with a lower, without oh, yeah. pouring the amount of money into it. I mean, look at how much recycled animation there is in the original Scooby Doo. They yeah. could have just done that. Yeah. Oh man. The animated Star money. Trek. Is oh the lower decks. like no 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 the, oh, the Star Trek the animated one. series yeah, from the seventies okay, okay. is like knockoff oh, Hanna Barbera God. animation and I love it it's so bad <laughs> like there are whole sequences where like nobody blinks and it's just like you're like you have to tell yourself they're blinking off camera <laughs> because otherwise oh so that thing was maybe gonna move at one point. Oh really? Because he really says he says there's a mammoth-sized hole in the wall, which is like oh, maybe leftover true. dialogue. Oh man, that would have been such a cool fight. Oh man, that would have been such a cool thing. The, to fight like, that. if you look look, look animator, looking right? at those wolves, yeah. that thing moving would have been even well, harder was, than a wolf. The fact that it, it, it it's a skeleton though, they would know what the points to move. Yeah, I think it would have been easier being a skeleton. What True. I love that he told Barry everything. Right. I mean, Alan is one to do those things. Okay, so does Alan have... Does it ever establish that Alan has a history? The, the Barry's Have You Been Drinking line. Yes. There yes. They talk makes about me him think getting about... drunk and beating up a, a Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just another tie-in to him being Stephen King. Right. Like just, just, King's just battle kind of... with alcoholism and cocaine and... Well, as, Ooh, as far as I what know. are the brands? That's it, but... Big stuffer. Jip what is a big stuffer? They look like yummies. Cheetos. Garlic and vinegar. Oh, so it smells like a used jock strap. Those are the flavored chips that they've got there. <laughs> what else? Big stuffer. I can't. That's just. I would uh, not eat a chip called Big Stuffer. Those are the in Max in the original Max Pain games. Those are That's your... your health packs. You get the painkillers out of the medicine cabinets. Nice. That's like straight up taken from Max Pain. And they make it look like a ranger station. See, Honestly, all of more... this, all of this art on the ranger station here, the first time too, even with the like lower graphics, I was just in love with it because it, it's so real. Yeah. It oh, loses yeah. exactly what a ranger station feels like. They do a great job at giving you like. Um, I the really, environments really are kind of breathtaking. Again, like yeah. even as old as it is, like they did a great job. Yeah, creating this absolutely. Up. They did amazing. I'm so happy with this. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. And, hey, and we're gonna right. get a two. Yeah. Uh, Alan Wake two I'm is happening. I'm very excited for that. You can see the. I mean, they maybe even cleaned it up on this, but that dog's shaping is a little. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. There are spots. 
that uh, and some of the side characters like that, like that, you don't see that dog very many times. Right. And he's still talking. Oh yeah, that's probably one of the bears that was gonna move. I bet. Probably. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Just didn't even write on mm -hmm. on the paper. Just like wrote on the. <laughs> also, the fan of those of those pamphlets is a little too even. Yeah. It's perfectly fanned out. <laughs> I it's think they probably rusty. did less work in the character models that don't show up a lot. Yeah. You know, it's like the dog, it's like what you see yeah. this one time. They probably were like, well, we can, you know. Wait, glad to have you go. staying where? At oh, at, we rented another cabin. Okay. Because then we're going to wait. We're there. not going to the lodge. No, no, we're going we're gonna to wait at this new cabin. Uh, is this and... the cabin we were supposed to be at from the start, probably? No, no, this is still somewhere Cause, else. Because we, do we ever see Stucky's cabin that we were supposed to get? I don't think so. I don't think that ever actually comes up in the game. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin This is the way he turned his head. Yeah, the his motions are a little jerky. Like, thanks for I mean, we already got invited to stay in a padded room. Like, true. That is true. Barry, this is not. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Okay, his motion is definitely better here. I'm gonna mute myself for just a second because I don't want to have people listening to me chew. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that back and forth every time. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. Is, uh, is Alan Barry's only client? <laughs> like, is, is Alan just Barry's cash cow? It seems that way, doesn't it? Because I feel like in Undead Nightmare, you hear the interview of Barry talking where he was managing... Uh, yeah, the old gods. Um, yeah. Where he says something about, like, well, after Alan disappeared, I had to find new clients. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? With suppose how popular his books are. No, oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and if the you know if if they've been working together ever since Alan started writing, which is probably a long time at this yeah. point. If he's just just got six or seven Alex Casey, I bet ten books years out. at least because yeah. that's how long it had been since the first Max Payne game came out. Oh so I, yeah, I first, yeah, yeah. I bet in the in the world the first book came out when around he, that same time. Yeah. Oh no, let's not turn those off. <laughs> All right, It'd be great if there were just like lights you could turn off and Taken suddenly swarm you and you could just pop that it back cool. on. That'd be a cool game. Maybe in the sequel? Um, they, there's so something about a secondary... <laughs> there's something <laughs> about a secondary cabin where um, if you go into like the wrong cabin at some point... I think it's before this, before you ever see the Taken... Um, if you look out the window, there's a Taken that rushes past. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's coming up Is that... uh, soon. Yeah, I think that's I think that's not this one, but another one we're going to be able to like kind of explore as we okay. go down the path here. Because cool. I'm pretty sure I remember the moment you're talking about. It's like one where you don't have to see it, or it doesn't it doesn't happen unless you go in there. Ellen, do some fucking exercise. Just like just like a couple squats a day, bud. It's all you Again, maybe some push up, push ups yeah. and like and like a twenty minute walk. Just a twenty minute walk every day. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to run longer than that. I'm not the one who went to go stay at a creepy cabin on the lake though, so <laughs> Yeah. But he knew Alan loved her with an You know, maybe that's good advice. If you're gonna stay at an Airbnb like survival advice. Get fit first. Yeah, yeah. Just if in if case. it's in the middle of the woods and you don't know it. <laughs> and and the guy in the middle of the woods and you don't know what to do some squats. And you're <laughs> That just sounds like advice on how to shit in the woods. Yeah. Which is like, you know, not the worst. Bury it if it's near your campsite. True. I hear that. Attract uh, bears. That's. Bury the keys to the car he rented. Well, can I go get it from him? Right. It wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Fine, Alan. You don't want to take the thing that'll make it convenient, but whatever. <laughs> just, just. I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out. Alan should Alan should be unstrapping that battery and headlamp from the car or and headlights. Yeah. And just make a little backpack rig. Oh, that'd be great. With the battery and put the headlights like. Uh, I don't know. Put one of the headlights as a 
massive headlamp. He's just or something. Yeah. Like, Why does he ever just tools. get a headlamp? Barry does. Yeah, Barry Alan. Does. But Alan's yeah. got to keep his flashlight that he can drop. <laughs> right. Oh, is this the one? It might be. After you turn the radio on is when it happens. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised. Our it might not be this one because I know there's a few that yeah. we can go into in this area. Good father, bad father. That's the title of the book on the end. Oh shit! I didn't even see that. I wonder what that's about. I'm always curious about like the the weird like, just yeah. stuff that litters the backgrounds of games. And uh, these games are so symbolic, and and everything is it's like everything much, is something. Yeah, like there's so much intentional, like yeah. Alan would be a bad father though. Oh, he'd be a terrible. <laughs> he, like, you, you know what though? Kratos turned out to be like a halfway decent father. So if he can do if it, if he can do it, anyone yeah, can. If he can turn around and kind of, <laughs> you know, I still have to. I gotta play. I mean, I haven't played any of those games because I switched right at the wrong console. Right. Well, but, actually, no, that's not true. I had PS2, yeah, but game. I couldn't. I, there was no way I was gonna be able to play that living at my parents' house. Well, that's my that's parents fair. would have hated that game. Yeah. Well, I, you don't think they would have been a big fan of the sex of game? the effort? Yeah. <laughs> well, even in the first two, there's just like the like even with before it's like Aphrodite, there's just random oh, really? like, sex mini games. I didn't yeah. know about that. Yeah. It's yeah, like it's like in The Witcher you where you go, <laughs> like like, I, I maybe it's part of the original books or something that. Uh, I mean, with Witcher, I felt like it was like it was a bit gratuitous. In yeah. God of War, it yes gratuitous, but I also think a lot of that Gre game was Greeks gratuitous. And, the and Greeks, yes, and slash Romans. I know it's not Romans, it's Greeks, but still, the Greeks and the Romans just fucking behaved that way. So like, no, it's yeah, it's I, I, topical I kinda don't there. Care. Like it doesn't bother me in that. Uh -huh. Like it might in something else. The the Witcher one just felt gratuitous. Like and it's worse than the first two. Is it really? And the well, the the first ten hours of the <laughs> first Witcher game fucking suck. You literally have to play through like ten hours of game to get to a to point get where it to starts something where good. it's worth. Playing. And then the second one is good more from the outside. Okay, I get that the car wouldn't right. be useful in the woods, but Alan, you're on yeah. a road here. Yeah, he could get part of the way down. Yeah, he could get part of the. That's why I was like, why? Why not? Like, why not? We got Lovers Peak Moonshine Cave. And Elderwood. Elderwood. All right, got another cabin here. Ooh, I wish we could go inside the RVs. Yeah, does, does the RV have a door? It does, but it doesn't. Or, well, actually, you know what? I don't it think doesn't. it does. I guess it's on no, the it side with oh, the fence. Yeah, just to, you know, tell you you can't go in there. Uh huh. Again, with the kicks, like, it's like you can't yeah. do anything else, but. <laughs> Night Spring. Oh shit, here we go. It's up in my cup. Okay, I would All love right, to see episode? them do a mini series of Night Spring. Oh, like do like an actual like Like TV Bright show? Falls, but yeah. That would be Do a web awesome. series of See, now I think the the experiment of doing the T V episodes in Quantum Break is interesting in theory, but yeah, it kind did of poor in execution. Yeah. Terrible even. <laughs> At times, certainly. Um Third. Part, of, part of the problem is that Remedy was going to make it all in-house, but they their budget dried up, and they ended up having to outsource oh. it to another company, and that's part of why they're not as good as they could have been. Mm -hmm. But like, st as like standalone ep things that are released in a separate format, like the like, Bright Falls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like they, if they had done that, it would have been better. Mm -hmm. They could do something like that with the Night Springs. I mean, yeah, it doesn't even have to totally. Or they could do a more connected. of a sequel and just have but a But the fact that it. Alan wrote Bright Springs episodes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can have little bits of detail in there that tell you about that where it's Alan's where it's Alan like affecting it from the dark place, like he did with American Nightmare. Yeah. Well, there's uh, there is some interesting. Interesting documents that you have not seen yet. In yeah. 
and I, I know I AWE. Anything else? <laughs> but like, there's some there's some I, interesting stuff you still you haven't quite seen yet. I'm so tempted to try to find all the documents. So okay, as you like, because yeah. you like rank up, you know, in your in mm-hmm. your. Do you ever hit a point where whole documents are unredacted? No. Or, is stu- or is stuff always redacted? No, that's okay. part of the. That's just part of the world building. Yeah, like that's just there for the fun. In fact, uh, uh, the website Rageflect, which is like that's like my favorite like video game like yeah. let's play like pod video game podcast website. Uh, it's a Jeff and Amanda uh, were the hosts. They did a whole control playthrough, and I watched a bunch of it. And anytime there's a something redacted, they would just read it as the word goat instead of saying the word redacted. So like the go- the goats are being processed for goat, and the, like it, just, it was it was funny. It was funny. Oh I would gosh. love to see because I mean each of the words was spaced correctly or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see people Sometimes trying you can to even go tell through. What they, yeah, there were times when you could totally. Well, and tell other stuff gone. like refer. You can figure it out when the documents referred to each other. Yep, you yep, could, yep. Because. It was only redacted on one of them, and the other half was redacted yeah, yeah. on the other one. Um, the, do you remember the Futurama version of the, the Twilight Zone? The scary door? No. <laughs> I have not. I I've seen a bunch of that, but... like, episodes here and there, a bunch of episodes, but I've never watched the whole thing through. Oh, like Futurama? Mm-hmm. The, the first four seasons and then the four movies are excellent. They were okay. resurrected. I didn't even know for, there were movies. Yeah, so they so it had four seasons. It had a really good ending, and then they they brought, they came back and did four movies, and all of them are great. Hmm. And then also has a really good series finale. In, so two series finales that are both really good. Yeah. And then they brought it back uh, for TV, did another four seasons, and I wasn't a huge fan of this. Okay. Um, it kind of turned into the same writing problem I have with the later Simpsons seasons. Yes. Yeah. Where, because the, 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 for 20-minute episodes, right, the kind of that kind of format, I think the, the way that those are meant to be written is you spend two minutes creating a problem, mm-hmm. and you spend 19 minutes solving that problem. Yeah. And part of the problem with later seasons of The Simpsons and the, basically the second half of the Futurama show is that they start spending 19 minutes creating a series of events that lead to kind of a random mishmash of problems, and then it's solved in yeah. two minutes at the end. Um, and they, can, they kind of invert mm-hmm. the storytelling mechanics, and I think, I, yeah, it fails it's, it's, a it's, bit. It's, they, they got lazy. Yeah. They got lazy with it. And it's disappointing, because I think Futurama is one of the clever, those first four seasons, the cleverest shows ever. Yeah. So, The Simpsons. Seasons three through like nine of The Simpsons, I think, are peak counterculture <laughs> television. Yeah, so goddamn funny. But uh, and and it was so, like I I, I watched a, uh, an episode recently, um, and they made a, a reference to Geraldo Rivera and uh, Al Capone's vault. Do you remember that in the nineties, early two no. thousands? I can't remember if it was the nineties or the early two thousands. But do you know Geraldo Rivera, the reporter? He works on he works on Fox News nowadays. No, um, I don't he was a big, so. big journalist. I, I don't remember where he worked at the time. It was either CNN or NBC or, 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 NBC or one of those. Uh-huh. Um, but there was this absolutely massive news story and like build up to, to him getting be, basically being the journalist that got mm. to, that gets to open Al Capone's vault. And he's like, oh my god, oh, there's gonna yeah, be all okay. this art that he stole. There's gonna be all this yeah. money. There's all these priceless things. And they opened it up. There's literally nothing, nothing in there. And Geraldo Rivera was a laughing stock for years <laughs> in just in general pop culture. Yeah. Because of it, like he, they, the people just relentlessly mocked him over the fact that, that did not turn out how because he he made a lot of big claims. Right. Right. If right. He hadn't He's said like, anything, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, ooh, hidden thermos. If he hadn't said anything, people wouldn't have. Yeah. Like, exactly. Made fun of him, but he made he such hyped big it up. promises. Hold on. Rusty, yep, we gotta, gotta we're check out these first. other <laughs> screaming pain. Right, isn't that Rusty? For a minute. We just rusty, read about yes. Rusty, so yep. yeah. Yeah, he's the one that loved the coffee at the beginning. Yeah. And he was checking out the dog. Yeah. I also think that these pages are. I, I always thought this was such a clever storytelling mechanic, mm-hmm. just because like with the game at the the, ta- the time that this game was made, and also this was not like the biggest budgeted thing in the right. world anyway, right? Yeah. Um, 
and having those pages around was a really good way I thought I always thought of like conveying some storytelling that was exposition on and well exposition and, and emotion then, emotion and like uh, uh, explaining things on a scale that the game engine didn't necessarily have the capability of uh, showing yeah, you in totally. real time. Um, and and but still being able to have those visceral moments described to you by an mm-hmm. interesting uh, perspective. Just, yeah, or... like it was. Yeah, it's just a cool. I just I love this. The game. omniscient I always narrator. Thought this was so underrated. Which so which underrated. is such a almost essential thing in horror fiction of yeah. Uh, of building ominous tension from the outside. Yeah. It can't all come from just following Alan. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There's got to be something extra. I mean, that's why you have scenes in horror uh, where, you know, you cut away and have somebody get killed for a single scene. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's the, that's the whole reason that stuff oh. like that happens. Um, I, if I finished all three of the Fear Street... Recently. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Right, right. How uh, fun yeah, slashers? Um, and not, I guess not. Not all of them are slashers. Okay, it kind of bounces, uh, sub- bounces around. The sub-genre. first one is like there's definitely some supernatural stuff going on as well. Okay, like um, Michael Myers, Jason, where it's just like the slashers, immortal kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, and you're you're fighting a, a force that's unknown to them throughout the movies. Okay. Is it the same? It, there was nothing super anthology? unique. It wasn't groundbreaking. What's okay. that? Was it was it? Is it an anthology or is it it's, a continuous thing? It's continuous. You're going. Each movie is going backwards in time. So you start in '94, and the complaints I read. About about that one were that it spent a lot of time on the nostalgia or spent a lot of sh- screen energy sure. on establishing, hey, it's the 90s. Remember the 90s? So, like, uh, that was a big criticism I had of the second season of Stranger Things, where, like, the first season yeah, felt yeah, really yeah. natural about the 80s references, but then... And it's the like second one, it was kind of forced. Yeah. Yep. Like, let's have a tent, like, fucking five-minute no scene of them trick-or-treating as the Ghostbusters. Remember yeah. the 80s? Um, so I had a little bit of that, um, Banking too hard the, on the second the one is, dead. yeah, the second one is the 70, is 1978, you're at a, at a camp, so it's a, you know, camp slasher, right. a lo- love, love letter to the, hunters, hunters, all of those, um, and then there's, um, like the third one, and and even even the twists like, you know, that are supposed to be like, the the mind blowing moments, you could you Not can right. kind of see them coming. Right. But it's it's, hard it's for still me successful. To be surprised, just in general, by yeah. movies. Especially the mammoth yep. size yep. hole in the wall. I, it's, I feel like it's that's not, not the size of the mammoth though. And also that mammoth, we could literally see it right mm-hmm. here, and that's not how big that is. <laughs> yeah. It's a truck size. For such hole. a for a writer, that's not a very very good comparison there, Alan. He's all about uh, hyperbole. That's true. That's true. He was still like leaning on the roof after he fell off it. Rusty, Rusty, why does Rusty have these super speed powers? Uh, I think it's just any. Any character that's like a named character that gets turned, yeah, just does it. It's just like no matter what, because why did Stucky? Right. Yeah. Well, that's a, like <laughs> it's anyone who exercises more than Alan. <laughs> Alan would be this yeah. fast when he sprinted if uh, if he just if he just got off his desk every once in a while. He's partying all the time. That looked like, like, does he yeah. not dance? Does he not get any exercise? Did you just like stay in one spot, dude? Come on! <laughs> I remember You're this me. being. You just. Uh, it's like fighting. It's like uh, if it's like if you had a Peter Pan game and you had to do a fight against his shadow. There we go. 
<laughs> Alan's just emptying clips into... Like, if the sheriff showed up right now, Alan would get shot. Yeah, under a thin layer of you disobeyed the park ranger's instructions. Funny. <laughs> I never went and got all the achievements for this game on yeah. the original 360 version, but I do think I'm going to actually... I'm going to try and platinum this. Well, yeah. There's, I mean, oh, there's shit. the extra pages line. in Nightmare that give you more story already. There's, I bet there's a trophy for shooting that out of um, here. Can you? I'm pretty sure you can. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Um, Let's just put some distance and see if we can get him yeah. to throw one. Damn. Well, yeah, that's going to be tough. There's also a the stockpile of ammo nearby, so I want to Yeah, you may now. as well. <laughs> Rather than doing it like, it probably also happened by accident at some point. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Alan! Throw one! Throw it! Now he's coming at me. Alright, whatever. Bye, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. There'll be plenty see. of those guys. There'll be opportunities. Plenty of opportunities. I saw I saw this game described uh, as um, like a non a non it's some uh, a horror a horror game for someone who can't handle spooky. It's yeah, not about it's jump scares. It's all, not about like it's. It belongs it's conceptual horror more than it is. Yeah, yeah. Like it's I mean it's certainly not Midsummer or Hereditary. <laughs> no. Um, Just watched Midsummer again actually the yeah. other night. Weird ass movie. But it's you know, it's horror concepts, but when it comes to the actual action, it's an action game. Yeah, yeah, it's totally still an action. Well, the way I would describe it, or I have described it, is it's it belongs in the weird. It's like it's literally weird like fiction. A, yeah, it's yeah. weird fiction. Like that's a whole. That's like For that's sure. actually the name of the genre. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of popped up. Control is too. Control is yes, weird. Yes, absolutely. Horror. Um, even though it's, I don't think Control is almost scary at all. Right. Except for you have the, the expansion, maybe. But. Well, and the like, think the, the idea the of concepts. the founders and yeah. such. That's very eldritch, it's very scary. creepy. Yes, but yeah. its presentation isn't necessarily horrifying right. Right. in the active sense. Other than that one, is it? Is it the former that's the big creepy monster at the bottom, uh, underneath? The I don't remember. It's got like the one eye, it's like green. Kind of looks like a but that's the one that like pops up in a couple different places and you can... Yeah. The, but that, that uh, the four, I think that's going to be a big, big part, part of, of Control 2. I mean, I well, yeah, Control because you what, what is it. developing that part of this is what used to be this used to be part of the, well, it's literally called the, form, the board right it's, it's and it's not the, the board name. anymore which, which implies that the board is multiple entities to uh -huh. begin with Let which also make like what are those <laughs> yeah well yeah what are those and why do why why do we keep trusting them right i mean i don't yeah i don't right but i mean why or why has the bureau continued to trust them i guess right. is what i mean well, there's some interesting stuff in, like, the Foundation where it talks about mm -hmm. how, like, Northmore was the first yeah. one chosen by the by the board, but there had been other directors before that. Site of oh, yeah. bootlegger activity throughout pro their Prohibition. And also the Anderson brothers. Yeah. Because they mm -hmm. do that, too. Um, but, uh, but, like, it did, it's, you know, it kind of, there was this impression that uh, Northmore may have even killed, like, the director before him, perhaps, mm -hmm. because the board told, like, the bo yeah, the board is a oh, manipulative entity. Like, in the board itself. came in and was like, hey, you're going to be the new director, you've got to take out what, the other what dude. What you answered to us. Yeah. Right, and the previous directors from before Northmore did not. Right. So there's something interesting going on. Yeah, there's so many things, there's so many weird threads in control that it's like, what are they, where They're is building this even so going? Much. It feels like it kind of feels like some of it might get dropped though, 
right? Some of like, them might. Some of them because I think you have you There's can't expand in all those directions unless well maybe some you of do an directions. MCU level like it does kind of spread. Seem like and I would love to see that in this universe, but I just how far can they really yeah. take it? And and you know, ten years down the road, if they're still making this universe, well, hey, how much do they have to? Then, yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, ten years down the road, we'll have two more games. Right. Um, <laughs> I think, I think no, their production yeah. is ramping up a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and they've been, long, they've so. been hiring like mad. If you look at... Uh, God, okay. Oh, they got me. That's the first time I've died. Um, well, what is it called? There's a website where you can just like look at what game companies are hiring and... And then people take that and try to predict what games are coming out. Um, Do I need to go get the supplies again? That is a good question. You well, keep well. the pages, but yeah, I might as well go look. And if while we, you're already, do you tired. have do you have the shotgun that you just picked up? No, no. Okay, so, so I do have to yeah. pick that up. How does he keep losing the shotgun though? He's picked up twenty shotguns uh, by now. Every, oh, the cop and the stuff. Co yeah, well, every time every an episode chapter. ends, your resources yeah. are kind of reset. So that's why there's like there's no point in hoarding your ammo mm -hmm. for like a tough situation for the most part in this game because you unless just, you're right before a boss fight and you know it, right? You may but, like, as well spend it. For the most it. part, it's like I feel like the flares were the only one that I the the flares and flare gun were the only ones that I was like cautious about. Yeah, especially revolver ammo. You can find that anywhere. When I feel like, uh, you know, every time, every I'm pretty sure every the end of every episode, no matter how the next mm -hmm. one starts, it resets whatever you have. Yeah. Good God, he runs so badly. I mean, I guess I appreciate that he's not just like a complete athlete because he's Constant a schlubby writer, sprint. but yeah. like, at the same time as a gameplay mechanic, it is a little bit like, all right, come on, dude. <laughs> Let's move a little faster. So if you just go out onto the bridge and stand and point back at them, are they just kind of stuck in your flashlight beam? They'll still kind of come at you, but cover their eyes a little bit. Got it. Like at first, like it, they'll yeah. like at first they'll like fall back, but then they'll kind of like they'll get brave. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Especially the big dude. We haven't run into uh -huh. the, like the tank characters at all yet, or the tank enemies, but. God, I just, I already really think the lighting in this game is very well done. But yeah. can you imagine the full power of the next-gen console behind Alan Wake 2? Right. Well, yeah, The for a game for a game where light is so important, you have to get your lighting perfect. And, like, the, having the ray tracing and uh -huh. everything, like, it's going to look it's, so good. It's a level, it's, it'll level it up for sure. I just, like, I can't even... I mean, I guess control gives you a bit of an idea. So this is also how they give you other characters' perspectives, too. Yeah. I forgot that. Yep. Because I was like, Al, Barry's the only one who calls him Al. Yep. And then yeah. Because, yeah, it this is, is Barry. This is totally from Barry's perspective. Which is another, not not that not that he by any means coined or, or created it. But Stephen King loves changing perspectives. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's definitely it's not an original idea for sure, but like he does do it a lot. Is there stuff on? No. Um, oh yeah. So my my <laughs> one of the reasons my friend who first introduced me to this game gave it to me was because he was there in a in high school choir when I got my first detention. Oh um, yeah. For reading a Stephen King book behind my choir music, <laughs> which. Was this a Catholic school? <laughs> I'm like... I okay. I on the one hand, like come on. On the other, like if I was a director of a choir, I, I would be insulted know, I, by yeah, that. Yeah, that's it, fair. it was definitely disrespectful. At the same time, I'm amazed. I was the only one who actually like looked at the music outside a choir because I was a huge music nerd, so I knew it already. Right. So it's like <laughs> from my perspective, you. I was like, why? Why do I have to spend all this time when I'm doing yeah, I'm, when game. I'm doing the homework for it? 
No, yeah. that's yeah. I definitely understand your reasoning, but I guess I could I could understand that choir director. <laughs> yeah, too. no, I'm I just could, like get both. Yeah, yeah. Looking back, we were uh, we fell we by were lightning the best. in 1937. This exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir it was over 200 years old, according to local legend. Stretched beyond the stars after it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. The great old one, though. What a name for it. I know, right? I, I love that um, Control leaned even more into the oh, the yeah, weird fiction. Really eldritch, like, um, yeah, big bizarre. unknowable beings. Uh, and also, like with what the former what the former is visually depicted uh -huh. as, like it, if you got to see the entire board at some point physically depicted, like how oh, crazy could man. that be? I mean, they could go so weird with the creature designs. And each of the, each, of, you know, you can have all of them. I would love to see something where it's like all of these separate, uh, you know, eldritch entities that have become merged into like, one like they're starting to. Uh, yeah. like gummy bears on a hot day, right? <laughs> like they're well, starting to combine. This guy right is just gonna get it. his one last pot shot in before you get the light on. <laughs> He's like, "Well, fuck you then." Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, absolutely. I like that comparison. Gummy bears on a hot day. That's a great. I I recently I'd did love that. To see that so. though. Oh, you re actually did <laughs> I that. I left That's him great. in the car, and it was one big gummy block. I know. I know. Um, it was gross. It was like oily. Don't. Don't do it. If you if your gummy bears melt, I don't recommend just, just, trying to just, eat them. Just, just throw them start away. over. Yep. <laughs> uh, my sister's boyfriend um, once um, went on a camping trip and just like had they had like five bags of Skittles and they picked out all the red ones and soaked them in vodka for like a day before they went. And then they just ate the, like, and they, they, like, drained the color out of them, so they're mm -hmm. all white. Well, yeah, because, like, Vodka, they're all the same yeah. thing, they just have different... Yeah. I don't know if they're the same flavor. Everyone says they are, and it's just, like, your brain adding well, differences. That's that say? The Taken are filled with dark... No shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're Thank not you, only Captain. filled with darkness, they're covered in it, surrounded by it, like... They're they... talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, like, everything that you... Like, literally in every possible way. What? So, would you say you got some sour candy here? Oh, yeah. They are... What's Warheads the... Galactic Mix Cubes. I haven't had a Warhead in a long time. And by Galactic Mix, what they mean is it's covered in black sugar that turns your mouth black. That's fun. Or, it, you know, it starts blue, but, like, by your third one... My mouth was already looking black. So raspberry, oh cosmic punch, and black hole cherry. Ah! Oh god, there's like a yeah, they're throwing a lot of them already. But I, I figured how quickly it starts ramping up. I figured they'd be. Uh, oh no, I wasted that. Well, it went I went right so in between them. Wasted that. Uh, I figured the the candy that turns your mouth black is perfect for a, for a, a game <laughs> with a horror game where people are turning into darkness. Yeah. So if we start talking about what was uh what was oh, that one? Oh wow! I oh, thought I'm I thought down. you had one more down. hit. I don't know if I can. Ooh. Nice dodge. And yep, they got. I think I knew they were gonna you, get me. You could only dodge one of those if they're like an eighteenth of a second apart. Yeah, put us right in front of that message. <laughs> They're like, hey, read that. In case you didn't figure it out yeah. already. In case you just, you I know. tried to tell you. I'm gonna shove it in your face now. Not that Alan Wake is like the most subtle game in the world. <laughs> yeah, Certainly fuck not. Big guy. Well, I mean that's fitting. He's not exactly a subtle writer. No. I don't think anyone who writes. Uh, hard-boiled detective stories that's tends true. to be subtle. That's true. Because yeah, that's the thing is, if he was, he's not normally a horror writer. Right. He works with subtlety. He wanted to transition into horror writing from 
Yeah. His Alex Casey Ooh, stuff. Right here. Uh, big flappy. Oh, that's part of that tree. Yeah. Dates from 1846, the year of the Oregon Treaty. I don't know anything Trier about the cut. Oregon Treaty. <laughs> Could it, it mean it? I mean, it could be totally. Well, it's it's from Bright Falls, so it's not real. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, Bright Falls Mining Co. closes its doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron mm -hmm. Lake. Yep. Wait. And the, so there, there was, was a volcanic vol eruption. Oh, 1970. Yep. Yeah. So okay. 1853, Washington Territory was formed. 1878, the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the town itself. 1889, Washington was granted statehood. 1929, tree damaged in forest fire. 1970 is a volcanic eruption. 1980 was another vol uh, uh, volcanic eruption, and then in 87, tree was uh, the tree was felled by a storm. Oregon Treaty in 46, we bought Oregon from the UK. Okay, so I guess that was something that did happen. The area had been jointly the occupied since the Treaty of 1818. Lovers. Jointly occupied. What an on-point uh, way to state that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's taken a little bit of the bite out of the, <laughs> out of the, out of, out of the truth of that situation. Yeah. Yeah, Agent Agent Nightingale. Nightingale, first time we've got. You remember him, uh, how he talks to Alan every time he's on screen? He's like, "Get back here, Stephen King." I'm going to get you, Susan B. Anthony. Yeah. And just every time he's got a... Well, Susan B. Anthony is not one of them, but... <laughs> I don't know I why wish. that's what came to my head. But <laughs> that is not one of the lines that he says. <laughs> it's a cable car. I always... Um, I always forget that... I always think that the character in the Hulk is called Betsy Ross, like... The, oh. who who did the flag or whatever. Oh. <laughs> um, not Benny Ross. And every time I see something Hulk where that character shows up, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm going to add it's not... the 22-hour stream. Yeah, if the people... Just like, and say, I mean, put full game in there, too. Like oh, that's Alan true. Alan Wake full game. That's true. Yeah, full game... 22 hour stream. Let's just, yeah, just so people get to like they if they look at the title, it'll tell them. Yeah. yeah. Just help, just help with that just a little bit. I don't know. I think I Jim think so jo many people are asleep right now. I don't know who this dude is, but he looks like the collector. <laughs> oh, he does. Huh. Did you see the text that James Gunn's been getting for like four straight years? Apparently. No. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up real quick. Did I delete? Oh, okay, hold on. Am I recently deleted? Okay, so James Gunn has been getting this text for four years straight, and he hasn't blocked this number. So will you put a ferret, all caps ferret, in Guardians of the Galaxy 3? I know you saw this in uh, parentheses. I'm, I'm from STL2. Do it for the homies. <laughs> Just that text over, over and, and over, over again for four years. Do it for the homies. Do it for the homies. Cut. And, and James Gunn does. Uh, see, I would do that though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> block that number. I would just laugh at it every time yeah. I got the text. I already have people I do that with. I okay. I saw something that the first mutant in MCU is that Ursa character in Black Widow. Might. Oh, the, not, uh, no, no, what I uh, what I saw, uh, the background I guess they didn't, maybe they didn't see that one or something, but they were saying it might be Santa, because Santa's an Omega-level mutant, canonically. When, when did they ever have Santa in the MCU? In the Guardians holiday special that's coming up. Oh, do you, are they going to have Santa? They might have Santa. Santa. Oh, that'll, that'd be interesting. He's uh, on, I mean, Santa is on one of the things... But we don't is know he? if he's actually in it or if it's just telling you that it's a holiday special. Interesting. Okay. He's just like on one of the posters behind them <laughs> or something. That would okay. That would be a really weird introduction to mutants. Right, right. I feel like they wouldn't get into that he's a mutant. Probably not. Maybe they would later though. But but yeah. Okay, so now this is our flare tutorial because we don't have a gun. Only he has. Only the kidnapper has a gun. So now we have to tutorialize the flare usage. Oh yeah. Well, he shoots everything for us. 
Uh, this is probably another reason my friend was never going to replay this game. It, uh, he will literally not play games if the tutorial is on rails. He'll just quit. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I understand. He's that, like, I've played video games so much. Sequence. Well, yeah. yeah. Like it's only like a little bit of the game. And I feel like the game doesn't tutorialize very much. Right. Like, it's no, like, it's absolutely. It's a couple of parts. I agree. But, like, so he. Uh, he uh, really ended up liking. Um, really anything. Uh, um, anything kind of open world. He really liked. Um, the old. The. All, all the New Vegas, I think, was his favorite, but the other two, he liked, he didn't play the stories of the Fallout and Skyrim and stuff. Right but away, he just goes wandering off into the woods and just experiences the world, which I think might be, the, in for some ways, games, a better way to yeah. play that. I agree, especially for Fallout 3, because I think the main story is complete ass in Fallout 3. Well, I hate it. I really you hate had it. already seen it, because wasn't the story kind of recycled from the other games. Yeah, it was like this copy-paste mishmash, except they left out like most of the actually interesting parts. I Got thought. it. Like, there's just, there's just so much more with the mutants in the original games. Like, the mutants are really these really interesting characters. Mm. They have like this, this weird society that we get really into, and they just ignore And they've just become that. orcs, they're just, basically. Yeah, they're, they're just really just uninteresting. Oh my god! Nightingale is just yelling, get some at this taken. Oh, that's, uh, that's Mott. We or actually this is, wait, this oh, is this is the kidnapper. Yep. That's right. Although I actually don't know if we know that yet, although I feel like it should he be didn't goddamn say, obvious. He, he hasn't, yeah, he hasn't said anything yet. He's like, I think he's just pretending to be a dude that we ran that's into That's helping in the you, woods yeah. Right now. Ellen's plan there, like, is not a good plan. To wait till they get immediately up next to you. Well, just like, just like, or I guess it's not Ellen's plan, it's kind My of Mott's plan. plan. Oh, well, or his plan, yeah. To just... Of, of like, you just stand there and I'll try to rip these boards off this thing with my bare hands. He, he didn't have a crowbar. Right. And also, like, who's going to shoot them? Well, you're fucking doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's a, there's no there's there's no one with a weapon. What happened to the like canon like in story? What happened to the guns Alan has? Uh, and, they, they 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 show him. They actually in the one of the last cutscenes that they they really showed him attack, they showed him like dropping drop it. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, like basically right as this guy shows up. Yeah. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. That's just a cliff. <laughs> oh, the first time I played this game. I totally forgot until I saw that cliff. I fell off a cliff into a checkpoint area, but it was a cliff that it was like a dying height. So every time it reloaded, I died. Oh, and I had to start, start the, the chapter. Over. Well, I just had to start the chapter oh, over, okay. thankfully. Yeah. Now it's a lot more clear that this guy is not, not on our side. Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes you, you, you can take get and gotta motion. chill for a second. Yeah. No, so it'll do the slow motion just for taking out a regular flare. Yeah. Gotta get that coffee. Yeah, exactly. Coffee break. I also I love Coffee I break love is worth getting hit in the face with back, a scythe. Back, you bought yourself some breathing time with the flare. I've done that several times though, so right. like, why is it? Maybe it was now? right when you were about to get attacked. Uh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose. Oh, I thought that was the sound of Mott getting, like, hit. <laughs> He's not very helpful in, like, save. Yeah, Look at this aim! A lot of these shots, dude. I could have killed this, this guy, guy, like, five this times guy already. is a hunter who lives in, like, a hunting community. And he okay. can't... Finally, dude. Dude. And I can't run for shit, so, like, I really need you to do something. You know, like... Because I remember thinking that the um, AI for like Barry and the Sheriff, like a little later in the game, were pretty decent at taking enemies out. 
Yeah. But this guy is not. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. Why aren't you helping? <laughs> Why don't you have a light? How have you survived this far without a light? Yeah, right? Kill him. That's the... What that okay. dude is from the last round of enemies. Or the previous round. I was like, how are you still not getting this dude? I always thought that when you're close enough to them, the muzzle flare should count. It should. Oh, and should also do more. Yeah, yeah. Then bonus damage. Of course, he's going to take forever to kill the big guy. There we go. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> like, they're never going after. They're going towards him, but they're going after. He's us. Yeah. Where's my wife? I knew he's not going to take that. damage. It all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna learn about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. Is he taken? Like, what is no. he talking about? He's, well... Oh, he's, that's right, this is the misery plot line. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh... That's right. He's working for somebody. He wants, he wants Alex Casey brought back, right? Or... Well, he so what what we know is he kidnapped or he wants the wife some kind of writing, and he wants hit the pages. At this yeah. point in the story, we don't really know why. Um, yeah, but we, I feel like we've talked about so many other things about the game story that I, yeah, he's working for Hartman. That's right. And he wants he wants Hartman. He wants Alan to finish the book, right? Mm -hmm. So he's like antagonizing him into giving him all the pages. The pages but, we've been collecting, basically. Yeah, but but these but this dude also doesn't quite understand the full scope of what's going on either. So he's like asking for There's these pages. There's a manuscript page back there. It is. It's also the way we're supposed to go. So oh, I just want to check yeah. Out. Yeah. I don't think I ever I knew. I saw this one something back here. Um. Yep. The Gwen Mott yeah, said, yeah. "I." Or I don't remember who said it. Someone said, like, oh, Alan said it. If you hurt Alice, I swear... Five of the hidden chests? Cool. Nice. I swear I'll kill you. The way he said it made me think of... In my point of view, the Jedi are evil. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nick Cage in Wicker Man again. Oh, I swear oh, to God, I will show you. I swear to God, I will show you. Yeah. And, he, and then he round, starts roundhouse kicking all of the Like, villains. yeah. I wanted it to just turn into an action movie. <laughs> just like the last there. 20 minutes are John Wick of yeah. them just killing How this much entire even village. even more entertaining would that movie be if that's what happened? Honestly, their response of burning him alive would have made more sense. Paging Mr. Wake have discovered 25 manuscript pages. <laughs> yeah, no, it would have, though. It absolutely would have. You bitches! You're doing it all for nothing! Killing me will bring back your goddamn honey! But, but I, I know, know it will. will! Have you ever watched the commentary track for that? Oh my <laughs> they god, think the it's commentary the is hilarious! They love it. He thinks it's like Apocalypse Now! <laughs> He's talking about like the good and evil. I forgot he makes that. Literally, he makes that comparison, right? Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> and to a specific scene, too. Not even the whole movie, but just the scene where he's arguing with Sister Summer Isle for the first time. <laughs> oh, these are the uh, fiery chutney lemon. Mm. Super hot is the spice level. I would say, like. <coughs> Bits of a properly time. unmuted. Even that one bite I had was too much. Oh really? It's like I mean, too much in terms of talking for a for right, a, right. a stream. Oh yeah, that's video game news. I don't know if we've talked about the Nickelodeon All Star All Star Brawl somehow actually looking good. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it looks a little Smash rip offy. Yeah, it's all. But, it's, uh, it's completely. Yeah. But you know what? If That's you okay. rip off something good, it, you know, and you do your work. Yes, it, if you do it, it well. It can work. I mean, like, if we didn't have rip offs, of we wouldn't characters. have a second story in any genre. Yeah, we wouldn't have Oreos. Everything at this point is, is a rip off, of, or not rip off, but. 
building on previous ideas that have done the same thing. Yeah. So. Well, like, we wouldn't have Oreos. You know, Oreos are a ripoff. Right? Of, of Hydrox, is that right? I think that's a cleaning prod, actually. Well, it's, it's, some, maybe, it's something, with an, it's something that sounds like... Um, I might be thinking of Clorox. That's a cleaning prod. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the bleach cookies. Original Oreos were... Yeah, Hydrox, Hydrox. cookies. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, because I, I remember it because it sounds, sounds like... like bleach in it. It sounds like a cleaning product. <laughs> oh wait! Oh shit! That's not a manuscript page. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine Billy Mays doing the commercial for those cookies? But wait, there's more. These ones are double stuffed. <laughs> They'll give you diabetes say, faster. Especially now, like these ones are pumpkin. These ones are this. These ones are that. Oh my god. Oreo has a goddamn identity crisis, and it needs to fucking stop. You know in China? I saw someone talking about the only reason I go to the grocery store in person these days, now that I can get it delivered, is to see what those psychopaths at Oreo have come up <laughs> know, with. Right? Well, it's such a good way to describe it, though, because these people, they, they don't... Eventually there's just going to be one that actually has toothpaste in it. Oh, probably, dude. They're, like, they're, you, they're, could, you don't have to brush your teeth. Just eat these cookies. They're like Victor Ooh, Frankenstein. Ooh, I think it's a tr uh, trophy if you shoot all the can pyramids. There's also uh, one of those can pyramids totally uh, makes an appearance in a the AWE expansion for Control nice. as a reference. But That's no, they awesome. uh, in China, they have uh, they have both wasabi-flavored Oreos and uh, buffalo chicken wing-flavored Oreos. Neither of those needed to happen. No, they didn't. But, but like, know, honestly, I, people at Oreo. If if I didn't have to buy a whole package, right? I want a package that is just one of pack. each or yeah. a couple of each of the really bizarre flavors. I'd be willing to put myself through trying all those for the stream. Yeah, it's like it's, <laughs> I do, um, do it. It's like my friends and I have for a long time. Yeah. Now it's just a nightmare to try to do it with how many different things, but doing a monster tasting of every monster to try to find what the best flavor of monster is. Well, Michael now that you have Monster did. Hydro True. and... Michael does literally just drinks every flavor of Mountain Dew that they come out with anyway. Yeah, I know people flavor. collect those with Mountain Dew. Michael will literally buy a 12-pack of a flavor he hasn't tried, end up hating it, and then forcing himself to drink it over the course of like a year Because he's bought it now. Yeah, he's like, I bought it, I'm fucking drinking it. If you're gonna... Okay, what I do with... My, what I do with soda is... It, what I do with a soda if I don't like it... You gotta find a cocktail you can make with it yeah, that makes it better. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because then you're adding other juices, you're adding other flavors. If it's too sweet, you add the bitterness of like a whiskey. If it's not, you add like a Malibu. There's there's ways to tweak like a bad asshole, soda. Like some... <laughs> yeah, you're gonna make that work. <laughs> make your friends drink it. <laughs> make your friends drink it. Yeah, no, that's like right. make a make a. Oh my god. You get out of here. This guy. This sir. <laughs> sir. Okay, I'm gonna I need you to leave, sir. They're just like and that that throw hit can the they, bottom of the oh, post. They can, He's, they can climb their way up here. We need a little bit of presence of mind. Ah. Nope, but there's guys up here. Isn't there a generator somewhere around here? Yeah, right there. Is it? I don't know, that's just a box. No, uh, there was, I think there was one behind you. Oh, was there? Yeah. Well, I actually, I like the hunting. Or at least there was a green light. I don't know if it was a generator. <laughs> he didn't dodge at all. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They're all right next to me. <laughs> all of a sudden. This is the worst. You, yeah, I was gonna Can say, you, you need the hunting rifle out right now. There. Oh shit, there it is. Okay. Get out of here. There we go. Force you fuckers to leave me alone. <laughs> I really like that <laughs> none of the generators in this town are like up capped enough to start on the first crank. Well, They're <laughs> all old and rusty. Who's hanging out in all these cabins? Out well, here? I mean, I always assumed that like some of this is like. People have started using it as like a hunting stand. Yeah, that's probably true. Or that's like, or like, you know, where they go to stop for lunch on their hunting trip. Right. 
I need to get a better headset that's just more comfortable for longer periods of time, too, at some point, because I swear my headset is, it's fine, but, like, I don't know, after a long enough session yeah. sometimes, I could... Like I had to, to look for one that weird. was big, that goes over the whole ear. It's but... it, do I have Obama ears? Are my ears big? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the problem? I... I know I have... Like... I don't know if my I... dad wearing a hat and his ears are huge. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a... I think it's a Nordic thing, too. Is it? Yeah. I mean, my I grandpa my, has my huge last ears. Is Nordic, but my name... Well, I'm Italian, <laughs> but you're, so yeah. I don't know how that happened, but... Somebody moved Nordic somewhere. Is that, is that a thing, uh, though? You, I don't know if it's a thing outside of my family, oh, but my... It's one of those lesser from my, from my grandma and grandpa. Uh, I don't know if it's big ears, but, like, ears that are just, like, dumbo, like, flat out from your head. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> that reminds me, though, of... Uh, uh, have you ever seen the Onion movie? I haven't. There's I've a really seen clips funny, from it, but... Uh, there's a really funny bit where they're like, stereotypes not a lot of people have heard of. Did you know that Peruvians like to show up at the last second and save the day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like they're that's like good. a cliche action hero in a movie. Like, that's yeah. like, and there's just, there's, there's just some funny like little fake stereotypes they make up about. That's, that's pretty good. And the, I love Apple that it's it's, yeah. it's not only like I was expecting something really inane. It's not only inane, but like they're the heroes. At yeah, the end yeah. Of it. <laughs> and it's like yeah, they just they like to show they like to wait to help, but then they take all the Save credit the day, and yeah. show up at the last second. <laughs> it's just it's such a weird specific thing. Yeah. You're like, or one of the other ones was like Hondurans could shoot lasers from their eyes. Oh it was like God, another one. Yeah. It's just like random nonsense like that. Absolutely. Where is the okay? I swear. It was. Oh, it's in the, it plane. in the plane. Yeah, it's inside the plane. The files are inside the computer. <laughs> I wonder if it was hard to do teeter totter physics in 2010. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's a good question, though. You gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. I know. I saw. I re very recently. I saw like an interview with the developer say that the most annoying thing. I wish he could grab there. Oh, right. You should be able to. Uh, like, well, like, you the, drop the, your flashlight. Oh, oh, here we go. Though, use these rocks to get up. Uh -huh. uh, but like that. What the maybe the most annoying thing to program in video games is doors and having like the oh, open and characters yeah. be able to like like just like interact and move through a doorway is like one of the biggest pains that in makes the ass. sense but hey they've been doing it for forever now so yeah. like they'll, someday they'll make a door AI that just does that and they don't <laughs> have to fucking spend time Re on it anymore program it every time and uh, maybe that's uh, some yeah. of these AIs are getting good too like it's someone's like just doing some of these processes like yeah. uh one of the really interesting things uh to me is uh resolution right mm -hmm. like because you have you're starting to get to a point where it's taking so much power to yeah. make, like uh, just sheer electricity to make some of these machine like systems run but what they've started to be able to do lately is they can basically like they can they can render the game at a lower resolution and then mm -hmm. have an AI upscale it so it's not interesting running natively. I think there was a flare, uh, oh, a flare ammo uh, to the right of or to the oh, now the left you? no maybe not I saw orange but well, it doesn't I don't see anything that looks pick up -able. Uh, it might have been a whatever. spent flare from that earlier fight or something rolled down oh that, yeah that could have been it yeah, because it wasn't a flashing interactable. Giddy, I'm walking in. <laughs> Alan Wake was just obnoxiously from Brooklyn. That was close. <laughs> Again, the, <laughs> it gets so upset. <laughs> that, like, Fuck you, then. We're gonna get you from over here. One, like, one of these is gonna come flying through, and. It, you're gonna see it's actually their main weapon and they just dropped it at the last second. <laughs> 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 
Maybe it's res. Maybe I'm just thinking of Resident Evil 4 that you can shoot the weapons out of the air. I could have sworn. So I could have sworn that was a thing in this game. I'll look it up. Come on. Come on. There we go. How to aim and shoot in Alan Wake. <laughs> well, I mean, that part I think I have, but... Yeah, I don't... I don't see anything about it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we're clearly supposed to go uh, over here. Uh-huh. But, you see that? Page. Yeah, I think we gotta try and go around here. What? There must be an extra page. Yo, yeah. listen to this trophy. Oh, shit. Is this... Oh, this is... Make it to Cauldron Lake without firing a single shot in On the Road to Cauldron Lake chapter. Uh, you know, I think that's near the end where it's uh -huh. like... It's the constant rush. Yeah, I think, I think you, I think, I don't, that, you know, that sounds like it might not be that hard to do. I think you could just... Where you're just away. sprinting and dodging the whole time. You know time. what, and if you've got a bunch of flares, too. Oh, shit, how the hell You can't you shoot even... the flare gun, but you can yeah. use flares and flashbangs. Okay. That's, yeah, that's not terrible. That's not bad. Shit, I don't even know, we might have to... I might have to come back on the next playthrough for that page, because that's, like, way far back to backtrack now. Got it. Hmm. All right, I'm going to just have to remember near this part, there's, or near, around this area, there's a, there's an extra page that I didn't get. Yeah. There we go. Ah! So when I, um, so before we even met, I worked at, uh, uh, before we worked at the coffee shop together, I worked at a sandwich place and, uh, messed with, uh, one of our supervisors a lot. And she, she thought it was funny. It wasn't like really mean. <laughs> but, uh, our, our manager, uh, was playing the, the, like, meme where it's, it's the Taylor Swift song, the... I knew you oh, were yeah. trouble when you walked it, right? But you know how it's like the goat scream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't yeah, the yeah. goat scream. It was the scream a pillar from The Simpsons. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's literally the, the caterpillar in the show. Mm -hmm. It's a caterpillar that just... Yeah. All the time, right? And it, he played that so many times that it got stuck in her head that she, like, subconsciously... Would sing it like every, that. When she, well, not only... But she, it would just be any time she was startled. Just so, to... She just like subconsciously it got in her head that like that was the noise that she would make when like, she got freaked out. I also saw that supervisor both slipped on a banana peel and well, slipped on a rake that... and got hit in the face with it. That both of both the same person. I've, I've did seen both the of rake happen in person. I have always wondered if you can actually slip on a banana peel. Well, do you That's know, good to know. Do you know why that was a thing in old movies? People slipping no. on so so that was a, it was a censorship thing. So slipping on a banana peel was supposed to be pe because before we had like like modern plumbing, right? Yeah. People would constantly walk around town and slip in shit and like fall, oh. and that was the funniest thing in society was if somebody slipped in shit and <laughs> fell. That was the funniest thing that could and happen. Like, and like, there's horse shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah especially absolutely. if you slept in horse shit, right? That was hilarious to people at the time. Yeah. So, so anytime in an old movie, if somebody slips on a banana, they're slipping on they're shit. They're slipping on horse shit, and that's why people thought it was funny because that that's made them so go, great. "Oh, they slipped in horse shit." <laughs> like that. That that's, that's so the good. actual reason behind that in old movies. <laughs> But you can't show but poop can't show on screen. Exactly. Exactly. Because, oh you know, funny. like, corrupt the children. Even though it's everywhere in real life. Yeah, right? right? I mean, people people do not, people today do not realize how recently in human history most everything was just shit. covered in shit. Literally. Just shit everywhere. It's still, I mean, it's honestly, still in there. it's still true. <laughs> that Mythbusters episode where they tested, even if you keep your, your toothbrush in the kitchen... Like, yeah. in a sealed thing, it there will be, yeah. still be feces particles on yeah. there. Well, you know, if you are, if you can smell something, that means that yeah. little particles of it are in your nose. Yeah. So any bad smell, it's like part, you're, you're part you of that. You just snorted in your body. that horse shit. Yeah. Kick. <laughs> that would be a great line for Kane. I also, Kane, for anybody watching, that's a character, um... 
you know, fiction of mine that's like a super maniacal supervillain. But I, 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 I thought of a funny line I wanted to have him say as a, like a super over the top scenery chewing line of villain, villainy. But I wanted him, I want him to say it's like somebody accuses him of being a white supremacist, and I wanted him to respond, "I'm not a white supremacist. I'm a me supremacist." <laughs> just like he is a him supremacist. <laughs> that's true of that character. No, it is. He it thinks is. he's he's just the Ubermensch. Evil. Like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's totally like that is a valid criticism for someone else to throw at him yeah. but I just like yeah. he's offended he's like but I'm a Misa pro like, he's like, I hate everyone yeah I'm like I'm just the, I'm the only it's one it's not even better. yeah I mean I guess he yeah well another, another he does kind of hate everyone but also he did, well, loves yeah. himself yeah well like there's a there's another line of dialogue I came up with for him uh, that, that where I wanted I want him to respond to like Thermos a whole in the corner uh, ooh there we go Thermos uh, I want him to risk, like to come into a big group of people that all hate him, and for him to go look. I know that you all think I'm the most important person in the world, but really, I'm the only important person in the world. <laughs> That's good. Very uh... just as self-absorbed as possible back there. Um... I always think of like. <laughs> Kane sounds like who Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos want to be, but they don't think they can get away with it yet. Right. I mean, Kane is a comp combination of a lot of things. He he's 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 Norman Bates. Yeah. Not, sorry, not Norman. Bates, oh, uh. American yeah. Psycho. What's the Amer Norman Patrick Bates? Patrick Bates. Yeah, Patrick Patrick Bates. Pa or Patrick Bateman. I know. I was just trying to think of that. Shit, I'm forgetting. Patrick now. Bateman sounds right. But yeah, he's he's a combination. He's Patrick Bateman. He's also Doctor Evil from Austin Powers. Yes, Patrick Bateman. <laughs> he's also uh, Steve Lift from Sorry to Bother You. He's also I mean, there's so many oh, characters Steve that Lift. like like I see. I need to watch that again. Him. Oh, I love that. But Sorry to Bother You is one of my especially now movies. that Amazon actually wants to make those work town working towns. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're that... reinventing mining towns that went out in the like 1800s. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna be having like little kids working at them too. Yeah, seriously. Believe me, that is coming. Yeah. That is, that is being brought back into society. I mean, it's already in it outside of the U.S. <laughs> and and by U.S. companies. Yeah, They're exactly. Often exactly. by U.S. companies doing it. Hershey's. Hershey's. I'm pretty Nike. sure Nabisco. Yeah, Nike for Apple. sure. Yeah. Sue me! Fuck you! I don't care! <laughs> They're too busy with Epic right now. Right. See, and that's... You know what? That's the thing, is I really appreciate what Epic is doing. Now, Just Epic's a terrible up. corporation, too. <laughs> right. Uh, but, but, but... You know what? The best thing, the best pl thing that corporations can be is at the throats of other corporations, other corporations. instead of at the th uh, instead of at the throats of consumers. The more they fight each other, mm. and the more they're <laughs> trying to stab each other on the eye, the more we get things. Do mm -hmm. you think that Xbox? Do you think that uh, that um, that Xbox would have started doing the games with gold free games every month if, oh, if, if they hadn't been right. getting killed by the PS4 in the early part of that generation? Yeah. And do you think that Sony would have started doing PlayStation Plus free games every month if Xbox hadn't started doing that first? No. They, the only the way that we get as consumers good shit from these companies <laughs> is if they're is trying because to because they're fuck trying each to other. beat someone else. Exactly. The um, more that these companies try and fuck each other, the better it is for us. It's, it's that's why I like it. That's why I think exclusive games are a good thing. Having exclusive games for consoles is a good thing because that's them trying to fuck each other. Yeah. Right. Like, yes, does it suck that you, not everybody has access to every to Spider cool Man? Game, but, but you know what? That game probably wouldn't have gotten made at all if Sony yeah. didn't front the money to make it. No, that's or true. To, or at least to the same quality. Right. You know. Um, so it's like, would you rather it? not exist at all or only exist on I'd rather platform. have an indie studio doing it that's in, in love with Spider-Man and not trying to cash grab but at the same time it would and you, that could be a great game but Insomniac it would, not be the, it would a, not be the same game it would not be the same game and you know what sometimes you get these big corporations and then yet yeah, like Sony right 
and then you have a team like Insomniac yes. who truly yeah. loves and cares about the property. That's very true. And I the think money that getting thrown at video it. games more than movies. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, movies when they're because games are a lot more work. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason is games take so much more work to make. So than many a movie people. Does. And so you, you not that movies are, don't take a billion people now, oh, especially and, and with CG. But yeah, that's yeah. true. But I think games are just like you see a script for a game, and it's like two thousand fucking mm-hmm. pages long, and it ends with a giant spider. Right. <laughs> um, talking about that wild, wild. No, yes, I never yes. that, but the wild, wild west game. I would play that. Okay, Will Smith just did an interview. Talk about how he hates that movie. He too. hates that movie. It's his like we're a thorn in his side. And I I mean I, I also I don't hate think that. it's a bad No no no. I do think it's a bad movie. But it's a funny movie. But I also movie. think it's so enjoyable. Because well, it's I such mean, a mindless It's such mindless fun. I have they to never watch tried it again. to build up what what is actually science in this universe. They <laughs> right. never try to go in depth and explain Fucking midichlorians. <laughs> they just them? said, this is the ridiculous Speaking, word you're in, deal with it. Speaking of midichlorians, <laughs> did you know that, do you know what the plot of George Lucas's 7, 8, and 9 would have been? Uh, George Lucas's 4, 5, 6 wasn't even that. Like, Everyone, I mean, that's not all even of, the same all as of the original. Got, yeah. all, all of. because he was forced to have an editor because he wasn't mm-hmm. rich yet. His, <laughs> the his, only his original are plots are so funny. If, if the original movies hadn't had editors on them, they would be just as bad as the prequels. They would be... I mean, they would have been... Sp- well, space Zardoz. I guess Zardoz is already space. But it would have been like... every Everyone was these wild aliens. Mm-hmm. Everyone... For not... You know, for... Not that you need a reason to make someone an alien in a sci-fi, I suppose, but like he was going too far. It was not. It, it was not as Damn, like human, human focused, right? Like uh, it, there's this huge, huge galaxy in Star Wars, mm-hmm. but somehow most planets are mostly human, right? Yeah, that is that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah. Um. That an interesting thing to potentially explore in a story that you know yeah. they've never tried. Um, Star Wars doesn't like going back great. to the Apple <laughs> Epic. The uh, the first line of a couple of weeks ago is Penny Arcade. Mm. Is uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about the Apple Epic battle. It's happening at a scale beyond my comprehension. About draconic levels of wealth. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> yeah. <laughs> And now Tim on Apple, uh, Tim, and now Tim is on Twitter telling me Apple lied. It's like two kaiju are fighting, and the loser got got on social media to complain. <laughs> that's, that's good. Do you remember? Do you remember when Trump called that guy Tim Apple? Tim Apple. <laughs> he brought him on stage. He was like, "Hello, Tim, Tim Apple. Apple. Nice to have you here." <laughs> oh uh, man, I forgot about that. He did so many stupid. Just stupid brainless <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, there we go. And is there a Garage keys. There we go. Oh, there's another TV. Nice. Oh, but it's. So it's like, in a way, these are all flashbacks. Yeah. It starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing, and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads the whole thing. Yeah. That's a. That's, Characters have to be true to themselves. This is where you need why you need the volcano. Yes, and also this little these couple sentences here are exactly what was wrong with The Walking Dead show. Totally. <laughs> you do something, you have to follow through. Well, and also if you make changes to the source material, you have to account for the what those changes are going to cause in yes. the further moments in the story later. And they, and they did not plan did that for that. In that show. They never considered what the consequences of making changes would be for other parts of the story. Mm-hmm. Fuck The Walking Dead. I hate it so much. Uh, if you enjoy it, 
you know, to each to each their own. I'm not trying to. And I'm never trying to change anyone else's opinion. But good God, do I not understand you? <laughs> Ah. All right, now we get to drive back up. Now, now that we've made our all the way all the way down here. But we're also going to. No, okay. All right. God damn it! So I get for trying to get out of the car. And yeah, like these driving sequences, you know that there would have been so much more to this. Yeah. Uh, had it had we gotten the like full open world, you know. Yeah, totally. Ooh. I don't understand why the the, I mean the tail lights should do you know half damage as a light. That's good point. Yeah. Also. <laughs> I just realized you have the light rack on the roof and you're not using it. It's just the truck's lights. Well, yeah, Alan's not always the smartest guy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All of all of these holes can be explained by Alan's just not really thinking things through. I mean, like, you know, you'd probably be like... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Kind of, like, stressed out, probably not thinking not, super clearly. But... I, if I realized, oh, okay, they can get through. At first, I thought they couldn't get through at all. Oh my god! Can you like? <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. I just, I just want some there we go. Oh, there's one more. Get <laughs> it! There we go. Oh, that was a flare gun shot, though. Oops. <laughs> Who always did that? Oh, well, right. you still have 15. That's not true. bad. I'm trying to open a supply container here. Wasn't there... I'm trying to remember. No, there whoop, wasn't. Whoop, I kept thinking whoop. there was going to be driving in American Nightmare. But oh, there just, wasn't. Yeah. There's, there's a couple parts where you get towards a Ooh, car, a but then it cuts from one of the places to the other. Right, Falls Deer Festival. That makes sense. Yep. That's a that's a that's a mm -hmm. that's a that's a very sensible. All of, yeah, uh, I was I was a little worried about them like coming up with a bunch of fake brands. So far, it's all been stuff but, that but totally it's all makes sense. internal. Yeah, it's stuff that was already in the universe. I'm curious if they'll do anything that um, is like a direct reference to like a product or like a poster in control. Yeah, but like what? So much of the control stuff was, um, you know, the posters were about your time working. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, we should. It's true. Well, I guess maybe that would fit more in for playing in control, but. I mean, I feel like the, it's so intrinsically linked at this point, and we've talked about how much, a lot already, so... How much Loki felt like it was yeah, descended yeah. directly from Control. Yeah, the TVA was giving me hardcore FBC yeah. vibes. I think it's, the it's whole time. nuts to me that there's a Marvel property that had any similarities. <laughs> yeah. To, to, to this game universe at all. Mm -hmm. Like I just I thought that was such an unexpected but like wonderful thing. Yeah, I the I wish we. I mean I don't I don't maybe they'll do another season. I would love Loki? to. Yeah, oh, Loki's confirmed to be or, the only. Or what show I mean is what I season. I want to see. More of the workings of the TVA, where I feel like the Loki show is going to go more towards. Um, yeah. The the, you know, advancing the plot. Instead of, I just want to see a show about the TVA. That could be cool. Like, you know what? That honestly, what their agents do could be put them through. Series. Put them like, through. What if? what if? That yeah yeah. Well, you know, have them cleaning this... up those timelines. Yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 interesting because in theory, there's like an infinite number of TVAs too. 
Oh, well, I didn't even theory. think about that. Because we technically saw the sec a second one, or another version yeah, of yeah, the Yeah, 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 because at Spoilers, first... Spoilers, I guess, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Spoilers <laughs> for Loki. Uh, but, like, I thought it was the same TVA, but it had been yes, altered. Yes, but it's been altered. But it's actually I, not. It yeah. actually is supposed to be a different TVA. He's, he's entered a, the wrong timeline, yeah. basically. And even though it exists outside of time... It's like, in theory, in an infinite multiverse, there's also infinite different versions of the quantum realm. Because they, too. yeah, because oh. they come from different spots. That's what I was talking about before. Do you, George you Lucas's forgot. idea. Oh, it yeah. Was seven, eight, and nine, the plant. Do you know what that was? The whole story would have been told through the perspective of the wills. The microscopic life forms that live amongst yeah. the metachlorians so like he would have been basically telling a quantum realm type story and the like the, the metachlorians would have been the characters why well, that that's he that's what he was going to do that's actually what george lucas was going to do and they were going to be called the wills i want to travel to the universe where that got made and <laughs> just watch just and how just watch bad it those movies were. No, actually, yeah, I want to see the universe where he had full, complete control over all all nine movies. And by that I mean the first movie, because they never would have made a second movie based on his first movie. Oh, plot. yeah, <laughs> just of the originals? Oh, my God, no, they never would have made another one. Absolutely not. Here, can we go? And... The prequel, uh, the prequels wouldn't. Uh, well, you know. They, I mean, they probably would have. Been if the you had, well, if the the one, two, right. three, or if the original one was what he had done. Right. Uh. Sci-fi as a whole. As sci-fi as we know it would be different. Uh, Elderwood Palace Lodge. So that's There's different a, from like the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Yeah, the, the Elderwood. I think that's where that's where we are here with Barry. That's oh yeah, okay. Elderwood Lodge. National Park. Yeah. Right. There we go. And now we can drive up the way that we could have drove down before in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Alan. Well, not quite anymore. Right. I like how it like rolls just yeah. enough for you to go, right. but then Alan completely trusts it. The darkness just moved this whole van. Oh, right. isn't up there, is that possibly where that page was? I think we went up here, actually, already. Yeah, I think we did, too. Yeah, I'll have to keep else. that page in mind for, well, the later in play. the stream when I yeah. do a uh, second playthrough. <laughs> You'll have to remember it in uh, however many hours ten, it takes. Ten and ten-ish hours, or whatever. Because we're only on episode two, and we're three hours in. We're almost at the end of episode two mm -hmm. here. We're real close. Ah! Also, I don't think there's anything left to find here, so we yeah. just run to Barry. I was going to say, I like that that's well, one of the... It was the kidnapper. What? You son oh. of a bitch! Where's my wife? Yeah. This makes sense. The sound's still good. I just get paranoid yeah. about that sometimes. Yeah. Don't listen. Listen, I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done. I need a week. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> he does not understand how the writing process works. <laughs> he just say like, this is not how you get quality content, dude. No. This, this is how you get Game of Thrones season eight. <laughs> Maybe this guy produced Game of Thrones season eight. <laughs> It would make you, sense. Would you, would you That's like, why they rushed. Like They're like, we only want six. No. <laughs> we only want six episodes because I got to get my wife back, man. Right. God, I just. <laughs> that video. Yeah, if great. anybody has not seen um, the pitch meeting uh, videos that uh, this is Ryan George, I think, is the guy that does them. Um, please go check those out. Those are fucking hilarious. There's so many of them at this point. And just they just they tear knocked apart. it out of the park. And, and he does good movies calling too. out each of the points. Like he did the Lord of the the whole yeah. Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I love those movies. And he still. I want to see really him doing the Wicker Man out. pitch. Oh shit! You know I don't know if he's done that one. That would be a good. 
Yeah, fan really request. Go go follow him on Patreon and ask for that. Oh my god, yeah. Because that's apparently you know the new way to. That dude's also con- that guy's on content. Screen Rant and gets like millions of views per video. Yeah. So I don't even know if I would like, or if he'd even like see. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Screen Rant and well and uh, what's the comicbook.com or whatever the yeah comics. they're both they both are really quick baby. um well I constantly am getting news articles from them that are just yeah super clickbait and I'm they're just like this is ridiculous as uh, uh was it we just or we just or we discovered or... I don't know them <sighs> well we're, we're we got we got this covered or something oh, like that yeah yes. yeah yeah they're the worst ones they just make shit up um, at least the at least comicbook.com is like, usually somewhat based on something. Well, and if it's a rumor, like they'll have they'll a tell you headline. It's a rumor. Yeah, yeah, but then in the article they'll say, "Well, this is a rumor, so you know, yeah. you, know be, you know, don't take it, you know, as a fact." Or um, but then uh, what we got this covered. We'll just say that the shit is happening. Yeah, they're. Uh... But yeah, so I don't want to. I don't want to like oh, tell it not to give me stories right. from these sites. But sometimes they're true. Because well, yeah, and like, and sometimes it's just like a game announcement. That's true. That's that true. I want to hear about. Right. Go through the archives of local paper. Perhaps. No, that's fair. That's fair. But then yeah, sometimes they're just they're so clickbait. Let me see if I can find. I wonder who's still streaming. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Hmm. Chris Herm and Chris. A ton of them are just like top ten, top fifteen lists. Also, yeah. it's just annoying. Yeah, I just like the. At the, the same list time, like I end up clicking on so many of them. Like ten times like DC heroes betrayed sometimes. their own values. And I'm like, yeah, I, I want to know Every, about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that one's CBR. They're they're not great either. No, but then yeah, a lot of times it's just like giving voice to a bunch of the uh like she's not clearly possessed right but barry hasn't met her has he maybe no, she's just, just maybe she's just like, like uh, if someone sounded like that on the phone to me and i hadn't been experiencing that i would just think they're stoned out of their mind yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I'm just gonna get you some pages, Barry. Another good one. Get weird. I gotta talk over this entirely just to yeah. avoid that copyright strike. I just, I, because I, again, yeah, I just really feel like... Yeah, because you can't skip this, can you? Uh, it'll let us in a few seconds, but... But it not yet. Yeah, yeah, it has to play it, a little it, bit. It's gonna play the first mo- little bit of the song real quick before yeah. it, you know, starts giving... Gets to the point where I can. There we go, yeah. And there we go. Ugh, that's another... I don't remember what that's... I should look that up. Has been kidnapped. Ah. Ellen, Episode wake. three already. See, that's the thing. Three hours in, we're in episode three. The game's yeah. six episodes long, plus two DLC episodes. It is... It's so not going to take 24 hours to play. <laughs> yeah. Um... But up, up, up. What is that song? Oh, these are the score... Tracks. The deadline is in two days. Originals. Good girl. <laughs> Episode three, ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. Oh God, you she see Venom two is like breaking records. Oh, haunted by Poe. Which like, never heard of Poe. But I, I like that. Really band, like that old. song. <laughs> like even when this game came out, I remember going like. That's a fucking deep cut. <laughs> yeah. What this was because it came out. That song was oh well, two thousand. The, the song game, was yeah. two thousand. The game so, was twenty ten. Yeah, so even yeah, it was even, ten years old. Yeah, even but I mean, other than the two. Hi, Randolph. He, other his than picture was also up in the diner. Oh yeah. Other than Old Gods of Asgard and Poets of the Fall songs, which were both twenty ten. Right. Uh oh, let's see. I'm just gonna walk away while you're talking to me. The end of special one was a 2009 song. Okay. 
And a special too with uh, Deep Flash Modes 2005, Darkest Star. But other than that, 2000 is the newest song. You got Roy Orbison in Dreams starting it off. Okay, this is mind blowing to me. That I didn't even realize that Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds were on there, and then I got into them after hearing their Red Right Hand on Peaky Blinders. Uh, was a good um, Nick Cage or Here's Nick Nick Cage, name. Nick Cave. Oh, Nick. <laughs> um, just has some of that like gravelly Tom Waits voice that ah, fits yeah. so well with horror vibes. Um, and he's got he does a bunch of the story song stuff that that d- does well for kind of creepy vibes. I love that Barry just sounds like a conspiracy theorist. Here. I like how he didn't believe us at all, and then he did all this research yeah. like overnight, and it's like, oh my god, Alan, did you know about this? <laughs> there's a check because I know there's a copy thermos behind. But so like, movies. but like him saying that, like no one else knows about Zane. Nope. So no. how, so where did he get all that info? Well, he 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 found a few things like local things that kind of pointed towards Zane's existence, but then when he Googled yeah. and he actually looked him up online, he said he couldn't find anything about him. That's right. It was like just a couple local newspaper articles. But anything beyond that, he just he's, he's just not like he a, didn't exist. He's not a dude. Um Which in um in in you know in control they referenced that too. Yeah. Also, if you make this guy wait, if I, you know, we gotta, let me go back a little bit. If he will start bitching at you if you make him wait too long. <laughs> he just turned her, yeah, he just turns around to stare at you too. They also have the so bright listen, falls. <laughs> that you know, feels so PS2 era to have a character yelling at you while you're exploring. Oh, well, you know what game really did that was, uh, or the South Park games. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they have, they're like, God, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you being a little bitch? Yeah. Like, all the time. Mm-hmm. It's it like just a boat. It's just boats out of nowhere. And he's like not questioning it enough. There's yeah. a boat in the middle of yeah, this you need trailer to be more park. Suspicious of that. Like, <laughs> he's like, it would more. take a tornado, so it must not have happened. Right. <laughs> Like, Except you can it's see right it, there, dude. So it definitely happened. You should be worried about it, <laughs> right? Like you should. I mean, like I feel like that's something you can say to a lot of characters in a lot of horror things. Is like you should be more worried about that. And now who's taking too long? <laughs> I wish there was a button and an <laughs> option to give shit back. Like, come on, man! I thought you said you were in a hurry. Yeah, those the, the face models, like, again, they're not, you mm-hmm. know, 100 percent modern, but goddamn, yeah, compared no, to the original not... version of the game, though. Yeah. This is this is a good update. This is a very good update. Totally. Because here's the thing is like you can only update so much when the engine unless, you're working uh, on is still the same engine. Yeah, you know, unless um, you're rebuilding from scratch like the some game, of the newer, whole, the game, which newer things. things. Yeah. The like, hag comes for you in the dark. Well, the scratching hag. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All mm. the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia Weaver. Mm. Mm. She remembers. She remembers she's not everything. She's a, a ba- lamp. I was going to say, she's not a bag lady. She's a lamp lady. Yeah. I think bag lady is just like a way to reference like a crazy... Yeah. And she had a breakdown because it was the darkness yeah well and like also like how many I mean so how many of these characters are even going to be all, like like her for instance is she even alive she was already oh, kind of old right here is she even alive by the time an Alan Wake 2 will like take like the, the time period that Alan Wake 2 will actually happen in interesting like, to, I, I don't think Odin and Tor are still gonna be alive? Yeah. Right. Like you could have old music from from their older albums, like in the games, but like. Uh, have have an unreleased lost recording of theirs. Yeah, I mean, and to be you know what, to be fair though, how, how who knows how many albums did they uh, right, produce? Beforehand. We've only heard a handful of mm-hmm. their songs in these games so far. Yeah, so they, have a they, lot of they had enough to do concerts, yeah. so we know they're. 
I always wanted uh Could you go in here? Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. Alan met her like, in the diner. She didn't yeah, sound like that. She was she was gushing before. Now she's just being weird. Although, like, they showed up at her house, so, like, maybe she's just thrown. But she's also like, yeah. oh, please, really come in. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. My manuscript. yes. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. I'm going <laughs> to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Al. Al, what's... Uh, See, like, I wouldn't have drank anything that this woman yeah. offered me after the way she's talking. Like, there's no way. And she's, like, at home just, like, wearing her diner uniform. Yeah. No, no way. Nobody no does way. that unless they just got home or they passed mm -hmm. out on the couch as soon as they got home. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. No. I just, like, even, even when work uniform was just jeans and a solid color t-shirt. I was changing as soon as I got home because you smell like coffee coffee yeah. or diner food there. Yeah, like It's got to yeah. be greasy and crap. Yeah. It looks like it's wool. It's probably scratchy. I mean, maybe, know, like, maybe you have a spouse that's like really into that, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> well, no one but her is home right now unless she killed him. Well, that's true. Well, no, because the guy she liked was Rusty, who was already yeah. dead. Yeah. So, back to the boy. Oh, God, and I forgot she's got all the pictures of Alan above mm. her bed. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah, she's like the super fan. But you know what? When it's a female fan, you're, ne you, 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 you're not going to feel threatened. For the most part, unless it's in like, this situation, though, when everyone's well, being drug, possessed and yeah, yeah, that's true. I, like, I, I would start thinking misery just here. Real life situation where yeah. it's like when a, a female fan is like bugging like a male celebrity, like and being a little over the top. It's yeah. like all right, ha ha, okay, you're a, you're yeah. a little too into this. When it's like a male fan and a female celebrity, yeah. it's a lot more like. Eh. There's definitely, yeah. There's definitely. Um, it's, there's just it's just an easier possibility of that going very wrong. Yeah. Or like you know, turning out really poorly. Yeah. This is pretty good salsa. Yeah, for sure. I think. Yeah, I mean, obviously, at this point, <laughs> Barry's just still there. She didn't care at all. And as that, well, obviously, she wasn't thinking as herself. But like. Did I mute? Okay. I think I'm good. Thinking as herself. Okay. Yes. I think I'm good. Okay, cool. Um, I think I didn't mute when I ate that chip, like, so I apologize for like, crunching. She's That's still there, and like. Alan's, like, not... <laughs> she's right there, and Alan... Oh, coffee thermos. That's also what Ginger would look like every time she fell asleep. In the last couple of years, because she just would fall asleep in weird places. I, I honestly wanted to start like an Instagram just for like, just ginger just, like, sleeping. Power, Wait, okay, okay let's look dog. at let's, we're we're trying to add time. Let's look at yeah, let's look at her bookshelf and let's look at. See, this is the stuff that you need. This big, big screen. Let's yep. Because we are playing on. We have good father, bad screen. father again. Everyone Three. in town's reading that. The book just called Creativity, which is not a very creative title. Web metrics. Yeah, that is not a creative title. Mm -hmm. uh, Farewell to Sanity. Okay. Uh, Leaders Eat Last. By Simon. By Simon. Always Think Big. The one next to Always Think Big just looks like it has a giant dildo on it. This one? <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Not, uh, it just this one's like a called giant, Switch, yeah. which looks like it's... I don't know. I think it says cats and dogs, but it could be something else. Everyone's reading Good Father, Bad Father, though. Yeah, apparently. It's a popular book. Um, look at all the, the pictures of Alan with the sunglasses on. I was going to say, yeah, let's look at those pictures, because those are, like... I mean, that looks like a, a runway model pose, not a pissed off at paparazzi pose. Right. He also looks like way more of a douche in these pictures. <laughs> 
the sunglasses and the, the colors really shirt. popped. Yeah, the the beaded necklace he's got. <laughs> like, and then there's the one where he's oh, in the center. Oh gosh. See these ones we can yeah. Medicated really... to hate. I actually like that's a kind of a cool title. Uh, I can't. Some of those that, are super important. Some of those are yeah. not definitely definitely not actual words. Yeah. All right. That would Rose, be fun. That would be a fun yourself. part of it, though, like coming up with. Welcome to the oh dear diner. I honestly, that's like one of the jobs in video games that I think like, seems the most TV. fun. Mm-hmm. Is just, just coming up with all background the background stuff. stuff. Yeah, because you can. I mean, you can get really creative. And Remedy's been one of the developers I've always mm-hmm. liked to be up for that most. Like even going back to Max Payne, the fa- they had fake TV shows and like oh, you yeah. could watch. You know, Alan Wake's got them. With night springs and control. What's that? What's that book there? Uh, Cooking with corn. Seventy-two, 72 tasty <laughs> reps. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's okay. Like Can we try of, to wake up Barry? Is that the? I don't like, even think that's an option. Barry was right. Out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Don't try to carry him. Just shake him, dude. You didn't even try. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I've never heard that either. I've just and you've oh, never stuck, around, stuck so. around long enough, I guess. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Barry. Oh, he's great. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to Again. Get yep. Every episode. Yeah. Every episode. There's no time to waste. I keep accidentally shifting the camera. Oh, you're right. Up on here. <laughs> that little smile she this coffee table. She uh, so sweet. It just impresses upon you the desire to put your feet up. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect spot. With those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble. His smart-ass sidekick. Oh, Barry. Barry would not appreciate that description. No. Agent Nightingale is just kind of a dick, though, so, like... Yeah. Again, <laughs> he doesn't really like either of them, I guess. No, he doesn't. He he's, hates them. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, here's some inf- interesting information. Wait, is he? He's not FBC, right? No, he's FBI. Yeah, that's um, what but he, here's some info that's literally never covered in the game, but is in that covered in that book. Oh yeah, from the collector's edition. But uh, Agent Nightingale is not actually FBI. He was fired. And oh. he is he is here because he thinks Alan Alan is like causing uh, this or well he he thinks Alan's responsible for like a, se- a chain of like serial killings like across the country. Whoa. Um, and he he thinks Alan is like causing he's like killing so all things people. that were potentially AWEs. Yeah, other AWEs. So he's like maybe clued into like with these other AWEs and thinks Alan is behind all of them. Hmm. And so has not part of the FBI mm-hmm. anymore. But investigating this on his own, which is why every time, like, like, hmm. what is this guy just like I think calling in Dark while he's getting taken? taken? Yeah, yeah, or at least he's seeing other people that are. Uh huh. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, he does. He sounds very out of it. I don't. Yeah. I, this guy is definitely partially possessed already. Mm-hmm. He like doesn't remember things. It's interesting because like the hiss in uh, control, it's like such an instant take. Oh, this is the guy who was in the jail cell. Oh yeah. And now I'm just alone at the window waiting. What are you waiting for, man? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pat. Hmm. Asking the questions the people want to know. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's really not that. That is one monster down. Nice. That is not one... That's not... I mean, yeah, it's foggy, but like it's not that abnormal for. Was it foggy by your house? Uh, there's a fog. Just, like, there's a fog morning. 
no, oh no, there's a fog advisory tonight, which I thought was perfect for oh, playing really? this game. But <laughs> I didn't see any fog, probably just because we're in the city. Right. Well, it was it was yesterday morning or the day before, and it looked like Silent Hill outside. Oh, oh yeah, I was in Wisconsin. Oh, so. right, right, right. Oh, there we go. Get him up, Hemingway. Well, yeah, this dude is not an FBI agent anymore. Yeah, like you, like the number of times he is calling him by these writers, he's just going, uh, going, going, going with these. It's like he was thinking about it beforehand. Right. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna call him he's, this. I'm gonna call him that. And he's gonna be real scared of me. This is what he's been referring to him in his notes for days. Also, that guy <laughs> yeah. looks like old Jonah Hill. He does. He does. Well, and also like the fact that he just fired without waiting for any backup because he knows right. he's not supposed to be there. Well, and. <laughs> He definitely what until, like, if it weren't for the bullet time, right? <laughs> that he definitely shot at the dude in the orange jacket. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he would have fucking just killed that innocent bystander. Now, how are you supposed to escape the police when you can't run? <laughs> escape oh, the, the police, oh, but you gotta you gotta oh, take a leisurely slow. walk. Right, it's like also. Just like mechanics wise, going towards the bridge that they're looking off of. Right. Is not running from them. If this was GTA, you'd be seen. <laughs> oh. I'll get you, HP Lovecraft. There was a flashlight on you. They yep. saw you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're. He can't go any faster because he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Just the whole time. Maybe if you weren't running in your wingtips, bruh. <laughs> right, that might... Maybe his feet just hurt really bad. Well, it's just like, look at look at the shape of the bottom of his shoe. It's not... I definitely, without realizing it, wore, like, that outfit in college, but with sneakers. Oh, really? I had, I had, uh, I gray... I for the sake of Halloween costumes. Right. I had a gray uh, sport coat that I would that wear over sweatshirts in the fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, no idea where it ended up. I had it, and then we got home from a trip, and it was this not there. Gone. That sucks. That's that's literally me in any any item of clothing that I can take off. I can't take it <laughs> off, or I will not have it when I get home. I there lost was, so many sweatshirts in high school. There was a and, period. You know, you years. find them eventually, like in the basement of church or whatever. Like, oh, I lost Somewhere. this two years ago. Sometimes you find them though, and you're just yeah. like, holy shit, I can't believe I have this. Yeah, that definitely happened with. I still have it now. Uh, the the. The waterproof sweatshirt that I use for snowboarding. Oh, nice. Well, um, hey, I haven't lost that one yet. Yeah. Well, now I just keep it literally inside my coat as a liner. Oh, so nice. I don't lose it. So, so you can't. So I only use it for snowboarding. For there was a period of years where I say that I, like I still snowboard. I haven't gone in like four years. Or where where Alex would literally leave something at my house oh. like, every single time <laughs> he was over. Yeah, that's relatable. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl. It's so weird to me to think that on this exact same stream, tomorrow night, I'm going to have them here. <laughs> they're just going to come in and just sit down and they're just going to keep it. It's just going to still be happening. Oh shit, we, if, when you like wake up tomorrow night, uh, if you want to come into the chat, yeah, <laughs> you're more than I... welcome to. I have a feeling I will not be able, you know, I mean, be drinking Monster the whole time we're doing this. Right. So I might even sleep. We'll all see. Day we'll tomorrow. see how much I. Uh, well, I was gonna say we'll see if I can even sleep. I'll probably just be watching it from bed. <laughs> just kind of the whole time. Yeah. At least, at least, leave the lurk viewer in there. Oh, for sure. Just like. Turn the phone on, turn the volume mm. down, and then go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I mean, like I fall asleep to TV shows a lot of the time. That's fair. So, I yeah, I, like I, that I need I need sound in the background, right? <laughs> the what? person who is walking it is like standing 
on the edge facing yeah I don't know <laughs> in order to get in that position you'd have to be I really hiking think really badly they must have actually made the noise what as they like yeah. fell backwards oh and now it's killing all of them the the, the yeah, rangers the, and yeah. nightingales back and, up uh, yeah all of the local cops that came out to back them up <laughs> Agent Nightingale feels like like a name like that feels like Alan made him up. <laughs> it does. When sometimes, I mean, I, there's kind of a wonder if maybe he did. Mm -hmm. The cops didn't stand a chance. It's just so on not a monster on brand or whatever for right. It's like it's exactly the kind of name he would use. Uh huh. I mean, again, if you're if you're gonna base uh, Alan's writing off of the general writing and vibe of Max Payne, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, Max Payne meets Stephen King, right? Like, right? Yeah. You, you so there there are a bunch of Stephen King names, or it's like their name is sort of their function in the story. Yeah. Um, and if I remember right, uh. Nightingales are um, in the category of birds that are omens. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Psychopumps. Or so either it's either omens or the ones that uh, oh. like whippoorwills that will take the soul over to the land of the dead. Oh shit. Until the dark just takes the helicopter out. Oh, oh, oh it's a flock of birds. Mm hmm. I am just, you know, I just, uh, like, I know we, we get a taste of it in control, but mm -hmm. I really I would really love to see Jesse fight, like, like hordes of Taken. Like, yeah. what does that look like? Because Jesse is so powerful. Right, by the time, by the end of Control. She can do so, she has just fucking superpowers. Oh yeah, look at that, that's not good. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> the fire uh, definitely looks better than it did when the game uh -huh. <laughs> originally came out. Hey, coffee thermos. And another radio. I'm going to use this radio as an opportunity to go grab another drink. The Fed had a distinctive wish of o whiff of eau de scotch on him, so even there they'll tell they're telling you Nightingale's yeah. not quite on the level. Yeah, no, there's there's something up with this guy. You know, it's interesting though. I wonder how much of that that other story with this character mm -hmm. would have been in the game. You know, if they hadn't had to cut so much short. You know, I think like it's interesting. Much... Like the original, between the two playable characters and it being open world, is mm -hmm. such a what did that? What did that? Oh, such a like? different in that experience. alternate universe where it, that yeah. game did come out that way. I mean, you couldn't have told the same story in that way. I think open world, like it's a, it's funny because they're not telling you the story linear, right? In a lot of ways, because of the page finds and stuff. But it would it would definitely be interesting to see how you do something like that because what Alan's experiencing has to be somewhat linear. Right, right. No, absolutely. I yeah, no, I'm I just yeah, there's so many like possibilities of what that different game would have been. Mm -hmm. I you know, I'm sure that the commentary talks about talks yeah. about some of that. I bet I, I from what I've heard there like there is some new information there. My oh wait no I'm going backwards. Whoopsie. Oh whoops whoopsie. Uh, 
Alright. Still no weapons. Was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps yeah, you'd be right. You'd be right. That is indeed. Well, like, uh, earlier we were talking about, like, they're gonna have to start, like, like, ha like they, they're having, like, all the boy these voice actors play just these couple of characters. But, like, could you tell that Tom and Zane and Max, and, like, and Max Payne were right. the same voice? Like, could you actually tell until I said something? That those that's two yeah. That's what I was wondering too. Is like I don't, no I, you know, stuff. they're doing. He's doing a different character with the voice acting yeah. each time, so it's even, not gonna sound the same. Even Matthew Peretta as um, both Alan Wake and Casper Darling, mm -hmm. right? Like I don't think those characters sound the they same. They don't. Yeah, totally. You couldn't do it in a movie, but that's something where video games or I guess animated shows can do that as well. Yeah. But well, like you could have Phil Lamar play. 40,000 goddamn characters. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, oh, I'll do um, The only, well, specifically mythology connection to Nightingales is Philom Philomela. Philomela. Who was a... Daughter of a of a ruler of Athens, who like got her tongue cut out so she couldn't tell her sister that her sister's husband had raped her. Oh, geez. She weaves okay. a she weaves a like tapestry of the event to tell in order to tell her sister. Damn. And then, uh, while he's trying to kill both of them, the gods turn them into birds and they can escape. Huh. So, that's all I can find about... Interesting. Nightingales, specifically. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. There we go. There we go. Let's see. I knew there was more Nightingale. I do love how they, like, make like say flashbang grenades or a flare gun like mm -hmm. the all powerful weapons for the right. game because that's just it's a light based weapon <laughs> the taken cops are the whoop the creepiest <laughs> yeah i love those things it's yeah. so effective you know one of the things that i'm i'm probably would miss the most about um, them not including American Nightmare in mm -hmm. in this package is that uh, in American Nightmare, you know, you had your story mode, but you also had um, like, survival mode. Yeah, that like survival that mode on arcade thing. Mm -hmm. That's a cool that's a cool just extra thing. You know, you can extend the con the life of the game a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. By just having a little like arcadey thing like that in there, you know. Mm -hmm. And it is it's it's too bad that I mean like again it's you know I'm sure they have their reasons for it. Maybe it's harder. Some, some, I'm sure there's a reason that they, they didn't do it, but yeah. Maybe they're planning to release it as its own standalone remaster. Yeah, or even just a DLC for this. Yeah, like, I can see, all later I can see edition. That. Um. Nightingales historically have been connected to mourning or loss. Interesting. Uh, because of their He's song. Probably mourning his job. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I was gonna say like he definitely has lost. He's lost something. Hmm. It's it sounds so serious. Don't sound like no party. I like how Pat the whole time is like telling everyone nothing's going on, kind of, and like just <laughs> calm down. Let's be rational. Let's relax. Let's you know. Let's relax. Sit back. Drink some tequila. Oh, interesting. I was expecting them to be like little packaged. Yeah. No, they're like gummy cubes covered in 
uh, darkness. Can test. Shine your flashlight on it before eating it. Oh, you're right. That's actually really not that sour. Yeah. It's... Hmm. I feel like Warhead has taken their name for granted. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. It's supposed to be, like, the sourest candy, but... You're supposed to make that face. All those... Yeah, exactly. Uh, what's his name? Wally. Ah! Woo! Damn, guys. He's gonna sneak up on me all at once there. Do you know how many hits it takes for them to kill you when you're playing on Nightmare difficulty? Oh, like two, probably. Two. I think it was. I think it's two. I think it's two gets your gets you to the black and white. Okay, and then the third one. And then, you. um, because I think in the I think in this difficulty, it's. When you're on the gray, you can get hit by two projectiles or one big hit. Mm. And I think it's, um... A refill? I think it's any hit in the black and white is a death. Haha! -ha. Alright, come on. Come on! Ooh, boy. Ooh, doggy. Oh, God! Come on, I'm walking here. Because <laughs> I can't run anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm mildly out of breath here. <laughs> oh, no, he's just so... He can't... I, ho I, I hope he has a better walk in the sequel. <laughs> and, like, again, I appreciate that he's not, like, super yeah. in shape because it would be unrealistic for him to be. But, I just but think a little bit in shape. Just, just a little, little bit in shape. Just a little bit more. Just like a little bit. I hope Maine could just, just like able bit. to run twenty feet. Yeah, twenty. Just uh, I'm like a like for 20 if feet. he, if the ele in that that apartment they showed him living in, if the elevator went out, he couldn't make it up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. He would not be able to get home. He'd die trying to get to his apartment. <laughs> um. No, it's not related, never mind. This, okay, this, oh my god, this building layout they reused in, um, American Nightmare. Oh, is that it? terrifying picture. Uh, what is going on with his, his eyes, eyes there? Yeah, I don't understand why they did that that way. I think it's just to make it unsettling. <laughs> it's like the... It's, like it's not like a camera a flash. Is there is there something? Yeah, I don't I don't understand what the choice there. Why? It that almost like, the there's like weird. big panel lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what, on like, either side of him. Yeah, I don't know. That's yeah, weird. Right. Wait, we're something. with Pat now. Yeah, this is his radio station. That's right. Thanks for fucking oh, outing us. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming in for a fucking Damn idiot. Damn, Brown. <laughs> seriously, he looks like... What, is he gonna shoot Pat? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. <laughs> and Judas Priest! You just see, he, uh. Yeah. I love that there's a contention about the origin of that that curse. Mm -hmm. Because it's. My. My. My grandma insisted it was bad because it's like saying, oh god. You're saying Judah's priest, the priest right. of Judah. Right, but then there's right. also Judas's priest. Was the other interpretation of like it being Satan? So yeah. the two readings of that curse are opposites. <laughs> Guy is so funny how humans interpret just yeah. interpret things. It's just like well, it's like you just everything is 
for so long as like you heard it and you repeated it. Right. No one was writing down their curse words. No. <laughs> Alan just knows what's happening behind him. Yep. Well, at least when he was writing this book, he, he, yeah. knew, he knew what was going to happen. But I feel like as he reads the pages, too, like, do you think he's reading the pages as he picks them up? Oh, or I does it get downloaded is. into his memory as he picks it up? I think he's kind of re-experiencing for them for the first time again. No, but I mean, like, does he have to actually read the words on the page, or when he picks it up, does it go... <laughs> because, like, in, in you know, he can't read it while he's running from these three well, dudes kind of true. thing. Yeah. That's a good so when does it, when does he get the information? Because he is basing stuff off of what's on these pages. Right. I, I mean, I, I think... I think he's actually reading It's like them. Hades it's and Achilles just... getting the... In, yeah. in the game, Hades getting Achilles notes. I love the... I love that uh, Zagreus responds to those sometimes. Oh, that he, the fact that he—he's like, "Come on, old man." Yeah. Have you ever have you ever actually seen Into the Woods, the, the like the play? Mm-hmm. There's the part right where all of a sudden the narrator is in the middle of a sentence and he stops and the entire cast is looking at him and he's like, "What?" And they're like, "Some of us don't like the way you're telling the story." And then they sacrifice him. They, they literally yeah. fucking kill him. It's like it's like the play version of um, when the illustrator dies in Monty Python almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's totally like that. Oh god, he just I mean, came right out of that bush. He was definitely hiding, waiting for you. I like how every time the flash train goes off, we turn red a little bit on the, the lighting changes <laughs> on the camera. That. Oh, that's great. See, I'm, I, That's I'm what's keeping the darkness the away here. decided to do this stream for. This is so fun. Uh, yeah, that's a good, uh, it's good timing a for it. And it's a great another uh, spooky season media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I think start I'm up October to, off the right, right way. Yeah, I'm. Let's see. Oh, uh, shit, sensor. Um. I'm trying. I'm thinking about trying to do 31 new ones because, like, usually I count Halloween movies I've already seen if I'm doing 31 of them in yeah, October. Yeah, yeah. No, I I'm do. I'm thinking about trying to do 31 new ones. Sound and Fury. You blasted four taken into ashes with a single black. Nice. Ring. Cool. Um, because I already did censor all three Fear Street movies, and um. Ah. I usually count uh, and games and, 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 and as mass. my whole thing. Yeah. So I'll do like 31 horror things, but like if I play a whole video game, I'll count that as one. Yeah, totally. Um, I was thinking about looking at, seeing if I could find just a bunch of um, shorter indie ones to not pad it a little bit, but like right. horror, a horror video game as a, as a thing for that, you know. Is much longer than watching even all of Midnight Mass. True. It's like seven, eight hours. I can't remember how oh, many episodes. Seven, Six. I think. Um, but then some of them go just a little over an hour. Right, so like... right. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. The mud and rocks <laughs> and the desert. I forgot that they went a little. Poltergeist objects, you know? <laughs> Okay, but the vehicles always felt like maximum overdrive. That's fair. <laughs> Just because the that's whole time fair. I was going Stephen King, feeling Stephen King vibes with him being right. a writer, no, I was true. just like, <laughs> "No, that's, that's I saw, very fair." I was a list of '80s horror movies that deserve remakes, and they put maximum overdrive on the list, and I. Just so heartily disagree. You, you, you know do what? not need to remake. You could I, make a good movie with it, but you do not need to make it. You don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to. But I do think that there is genuinely something interesting about reserving, like the entire idea of remakes, for specifically for, for things that were done badly. Yeah, that were bad the first time. Like, yeah. Take take bad movies remake them mm-hmm. and see if you can kind of figure out a version of them that actually yeah. works. 
I, I think that's what we should focus re- re- on. You know, you remake a good movie. It's like but why? It, maybe you could make another version that's also good. But even if you do, it's you're not making anything maybe, groundbreaking. Maybe sometimes, like maybe maybe there's yeah. like I think the um, 1970s invasion of the body snatchers is a way better movie than the 1950s one. Yeah, or when, when you have that of big of a time versus. gap. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. Like, I don't think people would be as down on a remake of something yeah. if they waited fucking longer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, if it was like, absolutely. let's remake a movie from the uh, from the sixties mm-hmm. in twenty in the twenty twenties. That's a fucking great. Because people time. haven't seen them first yeah. movie and for the company that owns that original movie people are going to go walk back and watch it to compare 100 percent, 100 percent. like i just watched well and i guess technically the string goes back even further to the 30s or 40s or whatever um uh whenever um one of the one of the Agatha Christie, and then there were oh, none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, I watched. There were three different versions of that um, from three different decades, mm-hmm. which was pretty cool to see. Um, all, the third one was like a TV or BBC miniseries, which I think was successful to give it the extra length. Yeah. Um, I can't help wonder if. She was talking about Mr. Scratch, and like maybe a version of Mr. Scratch already exists at this point, but we just haven't, we don't know about yeah. it yet. But. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. What do you mean, somehow? You know about the Taken. Right. Wouldn't you suspect her of being taken? I mean, <laughs> again, he's not the brightest. Bulb all the, but he's you know. good at putting. He's, no, he's he, he is ostensibly good smart. at being put at putting together plots. No, he yeah, no, he is he is he is supposed to be. I think smart enough to figure something like that. When I turn my flashlight. But he's also, I guess, like in denial. He doesn't want to believe that she's been taken. Right. I'll give you. I'll give you uh, the benefit of the doubt, Alan. That you're trying to. He's somewhat in denial about how bad things are for his right. own situation. Right. I mean, I suppose, you know, you're just working off adrenaline. going. Yeah, like, he's right, just I'm like... going to push through and just kind of wish for the ideal scenario mm-hmm. to kind of rear its head at Where's some the... point. Oh, there's the door. It, it was interesting to see some of the reviews for this talk about it being kind of... I mean, like, talk about it being repetitive and, mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, I mean, you know... It, was, it never wasn't repetitive, though. Like, yeah. If you took out the repetitive, you'd be taking out game content because... I don't know. I also, like, I mean, to me, I think all games are repetitive yeah. in an inherent sense. It's that, do those... Does the gameplay roof that is repetitive feel rewarding yes. or fun to play and yeah. then if I think that if you were like no playing repetition. Nightmare and you're constantly getting swarmed that's the, the that's where it would feel repetitive the most in sure. the most in the most not good way right it's like if you're just constantly getting hit in the back of the head with throwing axes right and you just feel right. like you're making no progress yeah that's going to that's going to be a yeah. bummer of a time playing that game but, yeah, like, anything where, especially this, like, there's th- th- three enemy types, four, if you count. It's like the regular dudes, the big dudes, the crows. And the, and and the, the fast, op- and the, the fast, fast guys, guys. And then there's the possessed objects. I yeah. Think that, and, that, and I guess that you fight the tornado sometimes. That's but like even boss, those are, like, kinda. are, like, uh, um... I mean, it's almost more of a puzzle to complete the fight against That's the tornado. True. That's true. It's it's using the same fight mechanics, but it's a, a fight puzzle, kind of. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but even with that list, still has more enemy types than Marvel's Avengers. 
<laughs> I don't think that's technically yeah. true, but half of them are like the same. Well, and like, you know, I was really thinking like, all right, the only only real shot this game has left is is add. does this Black Panther expansion add enough? Yeah. That. Like, I think that in two years it'll be a full game. That, but that's the thing is it has to do well enough on a to regular get, basis to yeah. get enough, to get those two years yeah, of content out in the that. first place. Because if they're not making enough money at a certain point, they're just gonna they're stop. Gonna, yeah, like, that's true. Plans for whatever content. I mean, COVID really fucked um, the production schedule. For yeah, that. I genuinely think. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh wow! It actually knocked me off. First death. Uh, I think that's the second one. Is it? Sorry. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it shoved us right in front of the, the darkness or filled with evil or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it'll I... it'll be interesting to see. They said that they there there was a tweet recently that they were overhauling a ton of the systems in it. I mean, good. So, but so maybe it it'll be... end up being enough. We'll find out, I suppose. But, like, you know what? Even if they somehow turn the game around and make it good, is it going to be too little too late? Like, will people actually come back? Right. Like, people don't come back to the game, even though they put the work in because of bad first impressions. Yeah. Look at look at the... I would argue that's a, uh, a, big, uh, a big thing for the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> it, that, it had such a... had a bad first impression for most yeah. of its first season. That I once it got into what I think is a really good seasons two through yeah. five, people have already had this bad taste in their mouth, and, they and they're not like, gonna. Yeah, I don't really like. People just didn't really care. Yeah, you know, like it wasn't good when it started, so they're like, well, maybe it's it gets worth good later, but putting the effort in when, especially when like, even if two through five are good, if six is awful. And kind of, you know, you could retroactively ruin your story with yeah. some of those longer-running shows. Yeah, I, you know, I honestly thought that this, because they were supposed to end with five, that show, yeah. and then they did a six and a seven. I thought the six and seven were okay. Yeah. Like, I didn't think they were terrible. I don't think they were as but good. But they weren't as good. But I, I didn't think they were awful. Um, seven, actually, I thought was better than six, too. Seven was, like, a slight comeback. Got um, it. That's good. But, like... Ah, uh, yeah, a good chunk of it. Oh, and it just fell off on its own. Nice. Cool. Uh, but I, I did, I did enjoy a, a a pretty big chunk of that show. It's obviously now it's like it doesn't even matter. It's completely. What's his name? Like, One of the uh, the actor for Coulson still insists it's MCU canon. Apparently. Well, you know, but now it's like, that they've established a multiverse... It's multiverse canon, yeah. Everything Sub technically counts, right? The, mm -hmm. the early 2000s Fantastic Four movies count. The original Blade movies oh, count. Oh, yeah. How did the duck even, in theory, can count? I still need to see that. I've heard it's kind of rough, but... No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. I, I'd be willing if, if, if we had, like... Bad a, superhero movie night... Oh uh, God! See, that's the thing is, I I have legitimately tried as to 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 do that as like a like oh ha ha <laughs> let's watch a bad movie and, and it's too bad for that. Physically couldn't get through it. <laughs> now, I, to, I'll be I'll be fair and say that I only tried that with. Um, Certainly not the protagonist. Ooh, heavy duty flashlight. That's right. Better battery. The mag light. Some would get like a crazy big lantern too. Uh huh. Um, I hope it. I hope it turns into a disco ball, just for uh, coffee thermos. Over here. Or? Uh huh. Right. Um, on those pallets. Ooh, there. hey, look at that. Ooh, coffee thermos. Um, <laughs> you know, I the last time I tried to watch it was a very long time ago, and it was only me and Michael that tried to sit down yeah, and watch it. I think it's a uh, like something a that bad group of people is a party watch for sure. I mean, you know that there is full on like graphic duck tits in the movie, right? No. Yeah. Multiple Doesn't times. Doesn't surprise me. Like, there's just straight up, like, graphic du duck titties. I want to see... Like, they've got nipples and everything. I want to see any... In, I want to ah. see Deadpool watching that movie. <laughs> watching the Howard the Duck movie. You got these... You got these flare tanks, Ooh, too. Ooh, yeah. 
Ha -ha. Which were like one of the best, that. one of the best ways to defeat enemies in American Nightmare. Yeah. I forgot yeah, that dude charges. That. You know, that one's got a really efficient uh, battery changing. There's a, there's no time where the yeah, it's like light instant. turns off. <laughs> Also, though, like, I forgot that when you change the batteries, it's not a full refill. Yeah, it depends. It, like, it depends on how, uh... How depleted you are. Haha, <laughs> see, now that, I think, was a good use of a flare gun. Yeah. Take out the big boy. Just rename it, name it the Chonky Taken. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, no, I was gonna try to combine the words, but I don't think it'll work. The chicken. The, the, <laughs> that's all I can come up with, and it's not great. Night Springs. Hey, all right, we got ourselves a new episode. Take this opportunity to have a few more chips. Mm. Chips. So we will pause for like a little mini movie night. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That satisfies my need for items behaving weirdly, or objects behaving weirdly. The game developers doing all these parts? Probably. I think that guy was on one of those missing posters, actually. Definitely a game developer, then. Yeah. What is the plot of this what episode? She killed him with a kiss? Freak you the fuck out. <laughs> oh. It's their alien. The cult sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of Dreamcatcher. Hey, Skin Soapbox, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, my mic's on mute. <laughs> well, Sorry, I, I was on I mute. Picked you up, probably. Skin Soapbox, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? We're having a fantastic stream. About four hours in into. <laughs> 20 hours left. Yeah, 20 more hours. 20 more hours to go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just making our way through. Having a good time. Just talking a lot of spooky movies, spooky games, Halloween stuff. You doing anything for Halloween yourself or any, any October horror <laughs> streams or any, any horror games that you're doing on your channel? I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. Wait, oh, we already saw this, right? Oh, no, this is the tornado. I was yeah, thinking, this is not, I forgot yeah, we this see him me. again. <sighs> He's not taken yet, right? The kidnapper? No, yeah. the kidnapper is not. How is no. he surviving? <laughs> I, do, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Or no, maybe the darkness is just like, you know, you're kind of helping me. Uh, I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> and that's, that's okay. Obviously, that's, you don't yeah. have to do any any spooky stuff. Well, now, now you, count, you can count this stream. There you go. Your plans. I mean, uh, this for sure. I don't, I, you know, I, I know I'm going to be doing some, um, I know I'll be doing it's horror games basically player. throughout every, at least every Tuesday of the month. Um, I think so after so this this is gonna be like a twenty four hour stream, yeah. right? I'm gonna be playing this all the way through today, basically. Um I know that next Tuesday I'm planning on doing here. 
Destroyed 20 poltergeist. Not really already? Oh, heavy metal. Destroyed the bulldozer. Nice. I like that that bulldozer was the... I feel like that was so fast, too. The, the big... The biggest... Uh, maybe not the biggest. One of the biggest uh, t possessed objects you see In the whole was game. number 20. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I know that, uh, I know next week, uh, I'm planning on do, doing, um, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do a full playthrough in one sitting, but at, at the very least, two, the, the, the next two Tuesdays of October, we'll be doing, uh, uh, Outlast, the first Outlast game. Oh, yeah. Because Alex, uh, and Ulysses have never played that, so I'm gonna expose them to that, uh, disturbing, <laughs> uh, horror show. That one's that one's one you gotta, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, with, with and those are the raunchiest co-hosts. Yeah, the, um, they're just gonna. I have. mean, they're just gonna be. The, the whole game is so much. Um, either <laughs> they're just gonna be joking the entire uh, time. Like, one of the most successful jump scary games, kind of. Yeah. I, I honestly don't those think those don't those always two work, gonna, but yeah, but yeah, no, they're just gonna be like la making fun of the monster the whole time. Yeah, no, I'm hundred percent. I also, I want. I guess playing do... it during the day too. Well, we will be playing. It'll be pretty dark out. I think by okay. the time we start playing, if only because the days are getting that's shorter. That's fair. That's fair. Um, or at least the daylight. I also want. I want to try and do. Um, I want to try and do a bunch of um, smaller stuff, though, like kind of games I can do in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Detention would be a really cool game to do a stream for. Um, that's a really cool Taiwanese horror game. It's a 2D animation. Um, it's about a haunting uh based on people that died during the white silence which was a period mm. in taiwanese history where the country was under chinese military occupation so like banning you know a lot of book burning a lot of um yeah it's just it's just a really rough period it's like 30 years of mm. like military occupation Today? And so it's a, it's a cool like it's like a cool haunting story that incorporates a little bit of that history um, I, uh, Never Ending Nightmares, that's another cool one. It's got this kind of cool, again, 2D art style, where it's like this kind of sketchy, full black and white, with the, it's like the, mm. you know, blood is the only thing in color, kind of the, kind of that Sin City thing. Um, that's a cool one. Inside is a cool kind of, you could do as a one-sitting stream. Um, I was thinking about giving the Amnesia games maybe a shot, because I've never actually played those. I don't know. I uh, there's 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 a lot of gear, there's a lot of horror games. There's a lot of horror games I can do. I wish uh, I had. Is there anything behind us? Probably not. But I, you know, I could totally be using the car right now to make this go way faster. Mm. <laughs> um, oh, there's there's a lot of horror games that I could do though. I I wish, I honestly wish that I had. Uh, uh, my, a PC and a capture card so I can stream off of older consoles because I would so hook up my PS3 and do some Dead Space. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that, but it, maybe not this year, maybe next year. I mean, there's the remake, so I don't know if that's coming out next year. Yeah. Then I guess I can do that on the PS5 next year, but still, I, I want to. That's another thing, like. I once I once I'm able to get some better equipment and stuff, and I can really make this stream a lot more professional. There's so many more, so many more things that I that I want to do. Like in this, I'm actually Alex. This is a show that Alex is going to host himself, and I'm I'm gonna consider myself a co-host for it. But uh, we're gonna do um, uh, like a, a show that is dedicated. And no games, right? It'll be just like a two camera setup with us talking, more of a traditional podcast. And we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, coverage of elections around the world. <laughs> just the whole show just dedicated to different elections, like live, like live coverage. Like every time there's mm -hmm. a le an election that people aren't talking about in like another country, but like the, that in American news is just kind of getting ignored. Yeah. We're gonna do like a live show to cover it. 
Nice. Okay, that's, that's, there's, there's just there's just so many things that I would. And then like on April Fools, you gotta cover like ah. a mayoral election in Senegal or some some <laughs> tiny <laughs> little random election. Uh, oh, so shit. for another other have. short, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's a horror game, but it's eerie, as they mm -hmm. say here. Oh shit! Um, I just fucked myself out of a car. I think um, I myself out have of you car. played What Remains of Ed Edith Finch? I have not, but I have heard that's so a two-hour one. So it. that's a good one-stream one. That's yeah. I'll pro I I will probably do a whole bunch of like little indie horror streams like that this mm -hmm. month. Just kind of. Oh yeah, and we talked and... about doing um. Again, like, not maybe not directly creepy horror, but uh, oxen free. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 that's definitely another one that's on the list. What genre do they put that under? Adventure game, indie adventure. But yeah, it's spooky or uh, atmospheric. At and then, least. like, I was considering trying to start up another Resident Evil game, like with Alex <laughs> and Ulysses. But at the same time, those are those are a bit longer. Those would take like a couple sessions to make our my way through. Um, and I, because we're we're basically putting we do normally Death Loop every Tuesday, and we're taking a break from doing Knights of the Old Republic every Tuesday to play Death Loop. Now we're taking a break from Deathloop to do horror games for the month of October. <laughs> so now we're taking a break from a thing that we're taking a break from a thing for. <laughs> so like I don't want to like do a. Whole, I want to. I want to try and keep it to like one stream games mm -hmm. as much as or like stuff that's maybe two short, like outlast. Yeah. So I want to try and kind of yeah yeah keep it to stuff that I can play in a relatively short amount. I mean I could solo stream some other stuff. Mm -hmm. I just finally after. Uh... I think three years. Got my game key for Kickstarter Rainbow Billy Curse of the Leviathan. What? Is which that? originated as the Steamboat Billy. Oh, that's the uh, like RPG with the. It's like, RPG hand -like. drawn, yeah. Hand drawn yeah, like Cuphead. Animation? Yeah. That's cool. Detained. Yeah, I don't know if you were detained. Mm. Yeah. Detained is the wrong word. Distracted. Yeah. Oh, by the way, now that I... Uh... Yeah, he told them, oh, Alan walked in, everyone heard a gunshot, and then... Right. <laughs> oh, no, I guess he went off. He turned his thing off oh, there. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, he let Alan in. Um, by the way, once now that I'm a, a affiliate on mm -hmm. Twitch, uh, the VODs are saved for like 60 days instead nice. of two weeks. So it's, it's like two months before they actually go away. Nice. That's nice. There's stuff, stuff like this can sit around on there for mm -hmm. just a bit longer. As long as they don't get uh, pissy about this music. Right. <laughs> as long as yeah, that, as long as but like stuff where it's strike. unskippable. There's they can't. Rem I really. I've been saying. I said this a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, I think I said this. Oh, well, maybe I said it in chat. They should be paying. The like, if you want people, you want people to stream your game. Right. Because that gets the word out and gets people to play. That's true. Yeah. And it's if you're gonna exposure. take stuff down, it's basically free ad for having music that is unskippable in your game. Right. Like, and I get that the game makers not, aren't necessarily in control. Right. of the yeah, song rights more, and that stuff the it's the yeah it's the music record shit. companies and producers but that's also getting the song out there that's that same car again yes it is there's only a, like five cars in this game i think that's fair um is that the kidnapper's car is that who we're meeting i don't know that's a good question because that would explain why we keep either. seeing it again because he's true. like one of the few people still out driving around. Oh well, that's true. Because it was on the boat. Yes. Specifically yeah. At the beginning. So that that would actually make a lot of sense. Welcome back to KBF. And Again. Already. No, it's the doc, the doctor from. Uh, uh huh. Who helped? Who helped, looked at us? <laughs> I 
So I can't remember the last time I forced myself to stay up like this for like a yeah. really extended period of time. I've I genuinely don't even accidentally remember. stayed up till four a.m. Um, numerous times, but like on purpose though. But the last saying? all-nighter I pulled, I was still in college, probably. So it's been a while. It's been <laughs> since, I mean, it's probably been since 2000, like, since when this game came out, Around almost. Came out. Probably a couple years after that. <laughs> um, I, now that I think about it, I tried to watch, I don't, I don't think it was a, f I started way earlier in the day. But I did have to stay up pretty late when we got a late start on watching the extended Lord of the Rings trilogy. Mm. That, yeah, was probably till like, that was probably till like 6 a.m. But yeah. that was still five years ago or so. My friend and I tried to do it a couple of years ago and we're, we got through one and we're like, one a week? Yeah, well, let's do one a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, that's like... <sighs> Take one day, set time aside yeah. to do one of those extended well, Because cuts. once we did the math of, like, taking bathroom breaks if you pause for everyone, yeah. like, even just the time to preheat a pizza in the oven, like, go walk right. the dog, like, right, it's like suddenly a... over a day. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just not something I can do now that I'm 30. I mean, honestly, something I couldn't do once I was 25. Like, right. There's just a certain point where your body says, nope, not going to do it. It's a... Uh, I'm past that point and I'm yeah. forcing myself. Well, we're, we're, it's literally a <laughs> yeah. minute as we say that. We're the, literally the, doing it right now. The show How I Met Your Mother definitely has its ups and downs, weak writing, filler episodes. But one of my... I love the concept they talk about, the, uh, the Murtaugh list. The list of, I'm too old for this shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, after Murtaugh man. from... Um, I like that. Lethal Weapon. Thank you. Lethal Weapon. I wanted to say, um, what's the other one that's, that I always think of? Are you thinking of another Danny Glover movie? Or are you no, it's another, but, another buddy, cop, buddy movie. cop movie from the same era, and I always... Hmm. Um, do, you remember who, any, do you remember who was in it? Um... No... I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main. I forgot building. they made a TV show of Lethal Weapon. <laughs> Didn't look very good. They have one of the Wayne's brothers, I think. And one of the one of the actors got kicked off the show. I think both of them did. Didn't they have both eventually, or maybe one? Maybe the maybe they did. I know after quit. the first season. Um, the guy who was playing Riggs, I think, got kicked off the show. Maybe that he got kicked off, and then the other guy just quit, or something yeah. like that. Or, or maybe the show just got canceled. They they okay. They killed off the character of Riggs. How are you gonna have a lethal a lethal weapon, weapon without Riggs? Right, it's Riggs like, or Murta. Like you can't Riggs. kill off either of those characters. Like maybe recast him, I guess. Like even yeah, if it's like right. Kind of weird. But yeah, it was it was like, about behavioral stuff on set. Oh, so he was like just like being an Mel asshole Gibson. to everyone. <laughs> right, right. Well, just, not only actual like Mel Gibson, <laughs> but the character of Riggs is also just kind of an asshole. Right, that's true. It's like, um... You know, I don't know. Case. No, I didn't want to search for Lethal Weapon TV show. Why did I click on that? You weren't think you were thinking of Predator. Similar. That has Danny Glover. No. And Gary Busey. Have you ever seen Predator um, 2? No, I haven't. Oh, that's a weird movie. Gary Busey wants to like freeze the Predator with liquid nitrogen and like keep it for himself. I don't know why, but he I love wants it. Gary Busey so much. He's so fucking crazy. Um, well, I the and we made it. Scrubs. I didn't want to. I always think of his moment in his cameo in Scrubs, think, where the character of Elliot uh, says, 
Everyone says I look like Gary Busey on my driver's license. And Gary Busey just was walking through the background with a doctor jacket on. And he goes, (laughs) they say the same thing about me. (laughs) It's just like such a weird throwaway bit. Have you ever seen him in the the clip of Gary Busey in The Simpsons? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a taped video that somebody puts them, puts into the like VCR as like a, it's like some sort of taped demonstration. Yeah. And it, it just opens and he goes, "Hi, I'm Gary Busey." <laughs> it's just like starts laughing at nothing. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I can't think of what movie I'm thinking of that I always associate with these. Um. Through being jerked around by you. Have you ever seen the robot? Is it you know in uh, you know in Point Point Break, right? When uh, when they're they're gonna jump out of a plane and the the I forget his name now, but the other guy he's giving Keanu Reeves a bunch of shit, and Keanu Reeves is like, "Are we gonna jump or are we just gonna sit here and jerk each other off?" Remember that? In, there's a robot chicken skit where they, they do that scene and then and they like, all, none of them say anything and they all just look at each other and they're just <laughs> the outside of the plane and they just close the door. Oh, oh Alright, that's okay. I'm going to pause for a quick second here. I'm going to take a short bathroom break. I'll be back in a few seconds. How we doing in chat? Oh, I'm not even on the uh, on the camera. Let's see. Let's adjust. There we go. If anyone in the chat can think of uh, what buddy cop movie I'm thinking of, it's probably something in the 90s. And I cannot figure out. what it was. Something with similar action comedy vibes of of the Lethal Weapon movies, and I cannot come up with it. All I can think of is maybe it was Rush Hour that I'm thinking that I connect it with. That the Buddy Cop movie? You're thinking of Rush Hour? Maybe. I, that feels wrong. I feel like I'm thinking of something else, but I also might be thinking. You're not. They're thinking both of, Christmas, uh, so Die Hard Theodore and. Rex, are you? I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's uh, a buddy cop movie so starring Wolfie before. Goldberg and a dinosaur, <laughs> and it's bad. <laughs> and it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
it sounds bad. Truly bad. Like, it's oh wow, like that dinosaur is imagine. like descended from the dinosaur from dinosaurs. <laughs> the show, <laughs> it's the exact same that. kind of puppetry. Do you know how that show ends? The sitcom dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Um, we've talked. <laughs> I don't remember. The, is the it the company? asteroid? No, the company the the dad works for causes an ice age, and the end oh, of the show that's is they right. all freeze to death and die. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so an dark. ice age, another extinction it's, event. It just it's so dark. Why is Whoopi Goldberg wearing like? And without any like, look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I know. No, I her, know. That her, movie it's like a, it's ridiculous. almost like umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got because you know what I, I want to do. I want to do watch parties on this channel. Yeah, for bad video game movies, <laughs> in particular, bad video game movies. And oh god, have you you watched Mario? Right? I I okay. I know it's a bad movie. I love that movie. Yeah, like, I it, it, love like a, that movie. Laugh kind of thing or? because it is so absurd. The it fact that they went from what Mario is around. and got to what they got to. There's <laughs> no correlation other than character names. Well, here's an interesting thing. Did you know that that movie was supposed to be an extreme hard R? It would have been very weird but to put like Mario in an extreme art. Already, but yeah, no, absolutely. And you kind of like yeah, see I, like, oh, absolutely it's, like you guys see what it's supposed to be. But all, all of the like weird, they evolve, like the, all, all of it, the whole concept, every inch oh, of the concept is bizarre yeah. beyond oh, belief. Sure. Oh, there's a great, there's a pitch meeting for, uh, for the Mario movie. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Ah! Stop hitting me. They don't do any plumbing. They do a little bit of plumbing. They get, like, shit water in their face. Oh, I mean in the game. Oh, in the game, yeah, no. There's no, no actual no. plumbing, but then there are plumbers in the movie, which you could... If you're gonna drop stuff and change the story, they don't need to be plumbers anymore. Yeah, I don't know what you make them, but they don't really need to be plumbers. Well, also, like... I, I mean, it's again, it's a thing of, like, how are you really gonna make a story out of Mario in yeah. the first place? Like, does that really make we'll, sense? We'll find out with Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. <laughs> Which is also mm -hmm. funny because, like, are they gonna do? I don't, I don't think they would. I but it would be interesting to do the villain Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong. That would be cool. Did you? Okay, so or at least have him Mario start Boxing, as an right? enemy and then yeah. they become That's friends true. or whatever. No, that could be cool. That could be cool. Um, have you? Have you? You've played Mario Odyssey, right? Um. The on the Switch. Yes. Yeah, the main one. Where your hat possesses people. Yeah. It just, it's so weird. Uh, but but do you know... Um, you, so you know the mayor, right? The whole... Oh, damn it. Wrong. In the Mario movie? No, 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 no. In in um, in um uh, Mario Odyssey. The mayor. The mayor there's like the, the actual like city with humans. Like properly proportioned human beings in it. In Mario well, I don't Odyssey. Know, I mean, I remember... I, there's like the mayor is the, does the big song and it's like new. Dark I might not City. have gotten that far. Oh, okay. Well, I think there's kind of Kim a weird finished it and I saw it there, but I never uh, played it. Well, so there's like this lady in a red dress, right? And she's like the mayor of this like very huge yeah. city that you go to um, in Mario Odyssey, and she, not Princess Peach, that mayor character is the is the lady that Donkey Kong is has, is kidnapping in the original Donkey Kong. And that level, that classic level with all the pink platforms and the blue springs. Where you're on like that's on supposed to be scaffolding, that, kind of. That's supposed that or that is the inspiration for the the city in Mario Odyssey. Like the that's Mario Odyssey cool. is literally like taking the concept of that original Donkey Kong level and making a whole like that's cool. city world out of it. I like that. Which I did not realize until yeah. it's like at the very end of the game, like they make a few reference more direct references. I was like, uh -huh. oh is that I don't know where we is? are now. <laughs> yeah. 
splatter Do you have spree. any, uh, oh, so, so literally today, right of during left. the stream, <laughs> we are going, like, literally the, oh, nope, I didn't want you to get out. <laughs> Alan, get back in your car. Back in the car, Alan, God damn it. Um, so sometime today, in the, in the middle of the stream, <laughs> we will get the reveal for the final Smash character. Oh, yeah. And I like how everyone is going out, wild like. on Twitter with their ridiculous predictions. Right. I would love... It won't be Alan Wake, It'd but it would be, be so, so funny cool. to me if it was. <laughs> I think <laughs> like the mechanics be. of that would be so fun. I just like the idea of them doing any character that, like, doesn't make sense in a mm -hmm. conventional, like, fighting game. Like, right. Like, like, like I, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Hey, say hello, Sarah. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome into the long stream. I hope you're having a good time. Or good night. I assume it's, it's, uh, I assume it's gotta be, like, middle of the night for you. Or You'd maybe early the headlights morning. would go out getting knocked around like this. Also, yeah. does the car have health? Yes. Oh, I think we just got the answer to that. Yeah. Yes, it does. Ah! Can you... This just single dude. And How did yep. that thing hitting the barrel <laughs> not... How are you, Sarah? How are you? Yeah, no, that's a definitely a good question. I don't know. I don't know. That should trigger the explosion. At least kill that one object with it. Also, why doesn't he leave the headlights on every time he gets out of the car? Ah, yeah, that's a great question. You're, you're, you're not. He, Alan is terrible for the environment. <laughs> he's a ter, he's a terrible. Uh, he doesn't, you know. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Okay, that was amazing. That I, was an actually incredible but, moment. But, but like, I'm glad that was caught on camera. It puts you perfectly <laughs> where you needed to be. It did. Yeah, it literally and not me only exactly that, where I want to be. It, um... Oh, whoops. <laughs> wrong. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, <laughs> it's 4.41 a.m. for me, and I am up way too early. <laughs> Damn, I feel that, though. I've been there. I, I get insomnia yep. real hard, so, like, uh, I'll wake up I thought and you were going to say, uh, uh, go back to working at the airport. Oh, well, yeah, that, too. I had to get up at 2 a.m. when I worked, oh. worked at the airport together. Yeah, uh, I guess no, getting down there though. for 6 a.m. and or or what, what? I don't even remember what time the shift started. I don't want well, to. Well, the store opened at 4:30. Yeah. So we had to be. I had to be there by. I had to leave yeah. my house at like 2 2:30 at the latest to make it there on time because I lived just far enough away. That I, um, I always showed up just in time to open the gate when I had that shift. Yeah, I just you didn't even like. I'll open it as we go. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. I'm not even gonna like it. I the get the coffee time, as soon as the coffee's brewing. You just go then go do everything else? Yeah. Yeah. Then because as long as someone else is there, ah! anything else in the back can be done when there's someone up front. Uh but no, we're doing good there. We're doing I think we're doing pretty good. It's been a great stream so far. We're about four hours and thirty nine minutes there, but mm -hmm. just about four hours and forty minutes in. And, uh... Yeah, this is, I believe, this is the one you've been talking about yeah, all week. Yeah, I've been going on and on about Alan Wake and um, a whole bunch of other people's streams. <laughs> just talking about how uh, how much I love it. Um, it's a fantastic game. I just I think this game is, is so underrated. And I'm glad it's making a comeback. Yeah. And it, we're getting a sequel! I'm so excited. Also, as you can see, we've got the camera set up for the first time in, like... <laughs> It's been a while. At least it's been a, it's been since before I really had like people coming in. Yeah. That I had the last time I really had a camera set up. Like people weren't really watching it, but people were asking to have the camera set oh, up. Oh, so. what? He was standing right next to it. Well, no, you're not right next to it, but he was standing next to the other guys that got hit by it. Yeah. Stupid per stupid monster surviving. I yeah, think there's a. You do have a cam. I gotta need Ammo. to put my glasses on. <laughs> hey, fair enough. My, oh, my, it's just... my fi oh, you don't need to apologize. You're fine. <laughs> uh, uh, my fiance, if she does not have her glasses on, she can't see shit. <laughs> yeah, that's me too. Like, always gotta be. Yeah, I used to always one. wear contacts. And, and that's that red chair from uh, Twin Peaks. in the. Oh, um... yeah. Yeah, you can actually find these red chairs all over the game. That's funny. <laughs> like, just in a ton of different places. 
Yeah, no, Sarah, this game is, so we play as a writer who... Writing is, about a writer right now. <laughs> I mean, that's like, I mean, that's not an accurate way to describe there's a, it. To be there's honest. some good comics about it, but um, but but no, it's it's uh, oh whoops. So he basically wrote a book. If he doesn't remember writing it, uh, but it's like it, it it is coming true, and there's some supernatural force that is basically bringing his his writing to life and altering reality to fit his writing. And he has been trapped. He's trapped in a, his own horror story, essentially. Mm-hmm. That's like the basic version. It gets a lot weirder than that, honestly. Like that's the re- that's a really simplified. <laughs> yeah. But this get, it gets it meta in ways that are kind of unbelievable. It's a writer writing about a writer writing about the first writer, who's I been think writing about the who's been writing about writer. both of them. Yeah. yeah. It's what? Oh, I see. It's not actually taken or i guess that'd be a possessed object big old tree oh and we're full up on batteries it used to be a game about being the verizon guy picking up (laughs) energies of energizer batteries no there's a ton of product placement yeah in the original original game all the batteries that power your flashlight were actually like energizer branded and there were Verizon billboards, billboards everywhere. everywhere. Like when you turned your phone on in a cutscene, it would have a Verizon logo on the face of it. They, 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 yeah, I'm glad they changed that. <laughs> I'm glad that's not in the game anymore. It's a better game for taking that out. Yeah. It was so unnecessary. I mean, it just seemed like it was, well, it was to think, get the budget that yeah, they needed. Yeah, Remedy has never been a huge game studio. Your f- small Finnish... Finished, right? Yeah, they're yeah they're a smaller Finnish game studio, and I like I'd say control. They have offices here now. But... Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'd say Control is the first game they've done that I kind of felt was like triple kind of triple A. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like they they've approached now are kind of a big triple A gaming company, but even then they're still smaller than like any actual triple A gaming company. Yeah, they're they're still not. They're building. A big, um. Should I try and climb this, or can I? Can I, I was wondering no. about that too, because why was the the icker up there? But maybe I think there might be another way to get around up here, though. I would um, be surprised if that number on the train meant something. I bet yeah, you'll find not? out in the commentary. Right. Well, I mean, so much of this game starts getting to like Jungian psychology and like weird like dream state shit and. Those dodges are so funny. Where you get the successful, dodging. you get the successful dodge animation, but he's clearly but still he's like, stuck in a corner. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh my god! I think this is maybe a time for uh, either a flashbang or the flare gun. Yeah. Where? Oh, those other three. Of course, they all split up. Gotta get them all together. And also, like, nice. this, also, Sarah, this is a game where the Ooh. flare gun is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> Instead of, wait, Anything. take out four, didn't you already get that one? I guess, I guess not. Oh, four with a flashbang, and we got three with a... Oh, and then now it's four with a flare three gun. Three with a flare gun, and then four with a flare gun. Cool. I wonder if sense. you get four with a flare gun first, if you get both of them. Like, does it count as three, or does it have to be just three? I think you'd have to do it with the flashbang separately. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the And then, Sarah, I don't know if you've seen um, the game Control, but that takes place in the same universe as this game. And Control takes what this game does and just runs in, like, a million new directions with it. Yeah. And gets the, like ten times weirder. The weapon mechanics in that game I think is one of the coolest things they did in terms of uh you have one gun, but it It like sha- it morphs, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, easy yeah, you don't know about control. So well let me give you just the most basic idea of control that I can, can then. You cross that? Uh I think I I think I can. Oh, Oh, okay. The way he is walking is so funny looking. 
Actually, I don't think there's anything over here. No, there's not. Um, but so control is about Oops. this organization called the FBC. It's the Federal Bureau of Control. And uh, I actually got the coffee mug right here. <laughs> um, but uh, they, oh, they it's, like a, it's like an arm it's like an arm of the government, kind of the government that they investigate supernatural events and like catalog like possessed objects or like you know just anything supernatural or paranormal they like you know make a case file for it and they you know research it and try and understand it and the you know, basically the events of this game Alan Wake are one of the many cases that the Federal Bureau of Control has done research on and then has like tried to understand and research. Um, oh, did not mean to use a player, goddamn. Well, whatever, we get it. We get a lot of them anyway. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a really interesting universe. Um, it's I mean, it's the only real like game, cr like multi franchise video game universe. As far as I can think of, um, like like think like the Marvel movies, mm -hmm. but by like a kind of art house, uh, not maybe not indie, but like smaller art house experimental, like video game developer. Imagine if Marvel was made by like an art studio instead of a big <laughs> instead of the big Marvel by A twenty four. Yeah, right. I'd watch that. Uh, wait, what do I have? Sounds almost like Warehouse 13, the TV show, but they don't hard, hold artifacts and not hidden buildings somewhere else. Oh, okay. Artif Warehouse 13. I have heard about that. I've never watched it, but I have heard about it. I have heard, I have heard intriguing things. What gun do I have right now? I'm trying to remember. There was... Ooh, yeah. Pump action shotgun's way better. It's a good show. Well, I will, I will, uh, I will check it out based on your recommendations, Sarah. I will check that out. One of these. I remember, days. yeah, Aaron Ashmore is in that show. Oh, um, the he twin was in... of Sean Ashmore that a lot of people don't realize exists. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he played Jimmy Olsen in Smallville. Yeah. And I thought it was Sean Ashmore for years. <laughs> um, Mark Shepard is in it. Saul Rubinick. No, oh, I love Mark Shepard. Um, yeah, Mark Shepard's great in pretty much everything he does. He, in, after Supernatural had like all gone downhill, he was one of the few parts of it that were like, <laughs> yeah. all right, well, at least Mark Shepard is still good whenever he's on screen. Anthony Michael Hall was apparently oh, in cool. Warehouse 13. Yeah, can you believe they're dredging up Dexter again? Literally, because he was supposed to die. <laughs> well, oh, I'm hi, Taken. Oh, oh, I'm not. I'm taken. <laughs> like, I just can't believe they're doing more Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Dexter, Dexter alone. alone. I like the I like the first four seasons of Dexter quite a bit. I, I I'm really trying to think like of what are the what are the like main season one is the brother season two is Lila the girl that's like obsessed mm -hmm. with him season three is the mayor that wants to be his friend season four is the Trinity yeah. Killer season okay I was gonna say Trinity Killer was that was the like, peak of the show to me yes I thought that it was, was spectacular no and I went into I that, that season so good. like what the hell I've never seen John Lithgow as a as a Just villain seen him like from Harry that. and the Hendersons. Yes. To, um, I, going in, I was like, this dude is in love with Bigfoot. <laughs> he just wants him to stay, and he just can't. Can't no. you see we don't want you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't take him. I didn't think I would be able to take him seriously as a villain. Well, but it's his, it's that folksy charm, and then the the, well, the actor's ability to totally turn too. that off in a moment. Yeah. Well, the fact that the swap. character even was like yes. a fake family man. Yeah. Like that, like that part. I thought that was a wonderfully told story. However, in season five of Dexter, and I'm sorry, Sarah, the... I, I'm, I'm, you know, to each their own. I'm not trying to tell you. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I promise. This is, this is my own opinion. <laughs> Why, that I thought yeah. the show went off the rails in the second half. Um, I'm trying to think of what. Season five was the motivational five was. speaker. 
Season six was the oh, religious was killer good, I... who was hallucinating his own yeah. mentor. Season seven, I actually like season seven. That's where they brought Ray Winston in as like the gangster. And uh, I thought he was really good. Yvonne Stravosky, I think, came in as like kind of a new love interest. I actually did like her. But then I thought, I, so I thought season seven kind of brought it back a little bit. But then I thought that final season, I just was like, eh. I, did, I just didn't care for it. The dark presence was I mean, like, maybe they could give it a better ending this time? But, like, yeah. Sarah, let me ask you, are you looking forward to them bringing it back again? Or do you think it's a mistake to, like, try and force more out of it? Like, do you think it would be better if they just kind of left it alone? Or, because I, I just feel like, I don't know, I don't know. If they bring it back and it's not as good. They did completely. See, yeah. that's the thing is, I like parts of Dexter, but I, I, I thought near the end they just didn't know what they were doing. But, like, maybe they could have a better ending? Yeah, I, I think they, yeah. I, I think they ending? can. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. In, in, the, in the books, I mean, in the, in the books he dies in that hurricane. In the show he became a lumberjack. Right. <laughs> and so I think that that, that yeah. original, you know, it would have at least given it some Ooh, better closure yeah. if he had actually died. Or, like, you don't sh don't show him dead, don't show the body, whatever, like, We're maybe he's dead, maybe he's not. And just don't show anything. Yeah, leave it there, and trust your viewers with that. Yeah. You don't have to handhold as much as a lot of shows think they do. Yeah, well, I, I hate when shows do stuff, any story, any movie or TV show or video game for that matter, oh, when they do that, it makes it feel like whatever the thing is, right, whatever the movie or show, it makes it feel like the people that made it think that I'm stupid and I'm yeah. not going to get it unless they, like, you know, over explain. Unless they you know. walk it out step by step in front of you. Yeah, and I'm just like, trust your audience to... to and and leave a mystery. The whole show is, you know, there is him solving mysteries and creating mysteries. Right. And then they they don't end with a mystery. I don't yeah. know. You yeah, can leave a cliffhanger, and I don't think people will all... Yes, sometimes people will be mad about leaving a cliffhanger. I think it depends on what but, it is. Like, The Sopranos, I don't think, had a good cliffhanger. <laughs> Just ending. Just cutting without, to black yeah. without really any continuation. And everyone thought their HBO went out. Yeah, people literally were just like, did my TV break? Or like, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, like stuff, I don't like that, but I, 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 yeah, I don't know. Like, I, okay, like, I think it was a huge mistake to try and explain the space jockey. The space uh, jockey. In Prometheus, right? By going back oh. and trying to explain Alien and like the origins uh -huh. of the Alien and stuff. Like, just leave it alone. And the mystery yeah. was more memorable for being a mystery. Yeah. Oh god. And also, don't touch everything with your hands on a mysterious planet. Well, there are. I mean, there's, there there's, are other problems with that. There's movie. a lot of problems with Prometheus. <laughs> I'm going to touch every button I can find. <laughs> this is essentially. Oh, every this is a weird I egg. Agree. I should pick it up. Oh, an evil alien penis snake. I'm going to grab it, even though I'm the guy that left the cave with the dead bodies because I was so scared, and also I made the map and I got lost. I, no, I, oh, don't even get me started on that movie. Oh, it's so bad. Mm, I hate that. Or, like, how about, like, the fact that all of the technology in the spaceship is, like, all bright and shiny like an Apple store, even though in the original Alien it's, like, all this grungy, dirty, like, technology, and it doesn't fucking make sense that this yeah. is, that this is a prequel. Because wouldn't their shit be nicer in the other group? I, uh, nah. mm. I hate it. 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 I can't. I can't. Ooh. God damn it, Ridley Scott. <laughs> He's lost his touch. Like Robin Hood. I'm trying to think of... Robin Hood movie? It was so fucking yeah. with Russell Crowe. What has he so done? Boring. Oh, I for Yeah. I forgot that was him. Or maybe I blocked it out. I would be surprised um. if you just blocked that. <laughs> I, I've seen, the, I world. remember the movie. I don't remember, I did not remember it was Ridley Scott. What else has he done? I just saw he was doing a uh, new project. He did The Martian. That's probably the best thing that he's done yeah. in recent years. Ridley, Ridley Scott really just, does, I just don't think he knows what he's doing anymore as a filmmaker. I don't think he, under, I truly don't think Ridley Scott understands what made his own movies great. I think the Back same is the true, true of George Lucas. <laughs> Well, George, I don't think George Lucas ever made a good movie, truly, 
because <laughs> I think his editors yes. are what made the original Star Wars movies good. And the prequels, the Star Wars prequels, are exactly what happens when, when you he, give him full control. Yeah, when you let him just do what he wants. Oh, the last the duel is the one I just saw an ad that he was doing. I don't know how that looks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm willing to give, it a, I'm willing give it. any movie a chance, but, yeah. God, Alan, could you just... Also, how is all the running around that we're doing not, like, building up there the should, stamina yeah, just a little bit? Yeah, that's... He's, he just gets Although, so tired. Although, <laughs> since it's all in one night, he just never can, or like all well, in a couple days. Right. Anyway, he, he just he never catches his breath. Up. Yeah. <laughs> his muscles are just weak the whole game. Oh, I just had serious deja vu saying that sentence. I don't know. To earlier tonight. <laughs> I guess. No, just. Yeah, I don't Almost know. Almost A, we're just about to be five hours in. This is that officially like the a... longest stream I've ever done. Just already. I you already beat my own record. I was just gonna say I'm probably saying this an hour too early. I was like, oh, you know, I, I could maybe make it till the next host gets here. We'll see. I mean, I you mean, have the longest to go. What's next true. is ten. Yeah, I, you know, I don't even know because Tim is for sure coming over around three. Okay. But I don't know. Actually, if anyone else is. I know Tyler is coming at some point, he said, in the yeah. earlier part of the day. But I don't know oh, what time unclear. that means exactly. Yeah. Um, Nadia will, will sit on here yeah. for a bit. Oh, damn. They got me. Come on. Nadia will come. Stupid tractor. Uh, my, my fiance will come hang out for a little while in the morning tomorrow before work. Oh, so she's yeah. also not feeling good though. Her allergies are kicking her ass. So even that might not even happen. Yeah. She may not even feel up to coming out here. But uh, if she does, I'll have a few, like, oh, like an hour <laughs> and a half where she'll be around. But, I mean, hey, if you're, we have, you haven't even had one of your pizzas yet. Oh, we should do that. Hey, if you want to, I'll gonna go, I'm gonna go do that. Down. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to Sarah for, uh, for a little bit if you want to uh, you know, preheat the oven yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, won't ain't gonna be able to stay the whole stream. Work, blah blah blah. Yeah, no, hey, totally, totally. Uh, I yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, the fact that you were coming to hang out for any part of the stream already means a lot. Thank you, Sarah. I seriously do appreciate you. You have been one of the most supportive people for to to, to me and to to my stream, and I do really really thank you for it. Ah. We're dealing with our poltergeist items here. Where we are. Oh, shit, there it is. And after Corbin makes a pizza, I'm going to make a pizza. <laughs> because I'm starting to get kind of hungry, too. What is it? Just her. Oh shit! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it is 4:03 a.m. right now where we are. I assume it's just just past five then for you, Sarah. Is that right? Oh shit! I'll do that again. Get the flashbangs out here. That'll help. Nope. Oh goddamn it! Use the flashbangs. Food is life. Hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, that didn't work at all. Now I'm out of all of those items because I did not use them very wisely. Please take a few breaks to stream eat not no I, yeah, yeah i've been i've been i've been uh pausing or taking walking off every once in a while especially when i have a co-host here it's especially easy to just be like hey you uh you hang out with the stream you 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 know you 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 take care uh you hang out with the chat for a few minutes i'm, I'm gonna go take care of some stuff but no i promise i will not uh say this because i think you said this 
Uh, the game itself was not nearly 21 or not nearly as long as that, but I'm probably going to end up doing like two entire playthroughs just because I'm going to start trophy hunting the game uh, after I beat it the first time. And but I'm also trying to extend the stream through to when I know my other co-hosts are going to be here. Um, so, yeah, because I want I want to have one stream where all my co-hosts come in and out. So let's see, at 4 a.m. right now, my last co-hosts are going to get here um, at about, like, 6 p.m. tonight. So, yeah. And then, I, and then they, they'll be here for three hours. Solid three hours. Oh, God. Hey, Stash LaPanda, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I am currently... Five hours into my marathon stream. What is it? I'm currently dying. I'm, I'm currently being smacked in the face by a fucking truck. Or at least part of a truck. You go smoke? You got it. You got it. My co-host will be back shortly, but Stash, how are you? How are you today? Not sure what time it is where you are, but it is currently 4 a.m. Streaming for about five hours, and I've got about, like, 18, 19 more hours to go. Something like that. Made the train engine run out of steam. Thought I haven't been able to catch the streams and trying to get my sleep pattern. Hey, no need to apologize, dude. No need to apologize at all. You're good. You're good. There's nothing wrong with missing streams. You're here when you ha when you can, and I appreciate your time and support when you are here, man. No worries at all. We all we all uh, we all got lives and you know get busy sometimes. I do. I did. I set the cam up. I set the cam up. Uh, it's been a while since I've been I've used it. The main reason I stopped using it was because I kept getting it kept blocking things I needed to see during like Dark Souls, and I was just like, I, I just I need to because I I'm also it's also on my screen on the game the way that I'm doing it right off the PS5 and the, for some reason the way the PS5 does it is I I also have to look at a little box of myself in the corner. Sometimes it gets in the way of certain games, but with this game like I know this game like inside and out like the back of my hand. So it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't, it's not going to get in the way at all here. And I thought, you know, do the big, because it's, it's a big, uh, you know, it's a celebration of hitting, hitting affiliate and uh, hitting 126 followers. And uh, I, you know, I figured I had people asking to set, for me to set the cam up. So I figured for at least for this one big stream, I would want to have it set up. Another reason I wasn't using it before is I thought that the lighting wasn't good enough, but I actually, I don't know, I think the lighting's okay. It could be better. It could be better, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. So I, I probably will start using the camera a lot more now now that I see that it's a little better than I expected it to be. Yeah, 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 I was just talking about the lighting. Oh, <laughs> did you did you, you know use the I'm... timer on the oven, or did you set the timer on your phone? Oh, I haven't. I would. I haven't put it in yet. Oh, oh, well, just preheating. Yeah, right. right. Oh, he. I never noticed he actually says Lovecrafty in Frozen. I forgot that. It, I, I feel like they call attention to quite a few like yeah actual horror novelists. Well, I guess in the last Night Springs they had. A name with sixty different apostrophes and fourteen <laughs> Ys. So, and uh, and Stash, uh, this is my co-host, No Name Twenty, who you Hello. may recognize being in the chat uh, fairly frequently. And I will have basically all but Almost one everybody. of my eight co-hosts will will come through and hang out for part of this stream over the course of it. Like they'll they'll could they'll basically they have shifts. <laughs> yeah. Feel that this is definitely a different type of stream. I think that's dope. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you could make it for part of it. Uh, I do not expect anyone to stay here for the entire <laughs> thing because that's a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing. I was gonna it for say you're gonna sleep for 16 hours after so this. 20, 24 hours ish. ish. Like I mean, I don't know if I'll go completely to 24 hours. We started at 11 p.m. It's now be a long... just after 4 a.m. Um, my last co-hosts are going to get here at 6.30 p.m. 
And but that'll give you a boost of energy too. Oh yeah, to get especially because Alex and Ulysses are the raunchiest, <laughs> most ridiculous co-hosts I have. So like the absurdity, just stream, stream of consciousness <laughs> nonsense that we the conversations that we will get, that we get into every single time they're here. Uh, so like, oh, I guess it's the just our regular just like, time, isn't it? Yeah, that's just when they come over to yeah. do Death Loop or Star uh-huh. Wars every week. So that's basically the normal stream for I them. Think about that. But they'll just happen to walk into this, which is already will already have been going. But they'll yeah, they'll be here from six thirty to nine thirty oh, PM and that's the last like co host shift I have coming in. Um and uh so I may I may not do a full twenty four hours. It may be more the stream like, is apparently sponsored by Aloe Drink. Yeah, Aloe that we're Drink. both going it's for this, uh, super refreshing. Yeah. Don't be weirded out by the chunks. <laughs> I know that sells a drink super hard. Yeah, there's chunks in it. <laughs> Don't you want to drink something with chunks in it? It's actually really good, though. They're chunks of aloe vera, so it's, like, good for you or whatever. Yeah, and, like, it's a really good drink because, like, if you if you smoke at all and you've got, like, a burden mm-hmm. afterwards, um, I could do the 24 hours. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Well, I might. I might. <laughs> I will think about it. I will debate. I will debate. And the only thing is this game's not long enough to stretch out to a full 24 yeah. hours. So I'm already having to, like, I'm already, like, having to basically do New two game plus playthroughs. And, like, <laughs> oh, have you had yes. these salad drink? These are great. I think they're awesome. It's funny. These used to be something you could, like, almost never find. And now I see them in, like, every store. It's, uh, it's always it's a holiday drink, now. Yeah. It's I'm always sure. an holiday. They actually, I've never done it. They have a QR code on here for a song. Oh, really? That, like, goes with it to complete your experience. Oh, Sash used to buy them by the case. Yeah, I used to get them at Costco by the case. Oh, shit, yeah, really? Okay. Um, and you, they, when they stopped having it, I couldn't find it for years, and now it's at holiday, and I pay, like, a quarter of what I used to pay for a case for one bottle. Right. Do they still sell them at Costco? Or no. Just, that sucks. At least, keep, I, I mean, I haven't had a Costco membership in a couple of years, uh, but so last time I was there and my, and my friend works there and uh, he keeps an eye out. At least his store doesn't have it. Maybe other ones do. From BJ's? BJ's. I don't know that store. Is that a... Oh, there's the... There's the pizza. Or oven. I wonder, does your I'm controller connect all the way? <laughs> what's that? What's that up there? <laughs> So does the controller connect all the way? Yeah, you can carry it with you. You might, they might, you might still be able to hear you. <laughs> uh, no, that's. Uh, I, I assume that's a department store. Um, have you? Uh, let me ask you, Stash. Have you ever played this game? Have you ever played Alan Wake, the original one? Because this is a remaster that literally came out. I think at I need two PM. hands to put a pizza. In. <laughs> oh well, yeah, you need your hands. <laughs> But yeah, this game, uh, this remaster literally came out at 11 p.m. And we literally started, like, the moment that it came out. Um, so this is, like, literally playing this remaster, like, as soon as it was physically available. Am I going the wrong... Get turn, getting turned around in this mine here. Uh, was it through... Oh, okay, here. Here we go. Do I have a Twitter? Yes, I do have a Twitter account. It is at RM for immaturity. There should actually be a link on my uh, profile. Um, there should be a link on at the top of my page to it. Otherwise, if you just search, search at RM for immaturity, it should be the first first account that comes up. And I made a Twitter account right away, basically, with this stream because I know that Twitch's notification system kind of sucks and does not actually necessarily tell you uh, or send the notifications out to people very well. Or it so, doesn't update the game. That's or, the or, yeah, it doesn't update the game. The um, yeah, so either it doesn't update. So, I, I, yeah, I made the Twitter because I figured, like... And people, have, I haven't really yet, don't have a lot of followers on Twitter yet, but I figure eventually I'll, I'll make it so that that can be the thing that really notifies people that I'm, that I'm going live. Got another page. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost they ever told. Getting a little chilly. Just comfy. Just comfy. 
Yeah, I the was like, I'm not wearing jeans the for this stream. I'm going to wear sweatpants. That's uh, a the good entire idea. Time. I should have thought of that. Because, so, fuck it, I'm in my own house. <laughs> I do what I want. I mean, theoretically, when you don't have your camera on, you can stream with no... I guess no, I mean, I I guess no clothes, no clothes on. I, I was going to say without, you like, just in know. your boxers, but, like... <laughs> I guess. They're, they're, I've never done that, but like, I, I was could. gonna say, I, I feel like that would. <laughs> as long as there's no camera, I feel like I that mean, would still feel it would weird. Feel weird. It would you're, feel weird. You're, to me. Yeah, you would it have would. that social interaction, but you still know you're naked. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'd be comfortable. With it's that. like yeah. it's like when you take your glasses off and you kind of think other people can't see too. Do you ever? Do you ever have that? You know, I I haven't ever had that. I, kind I, of I thought, guess but specifically I when I'm a passenger long, so. in a car, if I can't see what's coming on the road, then I worry about it, and yeah, I, I mean, assume that the driver is not going to see it if I don't look. It's definitely a good con like concern. I def do stream in my jars. <laughs> see, I, they, there yeah. you go. No, I mean, uh, I mean, even if you're, even if you're, especially like PC gaming in front of a. Thing yeah. where it's right in front of you, and you're I mean, just seeing you know, above you the can't desk. See, I mean, I'm wearing pants, but you can't tell. <laughs> it's so, like uh, I, mean, I am. I swear to God, I am. I am wearing pants. I promise. I'm not gonna but, stand up so you can see them. I right. won't prove it to you. I mean, I've stood up multiple <laughs> no. times to like yeah, go get a drink or run to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, hello, kitty. Yeah, that's the issue where you would suddenly run into like, oh, come here, sweetheart. Oh. Hello? Who streams with clothes on if there is no case? I mean, <laughs> I, I do, but like, I mean, maybe I'm the weird one. I don't know. Red Wing out here. <laughs> and you would never know, Stash. You would never know. See, Hello well, there. This is obviously gravy. the implication is just a thong, but even with the pants on, we don't know. This is gravy. This is my Kitty. older cat. She wants to get away, so I'm just going to let her go. <laughs> and then she just, like, casually stays yeah. there. She, like, that's the thing. Is she's, like, constantly, like, no, put me down. But then she'll, like, sit there and want pets. She just, she's like, I want you to touch me. Just don't pick me up. <laughs> and then my new kitty cat, Biscuit, who's only been here for a few days, she does not mind being picked up. She's kind of got to be in the mood for it still. But she'll, yeah, she'll let that's you every hold cat. her more. Gravy, gravy. It's like it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> gravy no matter what. If you, like, let me see. If I do it again, she really is getting unhappy. She'll start screaming at me. I guess she's in a good mood right now. <laughs> I was gonna say she knows she's being put on the spotlight. I, she's being. She she must be in a good mood because normally if I pick her up, she just she's starts, glad she's someone's yelling. awake this late with her. <laughs> yeah, normally no one else is up with you right now. You're just out here by yourself. I wonder if having no, oh, she just walked into the camera cord. I saw it move just a little bit. I wonder if having an inconsistent sleep schedule affects one's pets. Um, just in terms of like feeding schedule, like if Kim's not home, I'm feeding the cat later than she would get fed thank when you, Kim's Sarah. waking up. They're very cute kitty cats. Ah! God damn it. Oh, that gets me every time. What, the axe to the yeah, back of the head? Yeah, like every time they throw the projectile at me. Fuck you. Come on, big man. <laughs> oh, look, oh, he's look. Hulks for a second. <laughs> it's just an animal roar, I suppose. Yeah, just like a mon, just a kind of a monster. Fortunately, I got to take off. Got to get ready. No worries, Sarah. No worries. Have a hey, good have a good day. Yeah, I hope you have a great day at work. Hope it's not too stressful. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate your time. And yeah, seriously, have have a good day. I hope you hope you have a good stress free work day. And who knows? Maybe I'll see you later because you'll be streaming after work, yeah. Yeah, I'll still be streaming when you're done, so good tweet you were streaming, hopefully. Well, thank oh you. well thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sarah. You're very kind. 
Might stop in later. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'll still be here. <laughs> I might be exhausted, but I will still be here. The stream that doodles, never ends. Doodles to you. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, if this is a successful stream, and I think so far it's been pretty good. Yeah. We haven't had a, a ton of people in the chat, although people are starting to come in now. Right, and I right. Think We're getting more in the chat now. But we've also, we've had, you know, also, we, we've well, had long-term viewers, here, yeah. but I've had a bunch of people... I have fallen asleep with us, um, right? <laughs> just based on the time, anyway. Well, and people are starting to wake up too, and I think yeah. a lot of people come in as they're waking up. Totally. So, happy four twenty, everybody. Happy four. Ooh, <laughs> hey, it is four twenty. It's my favorite holiday. <laughs> Leave out milk and cookies for Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's what you gotta do. You some kind of monster that doesn't leave out cookies and milk for Snoop Dogg? God. <laughs> I think uh, if I was on a, on a true 420 celebration, the cookies wouldn't make it to being left out. That's true, that's true. <laughs> It's like you you would mean to leave them out, yes. but then uh, but then you eat them you yourself. Eat them and then yeah, well, that's true. What the? All right, this is what? way out of uh, the the purview of con conversation topics. But guitar that's pedals. Fine. I don't mind guitar pedals. Conversation the Kickstarter just was successfully funded. Okay. Way past oh, its target. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing with the cigarette. I know. For, um, she just is like, she's dumb. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's a. It's just. The, it's the same shape as her little spring toy over there. That's fair. Yeah. It's just a. It's just a cylinder. A fun cylinder. Right. Um, a guitar pedal that makes fart sounds Why? from your guitar has. Why? Smashed its target on Kickstarter. That's what people are funding on Kickstarter? What, what is why? No, what, what I, hold on. <laughs> I'm so curious. Only what would you especially what? like okay, but no, I'm not I'm not defending this at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I realize the way I'm presenting this, but I'm so curious what that sounds because usually you're not just using one pedal. Right. So like your guitar's making a fart sound and you put it through a chorus pedal. Where right. it's a chord of farts, or or I like a harmony so. of, f I, I, well, I, don't I know. know. Okay, actually, like I, there are multiple bands that I listened to like freshman year of college that I could see using that. Okay, which are like weird scene punky, uh, sure. like. Pop punk metal bands, screamo bands, She's that also just did ridiculous. Listen. Yeah, I think it's empty, so it's probably fine. It's just a big cylinder. I, I yeah. That she just wants to pick it up. I don't. Cats are weird. There's nothing <laughs> under there, hon. Anyway, uh, yeah, I set my friends on fire was one of them. Okay. And they did a uh, mostly mostly saying they might do that. Based on, they just did a bunch of goofy covers, like sure. they did Soldier Boy, Crank That, okay, in just metal scream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it honestly, it, like it, it sounds like he probably couldn't. Well, I mean, I guess if you do the metal screaming right, it's uh, <laughs> it's hey, fun. Go. It's fun. There you go. But it's also absolutely ridiculous. But like, like all they the were, things. There, I mean, I, a lot of things that are fun are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, feel like I that's saw them. Um, they opened for somebody I was seeing, and that's where I discovered them. And they and they closed their set with that one, and I just immediately was enamored by the idea of cross genre covers. TGIF screamo cover. I don't. I have don't no idea. think so. I yeah. I have not heard of that. I didn't even know. I haven't even heard about the song that you two are talking <laughs> about. To be honest. I uh, yeah. I don't know. 
just going back to the Kickstarter though for a second. I don't know what it is, and maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm weird. But I am not amused by fart sounds. I don't. I don't know what it is. I just and like sometimes I'm like, am I the weird one? But do I like, do I just not get something that like everybody else seems to get? Like some of the. I, I think just, it's I really it situational. Right. It's the. It's the. It's. The, I just, it, but it's. I it's think it's the relatability funny. about it. It's the rate of, well, maybe, Relato- uh, it, It's it's the like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not judge. I'm not judging anybody. You know, I'm not judging anybody. But just for me, I just. I, like, I think it never, that it, it, it becomes it or it becomes combined with humor, because of the embarrass factor, embarrassment factor that then. Like, eh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, haha, you just got embarrassed, kind of. Okay. Right? That's the only yeah. thing I've ever been able to to figure out why. Right. Because I don't, yeah, I don't think it's, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, like, maybe if it's timed, like, oh, you know what? I, I thought yeah, of one, it's, it's... I thought of one <laughs> ever that I, like, fart joke ever that I have found funny. And it's in Home for the Holidays. Have you ever seen that movie? Late nineties, Robert Downey Jr. pre drug addict. Like like way back in the day, right? Old Robert Downey Jr. Oh god. Well, young Robert <laughs> Well Robert, yeah. right, young, young Robert Downey Jr. Um But I No, I have this not seen absolute, this absolute like fucking blow up this horrible like fight at Thanksgiving, like Somebody ends up just covered in food and like big like family members like that now are like not speaking to each other and they're all silent in the car ride back. Oh. And the lead female character is just like the the little just like one little far and it's because it's com- the complete silence and mm-hmm. uncomfortable situation. That's the one. Yeah. I can think. That's the one time I can think. There's of a where there's I one of those laugh. can pyramids up there. No way. Um. Yeah. No. It's. I just, but for the most, but like other than that, it's one usually exception, uh, I just, okay. Yeah, like I just, I. That's one of my eyes. least favorite things about it. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, he Seth, loves yeah. to go for the really. I think really I know some people do weak. genuinely find it funny. Yeah, I, and I, you know, whatever I guess, it's fine. But it just it doesn't work for me. That's why I finally was able to like the Orville from him. Is he got he away from a little? <laughs> he does a little bit. It's but he found bad. a way to make it high con. He finds ways to make it high concept. High concept enough. farts. Now yeah. that sounds like an accident. I mean, <laughs> well, so like a fart from a gelatinous life form. Sure. Where it verber- reverberates through the whole creature, or something like that, or there's a visual I, I gag with it, too, or bro- yeah, probably. But that's another place where it still is like overplayed. I think that the. The clown the that sang well, the David Bowie song. Oh my god, I that scene would annoy me if I didn't think it was such a great David Bowie. Um, his David Bowie is just so good right. that I will enjoy him doing anything. He could sing the deepest lake in the world. The ABCs. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. Mm-hmm. Volcano itself could be considered to be active and is not erupted since the volcanic earthquake of 1970. Even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folktales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. If well, one, if any single geologist had gone here and looked at this lake and yeah. not seen any volcanic stone in the lake, right, they would immediately be like, "Okay, nope, that's not right." Right. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, if we're not seeing, I've, I have to imagine all of these rocks been. look like look like actual. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They look I mean, like I'm, they were corroded by like water. Yeah. They don't look like they're. They they do not look like they were blasted right. 30 years ago. Right. No, that's true. And it there's not, like, something. obsidian that's flowed down into the water or... Oh, nice. Good spot. Um, oh. No, yeah, that's true. I, um... So, but I, but I, I think like, that's just because, like, you know, that blast didn't... So, sort of didn't actually happen the f- right, until it was written. Right. And so, so like, like, Zane just didn't know those details about that thing, kind of. 
It's right. uh, it's no, got an in universe probably. like well, you like, know because they could have gone way out of their way to make this look a lot more volcanic. True. Well, in I'm also way, wondering if like perhaps the the fact that it's just, just this is just a small town if there's just not been a lot of scientific yeah like, yeah because who's going to come out it. and you know they the oh, the volcano it. explosion obviously there wasn't any uh or a volcano eruption i should say uh there weren't people like there were no casualties they said except i guess that means except Marvel. same but they got written right. out of all but a couple of papers. So maybe this volcano eruption wasn't even in a lot of papers. Yeah, I mean, I think it was in the local news. It was it. Yeah, so that's why there's no one coming to check this thing out. And even then, it was only stuff written by the, uh, the, the, the lady. lady. Old, yeah. yeah. I wonder why her words are the ones that stick. I think if it's because she about... knew Thomas and Barbara so personally. Oh but yeah. That's the only reason. So you can't change can... her memory about the events. And... Yeah, like she's like the one exception. Yeah, basically. that makes sense. Well, and because she's keeping the clicker for. Oh yeah, she has the clicker. Do you, so are she, you she full like on? Has to remember. Uh, I think I have. Yeah, I'm max okay, ammo good. on my flare gun. So I saw there was the flare the and the flare gun. I wasn't sure if it wasn't letting you pick up the flare gun just because the flare was full. And in front of the gun. Oh, I just turned the timer off on the food and then didn't get it. Oh, all stuck. Oh, he's reading it anyway. <laughs> no, Star Stash, did we answer your question? I think, I thought we did, but uh, let me do it now if we haven't. But no, we have I, We have not heard about that. Frustrated, Mutt stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led the driver's aisle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. You know, if I if I ever start to make enough money off of streaming that I can do it for a living, I will do eight hour streams every day. I I'll I fucking I will. I'll just I'll just do just like Monday through Friday, like nine to five or like ten to six, just like all day. Uh, oh, you know what? It might be dirty, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, that might be the better option. But I swear, I swear, if I ever make enough money, I will just, like, constant mass-produce, like, full-time job, just all-day, every-day content. Let's see. Ooh, how do I get that one? That's on the other side. That's a gate. Why is it making a doorknob noise? That is a metal gate. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the, I don't know if you can see from over there, uh, but all of the writing on the wall right here. Just... Cynthia, I miss you, Tom, 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 yeah. Oh. C, 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 N, and T, Z. So she was, like, obsessed with him. Oh. Like, obsessed, obsessed with him. Hello, cat. Want to be on camera? So, like, we could have avoided all of it if he had just been, like, moved on to her. Uh, I mean, so, yes. He also, well, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, hey, he, uh, must have been, must have been, uh, something real special about her. Right. And as soon as you sit back down, I'm gonna go put my pizza in. Cause I'm getting hungry. Oh, okay. 
And then I, I guess we just all just split the other one then with you two. Oh, nice. How how you feeling? Uh, five and a half hours into the stream. Haha, -ha, I have a ton of flare gun. Yeah, I took a I, I took a short nap, but I it you know I just couldn't make myself. I have insomnia at nighttime, so yeah, <laughs> trying to make myself fall asleep in the daytime is like even harder. <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel what stash uh, what you said about your sleep schedule. I feel that real hard. What was that? Oh, Stash earlier just said he's, uh, he said he was sorry he's missed uh, so many streams because he was working on his sleep schedule. And I was like, oh, oh no worries, yeah. dude. I also get fucking this, like, hardcore insomnia. Yeah, I need to work out. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, me too, man. Yeah, figuring out sleep schedule can be rough. Or resetting at, like, it. 2 a.m. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I regularly, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be awake at 2 and I'll, I gotta get up at 5 and... No, nah, my, my sleep spot. schedule can suck. You oh, took the my cat spot. spot jacked you. <laughs> For a second, she's like, well, if you give me some food. Move I know, there's so much shit on the table. Darkness candy. Oh, do I? I can also have it. What's that? The light. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You sure? Right. No way. See? Haha. -ha. I am wearing pants. You can see my pants. <laughs> I was telling the truth. I am wearing pants. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Yeah, I think we're almost at the end of episode three. And we're almost up to near peak. Hey, I'm here. I'm hey, that's the kidnapper. Yeah, I was just gonna be like. I swear I didn't know. Does he think you're doing this? No, it's the it's he's like afraid oh, yeah, of the the entity. Yeah. Which I, at this point in the game, the entity is still kind of unexplained, but. Well, I've played yeah. this game a million times, so I, you know. But yeah, all we've seen is her body. And yeah, we just keep seeing Barbara pop up randomly, and I guess there's the tornado. But... Wow. I'm just, yeah, I'm so curious. Yep, yep, we read the page about this happening earlier. But he would not survive that at least you would not be conscious yeah that you the wind would knock you right the fuck out before you even got there it's amazing for an 11 year old game this really i mean i i know obviously this is the remaster and they touched it up but like even looking at the original like it holds up decently well and from what i remember seeing even the Like Xbox One version of it, where they were, that wasn't the remastered. But they that had upgraded it a little. That upscaled it. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted. Yeah, that's definitely true. Didn't look this By the good, law. But like, the one from the Are you this. seriously telling me that writer just took out uh, my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story yeah. seems to be shifting. Because the environments it's of this game it's look it's great. I think they've done that Alice had been kidnapped. Yeah, the colors are way better. Or at least the, the fog. Is. Yeah, well, I think I said it earlier, but um, they intentionally like made it foggier because then you didn't have to program mm -hmm. as much stuff in the distance. Yeah. Whereas. Yeah. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight. I. 
you went through another rough period. <laughs> right now, it's very Hartman, you asshole. Stay calm. We don't so want like, you to have another episode. Here? You're a patient you in my clinic. Like? I can't imagine this is more than the next Stop. day. Why step triggered a mental illness? No, you're, you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Are we? It's okay. Are we though? Cat, don't touch the pizza with your tail. Come on, cat. Oh god. I felt groggy. Okay. Here's an interesting question. In this area, I felt like this in one of these rooms, someone else. in the original someone game, watching on television. there's a copy of this game. Think. Or a, it was a copy of a Focus. Night Springs game sitting on the table with an, and an Xbox 360. This is now on PlayStation. Is the Xbox still there? The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. And of course, that's the, yeah, what they want him to write. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the Wait, spirit? Is You're the being very on his brave, nose Alan? From Alan I understand. Yes, it is. Which he still has that on his face in control. Oh, really? The monster, if you like do photo <laughs> mode and like look at the character model, he still has the bandage. This corridor is for patients. Most of them are here right now. Jack took them out for Oh, they replaced it with like a generic fake game console. So yeah, it is not. Don't spring the game. Yep, so they, yeah, they took the Xbox 360 out. That's funny. Oh, hell yeah, that sounds great. Our world version of that, it's a Twilight Zone game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I although, mean, although maybe, maybe making it different from, like, if it's a Twilight Zone game, you're expected to do Terret, whatever, the, the ape on the plane, do oh. all the episodes that people remember. Right. But Night Springs. But if you're doing Night Springs, you have your full freedom, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a big problem that I have with, like, Every time they try and do a new Twilight Zone, they just remake a bunch of episodes, and I'm like, J just tell me a new fucking story. Is it that hard to come up with something new? Apparently it is. The great thing about Twilight Zone is it was new, weird fiction. Yeah. And now they keep, yeah, remaking episodes. Is that what they did in the one that... Some of it was new, some of it was remakes, but honest, honestly, uh, neither worked, I didn't think, in that new one. <laughs> okay. I just thought the whole thing was kind of... Yeah. Lackluster. Yeah. I wish they had had... Um... Because Jordan Peele was host, right? Yeah, he was I wish he had been a writer way. instead of the host. Yeah, yeah, that would have been... It would have, I'm sure it would have been more interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it would have been more interesting if he had been a writer. Granted, I didn't care for Candyman. I didn't see that yet. I didn't like it. I actually thought it was really weak. Have you? I I haven't seen the original either, though. Hey, Cheddar, how you doing? How you doing? Hello. This game is awesome. This is one of my favorites, and this re the remaster just came out uh, today. So we're doing a marathon stream. It's a 24-hour, or at least close to 24-hour <laughs> marathon stream. Doing uh, it's also a celebration of hitting 126 followers and achieving affiliate status. So welcome in. I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming to hang out with us, Cheddar. How are you? How are you doing today? Far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind. You're a skeptic. This guy is so creepy. Hartman is a manipulative douchebag. Yeah. I love. I'm cool. The horror horror. That. Yes, I will. I'll pl I'll probably play it. Uh, fact checker, man. I'm probably gonna play it twice <laughs> in this one 24-hour stream, or at least close to twice. Because I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna play it once all the way through, and then I'm gonna start playing it again, 
um, on the harder difficulty because there's um, certain manuscript pages that you can only pick up on the harder difficulties. So, I'm also just going to trophy hunt. I'm going to platinum this game. I will platinum this game. I will get every trophy for this. This is one of the rare... I don't usually care about trophies. It's so one of the rare times I will actually like try and get everything. there's a storm coming. Funny. Uh, this way. Follow me. Nice tell this game with Ray. I mean, I just love the story so much. Mm -hmm. Bay, if, so have you had you played this before or did you just play this play it for the first time to like to, or yesterday or today that the remaster came out? Or did you play the original version back back in the day? After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief. Just out of curiosity. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying. Got 16 plants. You hunt sometimes. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I do it rarely, but there are, every once in a while there's a game that like I really love and that I want to do it for. First time today. Nice. Well, let me ask you, Cheddar Bay, have you played Control? Have you played the game Control? Because if you like this, you should play Control. Definitely play Control. Because this came out in 2010, and it didn't sell that well. And I never... Um, I never thought we'd get more Alan Wake. Uh, and then Control came out in 2019 and turned out to take place in the same universe. And basically... Coffee mug in the background. Ooh, we'll get that coffee mug. Oh, this is a reference to Twin Peaks too because uh, Bob, the spirit killer Bob, climbs over the couch in a shot in Twin Peaks exactly the way this guy climbs over this couch. Funny. Very specific visual reference. I don't even remember what it episode like... of it is, but uh, but yeah, you should check out Control Cheddar Bay. That that is also on. Very um, cool. Game. Oh, you did and you didn't finish it. it, it I will say there uh, is the some. Oh, it's behind us. Uh, there are some real interesting connections to Alan Wake um, in Control. Uh, like it, 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 it's Control sets up. Um, like a little, like you just didn't see a lot of it. Yeah. It wasn't the most talked about okay. thing, for okay. sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I recommend going back and, or if you haven't finished it, finishing it, um, and, uh, and and especially playing the DLC, because one of the DLCs for Control is all about, oh, life was tough. Oh, okay, I get you I get it. you. So yeah. You just didn't have the time. That totally makes sense. But, hey, when you have the chance, personally, I, I do recommend it. There's some... Yeah, because Control sets up, I will just say, Control sets up an Alan Wake 2. Con Control brought yeah. Alan Wake back. The only reason this remaster... You got a bunch of books. Ooh, hey, because, can we read books on the... Focus. Any of these titles? The Snowy Hills. Peak. The lady's just singing Flight of the Valkyries over here. <laughs> Match... Dick, maybe I can't read that one. I don't see uh, I don't see the book of the year on here. I don't see Good Father, Bad Father. I think that I thought that would be right up Hartman's alley. I don't see it. These ones seem harder to read. Uh huh. Thank you, Cheddar Bay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It it was it was weird how fast it happened. I'll be honest. <laughs> it was weird how fast it happened. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Uh. I was just. <laughs> Doctor Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes. We actually talk about this painter in Control at one point. Huh. They they reference his, a specific character. His paint because his paintings are connected to. It's in, it's in the Al, it's in the yeah. AWE expansion for Control, but that's kind of all about this Alan Wake. But they reference this painter. I think I'm getting better. I mean, that better painting. painting doesn't, yeah, sure. I don't think that painting makes it look like you're getting better. If, uh, yeah, like you you. That's a have, dark painting, man. It's look like messed up looking. Yeah, have a good time, man. Yeah, it looks like he might be getting better at painting, but not getting better at being healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. 
yeah, better painting, but maybe not healthy. Um, but no, what I was saying is that like the only reason that this Alan Wake remaster even came out was because uh, was because uh, Control did fairly well. Um, oh my God, Cheddar Bay, thank you so much for subscribing. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Switch Boy, how you doing? Switch Boy, welcome in. Hey, I think we're we're doing pretty good. The stream is going pretty well. We're about five hours and 45, almost six hours in. And we'll be going for 24, maybe close to 20, maybe not exactly 24, but close to 24 hours. So I just finished school. Nice. I love his squeaky hammer. Also, look at the board game they're playing. Oh, I didn't. I playing a night spring board game. I just remembered his uh, squeaky hammer. <laughs> Who are the Anderson brothers? Odin and Tor. They had a... Good, nice. I hope, well, I hope you had a good day at school, man. Hope you had a good day at school. Was this game a... This, yes, Switchboy, this game was an Xbox exclusive back in 2010. No However, after Remedy Entertainment released Control in 2019, about six months after that, they actually purchased the rights from Microsoft back to their own studio, so the studio that actually made the game. And now this remaster that they released is on all consoles. Which is super nice. No problem, let's get the snowball effect. Hey, that's awesome, man. I appreciate it, man, seriously. Uh, that's, that has eight, eight paid, paying subscribers now, which is just nuts to me. That's just, uh, someday, if I make enough money off of this, I, uh, it's like with Destiny. Yeah, Destiny was multi-platform when it first came out, right? I think. So. Was it was it on all systems? But but like hey, but then Halo was not. So yeah, yeah. No, I know I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Switch Boy. Um, but yeah, no, I, I appreciate that that snowball effect. It's been it's been wild. I mean, I was only at twenty eight followers about a month ago. <laughs> Thor putting his back out, trying to call the lightning. I have seen yes. that. Yes, I've seen yeah. that Switch Boy. That's that's really cool, actually. I'm excited. For that. I've That'll seen be rumors intriguing. about that. That I think that's fucking awesome. Do they put Game Pass on the Switch? Like, can you? I mean, that's 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 just oh, yeah. like like I, I love Nintendo and Microsoft kind of coming together and having this interesting partnership. I mean, like you. And Sony uh, just wants to sit on their own. Yeah, Sony just wants to be on their own. If they use a cloud edition. Yeah. yeah, for like streaming. I know that the Switch has a couple games. Because, you know, no Switch. Oh, sure, yeah, because yeah. not a lot of people have that. I just think it's weird that they didn't go full 4K. You can release the second yeah. model and not do 4K. I just At least weird. do 4K for plug -in, your plug-in. Yeah, maybe the handheld version's not 4K, yeah. but like when it's connected into the... Yeah, no, and that that would they, be they were, they've been behind... They were behind adding HD at all. Yep. They were behind adding so. I mean everything. FPS They're always just one I agree. generation. I agree with that. Yeah. No. That's. Totally. Yeah. No. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. FPS. Yeah. No. 100%. FPS, FPS is. A I will take factor. performance over resolution any day. Maybe it's fine if there's no 4K, but at least an updated. I yeah. mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd take that. The Andersons made more sense. Just continuing to <laughs> squeak, squeak. Yeah, uh, no. We <laughs> have a stash of See how you called him Tom? Mm -hmm. the yeah, they like, did that in the cuts once, as soon as Hartman yep. left, too. Which, with the whole or scene he, in control. I think he called him Zane. Yeah, but yeah. also the whole the scene yeah, sequence in control, where right. they, they, the, it's like the Alan... Oh, well, that's saying it's saying, like that's mm -hmm. interesting because of that, yeah. right? Like that's a weird little yeah. thing. I'm a bad dream, and you can't wake up. Man, are you okay? No, no, this guy's not okay. <laughs> He's a bad dream. He's a real bad dream. You still just painting? Yeah, no, you don't have anything. I wish that would be cool if it was a different painting already. No, if it, like, changed that quickly. Uh -huh. I know somewhere in here uh, you, you, there's a bunch of other paintings. It's uh, in Hartman's office. Yep, yep, in Hartman's office there's a bunch more paintings. Mullets? Mullet time, bullet time oh, for Max Payne. You totally. <laughs> Mullet time. 
Uh, this is literally sounds like a studio executive conversation Oof. after The Matrix came out. Mm -hmm. Did you see The Matrix? That made a bunch of money. Switch Boy, I can't answer that question because I did not play either of the Destiny games. I don't think games. it I has an ending. Does it not? I because tried a demo they, and I did not care for this. There's Destiny. continual like raid content and stuff, new things right. coming out constantly. There might be like a main story, but I played it for a while and as far as I know, it never really it's ends. all continuous and that's kind of the idea. Right. Yeah, I, I, I tried. This ever changing world. Yeah, I, I tried Destiny when it first came out. I just. Couldn't. I didn't like it until I had a group of friends, like a full squad of friends that was playing regularly. Right, and that, that makes sense. And then, like, half of the big part of why it's fun is just the hanging out part. Like, I could take or leave Destiny as a game, but it was fun as a medium or engine for hanging out. Fair, fair. As, you know, kind of any game would be. No, that makes. Excuse me. That makes sense. Um, so this is why I, this is why I took uh, I brought the Tums out of my bedroom because I knew Relatable. I get late night heartburn. So. <laughs> yeah, that's something they don't t tell you about your mid twenties. <laughs> All of a sudden, you need help just like digesting and shit. Probably my terrible diet, honestly. Uh, yeah. I. <laughs> Yeah, no. That applies to me as well. Halo Reach is my first favorite FPS. Destiny 2 feels like a Halo Reach spinoff. I hear that. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge Halo fan, but again, to each their own, I respect. Well, that. and you're just in general not a big multiplayer. I'm not a big gamer multiplayer gamer. I mean, I'll, I will intentionally go out of my way to find multiplayer games that I like for the stream so I can yeah. interact with the audience. But I'm not a big multiplayer guy um, in general. Um, so, like, when I when, when I talk about, like, first-person shooters that I like, um, oh, Halo for the campaign. Hmm. Fair I haven't enough, played I mean, much of the enough. campaign. I, I am not a super into it, but... But I figured I should just play along. Like when I like for me, first person shooters that I'm into are like Doom and Wolfenstein and Shadow Warrior, um, or Blood or Heretic, or like those kind of those are the shooters that I'm into. Um, Resident Evil Seven, best horror horror game. Uh, it's a good one. I don't know if I'd say it's the best ever, but I do like it. I don't know. Good question, Switch Boy. Smash. I just, yeah, That's we were talking question. about that earlier. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Um, you know what? Alan Wake. Alan Wake. <laughs> yeah, That's Alan Wake. Our, uh... That's who I want to see. I want to see Alan Wake. I want to beat Pikachu with a flashlight. <laughs> hey, Wake. <laughs> Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Do you hear that in the background? <laughs> I love those guys, though. Oh, they're so good. Rabbits, rabbits? That would be a good one. Because Nintendo <laughs> loves to disappoint. And they I, love to shove rabbits into shit, too. Yeah, they do. I'm kind of surprised rabbits isn't already... You know, there was a... There was a That's um, actually... There was a, like, a like kind of Smash Bros. ripoff on the Wii a long time ago that was <laughs> just a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Oh, yeah. But also had the rabbits in it. Yeah. Rabbids rabbits and Mario right? should have failed. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I don't know. I didn't play it. I heard some people liked it, but like, I I've never really cared for the rabbits in general. To yeah, be honest, no. they've just never been. Something it's a that it's a weird never worked for me. bit. With the rabbits and Mario, that was the one that was like a tactics game, kind of right. Yeah, and like what kids? <laughs> Such a bizarre it's combination a weird, for yeah, that. It's a really Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be people would be, be happy. I don't know. I don't care for Waluigi that much. I don't like Luigi, but he's at least like out. a Mario Mario character. True, but to I finish don't... To, if you're finishing it out. Yeah. Oh, so these are these are uh, Crash. And yes, Coco. Crash and Coco. See, I'm be... I would be way more interested in Crash or Coco. Uh, Crash and Coco should could totally be one character too. You could just switch costumes, to play as both of them. Yeah. No, I um. Or like a a tag out. It's the painting of the lighthouse right there too. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we also read a page about the knocking up the uh, nurse. He hit her with a real hammer. <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot that. 
First one is what Paper Mario, Waluigi, or a good Pokemon. Ooh, yeah, Paper Mario, Mario would be cool. Pokemon. Yeah, another Pokemon would be good. Um, but I'm, Paper Mario. I mean, Mario I would, would be like to see. I think Alan Wake would be fun. <laughs> I would. I Jesse from Control would be fun. Um, I think the Doom Slayer from Doom would be a great pick because then you could make the uh, Isabel and Doom guy are friends uh -huh. or best friends meme. I think you, that would be great. Um, yeah, that would be uh, the markings on the oh yeah, and here's all the other photos too. Or I mean paintings that patients. that guy was doing. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, what, what the, I couldn't see, breathe What's right. the one on the table here? Oh, I see the bat. The map, and then uh, that one's cool. This might be my favorite of these paintings. That's actually just a cool. Uh, we just please not another JRPG character. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's one that would be good just because it's different enough. But I agree. Uh, yeah, I agree that there's a lot of them in the game already, though. There's a lot of them in there. But I just think no, no Fire Emblem. If it's from like a completely unique game. Maybe I'd be cool with I'd be more cool with it, but yeah, no more Fire Emblem. Just no Fire Emblem. Please, please, no Fire Emblem. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? I mean, there's a decent number in there, but I, I don't. What is it mostly? I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I don't think it's mostly. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's more of them than. More of that than any other single kind. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, yeah. No, for sure. That cat likes belly rubs, I'm telling you. Smash Bros. JRPG Bros. I'm sure somebody would be interested in that as its own game. I also love how there's actually the scratching noise when they say Mr. Scratch oh, yeah. in the game too. Like it's it's like almost like it's the name is like censored out by the scratching noise. So I'll really start to feel how long we've been streaming once I see daylight outside. That'll be when I really am like, oh god. <laughs> Who does want a Pyro Mithra? I like Tekken because of his moveset, but Pyro Mithra was a smash in the ass. <laughs> I mean, look, I I didn't care for care about those characters at all, but I know I know that there were people that were happy about that. I, there were fans of Xenoblade Chronicles that I know were happy those characters got it. It didn't make me happy. I'm I I'm with you. They were not for me. But I like someone was happy. I know someone was. It just might might have been a minority of people. I mean, I think you have to keep in mind that you know Nintendo is still catering to a Japanese audience. Much of the, are there different ones? Is this different? Oh yeah, this is, this is a different recording. Chief, I, I, Master Chief would be cool. Honestly, that's a big enough character. Uh, that's a big major video game icon at this point. But like, yeah, why not? Plus, Microsoft earlier we were just talking about how Microsoft and Nintendo have really kind of cultivated this interesting relationship. Master Chief would be kind of cool. I, I would be cool with that. It's Halo's not my favorite thing. Like, I'm not a big Halo fan. I'd, but I'd still be cool. I'd still be interested in the character. 100%. I just think Alan Wake would be hilarious because he'd be like, he can't run 20 feet in his own game. How does he get to fight a bunch of like people with superpowers? Medical opinion. Listen to all of. Okay, cool. So there's three. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so glad you pointed out that tree. That's hilarious. Rubber face on your microphone. Chief, Crash, Coco, 
or Resident Evil character comes in, the Smash Bros. will be known as the Avengers movie. <laughs> Resident Evil, that's a good one I didn't say. I would be interested in Resident Evil. Um, I, I feel, uh, there, I, to me, there's three options I see for Resident Evil. I think you could do, I think you could do Nemesis would be really good. I think, uh, like, kind of crazy superpowers Albert Wesker could be a fun character. Or I think the other option... The photo on the wall caught my attention. Oh, yep. Yeah. With the kidnapper. Um, or my, the other option, I, the third option I see for Resident Evil characters is you do... Um, you do the human protagonist, right? And you've got all the different guns and, like, weapons and stuff as your moves, and then you change your costume, and that changes it from Leon to Jill to Chris oh, yeah. to Claire. Like, all as one character, and you can kind of play mm -hmm. as all of them. I think that that would be cool. Maybe Ethan is mess. <laughs> and he does... His hand does get a lot of punishment. That's that's a good... I think people want Lady D. I mean, you know what? Yeah. Yes, people probably would. I don't think she's... She's too new. Though. You've got that weird guy. Barry look. came to find Alan and he locked Barry in a fucking broom closet. <laughs> Wait, that's, I forgot about Barry. We need like key, keys from the office to get uh -huh. him out. Uh, or oh God! I, I, would I would hate that. never play it again. Would, no, that's yeah. not true. I would not be able to. I just wouldn't download the character. I, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like PewDiePie very much. Not, not a fan. Did I already have the keys? Was this just like? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh, I forgot about the whole king with the cardboard cutout. <laughs> Barry is like weirdly okay. obsessed with carrying yeah. it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, I, I wouldn't be a fan of that at all. I would rather have, um, like, some, some, uh, Nintendo Legend game creator in there then yeah like i yeah that'd be more interesting i i just i don't yeah no, then someone lie. then someone who's a streamer especially if they weren't like maybe if they were like a smash streamer that had gotten huge Sakurai, the actual like creator of the game yeah i mean that might yeah. be kind of funny for the, like the joke yeah I, I mean i could maybe go I, I i just i don't i still don't think i would a real really. person yeah i just yeah, i don't no. i want a game i want a character from a game Whatever that game is, Barry. Kind of whatever. I want Barry. Barry. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, not even Alan Wake. Barry. Barry. That's yeah. It's gonna. It's gotta be Barry. I love Barry. He's gonna have his Christmas lights. Uh huh. At this point, he's gonna retire. Yeah. I mean, he's he's getting up there. He's getting up there. He's like what sixty something. He's. I mean, you know, do you know developing uh, Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube? He overworked himself to the point that oh. he like went to the hospital Jeez. and then he brought like an IV back to the office with him and like So he could keep working so could before keep he working was supposed to leave the down. hospital. Yep. That's exactly what happened. That dude's that dude's a fucking workaholic. This dude is like this gun in his face and he's And he's still talking shit and trying to manipulate yeah. him. Yeah. It's like Lex Luthor in the Superman animated series where he just never stops being smart. Yeah. This is one of my favorite moments in that whole cartoon, right? Okay, so you know Metallo, right? Mm -hmm. the metal. He's the Superman villain. He's a metal robot powered by kryptonite. And in the cartoon, right, Lex Luthor is like the one who turns him into the robot. Okay. And so he, he, like, he, gets, he eventually he realizes like he can't feel anymore. Like There's these side effects that Lex Luthor didn't warn him about, right? Yeah. So, so they're on the boat at the end, and Metallo's like, and he stops trying to kill Superman. He's like, I'm gonna kill like Luther because he like ruined my life by turning yeah. me into this machine. And 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 Superman like knocks both of them in the water, and Metallo's gonna he's about to he's gonna start sinking right because mm -hmm. he's all metal, and the, and literally Lex Luthor is like like but we we could work something out I could reverse it I could I could do something for you yeah. and the second they land in the water and Lex Luthor knows that he is no longer in any danger, he literally his entire face changes and he looks at Metallo and goes bomb voyage as he starts <laughs> sinking down. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is just could not be more of a dick. What was that? Oh, shadow. Oh. Yeah, there's a shadow on the wall that there's something there. Can you open the lock faster? <laughs> Maybe we do a quick time event just to open the door. Whoa. There's um, a whole bunch of possessed objects in here. I don't remember what game it is, but there's something where you have to do a bunch of clicking like that. And on my Elite controller, I put one of the bat. Oh, it's just sprinting in GTA. I oh, put it so yeah. I could be hitting two buttons at once, yeah, so okay. I don't have to yeah, slam GTA, it as Red much. Dead. Yeah, Red Dead is the same. There's a little bit of a clunky game mechanic. This is no, no. Oh, like having oh, to the press the button over and over again yeah. in GTA and Red Dead. Yeah, like it's... I love those games, but like I wish that they. I don't know. Oh, no, it... Don't jump. I sort of understand when, like, you have, a, you know, a vehicle or your horse a lot of the time. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's not... Just to walk, though? Like, eh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I anytime, like those games, anytime, but... If the walking was enough to... If the walking was faster, it'd yeah. be fine. Yeah. But when walking is, like, mo the mosey button... Right. The casually saunter, like... Yeah, not the most it's not convenient, great. uh... I guess you can hold, but even like having to hold A instead of just a click to run. We are never going to get GTA. So honestly, I yeah, <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Switch boy, I don't, I don't, I don't really think we're. I don't really know if we're ever gonna get it either. I, uh, I'm also not confident that they're ever actually gonna make it. Is they're eventually just gonna say, "Oh, GTA Online is GTA 6." Didn't you know? Yeah, they should do like the GTA 6 update for GTA Online or Mario Kart 9. I feel yeah, like that was one that I wish. Like, I I think that the eight is a good, a fun I Mario like Kart game, but it's not. I I want another one. Yeah, I see that one. I don't know if we're gonna. I don't. I I feel like that one we're gonna get another one of. Uh, I don't think it's been that long. No, but since they re-released it on a new system. Well, yes, but that's also because the Wii U was a Could, yeah Wii U failure of a console rough. in general. No, that's that's absolutely true. Like the Wii U just wasn't. I mean, like whether the you Wii U like was the a Wii prototype for what they wanted the Switch to be, they just yeah. released it. Yeah, the Wii U should probably shouldn't have even ever come out. The Wii U was, they, yeah, it was just a less good version of the Switch, and not that much better than the Wii. Yeah, it's it's just the Wii U is such a weird half step, and again. Whether you liked the system or not, I actually liked the I, the console mm -hmm. in and of itself. But they made very few games for it, and that, so when they yeah. came out with the Switch, um, you know the Wii U did have some great games. Switch Boy, I agree with that. But because it was, it had such a short life cycle, um, mm -hmm. they put all the great games from the Wii U on the Switch. Yeah. And it kind of it kind of made the Wii U obsolete when all the good games from it could just be played on the Switch anyway. I don't know. I think the Wii U. I like the I like the idea of it, but I really think it's just um, the, the Switch, but not as good. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. Zombie U. Ah, uh, I wasn't a big fan of Zombie U. To I'll be I'll be totally honest. I didn't. I wasn't super into that one. Alan, find a flashlight. Come on. It's like your whole thing, man. <laughs> Nintendo Land. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't real big on that one either, I'll be honest. Again, and not that that means they're bad, it just wasn't necessarily for me. The theme, the kind of just theme park thing of it just was like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of cool, like the novelty of it's fun, but... Wii game. Sports. <laughs> Wii Sports. I we, thought those were, uh, Wii those were fun. Was, yeah, Wii Sports was fun. I mean, it made video games popular in nursing homes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, literally. No, like, it, like, it, it actually got old it, people it to was, play video games. It was one of the best usages of their motion mechanics specific stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I many Switch games coming out for Switch did almost nothing with it. Yeah, but we, we it was genuinely... It, like, it used the motion controls. It used did them a lot. Did you ever play the... 
Godfather game for a week. I enjoyed the hell out of the Godfather for, for the, the Wii Using the, 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 the motion the controls to choke as people. a garret. Yep, yep. Honestly, that was that was a ton of fun. That was actually I, a ton of fun. I, I rented get that it. Do a stream. And then, uh, <laughs> I rented it, but I I think that Godfather game is really fun still. That first one is actually genuinely good. The second one. Sucks. Second one's rough. The second but you one also sucks. can really quickly break the uh the first one. The Wii U also killed many. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Star Fox. Well, yeah. This well, that was fucking. Was it? Fucking Miyamoto that like refused to have any other kind of control scheme. Yeah. <laughs> the control scheme for Star Fox was terrible on the Wii U, where you had to like you, you had to control like the Y axis with the screen on the TV, and then the X axis with the pad, and it just it was oh. a mess. It was a mess. That did not work. Yeah, like that game could have been cool, but like the control scheme. That's was weird. Terrible. Terrible, terrible control scheme. Like, if, the, if they wanted to take that game and completely redo the control <laughs> scheme and put it out for the Switch, the I Switch. would totally give it a try. But, the, but they need to, they, if, they, if they're going to, if they want people to be in this, that game, they need to fix the fucking controls because that was dog shit. Obligatory hedge maze. Right, of course, there, of course there's a hedge, mage, hedge maze in the Stephen King. Well, and it's game. like this is the old hotel. Used to be a hotel yeah. lodge. Ah! <laughs> you almost killed Zelda Kirby. I mean, I don't. I don't think you killed those. I don't, I don't think you can kill Mario. I don't think you can. Kill you can those make a games. really bad Mario game, but I don't think it could end the franchise. They yeah. would those, try to start again soon. They've been. Those games have been. All oh, those have been around for so many times. You could have one not so great game and I they'll mean, recover. Yeah. In fact, I was actually. I actually have read specifically that Nintendo has so much money that they could have eight completely failed game consoles before they ran out of their like <laughs> surplus. Like they could literally Damn. have eight failures. Before of they consoles, to run out not of, games, not just but games, consoles. but of entire consoles could fail. One, two, switch. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. That was, that I think that was a game. Yeah, I, Do you, if you the know cat will one? let go of my hand. I, I have not heard of that one. I remember seeing that. Oh, Stash, if you're still here, I appreciate it. I just saw your tweet about the, uh, that you tweeted about that. I'm doing the marathon oh, stream. I yeah. appreciate that. It was like trying to use the motion controls again, but like uh, they were like small mini games. Interesting. It was almost like a motion control WarioWare Ooh. or. Oh, interesting. Like one of them was uh, the one I remember seeing ads for was like a Wild West draw, a sh Wild West shootout where it just goes one, two, three, and you uh, ah. and you uh, draw your. Switch controller like a gun, and whoever got it up first wins. <laughs> Isn't that always how it goes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. People were asking if Nintendo would it. stop making comes. Oh. Switch just can't in consoles after the Switch. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, like, I don't think the Wii U was that big of a failure, but I do think it was a. They didn't kind of a put failure. enough into it to lose that much on it, yeah. which was part of the problem. Right, because, they, yeah, they didn't really go that hard but no I mean I you know people were having that conversation but I I don't know I thought that was a bit silly Nintendo's been around for so long it's gonna take more than one console to shut them down yeah, if they yeah if, if the Switch hadn't been as good as it is they might have been running into problems Again, but the, the Switch ended up eight. being pretty successful they could have they could have failed eight times eight before times, they really yeah. started to have to worry about it well, but at a certain, you know, two there in a row, a there too. would be you hesitation on going in on the next, on the yeah, number three. Yeah, no, for sure. There's a there's a brand, uh, 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 there's the, the Nintendo seal of approval, right? There's supposed yeah. to be this seal of quality. Uh, Wii U itself was a great console. It was the mark. 
See, I, I uh, see. I agree, kind of, because I do think the marketing was bad. Because I don't think people, a lot of people, like I, I worked at GameStop when the Wii U came out, and a lot of people didn't even know it was a different console. They thought right. it was just an accessory for or, the Wii. Or, or like, so Wii I agree with... that the marketing was bad. Yeah. Come kiss the towel. Did someone say that? <laughs> I, I, I never heard that. No one ever told that to me. <laughs> but uh, but but the but the other problem is it didn't it just didn't have enough games. Yeah. The Wii U didn't have enough. Even the Wii at times I felt like it didn't have enough games. You know. But but it was still it wasn't. Oh yeah. Lurch. No, that's not the reference that he is. Um, I can't remember. Yeah. I was gonna say, you might want to flare just for those birds. I don't actually have any, unfortunately. No. Ah. They focus so much on the tablet. Oh, he got me. Focus so much on the tablet, people thought Apple were. I mean, I don't know oh. if any. I mean, did anybody actually think that? I mean, I just thought it was like. Oh, it's kind of like an alright yeah. idea. I, but, yeah, I mean, I, I liked. I definitely thought it, it was. Cool. Uh, the tape, you know, the pickup off of the TV and play but was a really cool idea. The Switch, away. I think the Switch did it a little better than Wii U. Yeah, again, it's Making like it's a thing it like a like the Switch is just the oh, good version okay. of it. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, I, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it just, yeah, like the Switch is just what I think they wanted the Wii U to be. Like that was the, what was, that was what they were going for. And they just didn't quite land it the first time. You know? And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, see you know, you learn from it. Alright. Oh, flare gun. Okay, that's gonna be very helpful. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Eat it, dude. Wii U has advantage of indie titles. Did it have a lot of indie stuff on there? Yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, the birds Those got me. Those birds are ridiculous. Maybe use the flare gun on the birds? I, yeah. Although I think they keep spawning. Yeah. This has been so long since I played this. Well, actually, you know what? That's not true. It has not been that long. <laughs> what, a two years, maybe? Oh, I love how goofy they are. Still let Orion cut. Did they? Did they huh. really? They said, like, they got offered to let Orion on the Switch, and then they, they straight up said no. That seems weird to me. That was a mistake. Yeah. Ori is a, a great game. That's a really strange. Game. Why would they do that? On, you know what? Ori would be a great Smash character. Yeah. A spirit from Ori. That'd be a really good one. Oh, but it did. They got on there eventually because Microsoft like wanted it on there. Did the birds go? I think. Yeah, I think. I think they did. Nice. So I think the flare gun kind of got both yeah. in there. Um. Oh yeah, Ori would be awesome for Smash. So, like, Microsoft, yeah. Were they? I mean, I guess I could kind of believe that. It's yeah, not like Nintendo's that's... not a shitty corporation like the rest of them. As much as they, like, you know... Right, they want to be the friendly one. Well, like, like uh, I don't know if you've heard about this, but... Um, the So, Nintendo... Uh, so, obviously, like, right, like, the online multiplayer wasn't really a thing on the GameCube. Right? Mm -hmm. And so fans, for like tournament's sake, made their own netcode for Melee. Oh, that's right. And Nintendo like fucking shut them down and like sued, like, I don't remember if they sued them like straight up. Or, or cease they and just, desist at yeah, least. Yeah, they just did that. But like either way, it's like, really Nintendo? It's like, come on. All they're doing is loving your game and trying yeah. to like make sure it lives longer. Like huh. why would you shut that down? That's ridiculous. 
they were the developer was a Metroid developer. Huh. That's weird. So it was actually like one of their own developers that they were doing. They were harassing. That seems that's so strange to me. Mott knew that Wake was smart. But you know what? If if corporations always did things that made sense, they wouldn't be corporations, would they? <laughs> that made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He expected Wake to whimper and growl, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. <laughs> Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. What do you mean by the they're against their own music devs? What did they do to the music devs? <laughs> Gravy won't let my hand go. Oh. That's so cute. Oh, yeah. You can only listen to our music on the Switch. Yeah, that's a no That's a bitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. That's the shotgun. You think in channels that post Nintendo music? Yeah. That's... Yeah, any remix of anything. That's annoying. In fact, I, there was a there was a fucking uh, trap remix <laughs> of a Mario game that I actually really enjoyed. And there was down. same person also did a trap remix of the Life Alert commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's really um, funny. He's like, there was a <laughs> trap. How about uh, falling and I can't get up? How about falling and I can't get up? Oh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Get up that was good. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. Who did it? Ocarina of Time. Yeah, or, uh... Oh god. Don't hurt me. Uh, so what is your favorite music from Zelda? And then nobody could post any music. <laughs> wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Wow. How, did they not really... Like, how did they not think about that? I guess they just don't care, do they? Right. They just want to put out the... the right. Once they put out the tweet, they're like, Oh, I did it. Not my problem. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, corporations are going to be shitty. You know, I mean, that's just like an inevitable truth. Mm -hmm. Like that, you know. The world exploded. It's a good thing that Dark Place didn't take that literally. Yeah, right? <laughs> Alan just ends the world. Like, choose your words more carefully, man. Yeah, they do I buy they're that. They're like doing it on purpose just to. Fuck I with buy people. that for sure. They're just yeah. like, oh, what's your favorite Zelda music? Remember, you have to come to us to listen to it. Yeah. Missed by a mile. Managed to slow motion dodge twenty times. Ah, you're gonna get knocked off the cliff. Okay, there you go. By. Knock you off the cliff this time. That <laughs> backflip. That was awesome. Sometimes I do genuinely miss like the like goofy ragdoll. I was just about to say games. I do wish the ragdoll stayed around a little bit. Because like they've gotten it to look really realistic now when you kill like enemies and stuff in a video they game. They just kind of fall. Yeah, and it's like realistic, and it's like it, for certain games, like something like The Last of Us or Red Dead. It's like yes, it adds to the immersion. But sometimes I, I don't know. I just kind of wish they were a little goofy still. And Nintendo puts their games in India. Oh, in stores in India. Like. Like, do they do it like wrong or like they? Oh, you mean they barely? Oh. Oh, okay, so like it barely, they barely come out over there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that sucks. I that's yeah. Fucking <sighs> again, corporations are just they're fucking shitty. They're fa the only way corporations aren't shitty is if they are forced to not be shitty yeah. by like a government regulation and or failing way. previously. <laughs> or yeah, we're having a big failure and then you know they have to make up for it. Which is why EA seems like slightly better. Right, they seem right. Fucked up yeah. so bad. <laughs> but, I mean, they're still not good, but yeah. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. 
Same for nearby countries like Nepal and Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine that it would be a little. They would have put the money into putting yeah, like their stuff out there. They don't appreciate the the market of, mm-hmm. of fans in those areas as much. That's and that's unfortunate that makes sense. because I, I mean, not make sense business wise, but it sounds like it something sounds they like would a corporation do. Yes, just being dumb and like not. Yeah, not considering the fact that there are fans all over the world of these yeah. things and that there are people people that want to come and enjoy them from all it's over. It's like people want to give you their money. Why are you Yeah. Well that's why it's like you want to back. stop piracy of your games. Then yeah. make it easier for people to buy get them. the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just make it easier for people to get them. It's like they still yeah. Fans. yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's that's ridiculous that they don't. That's ridiculous they don't support fans over there. I'll find it, don't worry about it, and then he slowly moves off. Right. It's gonna take how long to find the keys? Or to actually get the door open at least. Come on it. Come on it. Nice. Mostly the Asian market, yeah. If, if a sequel to this game makes Barry taken, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, oh god. I never, like, there are mo- There are so many- Ah! Damn, because there's so many yeah. fans in it. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you'd think that they would support you know, it's like a more local market than America is for them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous that they don't. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm also. I need to uh, plug the controller in <laughs> here. Let's see. Only thing is, it's not the longest cord. I'm gonna try and plug it into my computer and see if it'll charge off that. What kind of uh, this is like a micro USB or like a. Got it. Save. Oh, I don't even have. I have no, a long USB C cord, but cool. that, I was thinking that's the one I grabbed, but that's, that's not what I have here. That's good to know that that actually works. Especially Pokemon at this point, I'm getting desperate. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it's like, like I said, this is why people pirate the, their games. It's yeah. Because, like, if you don't make it easy for people to get things, like, it's. I don't know. Oh my god. Ah! He's just right in the side of the fucking head. Jesus. Uh, Switchblade, let me ask you. Uh, does Sony and Microsoft make it easy and easier yeah, to, get, they... to get their stuff in, in your part of the world, in India? Does that, is it, are, are some of the companies at least better about it? Or are they all like as bad as Nintendo? I genuinely don't know. Oh, so they do, so they do yeah, better. They do good. better. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> they just got you stuck in a corner. They really do. I think you have to sprint out of there towards them right away, maybe? Microsoft and Sony Sprint. Good, good. Well, at least yeah. somebody does. At least somebody does. Yeah, I think I think just running around, maybe, to the other side. Mm-hmm. Dodge past back and forth for a little bit. That dude just didn't even care that you were getting yeah, by. Yeah, he was just kind of like, oh, whatever, man. My day off. <laughs> TV channels of Sony and Microsoft provides powerful laptops. Yeah, well, I mean, it, like... Like I said, at least at least at least somebody someone is cares. At least somebody is trying. But yeah, it's that's bullshit of Nintendo, especially marketing themselves as like the friendly gaming company. Right. It's like, oh, we make games for everybody. It's like, do you though? Yeah. Oh, damn. All right. They're getting me. They're, 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 P- yeah, PC and mobile. Me. 
start PC and mobile gaming is popular in India. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm I've been been really impressed with mobile gaming and seeing how far that's come. Um, I mean, just full like they they have. I'm pretty sure there are like in Fortnite servers there are people playing mobile com at a competitive level against. Oh really? Um, against like console players, yeah. That's that's cool. Um, I mean, I'm not a and fan it's you know it's Fortnite like fans, right it's like, like the so cool. the specific game is what it is, but Jetpack Joyride. I don't know that. Oh what the hell? What? They just double teamed me, and not that way. <laughs> All right, wow, I'm just, like, dying all over the place here. Jetpack joyride. Up, <laughs> all right, yeah, that looks fun. I mean, I'll be honest, I just don't like... I don't like to do mobile gaming just because the screens are too small. Like, it hurts my yeah. eyes to try and, like, play a game on, like, a little screen. Whew, nice. Oh, come on. Oh, he's <laughs> waiting in the bushes. They really like doing that. So, no, I mean, that, that is impressive. That's genuinely yeah. very impressive. Yeah. Switch boy, that's su that is super impressive. I am, um, no, like I... Like I said, for me, it's it's more of just like I just even like the switch. I don't play the switch in handheld mode. I just I just mm. don't because it, again, it's like even that's kind of like it's just oh, it's just not big enough like for just my eyes to just kind of adjust and follow what's going on. A South Korean internet service provider is suing Netflix. Because Squid Game is too popular and everyone is streaming it at the same time at night. <laughs> and like ruining their promises, yeah. <laughs> they can't get everyone enough. Whatever. I don't know all that. That seems like a silly, silly, silly locket. Yeah. Just, just, just like, I don't know. I don't know enough about the the hardware logistics of you know what it would mean to fix something like that. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know nearly enough about the technical side of things. Nice. There you go. Was that the last of your ammo? For the flare gun, it was. Do you have? Uh, do you have? Um, oh, the Bedoria revolver. Open. Ammo yes, still? I do. I do have oh, a bunch okay. of revolver ammo still. But that uh, was also for a second. Uh, I thought that was GTA. I feel like it'll be a while before GTA Five can run out of fun. I, I mean, wouldn't be I'm surprised wrong, but... if they did a lower. Cardboard <laughs> cutout in the back seat. Come back soon, I would like a version of it. Maybe. Yeah. Or like yeah. the same game. But but the full yeah the full resolution and everything like to they... get it to run well would be hard. I just don't think they're at that point yet. Yeah, they'll get there though. Next five years, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna fucking live it. And I love that. <gasps> That's He's actually kind of smart. Yeah, yeah. If the creature, like, if your enemy is darkness, go into something made out of light. iPhone 12. Are they on 12 already? Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. I don't remember when the first one came out. It feels like it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> right. I didn't have it for a few generations. It was the one with both front and back were glass. Uh, and I... I don't remember which one that was, to be honest. I just, yeah, I don't know there. But it, I was texting while I was uh, longboarding. <laughs> I dropped it and broke the back, and every time I made like a phone call, I got little glass shards in my hand. <laughs> so I finally ended up just covering the back in wow, duct and tape and making it janky. Damn, that's cool. I guess we come a long way from that. Yeah. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. 
I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far. Barry is a good best friend. Mm -hmm. Especially for like being his manager. Yeah, well, and, right? and like maybe he's kind of maybe Alan's only real friend other than Alice. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, cause Alan's just a dick to everybody else, and Barry right. just kind of is like, no, you can't be a dick to me. Right. Well, you'd, you'd be ruined without me, so. Yeah. And, and he tends to know that, like, in, in every conversation they have, Barry is trying to help Alan. Right. He's like, what do you need? Lost the gun in the crash. Yeah, okay. There's your chapter. <laughs> Yet again. Uh, I am... There's a Samsung phone that supports 8K resolution. Jesus Christ. What That's... size is the screen, though? Yeah, I guess how That's big gotta is it? has got to be a bigger one yeah. of the... I'm also... I'm going to step away for just a moment and use the bathroom. I will be back in just a couple seconds. I'm also going to grab another energy drink. Because... Oh, I should finish mine. Sam's, let's look at what this Samsung phone that's 8K. Okay. The Galaxy S21, possibly. I like that number seems like they skipped a couple. Record in 8K. Yeah, so if you're recording in 8K, it must be showing 8K. Screen specs, here we go. 6.7 inch screen, so yeah, it's a good size. Good cameras all around, even on the front camera. Not bad on the storage. Fingerprint sensor and screen, of course. Yeah, that's impressive for a phone. Oh, and they started doing the the Samsung Galaxy S21, and it can record video in 8K as well. Uh, uh, do you think Samsung is beating Apple? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, both use slave labor, so. Yeah. <laughs> Who's really winning in that scenario? Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there is a winning at this point. There's people who are want, like you know. There's people switching back and forth occasionally, but I feel like a lot of people are just set on one or the other, and they're gonna keep going on the same one. Yeah. Unless there's like some like major like news report about like yeah. You know how unethical one of the companies is that like drives public opinion like yeah absolutely really far away from them. I don't have a horse in that. I Okay, I always mix that metaphor. Yeah. I always start to say, I don't have a horse in that fight. <laughs> I um, kind of like that better. Which led me to Googling if horse fighting is a thing. It is, and it's horrible and sad. Because um, the horses are basically just like made to curb stomp each other. Like, like it's like a betting, like a monk, like a betting like thing? it's like, like it's like cockfighting or dog fighting. Oh, yeah, I did not know that was a thing. Um, now it's could... much rarer than the other ones, I would assume. Sure. What I what now? What I can tell you is awesome. Is in the wild when giraffes pick fights with each other. Yes, they use their <laughs> head like morning stars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're fucking crazy. Um, 
Giraffes fighting is but badass. Yeah, for the phone conversation, I don't have a, a, a horse in that fight because I've been going with the Pixel for my last couple of phones, the yeah. Google phone. I mean, I have an iPhone, and I still don't have a horse in that fight because <laughs> fuck both of those companies, and I don't, I mean, I don't care which all one three of them like. If you're including Google in the conversation. Yeah, yeah Google's also evil. They're all Very evil. <laughs> just got excited about that. I love Barry. He's such a he's such a, such a different kind of character. He's such a foil to Alan. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, he doesn't fit in this game. Right, and that's exactly why he's great. That's exactly why he's great. He's your he's your comedic relief. I feel like this is one that eventually they might try to make a, a movie or TV series of. Alan Wake. I, I'm pretty sure they've confirmed that. Google that's Stadia. Proves, Google Stadia was rough. Yeah, Google Stadia was. I got it for free. Garbage. Because oh, got I got I got it for free and I got like six months of the subscription for free. And you still didn't use it. Because <laughs> just because I had a Pixel phone. Oh, they just gave it. It didn't you. come with buying the Pixel phone. I just got to sign up for one for free because they're like, come on, you're using Google products. Please, please, please use our product. Right. And it's then so did you mediocre. Even really play it even when you did have it for free. I, they had a bunch of games that were free on there. I think all of them I already had on Xbox. So it's like, oh, that's so it's kind of like, eh. Yeah, I. Well, that's I, the part of the problem with the Google, with the with that that whole thing is it's like. There's no exclusive. Even. Yeah, and Game Pass is way better. I already had Game Pass, and that was the a lot of those games that they were putting out for free on the Stadia. Or with, games that were already, already on Game Pass because the people who were putting them on Game Pass are like, yeah, we'll put them on the same thing. It's, they're probably on the PS Now, too. Well, and not only that, but also uh, all the games that they put on Google Stadia had already been out for like a year, yes. two years. Nothing was exclusive, no new releases. Yeah. Like even when Doom Eternal came out, they were like, and it'll be on Stadia in six months. And it's like, <laughs> but I could play it on my PlayStation 4 now. Now. Yes. Or my play like, yeah. The tech that Steve is trying to achieve is now. Yeah, I agree with that. Yes. I think someday, I think someday we can get there. I think someday, like video game, like streaming consoles, is a possibility. But well, the technology Xbox is, not is already trying to do because they've done. Xbox has cloud gaming. But even then, on, it's just like I think I think it's more to do with not that the technology is unproven, but that the yeah. average person does not have no, the internet yeah. that, make, that will make it work. I think that's oh, the problem. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. Regular, that's a big like, limitation on have, it. Like not enough people have the internet that'll actually yeah. run that's streaming true. consoles. Like there are some people, but like the um, only the only the only people I, that like used Google Stadia effectively were like people that live in Silicon Valley. Yeah, it's basically all the only people that really worked for. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Not everybody has five G internet. I. It's not that common yet. Uh, Eventually, it might it will be, and I do think in the future it's probably something that's going to be yeah mainstream. But like it's going to be a little while before be that while. happens. It. Uh, I I've done I would do the cloud gaming to try a game. Sure. To, if it was like, oh, there's some little indie thing I want to put 15 minutes into. Right. I would stream the game. But if I'm going to actually spend the time and play a game, right. I want it running at peak performance. I exactly. want it. Exactly. And you know, I don't think I just you know, how are you yeah. ever going to top having a hard copy for things? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, even a digital copy where the whole thing is downloaded onto mm -hmm. the system is But the but the like... hard copy is the problem. I mean, not problem with because it it's all up to the the user to the large extent. Right. But if your disc gets scratched, for example, then you know, yeah, I I, I totally. But I also haven't experienced that once right. since Blu-rays became a thing. Like oh, DVDs, that does make like, it. Yeah, you're right. That does Blu make a difference. Are so hard to I haven't scratch unless you're fucking with them on purpose. I haven't done. I mean, I've been mostly digitally purchasing. Well, and I haven't bought a game in a while because I'm just doing Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's obviously all digital. Which no, I don't own those games. But most of what I'm playing on Game Pass is not necessarily stuff I want to play a million times. 
And that's fair too. If it's like oh, I only really want to play this, I'll once. play this once yeah. and then I'll delete it. I'll play twenty minutes of it, a couple hours of it, and I'll. Right. But it just I I really like that it just allows me to check a bunch of stuff out, which, you know, could be a decent streaming channel. Hey, let's vote on a random game today. But oh, man, oh I, yeah, cloud gaming is the future for your intense games coming in. So I, yes, that is true for the Switch specifically because yeah. the Switch can't run some of the like higher end games. Yeah. Um. That is Hitman true. Three. Um. That is true. Like control, I'll, that control, control will also runs cloud. Uh, streaming on Switch. And again, I think you do you do have to have good internet though. Still, yeah, this probably. Is kind of another thing. It's like even with that, and I, and I think you're right because the Switch can't run those games unless it's through streaming. Um, but I but I still think that like it's going to be so Alan, lo long before people can just do that as a normal thing. I hope there'd still be a huh. Agent oh, excuse me. Stared at the past out. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy in Wake's oblivion. He had a job to do. Envy of oblivion, so that's kind of a cool like a murderer. His hand shook, phrase. his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. But control kept crashing. Interesting. So if Pitman huh. worked, but Control I wonder if, if they're still working out bugs on control running like that or wonder what that was. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if they just didn't optimize it as well or And there's a lot I mean not that there isn't a lot going on in Hitman, but there's a lot going on in like every frame of control. Yeah, I, cr I do think control is more graphically advanced than Hitman. Like, I, Hitman's just great, intense, too. Like, yeah. I really like it, but trust no one in the dark. Uh, but Control just is a little bit more of an advanced game, so maybe that's why it has a harder that time. That would be my guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, goddamn, just Control just, like... I mean, that game looks amazing when it when it is running at its peak performance and it's like everything's working. Yeah. Like, uh, cause there were a lot of... Um, I had... <laughs> I had um, some stuttering and some weird kind of problems uh, on the PS4 version. Oh god. Oh, that'd be cool. RE2 Remix. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I, I'd be into that. I mean, I guess I, I probably wouldn't play them on there because I would just play them on my, <laughs> yeah. on my 5, but on my PS5. But uh, I mean, it's still cool. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Now they're just pushing me now. <laughs> Yeah, they weren't I, even hitting me for a second. Good. They were just well, kind of shoving me. I thought you got the dodge on that last one. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. All this right, Alan. A weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Pick up a like wooden board. Yeah, right. And just smack him in the face with it. I guess if he can't run more than fifteen feet, he can't do much with swinging a board. I guess we're just gonna try and go in a straight line <laughs> uh, as much as possible. Yeah. Get to the floor. A couple feet, let it go, so he's not totally out of breath. A couple feet, let it go. There was in um, left. God, you have such bad stamina, dude. How are you dude. supposed to? Oh, that generator up there. So yeah, this light knocks him out. Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> they always get that last shot in. Uh, at least the the light heals you now, so. Yeah. God, yeah, like, look at that. Look at how far the draw distance is in this now. Like, that, yeah. that did not look it's like way that. way farther sight line. You could... For all I knew it was Barry. That's one of my favorite things about uh, about the new consoles, is uh -huh. the fact that you can look into the distance of something. And, just... and actually see... Yeah. Like well animated, well generated stuff. Hey, we got the heavy duty. <laughs> but still, all we got is a flashlight and, and coffee. some coffee. <laughs> Have you ever seen Eight Legged Freaks? <laughs> I have seen. I was. I was on at a party I was at. I'll say that. 
That so I've seen bits and pieces of it. Goofy ass, ridiculous <laughs> movie that I find very entertaining. Because yeah. it's like a horror movie with giant spiders, except it's like played for laughs. Right. <laughs> like there's a scene where like the jumping spiders like chase like a motorcycle gang, and it's like an action scene in the middle of broad daylight as they're like doing jumps over oh. sand dunes, and then the, yeah. the spiders will then also do a jump over the sand right. dunes. <laughs> It's, 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 there's a scene though in the movie and it's because it's because the tents back there that made me think of it but the, the spider is like hiding inside a tent in a department store and this guy is like going in to get like weapons in the department store and the spider is like following him around inside the zipped up tent and then it stops moving every time he turns around yeah hide and seek I've seen glimpses of life I had seen it in my dream. strange spaceman strange spaceman he was the one who Dr. Spaceman. My uh, Dr. Leo Spachemin. <laughs> that. I love that bit. It's that such a. Great. I, not all of that show clicked for me, but. It wasn't always funny, but, but I it had some it was. good. It had some good bits. Yeah. For sure. when, it, when it did work, it worked. Yeah. I want some a pack of wild dogs take over and successfully run a Wendy's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a couple flares. We got us part of the way there. I wonder if there's like a bunch of hidden like pages in this area. There's gotta be a page have. in the like specifically in the area where we don't have a weapon, so it's like extra hard for us to stop and like actually look around. Uh huh. Well, and especially in an area where there's already glowy things. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's one that shows up on Nightmare Difficulty. Fucking probably. Oh, there's a page back. Oh, might have been a trap. Oh, I think it's a page. It was a legit page. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked constantly Hi, away from the clinic with the other patients in the town, <laughs> knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seemed with horrors, a torn odor of the Their eyes glinted with fire. They knew every secret path. They had fought these shades before. I forgot that they in the Sabbath. Uh huh. Oh, she's making biscuits. They remember, they just don't remember that they remember. Right. Well, the moonshine, I think, Someone is like, left a gun triggers the memory. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's ammo in there. The taken are filled with, yep, no, we know. <laughs> I wonder if she thought one person would find all of these, mm -hmm. or... Uh, is that oh it's flashing. I think it's I'm assuming they're meant for completely random people to stumble yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's what she's expecting. She's making biscuits. You know why cats do that when they need when they like press I don't thing. remember. So um that's cats do that when they when they're kittens and they're nursing. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's like that it's, it, it's a sign okay. that they're really comfortable. Yeah. And happy because it reminds them of nursing. Yeah. Or they're like they're happy, so like they just kind of. It's just like a, it's just something that they oh, come on. Miss that. Um, yeah, it's just a way to really express that they're yeah. they feel safe and comfortable. Hello. Whoop. That is, yeah, she's an affectionate cat. She's a very affectionate cat. Just constantly. Yeah. <laughs> she's watching your computer screen. She, she, this cat will stop and just sit and watch the TV a lot, our, actually. Our cat watches... The only game I've seen her watch for a really long time, she likes to watch uh, MLB The Show. She just, like, oh, really? wants to catch the baseball. Oh, that's adorable. Gravy was like all over the falling leaves Anybody in Ghost here? of Tsushima. Oh, nice. Oh, Barry. Barry. Anybody here? Ah! Oh, that was the drunk guy. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> this is about as violent as that could have sounded. Right? Like, good God. Again, you can do that. Did Barry uh -huh. just... I know you. You were in jail the other day. And then you were on a page. The farm again. For the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Not him. No shit, really? Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friend. Oh, God. Barry's going to be the bad guy. You think in the in a sequel? No, I don't. I think Alan could potentially be a bad guy. Yeah, I do. I do think Alan might be a bad guy. It, it like it maybe long just a term. Little bit. Yeah. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I can. Right. If if, if Alan, he's down in the darkness too long, he can be. You know. If he truly unleashed the hiss on the bureau. Yeah. I mean, he killed a lot of people. He's right. directly responsible for the yeah. deaths of a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if not, if nothing else, he he let he let the Hartman monster out in control. Right. Then that that still killed a shitload of people. So even if he was the hiss wasn't he wasn't. Yeah, responsible for that, and like, if Mr. Scratch is actually him, you know. Right. Right. Mr. Scratch is just like his asshole personality uh, distilled. Right. Well, and it's like kind of that, but it's also like urban legends and rumors about him also yeah. personified. So it's also lies that other people t mm. tell about Alan that have also been like. That's true. So so it's, some of it's genuinely not him at all. But yeah. Then also a good chunk of it is. Oh, this is the one. That's the house you were talking about before. Where the guy bursts through the window. Oh, no, there's one where you just they run oh, across the went. window. Oh. oh, okay. But I don't, yeah, I have no idea where... What part that's in. Well, I guess the door's just... Oh, we gotta have to go out the broken window. <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> stumbles. Ooh. Hold on now. Yum. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Tasty dares. Is there a... Oh, can we go? Interesting. Oh, no, it's okay. just that it's door. Totally locked from the inside. All right. We're coming up on uh, one of my absolute favorite moments of the game. I don't know if you remember the, the concert stage. Oh things. yeah. Well, I, I I have I have a uh, uh, one of my yeah. one of my okay, this car does not drift. <laughs> one of my favorite uh, that coffee mug. games from like that I played in 2010ish era was the Left 4 Dead 2. And they had a level also that was uh, that ended with a rock concert, oh, where really? you used all of the explosives from the rock concert to kill all the zombies. That's awesome. And so then, so at the, around the same time, there's these, there's two different rock concert. Uh, That's awesome, though. I, yeah, horror, I really never horror played connections. Left for Dead much. I I got into it. Largely because, uh, well, when I got when I went to school in New York, in order to keep gaming with my friends, we all got S Steam. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. And so we were playing Steam games. Uh, like we got into Team Fortress, 
too, okay. which is like where what got me into a lot of the more multiplayer team stuff gaming. Way more than got way more into that than Halo or anything else console. Right. Um, until until I played a bunch of Overwatch later. Um, but yeah, Left 4 Dead was one of the, one of the favorites just because it was uh, entirely co-op again is PVE mm. in, instead of player versus player where I just like couldn't compete at the same level as people who were constantly playing. Yeah, that's yeah. I I like cooperative multiplayer stuff more. Yeah. Um which absolutely. is I, we've talked about how there's going to be a that that multiplayer control game, right? Yeah, a little bit. Totally standalone and separate from the actual sequel, but that's going that's to be That's maybe a one where you can explore tons of different AWEs. Yeah, that's actually that's a good idea cuz I don't you don't play as Jesse, I don't think you're going to have all the Right, you're going to be agent. Yeah, you're going to be like basic grunts more. So like in that's yeah, so that could be a really good way to have you be kind fun. Of go explore kind of more random just cases and stuff. Get more background lore on the FPC yeah, too. Sure everyone's noticed that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until the morning at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department is still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. Maybe That's Alice, right? Yeah. 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 So the so yeah, the police are now kind of listening more, to Alan. Yeah. Well, at the very least, they've realized that she's missing she's at, at, at least all. missing. Because he kept he because he kept that from them. He did he had intentionally did not. They didn't the even. He, that's right. Oh yeah, because the kidnapper called him when he was in the station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, "I'm not telling nobody. I'm gonna deal with this myself." Yeah, that's right. Which... And Barry. <laughs> right. I was trying to see if that wind sound was in game or real life. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm like. Sometimes I hear little noises and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Coming at me, ghost. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just... There you go. Just axe right to the face and Alan's just like, it's fine. Yeah, it Still in my much. nice blazer. My as long hipster as blazer. doesn't fuck up his tweed jacket, Alan's yeah. happy. What is in the bed of this truck? That's a great question. Like sand covered in a tarp. <laughs> Just bump it, knock it over. Can you go through that gate? I, you have to get out of the car at this point here. That's what I thought. What? Here, let's see what you think about this spot. There's the... <laughs> don't, don't like that one. And I got more construction. This is what I was going to say, this is maybe the thing that's bigger than that uh, bulldozer earlier. There we go. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Hello. She, I genuinely think she is very confused as to why people are like why? out and away. And yeah, like, anyone is here. This is my alone time. Why are you in here? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, seven hours. Oh, yeah. This, this is uh, so far past what my like, previously <laughs> longest. I think the longest stream I would I had done before this was. Like at one of the Demon Souls 
uh, streams oh, that I did yeah, with Tim earlier, and I want to say that was like we did like a four and a half hour stream okay. once, and I I think that was the longest that we'd ever done. <laughs> so, double just more, shattered well, that. <laughs> I mean, not quite double that yet, but I mean, we will though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the end of it, many times. Uh... Stay away from my daughter. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I did not mean to use that. I hate that it switches when you grab ammo. Oh, it's a car. Not a, not a. Well, it's also like, you know, you get so used to, it, like, at nighttime, there not being a lot of noise outside, mm -hmm. and then when you stay up, like, this late. <laughs> Things are going again. Yeah, yeah that's things are true. going again, and it it's almost feels weird because it's like, no, wait, hold on. There's, it's supposed to be quiet. Yeah, I haven't got, I haven't got, gone to sleep and gotten up yet. But it's like, well, no, no. But other people have. <laughs> the game that most surprised me when it was suddenly daylight, and I realized we had played throughout the through the whole night, was Lego Indiana Jones. When it was suddenly <laughs> it was light out, and we're like, "Wait, how long have we been playing Lego Indiana Jones?" That's hilarious. I did it with the first Last of Us. Oh um, yeah. I I literally I was so sucked into the game. That I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I, yeah. And then I got a phone call, and I looked up, and I'm like, "Oh, oh my god, like... it's like 7 a.m." It's time for you to be like, "There's a." I I like know the words to some <laughs> of like doing songs. Oh my god, what the okay. <laughs> I Where think did you that just need to behind me. Yeah, I, I don't know how you gotta got use up like there. everything. I was yeah. gonna say, just throw down flares constantly. Oh, also we got a heavy duty lantern there. Nice. Um, the flare, there's flares up on top. Oh, I don't know if you're full of flares or not, but there's flares up there. Yeah, For a second, I thought that was. I wish I wish they would do uh, Thunder and Lightning. Fifty taken of Felt Your Fury, also, also your, your flashbang. <laughs> I would love for Poets of the Fall to do a uh, old Gods of Asgard tour. Like a whole oh thing. Oh my god, that would them. be so fucking fun. Oh, I'd go see that in a heart. Right? Now feel the ocean. As long as they weren't actually taken attacking. Say that again. As long as they weren't actually taken attacking. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> that would not everybody be so in the fun. everybody in the audience is required to dress up as taken. I would do that. I would absolutely do that. Except half of the people would show up dressed as Alan. I also might do that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's you know there's going to be a couple taken Alans. Right. Couple of Mr. Scratches. I want to know how many berries. I, I hope it's berries. The of berries. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that right away. You know what I would do? I'd go as Mr. Scratch. Yeah. I mean that would be a that would be a really cool one. It'd be great. That'd just be a great Halloween costume in general, honestly. Collateral damage. Uh, twenty taking them and drowned and electrocuted, dispatched by some other indirect. Uh, when did we? Oh, berries doing the. He's Fireworks. The Barry, let's get some uh, healing light on us. All oh right. god! Oh god! Nice. No, nope, don't. Oh. Oh, and I got the flashbang. Yep. Still got him. Like right after. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the Nash of Cookie Tea! Oh, 
like a fool. Now feel the oh. ocean sea. Oh, bless this world. I like how they say Father Thor, but like. The dude's it's his name brother. Is Thor. <laughs> well, oh, I, and, and, yeah, and it's just like. Yeah, I mean, like. Especially if when they're speaking with a. Scandinavian accent. Thor and Thor are the same thing. You oh, listen to yeah. my grandpa. I mean, his his isn't as bad as his siblings either. But oh, there we the, go. The, 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 it's a Thursday. Oh yeah. <laughs> Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, that, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, the the th doesn't happen so much. Oh shit. Can you imagine if... Wait, what we were talking about earlier with leaving the ragdolls. Like, if the, all of these bodies stay, it would just be piling oh God, up. That would be so funny. That's one of the things with zombie games, I think. Like, no game has totally fully... F <laughs> zombie pun. Fully fleshed out. Yeah. Um, is, like... <laughs> Barry's just loving it. Um, I, I love how into it he is. The um, what the? You can heal in that spotlight. Oh, but I also I just didn't see what direction I was getting hit from. Uh, did I do that? Did I do that? Shut up, Julio. <laughs> uh, there is no Julio. Only Dave. Do you remember that uh, fucking Key and Peele skit? No, I haven't oh, seen that. Oh, it is so funny. It's like the cocaine riddled fucking, you know, movie producer. Uh, nice. Um, and he is oh, he's good just timing, freaking Barry. out. And uh, Ursul, like, comes in to... Like, the, the actor that plays the dad in the show yeah. is, like, complaining to the producer, and he's like, with, with the show is called Family Matters, and every episode is about Steve Urkel, God damn it! Like, he's the family doesn't them. matter! The family doesn't matter! <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, he, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and, like, they make fucking Jaleel White to, like, like out to be some, like, children of the corn yeah. psychic that's, like, forcing the movie producers to... He comes in, he's like, there is no Jaleel, there is no Jaleel, only Steve. <laughs> fucking great little, almost, like, horror skit. So I wonder if there's Evil anything or in this field. That's a good question. There's probably a page somewhere. Oh, wait, you know what? No, we came in from over here. Yeah. Because we picked... Okay, so that probably was all out. Yeah. That's probably it. Not like I'm not going to play it again. <laughs> right. Can I go in here? Well, it's, no. it's nice that the pages are... They keep it continuous from Continuous or whatever, yeah. The only, only thing about that that's not good is if you want to do a fresh playthrough and you like, have to like make a new account entirely yeah basically. at least on the 360 version maybe they maybe that's something they fixed here yeah that i could... hope so because i played it with uh alex and i wanted to show him this but game they would have to universe. mark which pages you've already found somehow on the map on the screen or like maybe you have an option that you, that you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, reset yeah. it all yeah but it doesn't like but it but it like it's like you have to choose it Mm -hmm. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got, before they ambushed me. Hmm. <laughs> Why well, is he carrying it around physically? <laughs> he's like, this thing cost thirteen ninety five to make. I, I, I don't think this game would be anywhere near as fun if not if Barry. If it wasn't for Barry. Barry is a huge part of why yeah. this game is just it's No, just that's fun. true. And in his... his he makes Alan more palatable sometimes. Alan 
<laughs> that one is an asshole. And Barry's the one that can kick him down a notch. Yep. I mean, the, the has to that character dynamic has to be here. I can just take him for granted. They can see what you did there. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yeah, that one's going to be a dick about it. <laughs> I kind of would like to see what that would His be. His imitation though. of Barry, yeah. yeah absolutely. Like, why not? Do that's, it. That's, that's the real thing we're waiting for in the second game. Is Alan finally gets to do his imitation of Barry? Because what is Alan trying to have a sense of humor look like? Yeah, like what is that? What's 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 that like? Is that enough? Oh, okay, cool. Oh yeah, and the fucking long vote and shit. <laughs> I mean, their names are Tor and Odin, right? And then clearly they were not bored with those names either, and like they. Yeah. I remember, I'm pretty sure you read at one point that they changed their names. The, that those are stage names, yeah. Yeah. They're I mean, like, I guess they ch changed their names to that, like, right. their real names, but definitely was not, like, what they were They're, born with. Yeah. So, yes, they they were very into bike. <laughs> Again, I saw that. I set a game in the 70s. Set a game in the 70s. Huh? And do... For do the do the Thomas Zane oh, oh, and yeah. like origin story or whatever and ha ooh hey we got another episode Barry's with us this time oh yeah this is the one where he your first real writing job your first real writing job what got you started was this one of your episodes I haven't yawned yet <laughs> I have a couple of times, but yeah, let's buy someone else. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good one. It's a weird alternate reality. Weird the diving suit. <laughs> it's like if we lived in the version of the opposite where everyone does believe it's a simulation and it's, and the re it's this is no this is real life is the weirdo theory. <laughs> That'd be a super interesting story, actually. Yeah. It, it, it would. I would be really easy for it to spin out of control, though, in terms of scope. Yeah. It'd have to be like a Matrix level movie, almost. Right. Yeah. You'd have to do movie or like a decent sized novel. You couldn't do that in a Twilight Zone episode. Without it, I mean, maybe Twilight Zone because they can get away with like, ooh, it's just weird, and now it's over, and we never gave you any resolution. Right. There's this crazy the ass book that Alex discovered from like the 19, because it was the 20s and the 30s. Oh wow. And it's a sci-fi book, and th this dude that like, wrote this, and this is a footnote in this story. It's a barely important footnote. Okay. But he literally. Detail for detail, beat for beat, describes the entire concept of what the Matrix is. Interesting. Like, as a sci-fi concept, yeah. in a book written in the 1930s. <laughs> and th and it's a footnote. It's like a tiny, tiny little piece, and it's not even that important. To so yeah, yeah, story. I was gonna say that's like before Bradbury was writing, even. Yeah. Like think about how crazy that is. That long ago, this dude came up with all of that, <laughs> put it in a book. I mean, it's like when you look at some of the, those sci-fi authors, like unfiltered fucking, water um, from Cauldron Lake. I yep. that. That's what they put in their moonshine, <laughs> which is why I guess people visions. He contemplates cutting his eye out. I think he did. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. So I think it's because they started making moonshine that like that, brought, that woke up the. <laughs> yeah, well, and they're and Zane, obviously too, and Zane. made them lose their minds. <laughs> yeah. Because they, they're, like, drunk on moonshine and at the same time experiencing the darkness around them. Yeah. Well, like, it, it's like darkness and huge moonshine, even. Yeah, no, actually, you're right. <laughs> it's like... If like, it's coming from Cauldron Lake. There, so that's what's in the back of uh, that image on the back of those red bubble t-shirts. I definitely But I just them. looked at those... They... They only have four four things on the actual official one right now. Oh, uh, okay. I bet they'll uh, have But the more sweatshirt's pretty more. cool. But it's all I don't. It's all in pounds and it's all like sixty plus dollars. Oh man. Well, that's the other that's problem. That's the problem with official. Sometimes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I don't know. I might get a fifteen dollar one with their like logo. Affordable. Yeah. Ah. Oh god. Actually, speaking of Halloween costumes from this universe, I was gonna say this game, but this universe, an uh, FBC agent would be a fun one too. Ooh, yeah. You know, I don't even remember if I finished what I was saying uh, like hours ago about Halloween costumes, but I was. Oh, gonna, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I had the idea uh, of me and Nadia doing like Alan and Jesse. Mm hmm. Well, I thought that, would be, that could be a really fun one. Um, or, again, Mr. Scratch, even. That boat might light on fire. I mean... <laughs> I don't think we're close enough, yeah. Realistically, it would, but... I... Lucky fire or speed man. Uh, it'd be great to see... I think, uh, an open world game... You could even... Multiplayer would maybe be too much for the thing to run. But j just... Just for, like... GTA free mode. Mm -hmm. Totally destructible environment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you could, like, drive through the buildings. like Drive through down. the buildings. Like... Yeah. Like, things set on... That are supposed... That should set on fire. Set on fire. There's like a there is a game that it's I think it, it it's more of like a tech demo yeah. than anything, but it does have an, an environment that is like the entire game is completely real, realistically destructible, and now it's it's like that's the only thing the game. That's is all it is. Because yeah. Because that's like, it's so, so much, much processing, processing power. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, you could. It would be really hard to add anything else into there without it. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. How many? I mean, what is the population of this town? <laughs> yeah, how many? You have killed so workers? many farmers and construction workers and truckers. Yeah, that is. It's a, it's a little ridiculous. Just. How I mean, maybe the darkness can like once they've been poofed. Like, if, if they did something about, like, they can get reconstituted after they've been blasted into the light. Right. I mean, then especially you can explain why they all look the same. <laughs> it's actually, right. like, just the same 16 hunters or and local folks, just... There's the, the moonshine thing. <laughs> I don't know what the right word for that is, but... I was gonna say, uh... Yeah, well... Well, the um, is like the whole place, though. That's not just the name of the um, machine. I was going to say still, but it's too big to be a still. This yeah. is the actual brewing equipment instead of small scale. The door was barred from the I know side. that with whiskey and way. beer, it's usually a copper tub, not a, a giant uh, Ben Franklin stove. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they're making it in here. Uh, oh, that's the door. Cool. 
that one didn't need very much. That was a <laughs> kick I believe Allen can do. Yeah, that one was the slight a gentle open step. after his kick is perfect for his running ability. <laughs> right. We should uh, you, that should be a game that you and me stream. Uh, we should do the first Max Payne. Yeah, that should be for one sure. we, we do sometime in the near future. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. There's got so we have so many. Is there that we're something? About is it on? Already. Is it on here? Uh, that yeah, that I can do on the PS5. Nice. Um, the second one and the third one I cannot, but the first one. Oh, okay. The first one I can. Got it. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? I didn't even recognize. Keep your eyes open for coffee thermoses. That's the real concern here. And pages. Yeah, get book page. Yeah, manuscript pages and coffee thermoses. I don't care about anything else. Like he for, it's almost like he forgets that he's even looking for his wife at a certain point. Yeah, <laughs> he's just trying to survive at this point, I think. All right, let's check in on Pat. Hey, radios. I like how they're acting like Deerfest is going normally. Yeah, like everyone in town is dying. Has no one noticed every yeah, day that Alan there's fewer and fewer killing. people? <laughs> right, he's just been killing how. Hey, Good morning. Morning. how are you doing? Good morning to you. I guess it is. I guess it is kind of almost. Yeah, it's, it's after. It's six thirty. Yeah, it's six thirty. Just it's woke morning. up for work, so I'd say it's morning. It's still dark out though. <laughs> that sucks. Or maybe you have even already gotten ready for work. I don't know. <laughs> it blows my mind to think that you went to bed, had a night of sleep, <laughs> I know. And, and we've been doing this the entire the time. <laughs> we have. Um, let's see. Um, where this is the middle of chapter four. Or five. Uh, this is chapter four, okay, that's and I we're about seven, just about to be seven and a half hours in. Yeah. So, I should drink some water. That's a great idea. If you yeah, go ahead and grab some. <laughs> water, water is good. Water is water is a fantastic substance. And I will continue to drink my energy drinks because you know. Thing, yeah, you're not gonna be uh you're not gonna be uh here for too much too much of the whole thing, but I I it was okay, seven and a half hours. Oh my god, um <laughs> so I got what, seventeen more hours? Yeah, seventeen more hours. <laughs> Or again, like I said, I may not do an entire 24. I think I might do more like 22. because Just because once Ulysses and Alex are like getting ready to leave, I feel like that will have been a That'll pretty be a, damn good stream. It'll be hard to keep going at that point. Yeah. Like, Especially because I mean, you'll already have been through the game once. You'll be, you know, trophy hunting and yeah. page hunting. I'll push that funny. <laughs> Stash really wants me to go the full 24 hours. I mean, I don't maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I will definitely. It gets easier after 17. Yeah, at that point you're just punch drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what what embarrassing nonsense will I say though? Once I'm delirious after <laughs> after that many hours. Just <laughs> screaming at Alan. <laughs> Alan, you fucking asshole! Run faster! Yoshi, hey Yoshi, no, how you doing? I've done 24 hours in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, definitely doable, but it's, it's doable. Uh, it is. It is. I, uh, I kind of. I mean, like, I, I like, I, I wish that I had people, like, you know, people here for like the whole. Maybe I can convince Alex to stay late. <laughs> and keep me going until that 11. Or, uh, or just at, at a certain point uh, after you've finished it, have just them start the. Camera. I was gonna say, have them start the. Uh, uh, oh god! Oh, 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 o
classy. I mean, he's kind of a wank, so... No, that, it's not... That's true. It's not an inaccurate description. <laughs> Alright, this whole field would be on fire. If yeah. that truck lit on fire. He's a dry... These giant stocks. possessed pieces of farm equipment, I feel like, are only easier to take out than they maybe should be. Because you have so much to aim at. That's true. Well, you don't have to shoot them, you just have to hit them with the, the light. light. Yeah. So it's like half of the game mechanics don't apply. Yeah. It's just the first one applies for longer. Yeah. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I love the goofy shit that they say. <laughs> he's so mad about how many cows and pigs there are that he's got to kill you. He feels very strongly about it. <laughs> Whoop. Missed that last shot. I mean, I guess it. I guess it might be a shame to get to twenty-two and you know, <laughs> and not, and just, not finish it and off. Not do what. Uh, it yeah, depends I mean, on if you're. It depends on like where what you're feeling at the at that point. I yeah. think. Yeah. If you're feeling like crap, it's time to go to sleep. But if you feel like you can do it, then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's it's a maybe. It's a maybe. Couple hours of punishment. <laughs> Which yeah. is the seizure room, apparently. Barry has got to be protagonist of number two. I want Barry, Barry as a, play a playable two. character. <laughs> well, maybe he can, he can run just as fast as Alan. He can. Yeah. He can hold a flashlight and shoot a gun. It's not like Alan has any superpowers. No, I mean, I mean he, he sort anything, of does, I guess, well, in terms of the does. writing stuff, but. But he doesn't have effect. yes exactly i mean he 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 actually runs like worse than the average person yeah <laughs> hey let's go man you missed me having to deal with all that right well you know what maybe if if they're if if we're getting you know this whole rcu at right? all these games and all this remedy connected mm -hmm. universe maybe Maybe there will be a separate Barry game. Yes. Doing a Barry trilogy. A Barry trilogy. But like, the, what the first game is his origin story where you're literally just like doing paperwork for Alan's novels. <laughs> you like have to get Alan. Please, but a you, the final boss is you have to get Alan the Night Springs job. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a comedy version of Papers, Please. Paper. Well, I don't know Papers, Please. Uh, Papers, Please is a indie game where you are... Old gods know the truth. Uh, you you are, like, you are literally having to have, you are, like, having to, like, process, like, people's papers to, like, let them through security checkpoints and, like... Oh, weird. Like, a horrible, uh... Like, desk... So, like, kind of like... like de the, uh, desk simulator, but... Well, well, I mean, it's literally, like taking place in like the worst time period of Russian history. Got it. Uh, and where, where, you know, you actually had to get your right, shit checked your constantly. Papers, yeah. uh, and it's a horribly depressing, but also very thoughtful and meditative game. Yeah. Um, it, it's genuinely, it's very good. It has something to really say. Um, but, uh, but I, I immediately thought of like, what if we did a comedy? <laughs> the comedy of that, of that yeah. Buying myself a mobility scooter tomorrow. Je I get super jealous. I'm super jealous. In the valley of my shadow. See, yeah, that's like that's a whole album there, or yeah. that's at least a song we don't have yet. Well, yes, we know the they do. No, I'm super jealous. She's right. She's like looking at their house for them. Ah, it's like really dark in this room. Uh, it's like the original game. Right. Oh, manuscript page, what do we got? Again. How is this uh, no, the missing Greek, yeah. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an oh. a time traveler in a crazy drug. Really direct foreshadowing. <laughs> I mean, this is like five minutes from now this is gonna happen. Like yeah. not even. 
That was one of the things that I really liked when they did the pages out of order, and it got it kept getting annoyed that things kept happening as soon as we read it. <laughs> like, I want to be able to. Like, there we go. I want to be able to forget about the foreshadowing before it comes true. Right, like do it. I mean, not like actually I forget about it, but like give it some time to pass before it yeah no totally totally like like t give it to you but then like make you wait longer for it to mm -hmm. happen and like more out of order because a bunch of the pages i feel like you find in order which you know story-wise there's logic to that but finding them out of order is kind of intriguing because you get more of the ooh, where how do you get from a where we are right to this really bizarre scene that's coming Sometime. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that for sure. But maybe in the second one, they'll kind of mix up the order of it a little bit more. Yeah, maybe you, you're. Well, yeah, I was gonna say separating it into chapters, but then you. Um, <laughs> but you're finding pages that aren't. In, you're finding pages from other chapters. Right, right. Which that makes the collectibles more confusing, I guess, but. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is where like, song. everything gets kind of explained as mm -hmm. much as this game does it explain. <laughs> yeah. I do find it funny. It's interesting how much of like what you learn in control can be retroactively applied yeah. to this game. Like terms like thresholds and... They definitely added more sort of world mechanics or how yeah. the how the world works. I mean, I felt like I understood Alan Wake generally well, but I, a lot of people that played it once and uh, didn't spend a lot of time thinking about it afterwards. Yes. Um, I, like I could see like a lot of I saw a lot of people that said, "Oh, Control made Alan Wake make sense to me." Yeah, like, there are a lot of people that I that I have heard say that. Mm -hmm. I, I love that too. That's like they could be attacked by shadow monsters at any moment, and they're just getting drunk off their ass. I think the fact that they have the fire <laughs> ten times bigger than the size of a human, or ten times smaller. Uh, is everyone else getting shrunk or grown, or is it just me? Yeah, that's a good. That's an interesting variable. Like if yeah. we're all tiny on a normal size table, like just me. Okay. Probably just you, okay. I just All right. Very... I just Interesting. I Shrunk, I just am worried about getting stepped on, so I think ten times bigger. I feel like I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd get, I would be worried about getting eaten by like a cat yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're fine because the fire. Turns out there's like people enemies too. Right. Hartman's still out there. Although you wouldn't know that just by just no. by playing this game. In fact, it was only confirmed that Hartman no, but was still I just mean alive. you haven't seen him. Right. Don't try and climb that gravy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I think it was a, it was it was a one shot comic book. Um, hey, Divine Miss Klein, Ooh. how are you doing? Oh my God, did you just give two oh, more subs? You are so off. kind. You are so kind, Divine Miss Klein. You keep doing that. I appreciate that. Thank you Thank so much you. for gifting that to, say to say, to Yoshino and to Chetabe. Oh, wait, nice. no, Chetabe subscribed to himself. Uh, oh, to BFG over 9,000. Nice. Thank you so much. You are, you have been so incredibly supportive. I appreciate you. And it's going, and yeah, it's going well. It's going well. We're about uh, seven hours and 40 minutes, just, just under seven hours and 40 minutes in. Got about the school bus. Oh, and I see yep. the light outside too. Yep. The night Alice had disappeared, I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised. Yeah, to the cabin. Yeah, it's weird to start seeing the light slowly creep in outside, but hey, only 17 <laughs> more hours left. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. You could do that. You, you could do that, Yoshino. <laughs> you, you you could do that. Well, now, how are you, Divine Miss Klein? Thank you so much for stopping in. How I, I did you? You may have just woken up because <laughs> I have no so idea what time now. anyone is anyone is working on yeah. right now because I have no concept of time at the moment. But but I hope you're having a good morning or evening or middle of the night 
The next a good whatever time it is. Yeah. The wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Only seven. Yep. Only seventeen more hours. I couldn't find. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I like I said, I may I may not go like the. We'll see. Jagger had Alice. Just got your kid Easter Santa kind of coming. So so it is early morning. It is yeah. early morning. Well, I wish you a very good day, and I hope that. Uh, been easy Wait, what? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. She's like tempting you away from the water. Yeah. Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe. I got. <laughs> I think. I think I do. I think I do. I have. I have all these awesome uh, people in the chat, and awesome co-hosts. Uh, you know, keeping me going Maybe. through the whole thing. Well, I was gonna say, none of us have to make it through the whole thing at least. Uh, yes, I did get. I did get raided yesterday, Yoshino. Uh, twice. Uh, touch me. Actually, once by uh, Double Toasted and once by Smoothie Brain. Divine Miss Klein, catch you guys <laughs> on the tail end of the stream. Good luck. I appreciate it, Divine Miss Klein. We will see you later. I'll still be here. <laughs> Have a good day, and we'll see you then. Her putting a, I was gonna say her putting such a nice scene in her creepy voice. She's not here. You can put it behind you. So. No, she's in your anger, she I'm killed. afraid you killed Padme. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's lost the will to live. <laughs> Let's not use the billions of dollars worth of fucking medical equipment. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, you are stuck with our you stuck with our weirdo ass. <laughs> just just wait till Alex and Ulysses get here tonight. Because... Then you'll have the ridiculous conversation. Yeah, then it'll be really crazy. Especially yeah, you on zero sleep in the last twenty hours. Combined then, with those two yeah, is gonna be yeah. something else. Oh yeah, and I I, I mean it'll be. <laughs> I wish I, I wish Michael was here for that same chunk because if I get all four of us into a room, then it just really gets weird. Just utter chaos. It does become utter chaos. <laughs> I was gonna the last the death death loop stream where no one mentioned uh, gnomes. I'll bring her yeah, I had yeah, almost. Right up until I don't end. remember what it was. And I had almost sent something earlier. You all, oh, you had almost. And then I did, and then I didn't. Uh, I did not. Yoshino, if you really want to get under Alex's skin, if he's on the stream, just bring up gnomes. Hates them. Hates gnomes. Hates them. Just absolutely hate. He would literally kill them if they were real. <laughs> like all of them, he would commit a. Gnome he would be genocide. Blade, but for gnome. Well, I guess he, that <laughs> would make Hitler, him a gnome. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Like it would just be. Uh... Yeah. Like like uh, gnome bio weapons. <laughs> He probably looks like him. <laughs> Total love, that. He would love to hear you say that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> pop into it, pop into it. <laughs> like, with him on camera, too. Hey, are you, are, are you the gnome one? <laughs> Just to see his face. Uh, It'll be worth it. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely worth it. Wait, that <laughs> diving suit looks different. Am I wrong? My mind can I think it's the same one. It doesn't. That one didn't look like the. Ant I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe it was. For the, the split same. second, it looked like. Could have been the. Lost been in the space end. robot, not. Danger well, Robins. And yeah, Danger. yeah, not the. Uh, normal like. Who makes a robot's like, arms out of an accordion? Like, who's the why? <laughs> I mean, like, if if it was actually a robot, it makes sense for the like 
If you could like ex yeah. extensive, yeah, extensor. But when it's just a human in there, it doesn't. Uh... Right. You should have a drink, tipsy. <laughs> I might. You know what, Yoshino? When at the at, at twenty three hours. Yeah. <laughs> when I get to the end of the stream, for the last like couple hours, then I will start drinking. I I will totally do that, but I'm gonna wait till the end because if I do it now, it you're not gonna going, make it. <laughs> it's gonna make me sleepy at some point. So I'm gonna I'm gonna That's wait right, until geez. we're close to the end. That's right. Oh, I have no idea. Probably just beer. Pro probably just beer. I'll make Alex bring something for me. <laughs> Frickin' Nightingale. Bum, 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 bum. Which one is this? Now this is actually one of the Oh yeah Still God of Asgard songs. Yeah. Well still yeah. Just in case. Move past that. Oh, so that's what happened. <laughs> Enjoying the trophies. I'll think about it. If I'm up, I'll have a beer with you. Hey, that's there awesome. You go. I that's that sounds like a plan to me. Well, shut up, Hartman. <laughs> When Hartman is somehow... The Diver's Isle, so that's a name change, right? No, 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 it was called that. There was a sign at the very beginning. Um, it was, so there's Cauldron Lake, right? Oh, Diver's Isle Bird and Cabin. Bird Lake Cabin. Yeah, yeah. Not so the Bird Diver's Lake Isle was, like, named after Thomas Zane mm -hmm. because of how much time he spent there. We hate beer tastes like cereals. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. My fiancé hates the taste of, <laughs> well, any alcohol, actually. But... But does not care for beer. So you're not alone. Um, you're not alone. A lot of people don't like the taste of beer. I'm, I mean, I'm, I like some beer. I'm picky right. though. I mean, there's a lot of beer I do like and a lot there's of beer I don't. Not good. <laughs> Sweet drinks. Yeah. Like where you can't quite like taste the alcohol. More. <laughs> yeah, you, of course you do, Cook. <laughs> I'm with you, Kim. I'm with you. <laughs> Bright Steiner. All the manuscript pages were gone. The so there's only there's two find the more chapters now, or episodes now left in the main game. I think my tongue took a crap so in my mouth. <laughs> Barry, I love you. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, you're fine as long as the power stays on. That's it's true. probably safer than uh... cocaine. I mean, that you know what? Cocaine would keep me awake through the whole stream. <laughs> yeah. Same. And then some. And then some. The Lady of the Light. I said on my the, on my Bloodborne stream yesterday, somebody asked like, "Well, what are you gonna drink to keep you awake?" And I was like, "And it was a t I think." Somebody in the chat was like, classic Coca-Cola with the cocaine in yeah. it. <laughs> there you go. That'll do it. That'll keep you up. Raymond Chandler. Wait, he already said that one. He's starting he to recycle. Lazy. Lazy bastard. There, he had to add in the other one because he realized it. <laughs> I wanted my job back. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, that's because he's not a, just the only drink that doesn't make you ill or sleepy. Yeah, fair enough, you know, you gotta do what feels good for you. If stuff makes you sick, you don't wanna, you know? Yeah. No, absolutely. I, under I definitely understand that. It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. He's always got his gun out and his finger on the trigger. <laughs> oh, he's just constantly at this guy. He just, he will not fucking calm down ever. Sober, and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Hey. Call him out. Call him out, Sarah. Back of the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead. Wait a minute. I know this. <laughs> I remember this. This is the scene where I die. <laughs> <laughs> when he, he had when he had read it, he had read it already. Yeah. One. Okay. I, these pages. One of these pages is hilarious, though. Coffee and water makes me sick. Tea and alcohol makes me. sick. I'm sorry to hear that. You know. This this page yeah. though. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true. <laughs> Impossibly true. <laughs> took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Like, how <laughs> just, like, it just... So... 
meta <laughs> in its own head, in its own world. Yeah, like, I, I would also be very confused <laughs> yeah. if this was my life. <laughs> He'd seen it before. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before. You'd think you'd have an immediate association to right. something that Take takes out my hand flask. <laughs> wow, ten subscribers now. That's nuts. Nice. That is That's nuts. Awesome. I thought that was the cardboard cutout for a second. <laughs> I think they sat it was your the exactly it was house. your shadow, so it makes sense that it's the same shape, I suppose. Flare, now that's ten that's already. A crucial Fuck piece you and of... your progress. Uh, you know, I got <laughs> the mind Miss Klein just keeps coming in and gifting, so it's mostly one person <laughs> that just keeps coming back in and and supporting. Not ten, like whole people. So that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Wasn't there... Get it, because her name's Sar Sheriff Sarah Breaker, and she's yeah. trying to use the Breaker. Wasn't there someone who... Or, no, maybe this isn't the one. I thought that this was the one that had been messed up. Here are your things. Wait. But that was mean? the ranger station. That was the ranger station. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the park ranger. Mm. That person has more money in a week than me in a year. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. At least I, I, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm right there with you. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. A rescue chopper? Wait, Alan knows that choppers are not a good idea. Yeah, those we birds will take a fucking chopper here. down. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride. Oh yeah, and here's a here's a there's a part right here coming up where if you it's one of those where you could just walk away or you could hang out and listen to a bunch oh, of extra dialogue. Nice. And I don't know if you Yeah. A list of people. Night Springs, okay? Know what to do. Right. Springs, like the TV show? Gotcha. Which we know was a essentially a propaganda ploy, mm -hmm. but don't recommend being disabled at shit for cast. Uh, yeah. I, yeah I, that's uh, I have a lot of friends and my sibling uh, dealing with that. Yeah. It's rough. As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. My hangover wants a pizza. My hangover wants a pizza. Yeah, friends, I think to Dallas. Uh, that's a. Uh, is that heavy rain? No. Um, uh, no, 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 it was definitely uh, I wanted uh, good um, parts and bad parts to it. I always wanted them to do like a Roswell Alien DLC because Ooh. they did Undead Nightmare for Red Dead, but like yeah. they did like a Roswell Alien thing for L.A. Noir. I always thought that would have been cool. That would have been a good one for that. What else could you do with that uh, era of like like a monster movie, maybe yeah. like a Swamp Thing? Yeah. Or. That I think he's on the phone with her dad. Yeah. Who is a former FBC agent, right? Okay, thanks, sir. Bye now. Hey, yeah. Sheriff's dad is a big fan, Al. Sheriff dad. Okay. <laughs> Hello? All right, we still got more. <laughs> I really like the idea that, like, even in a, in the original Alan Wake, right? They had this whole thing of mm. like, if you stuck around and listened to it, Barry makes all these code word night springs and makes all. And these then weird that's phone all he calls. says and moves on. And they don't bring it up again. I love that he introduces himself every time. He doesn't need to say he's Barry Wheeler. No one knows no who one the knows. fuck yeah, Barry Wheeler is. Yeah, Night Springs and hang up. Like, he doesn't have yeah. to say his name. Hello, man. Sorry to bother you. Barry Wheeler calling for Sheriff Breaker. <laughs> I to tell you. Wheeler? Ma'am, she asked me to... No, I'm... <laughs> yes, but the sheriff asked me to... <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm just, I like, I, I like, is he gonna uh, right? run out of dialogue? Or... Oh, okay, yeah, that was probably yeah. the last one. <laughs> they do tend to tell you when it's over, at least. Like, yeah. like with the trophy on the recordings. Right. Yeah, I know that's nice, at least. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then, but hurry. Our cat is watching the stream. Aw, cute. <laughs> That's awesome. A little perch. I can't go. Yeah, she she's was got, she's got sprinting so around. Lay down, so. uh, okay, over here. Oh, yeah, gap in the fence. Sneak through. Oh, it's the little spot on the ground. I guess, does that count as an enemy type? <laughs> I wonder. I guess we could kind of add that to the is list there, of enemies, but... is, I wonder if there's a... Um, like a trophy for clearing of, enough of it. Clean up crew. They just like make it a straight up control reference and it's uh, the mission title with Ati. Because this is the, this is the, that, that's straight up the kind of darkness that you have to like peel off of things mm -hmm. in control. It's like the exact same kind of yeah. material or whatever. I don't, I never got, I don't think I finished, um, it's the mission, like I never got the janitor outfit. No, you didn't. Did I you never talk went. To all of his side? Did you I did all of his side missions, but I don't think I went back to talk to him or like went back to get it. Oh yeah, I think you just have to go back to him. Like, yeah, the I never did that. Ah. Die, birds! Curse you, Alfred Chichkov! <laughs> oh god! Yeah, you can't. Just left in your spot. Uh, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's adorable. She... she missed you. Yeah. Or she was glad I wasn't rolling around. She was around, glad you weren't there so off. she could yeah. take your spot. <laughs> With a cat, I suppose it could be either way. Yeah, I mean, she usually, like, sleeps on my feet, but Aww. she, uh... She's like, finally, But then as soon as, I, as soon as I roll, she sprints out of there. Yeah, Bright Falls is the original inspiration. That's why That's it's Night Springs. kind of weird. So, I mean, it's, a, it's this interesting thing, like, so, you know, they bring up the idea that there are all these different kinds of thresholds and yeah. weird, like, worlds and other dimensions and stuff in control but like i can't help but wonder if if the the dark place from the yeah. lake is maybe the most dangerous and kind of sinister overall of out of all of places, them maybe yeah like maybe this is still kind of the all the worst it's sort know? of the bottom and the yeah like hiss the hiss was ultimately kind of a minor threat right like in in, in the greatest they were more um uh, not, not other world, but well, it was otherworldly. I, I yeah, would say, but, but like, I mean, maybe, like, yeah, like I'm, I'm trying to think, like, like almost like I would. Say, they couldn't like, take. Well, no, I guess they did. It did take over people, but like it was, it was like stuck in its world and yeah. it only started, um, kind of trying to invade it people because someone else let it in first, right? Rather than having an in intellect that allowed it to have ambition to try to go in yeah there. like it, it wasn't necessarily like it didn't have goals in our universe yeah I, that's what that's this one what is I'm trying thinking. to take over or at least wreak havoc oh, oh you're me. using the shotgun I don't think that's good already I'm following it's Okay. You're following follow her. It says and she's I am, following I you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game kind of fucked up there. 
And also, like, now we're going through the whole town, and the, the, right. the darkness is just going, attacking the whole town. Oh, God. It just ran over that one, but didn't... Oh, right, because the lights aren't on. Do you have a flare gun? Big dude, right? I no. don't. Not right now. Oh. Nice. <laughs> It's not just a typewriter band. Oh, Remington. 50, 50 taken. No, it's neither. <laughs> Funny. That's like a that's like a fucking deep cut like typewriter reference. Yeah, seriously. I feel like that is not something the average person I feel like is gonna just know or understand. Yeah. Yeah, but I think there might be some supplies over here. So like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna yes, need to get is. all the way off my back about it, alright? You're gonna be hey, glad we have this flare, flare gun ammo. ammo. Hell yeah, see? Oh, it was good worth call it. on switching back weapons. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember to do that now each time. Yeah, I do need to get a more. just a better headset at some point. Yeah. It's just not. This one's. it's like, it's alright, but. Uh, like For 24 nice. hours, it's a rough flare. Yeah, that's a bit of a... <laughs> it's not the greatest headset. What oh. is that? <laughs> oh, it's not a monster. I wish I could refill my cup. And yes, I am drinking monster out of a coffee mug. Because I am... That kind of... Well... Thing. When you got, uh... When you have a Federal Bureau of Control mug... Right, I mean, I've got to, I've got to use the Federal Bureau of Control bug for the Alan Wake stream. It's just like, how could I not? Oh, are we good? All I of a guess. sudden, where did? Oh, she's like way over here. <laughs> she got close enough to her target, and it was clear she must just go to where you're supposed to meet classy. her. Classy, <laughs> yeah, super classy. Oh, I feel that really fool too. <laughs> and then put it right next to the computer. I just, you know, I make really good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> like staying up for 24 hours. Exactly. For example. Have a duty hey. flashlight. There we go. I want uh Oh. You know who else should be playable in the next one is Tor and Odin. No, we, we realized they're probably not alive anymore. That's but right. you could do a prequel. Yeah, no, that's that's right. That is the way to do that. The drank them both up. You drank them bought up. Oh, I guess we turned the turn the jukebox on two uh -huh. times. During this week, you can't remember. Oh, I remember now. Oh, I remember now. The lime and the coconut. And in the first place, we saw her. Yep. Just, you know, eight hours. Wow, eight hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just eight hours ago. He wouldn't let Every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Ah, I'm going to turn these uh, uh -oh. lights off here. Probably oh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Good luck. Hey, thank you, Kim. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Turn these lights off, though, because... No, they're not uh, not quite as necessary. Yeah, see that has to... Alright, so I, n I now know that I can do... Eat the camera. The camera, even at night. Yeah. I just have to have those lights on. But it's a good even light on it. Bye! That's a little dark, but it's fine. Uh, oh, that's that's okay. fine. That's just that just pops up. At first, I thought it was the auto. This oh, will restart in yeah. three minutes or whatever. All right, let's get, All right, let's get back at you. 
I'm walking it. So that's going to be me as I get more and more delirious. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying nonsense. I am already at the point where I'm glad I'm not driving home. Yeah. <laughs> And that you're not staying up for the whole 24 hours? Uh, yes. Definitely that. You're going to have New Yorkers were rude. Sleep, like eight hours sleep and wake up and, and wake still up and you'll still be going. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to gauge how much longer I can go. I feel like it can. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, hey, it's, you know, it's totally up to you. No, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't... If someone was for sure, like... Depend, it depends on when it, when someone else shows up. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. If someone back. else shows up at an early time, then I'll... Right, yeah, I don't know exactly go. what time Tyler is planning on... Coming. I, I genuinely am not sure. Uh, I know he said earlier in the day, but I don't yeah. I'm not sure what time that is. Might exactly. be ten, might be noon, might be one. <laughs> right, which it's like you know. Because that's earlier yeah, than we've yeah. been there. Yeah, I, I no, won't so make it to actually, one. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a yeah. bunch of those. There's a bunch of those out here for the festival. I was about to say that's something video games don't uh, <laughs> acknowledge is bathroom breaks, true. but no more heroes did. That's true. That's your, that's, uh, uh, your that was the rare saving. example. Which I thought was a really funny use of this of a save mechanic where you have to do it in the same place to have it be <laughs> like, yeah, acknowledging you know, that the character a goes to the bathroom. Lot of those, to be honest, um, I played. The new I've one, the third one just came out. A decent amount of the first that. one, and that's it. But it was fun. I just never. I don't know. I wasn't playing a ton of Wii at the time. Mm -hmm. And I never really did. Ah, if I was, you know, when I'm opening up a console, I'm, we'll go for the yeah, higher I don't power touch one. Real often, honestly. You know, I guess you never go to the toilet in life, you just hold it in forever. <laughs> oh, Solaris, thank you so much. I appreciate the host and the tweet. How thank are you. you today? How are you doing? We are, we are just about eight, a little over eight hours into the stream. Yes, so it, is nice. an yes it is an game. amazing game. Welcome, Solaris X. This is, uh, I don't so one of no my co hosts, No Name 20. You may recognize I'm usually in chat. chat more than I am. In host, although we've been doing the occasional Gree stream. Which we gotta finish that too. Yeah, we don't have much left in it, probably. Nah, probably another like half hour, 40 minutes. Yeah. It'd be another short stream. For sure. Oh god, don't hurt me with the chainsaw. Don't. <laughs> like the Darth Vader meme. Where he's oh, choking the yeah. choking the Imperial officer and the Imperial officer is like harder daddy and then Darth Vader's the like what? Tough. Uh no, no multiplayer. Uh just just hanging out and ha keeping the conversation going. Yeah. Keeping it going for uh eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> going going twenty four hours with uh on, like on a solo stream would Let's be go, pretty rough. Yeah, this would be. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I, I mean, I feel like I could do it, yeah. but I just there is so much more keeping me engaged and awake. If I've got if there's a conversation and yeah, yeah, if especially got for lulls in chat. You know, if you have chat going the whole time, that's not as bad. Right. Just dropped your follow. Oh, nice, you should nice, jury. Solaris. That's awesome. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? <laughs> Hey man, somebody somebody does. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, you know you got another follower. That's awesome. Make the script. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, oh. but now the light had. Yeah, but yeah, welcome Solaris X. Welcome to the marathon stream. It's the celebration of reaching affiliates 
and 126 followers, and also the fact that Alan Wake is just a ba- yes. back as a franchise. I'm just very happy about that. Um, <laughs> still looking like a million bucks. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, hi, Pepper. Oh, hello, dog. You know, Corb, would you mind uh, hanging out with the chat for just a moment? Yeah, because yeah. Because my dog, the dog needs to go to the bathroom. For sure. I'll be right back. Yeah, come here, come here, girl. Come here. Move back into camera. So anyone else uh, playing anything right now or just, just hanging out watching the stream? Yeah, solo streaming when there's not chat is rough. Especially especially just trying to uh Yeah, just trying to talk the whole time. Like you you end up just talking about the game, but there's only so long you can talk about any game. Now, I'm sure Sage can talk about Alan Wake for days and days, but uh <laughs> I don't think that there's a game over uh I don't think that there's a game over state in this one. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out which game. Um We just have to restart the checkpoint and that would be boring, I think. That was quick. She is, she, she always That's good. Right away. Yeah. She wants to come back in and lay down just as much. <laughs> just as much as anyone else. Yeah. She's an old, she's an old dog. She's 14. Miss yeah. anything? Just delete this. <laughs> they said to get you game <laughs> over. I was save. like, I don't think there's a game over, but I, he figured it out. Deleting the save is the game over state. That's true. I, uh, you know, was it, um... It was, I think I was playing Deathloop and I got up to use the bathroom and Alex and Ulysses immediately were like, delete the save, delete the save. Oh my God. God. <laughs> the message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the stage. They're the ones that'll have to sit through all the stuff over again. That's true. That's true. Uh, oh, Barry. I don't think they would care, though. No. <laughs> to be honest, they would, they would they just... Can just... <laughs> They can. Uh, Alex and Ulysses are forever. Yeah, they're the most like impressive. She's like getting shooters. electrocuted. Yes, you know, casually getting electrocuted over there. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just gonna take a quick look. I have Alan Wake and Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Yeah, we were talking about we wish Nightmare had been a part of this one. Yeah, I wish the they would have remastered American Nightmare and like included it in this because I just yeah I just feel like there there's some I don't know like there just is some like it's a, it's a small game so it's like almost like why not release for this one big package? Yeah. But I don't know. I just, I just, are we all hanging on Halloween? Maybe I think I, I mean I, you yeah. are invited to come over on Halloween. Yeah, I don't know. Are you gonna be streaming or? Uh, there were, you know, I, there's, there's been, like, debate Back about and it. forth. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally. I don't know. I know Yoshino's doing a Halloween Day stream. It looks really good. It plays the same. Yeah, it, it's basically the same game. It just looks a lot prettier. Per, for me, as a huge fan of this game, yes, it's worth it. But, like, if you don't, like, love the game, then maybe not. Yeah. But like if 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 you if you're like you can see a lot way. of the like smaller worlds details better. Um, yeah, like the, well, we've been reading the book titles and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're playing this game, yeah. <laughs> they, it does the uh, the pictures like in the in uh, the office and stuff. Um, the yeah, face is more clear. Just, yeah, you can just appreciate the world and the details and the environment and the character models. Uh, it's a Stash Cyrus, but oh, you don't have to apologize, Stash. You're good. No worries. No worries, man. 
Ooh, and there's the big lantern. But yeah, so Lars, if if you love the original and you you just you think it's a great game, if you really, I think it's, it's also worth it. it. If you like really hate the, all the branding in there, that's true. <laughs> they took they the branding took, out. Yeah, they took all the Energizer and like Verizon ads out and replaced them with there. things that um, that like actually makes sense more in the world itself a lot better. <laughs> Go, go get your breakfast pepper. What are you doing? Uh, what does this say? Uh, yeah, you mentioned on my channel. Reach your foot. You do Alan Wake Remastered. Yeah, no, I thank you for the congrats. I am very happy to finally be it at this point. It is uh, incredibly satisfying. And, uh, yeah, for the first of uh, hopefully many long streams to come. <laughs> Pepper wears First. salt. Yeah. <laughs> what were these? Salt, pepper, or not salt. Pepper, biscuit, and gravy, though. You got the, True, true. All, all going together with the biscuits and country gravy. <laughs> uh, huh. Creepy little, yeah. little park area here. Like I feel like is, has Stephen King trained people's trained people's minds to just not trust small towns. I mean, it's, it's, it's there's so many different <laughs> main yeah small towns in mountain ah. regions. Uh, I do think that there's something about um, that trash the isolation of small out. towns that makes it uh, a good vehicle for horror. Uh, it's the same kind of separation that he tried to really force with that Under the Dome book. Mm. Um, which I actually ended up enjoying a lot of. And I heard the other, show was not but very good. The show was rough. The show was rough. Um, but some of the other, some of the things he did with the Under the Dome book also... Wasn't great either. Yeah, it was fine. It could have been better. Um, especially the... Who is that? Oh, Doc. Um... I especially just felt like the ending was kind of a letdown on that one. It's not that's over. not why there's gunshots. That's not what's happening, it's, sir. This is not what's happening. No one is looking outside their windows. <laughs> well, yeah, apparently He's just no shooting really people no in the street, and nobody notices. And the sheriff is also shooting people in the street. Yeah, that's fair. You're not really, like, you kind of have a... We're not particularly inconspicuous yeah <laughs> but when you're with the sheriff people aren't going to question it as much i guess <laughs> that's true although i feel like i'd still be pretty why like... is there some random dude from out of town hanging out with the sheriff killing people oh yeah. his book is even the book of the month so yeah. like clearly he was going to get this recognized town. in this town yeah. like that was gonna that was just gonna happen yeah <laughs> I feel like one of the things, like, if people skipped through reading the pages, mm -hmm. control would make it make a lot more sense. But I feel yeah. like you do get a decent amount if you collect all the pages. Yeah, I, I'd agree. I think, I think you get a pretty solid amount of context for all this. I think maybe it's just a little... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it anyway. I'll read it anyway, Yoshino. I got you. I, I don't even care. Thank you. <laughs> you uh, that, yeah, that helps kill some time. Such hey, a 16 makes... hour game into a 24 hour stream. Yeah. We just have to read a lot of long chat messages. Exactly. So just keep. I, I don't know if I want to invite Is there that. Anything else? <laughs> Up here. Uh. No, I'm going to knock all the An Alex over. Casey bake book. And what's the other book there? Oh, it's not Alex. No, but that is the spiral symbol uh -huh. that's on the door in the uh -huh. Ocean View Motel in Control. I can't read it. The Within Side. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that says. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, the within side. Oh, 
Well, that's a terrible name. <laughs> oh, there's the good father, bad father again on the wall. Oh, yeah. Everyone seems to like that one. The human island. Say this perfectly. Nope. Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't even know where I to don't speak in. Gaelic. <laughs> or maybe that's Welsh. Don't Welsh is the one that looks like that. Oh sweet! Nice. Hey, it's awesome. It it is very pretty. It's I, You'll if you're a fan of the game. with how slow Alan runs, but that happens in the base game too. Yeah, I mean that's just yeah, that's just the game. That's just Alan. It's the Alan's just a shitty runner. <laughs> <laughs> that's a town in your country. I believe it. I could not, I don't know. Just re just looking at it, I don't know how to pronounce it. Against followers, it's free to follow, support, kick that follow button in the teeth and break its fucking... <laughs> <laughs> make its fucking uh, teeth and gums make it bleed. I'll just the fuck out of this channel, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Solaris. You're very, very, very kind. Why are we going to the church? Is that where so Lamp there's like Lady an underground is? passageway over here, and we're gonna take that to get to the helicopter. There's a really roundabout way to get to a single, to just a one yeah. helicopter, especially there's, when we know that helicopter. Uh, there's are, a, oh, you might be full on ammo, but there's some stupid. Uh, there's also totally about to be like a big fight right here. Oh, that's right. Uh, on the original, yeah. I mean, it's it's it really is the same <laughs> game, just better. Um, yeah. Also, I will. I'll tell you, Solaris. Uh, there are. <laughs> uh, there are. Uh, if you look throughout the game, there's a few spots with uh, QR codes you'll find kind of mm -hmm. ar around the game. And you can take your phone, you can scan those, and it'll take you to a video online that is adding to the lore a little bit, and it specifically ties into control a little more. Yeah. They're a little bit jarring visually in the game. Like, well, you, you just see this QR code on the wall. They are a little weird. Although, it's funny, I was reading, those are actually in the PC version of the game. Yeah, that's what I read as well. <laughs> it was surprising. You can make anything dirty, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Scan me. Oh, oh. Fast guys, fast guys. Next year streamer. Uh, you you have. I I used to stream. I haven't been consistent about it. Um, like that no name twenty, but like I said, it's been a while. Ooh. I mostly just come and co-host. Good morning. But yeah, yeah, No Name has been a been a very active co-host on uh, on this stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Hit, hit, hit. He's just from Wales. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I square that circle. Circle. What is that? Circle makes me think square. of square. Did I get it wrong? No, no, you got that? it right, but is it that? made me think of um, Hollywood Square. Circle gets a square. <laughs> I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Oh, I told him to get it. Maybe don't put the emergency tunnel just in a place the, that's just locked. Just the door open. Also that. I mean, I feel like you. I mean, maybe I she doesn't want to shoot a church. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, so I was, oh, you live in Wales too, huh? That's cool. Proto. <laughs> it's such a weird line for them to say. <laughs> I really, they all, they're like everything they say, I feel like is always yeah. just so weird. 
It feels like it feels like um ah I think someone just like translated random lines for something for them to say. Kind of like the hiss. Yeah, yeah. Where it's just like a an alien presence trying to pretend to be human. Yeah. This is something it heard on the radio from Pat. Well, you know, it's interesting because, like, the Taken in this game, uh, it's like, Hey, Horton, how you doing? Hello. How are you, Horton? Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome into the stream. We're, uh, just about to be eight and a half hours in. <laughs> what? I don't even know. <laughs> My walking cauliflower. Mm. Uh, welcome in, Horton, though. I hope you're having a good morning. And hey, we set up the camera. Yeah, we're about, Less like, yeah, almost eight and a half hours into this already, which is just kind of crazy. I don't feel like that much time has passed, to be completely honest. Yeah. Well, and it's, you know, it's easy to lose time playing a game that you're really into. That's true. I was gonna say, you know, I had the camera before, but I, I haven't used it as much because, especially during, like, Souls games, it, like, gets in the way sometimes. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's in, in the... Just because I need to corner. see what's going on, and, like, I, like, because I'm streaming right off the PS5, the, uh, ooh, hey, there's a page in here. Because I'm streaming directly off the PS5, I have to look at the little camera box in the corner, and stuff. certain games, it just gets in the way. Um... But for this, I, I know this game like the back of my hand. It's the celebratory marathon stream. I thought I might as well set it up. So. Alan just setting up a berry with the conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. <laughs> he just like, he's like literally giving gifts of berry to Barry like, hey, here you go, Barry. Feel like a badass for yeah, a minute. Wrap yourself in Christmas lights. We all might die. I forgot that's what he does with the getting geared up scene. He wraps himself in Christmas lights. I love that version of Barry. <laughs> that's the playable character I want. Just with the Christmas lights. Christmas lights, Barry. We keep them lit all night long. For yeah, like that should be who's in the Smash Bros. Yeah, that should be the final smash. Like, what do we know? What time the sma the final smash character is getting revealed today? Is that? Let me see. I do not know. Uh, final Sakurai presents time. I, I'm just I'm just curious. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in uh, EST. Two CST. What was how many hours? That's 9 a.m. Okay, so that's uh, getting there. Shit, that's only an hour and a half away. <laughs> the last ultimate character. Oh boy! All right. Oh shit! I almost walked away without picking that page up. But no, uh, Alan Alan Wake would be a great final character. That would be so Actually, that's, great. That's, that's what I want. Come here, kitty. Hmm? Put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in his path, made them its puppets. Except for Barry. Except for Barry, because it's Christmas life. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run in the bathroom quick. Totally. Finally, character is D's nuts. <laughs> the extremely tiny penis. No worries though. <laughs> We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry. I've made that joke on here too. So. <laughs> and of course we gotta go into the basement because what oh, what horror game would be complete without one of these sequences Oop. you daddy oh man Horton how's your morning going <laughs> I hope I hope it's going well. I uh, I'm happy to see you in the stream. I may have already said that. 
getting all the nostalgia today of the change anything is it's mostly just revamped graphics Horton um, mostly just revamped graphics uh, yes, there are some so there are a few QR codes uh, kind of sprinkled throughout the game. You take your phone, like, hold them up to the screen and scan them, and they take you to new... Uh, they take you to some videos online um, for that uh, that are more somewhat connected to control, and they are new videos. So there is a little bit of new stuff in here. Um, but it's it's not, like, a huge amount. It's it's mostly just the revamped graphics. But the revamped... I mean, it looks really good, though. I'm... I'm uh, I don't know if you if you know, but on the original Xbox 360 version of Alan Wake, the game's actually running in 540p, and it's the 360 console's upscaling it to 720. But, uh, the, you know, to go from basically 540p all the way to 4K in this one remaster, it's pretty impressive. It's a big jump. Um, it's good. Uh, just woke up about an hour ago. My sleep's been crappy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your sleep hasn't been good. I definitely, uh, I definitely didn't have any tonight or the last night. God, what day do I consider it now? <laughs> the Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. Yeah. No, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's uh, I, I, I get hard insomnia like all the time, so I definitely understand. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Come on, Alan. You could have gotten a headlamp so much. There's literally a headlamp right next to you at the beginning of this game, and you just didn't pick it up. So don't bitch at us now. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. <laughs> and also, yes, I am getting all the nostalgia. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was and now that this game has come out, though, it's only... The terror would have burned her mind out. Yeah, no, I, I've, 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 ever since I was like a little kid, I have, I have had a really hard time shutting my brain off at night. It's, it is very, it is not easy for me to do that. was trying to work his way to her. Um... Or he gets a hard insomnia and a hard on. Hey, sometimes, you know, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, sorry, I miss a comment, though. No, no, we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of. Um, totally. Uh, but no, still our sex. Yeah, no, uh, uh, co host is awesome. I got a whole bunch of got a got a got a whole bunch of awesome coasts that are gonna come in and out throughout the day. Um, we are uh, to play boring, repetitive phone games just to tire my brain out. Oh damn! Yeah, so I'll, I'll I will just doom scroll sometimes and just just I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'll just I'll just go. I'll just I don't even have a goal or a thing that I'm trying to find. I just it's just just like scanning the phone just to try and get my brain to just shut off. Whoop. Um, yeah, this, I mean, we're uh, all except one of my co-hosts. I've got eight. Uh, all but one of them will be making an appearance sometime over the course of the stream, though. Flashlight stagger them. So yeah, they get the flashlight. To, so they basically have a shield of darkness, uh, and you have to use light to eliminate that shield, and only then can they be hurt. Where the last goes? I'll be back in a be back in just a sec. Just getting some water. Uh, Horton, have you have you not have you not played Alan Wake before? I thought I th for some reason I thought you had. Is this have you, had you not played this game yourself? Oh, 
going to make it. The one that's not going to make it. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, uh, yeah, he's he's just got some school stuff to, uh, to do today. Um, it's been on my list. Oh, well, hey, the re- now a, that the remaster's it's a good one out, to play. it's a good time to do it, too. The remaster, uh, just so you know, Horton... They just made ton- that look like a page. <laughs> yeah, basically. They really did, right? But no, Horton, um, uh, there's a ton of product placement in the original, like all the Energizer, <laughs> all the batteries are like Energizer brand, and like there's a bunch of Verizon wireless like billboards throughout the game so like this uh this remaster it took all the product placement out this is the best version of the game that exists now i, I think it's, it's pretty safe to say better graphics and then also you know also yeah removing the product placement the wife Yo, character no longer has helicopter a is face. not a good idea what's that I said helicopter is not a good idea. No, I really, yeah, I don't know why they think that. I mean, I guess it'll, you know, I guess them like... Why didn't that go? But... There you go. Yeah? You guys are just already up in my business, okay? Yeah, normally the one co-host that will not be attending today's stream normally streams uh, Hades every Tuesday. Oh, yeah. I need to distract away too easily to remember. Hey, that, yeah, that's fair, dude. That's fair. I've been, I've been bore my lot based most of my life, too, so I hear that. But you know what? I'm actually going to pause for just a second, and I am going to go get myself a glass of water. Because I've only <laughs> been drinking energy drinks. So. Yeah, that's rough. Get something that's a little better for me. <laughs> well, I mean... Let's, uh... That's not wrong. <laughs> I can't disagree with that. <laughs> yeah, well. How far are we on four? All right, only four more we can get in this chapter. The rest wait for nightmare. We're already getting through five, getting to six. Only four more pages left in this chapter. Oh, shit. Yeah, Until nightmare. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, let's just be getting close to the end of this uh, chapter here. <laughs> Uh, someone that enjoys writing fictional adventure mysteries. This game is right in my alley. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a game for aspiring writers. Oh, so yeah. writer writing about a writer, writing about a writer, writing about the first writer writing about yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just writers it's, writing about writers writing about. As writers. Penny Arcade, it's if if M C Asher was a writer and also a douchebag. <laughs> yep. There you go. Um. Uh, we'll be seeing my drunk stream with Sage. I think that question is directed at you. <laughs> You're doing a drum, drunk scre- drunk stream? Drunk stream? Oh, when? Uh, on Halloween. Oh, yeah, I'll check that out. I, I, mean, I mean, especially if I'm over anyway. here. Yeah. I asked for that weekend off work. I don't want to work Halloween. Yeah, I hear that. This is it's like one of the only holidays I like actually like <laughs> really like to do stuff for. So, so you just like celebrate. So to... Yeah, it's, I don't know. I love Halloween. That's like my favorite holiday. Hands down. That's a good one. Scary movies. Get your drink on. Get get a little bit of candy. Wear wear a costume like. Yeah. Yeah, cosplay and you're not weird <laughs> for right. a day. Although that's that is something I've seen a lot of people do. Uh, ah. Cosplay like 
dress up as their character for like the finale of a long game or something like that. Mm, yeah. Which would be a kind of fun. Especially with Alan Wake, he's an easy one. You just got to get a tweed jacket. I do need to. I, yeah, I literally, if I just got a tweed jacket. And it was in a nightmare where I was called Alan Wake. Should not be Alan Wake. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know? Uh. Well, oh, play, play nice, Yoshino. <laughs> play nice. We're all about the raunchiness, but, you know. You know. But uh, be excellent to each other. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's the, it's it's the Bill the and Bill Ted, Ted rule. Love Anna Wick. That's, that's his sister. She's a children's author. His <laughs> sister, the children's author. Oh, that was a dramatic. <laughs> right? I. Especially because it wasn't the last one. No, Why did just... it. Oh, because the flare slow yeah, yeah, I did not mean to get the <laughs> square between the eyes. I didn't know if there were people who aren't on Discord. You have invited. Yeah, see, you know. Just a question, you know. Just asking. What hour is it? Oh, here we go. Eight. Uh, Eight forty. Almost at an hour nine. Almost nine. I feel like this is not gonna take you six hours, sixteen hours to get through the first time. I well, because it's been on normal. It's been on normal. Um. There's this chapter, which still has a bit to go, and then there's 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 one more. Oh, I was thinking then, this was the end of this chapter. And then there's uh, the two DLC chapters. Oh, I forgot about those two. Game here. Yep. So. And yet, and yet he's a perfect shot every yeah, time. Yeah, he's incredibly proficient at <laughs> using a firearm, even though he only used it a few days ago. And his, then her dad worked on, like, conspiracies and stuff. Oh, because of course. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, the faces are so much better in these scenes. I mean, just in general, but this is where you really see it. Right. How? Why didn't the birds take them down this time? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because oh, in theory they could. Here, oh, okay. now they're going for it. <laughs> oh, this is Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> You missed it uh, that little bit, but uh, Alan saw Barry with the headlamp, and Alan was like, I want a headlamp, and Barry oh. was like, too bad, it was the last one. I'm like, but there was that headlamp earlier in the game. We could have picked it yeah. up. We <laughs> yelled at him. Just to... hey, <laughs> Birds coming from another side. Get out of here, birds. You just God. need uh, one. It's one of those owls people put out. Oh yeah, to, like scare the birds fake, away. The plastic owl that bobs its head. Are those, are those just? Are those literally bobbleheads, or are they like solar powered? So like. No, they, they're like, just move? bobbleheads. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure. Because it like. Oh, I barely ran. Really I think it's like a probably a like a bobblehead, but they don't weight it evenly, so there's always tension to make it move more or something. Huh, I okay. Don't know. I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> so my grandpa did. 
according to my mom. If he didn't know something, he just made it up, and it sounded good enough that you believed it. <laughs> but if you fact check it, it's like, like 60% or whatever on the stuff that he's guessing. Mm. I mean, he's, he's like a that, the dark scientist. The wears her face. Ooh, that's a new one. I feel like her messages have all been the same, yeah. Darkness. No, really? What? Yeah, could a lot possibly of this is, giving uh... that away. Oh god, there's another one. <laughs> they really don't tell you that there's someone right behind you. Oh shit, we're back to just having a pistol. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But they still throw the same amount of enemies at you. Yep. Oof. Right down there, the spine. There, it's possible there's some other stuff in the area that I like didn't pick up first, but even still. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> My phone is so delayed on the video. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, there's usually some delay from the Twitch stream. Yeah. To the... I feel like my computer is uh, the best consistency I get. What? I don't, I don't know what that's in reference to. But <laughs> okay. Oh, the cat. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, no, nope, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll, she'll, she, she'll come in and out. There's a window right next to us, and she is much more interested she, in what's going on There's people moving outside. outside now. There's things to watch. Is this dude like a... Sheriff's deputy? He kind of looks like it. Yeah, it says sheriff on his back. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think she heard it, no. I don't know, I don't think so. Oh my god. Guys! <laughs> Nobody put that Sorry. one in a quarter. Oh. Sir! Oh, God, oh, you made it so far! <laughs> She's like, what's up? Alright. Let's try that one more time. <sighs> well, hopefully one more time. <laughs> Granted, if I die a couple of times, extends the length <laughs> of the game. <laughs> it's a oh my god, but this guy and a sledgehammer every time. Uh, I keep saying, like, what about a flare? Or yeah. like, but nothing. Nope, I got, I got nothing. Dude's gonna come out of the corner there, yeah. Wait, there's two of them over there. Oh my god. Wait. You have just, like, way too good at aim sometimes, <laughs> dude. That was, like, really far away, too. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know. It was not a good, it was not a good move. Wow, you, this is really... Oh. oh my god, come on. Ah! Oh. Uh, Mascus, yeah, kinda. I mean, I played Cuphead all the way to the end, so like... <laughs> so like, you yeah. can't... I can't not, deny that. You can't do that and not kind of enjoy pain. <laughs> <laughs> nice dodge. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's just like he gets, like his, it's an axe, but his reaction is like he got hit in the head with like a rock. Right, right, even though it's a very, very sharp axe. Okay, there we go. Guys, yeah, could be so fun on nightmare mode later. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lurk. Have a great stream. I'll be back later. Awesome. No worries, later. Horton. Have a good time doing whatever you are doing for your. Uh, I'm assuming afternoon, <laughs> early, maybe maybe late morning. 
But thank you for stopping in. I do appreciate it ever so much. Okay, all right. So afternoon. Alan, that's such on. a weak ass <laughs> jump. <laughs> he missed the button. Oh my god. Oh. Uh oh, we're gonna get stuck on this. We gotta start talking to Munch. Oh, there's a couple of those barrels in there. You need it. <laughs> nice. Bounce him off the ceiling. Oh, PC building simulator set for whenever after all oh, those <laughs> Halloween months. PCs are a nightmare to repair. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. It. yeah. Uh, yeah, that's part of I mean, that's why I've just never been a big PC gamer, is because I they just... Yeah. Oh my god. I, really love vinyl I, lo I enjoy listening on vinyl. Yeah, I've got a bunch of vinyls. I mean, my I fiance has like a decent little collection. Early 90s to age myself. I guess I already said I'm 30 on the street, so it's not new information. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Oh, that dude in front is. <laughs> freaking coffee thermos! Ooh, don't die for the coffee thermos. Okay, granddad. Cool. Yeah, no, I don't feel. Definitely. Oh god. Oh god, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah! Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we got Coffee. him. Uh, Get a little more ammo. But yes, I, I think I think, uh, vinyl is a fun way to listen to it. If nothing else, but for the ritual, like of putting it on and and putting the needle on and starting it with your hand. There's genuinely like something about the sound quality yeah, of vinyl the, the too. Yeah, crackle it and it's a warmer, different. for sure. Why didn't you write them out? <laughs> if he wrote like an erotic novel. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Scratch probably did that and published it under Alan Wake's name just to torch his reputation. Actually, though, right? <laughs> uh, I have so much support and friends, a little jealous. Hey, man, you 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 get there. You'll totally get there. Just keep on, just keep on doing. You keep on streaming. That Halloween stream's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get. We'll totally get there. Getting blood food and stuff. To find a way okay. Oh yeah, on vinyl. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, the vinyls are awesome. Um. What Metallica do I have? I think. Yeah, I don't remember. That. Uh, yeah, that's not what you think, my guy. You've been to the streams. No, I think you could definitely. I I, th I think you will definitely get there. Now, I really, I, I really only have gotten like as far as I have. 
I, I, I think anyway, because I have so many co-hosts that come in and like, and you play a yeah, ton of different games, like a different kind of game with each of us. Yeah. And I think, I think that's what's really kind of working for me is that there's just so many different people on here. I think that if they give it was only me all the time, I wouldn't have nearly as much to just organically say, you know? Hmm. So yeah, solo is yeah, hard. Solo is totally. hard. Solo is. That's solo I mean that's why I, that's why I stopped streaming on my own. I I gave up on it because I it was just, just like, like just to, just talking to myself. I like having to try to monologue and play a game at the same time. I would I there's it was just so much time of dead space that I was like you know it it'll be fun to do. You know, once we're doing, yeah, once we were doing this, doing it as a group. But. Right. Kidnap me. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, hey, it's you know, I do. At least for me, it has. I think it has been a big part of what's worked. Yeah. I I don't think I would be. Oh shit. I I don't think I would be like where I am with it if I was doing it totally on that. I really really don't. From, from No the... Name to Alex to Ulysses to Tim to to my fiance come and doing streams with me sometimes. Like it's you know it's, it's a yeah. whole bunch of different people, and I really think that's a huge part of it. I don't think those wires were across in the original, or at least I I, ref, I thought it was you could walk through it, but it there was just like lightning arcing between the two. I I don't remember for sure. I I'm pretty sure I remember it hurting you. Still. No, oh, yeah, it, it hurts you, but you could. But I don't remember a wire. Like the lightning was going across between oh. the two, but I don't remember the two wires. I thought you could walk through the whole way oh, okay. and keep getting hurt. JK, I have mates, but no one wants to sit down watching me play and stream. They just want to play. I mean, yeah. it depends well, on the game I'm doing, but we do take certain games. I we take turns. And with you've more. done, and you've done, doing doing the online stuff. Ha, just having them play from somewhere else, multiplayer, like yeah. with the Dark Souls games or I the mean, Souls you could, games. Yeah, you could def, you could totally have co-hosts over like yeah. online multiplayer. We tried to do squadrons crossplay, but unfortunately, their chat is yeah, quite the terrible. chat didn't work super well for that, but. Um, so from a Halloween special, I'm doing Halloween Anthology Month, the Dark Pictures Anthology Trilogy, Trilogy starts with Man and a Little Hope, and House yeah. of Ashes. Nice. We just did Until Dawn recently. Yeah, we yeah we did a full full playthrough. You, me, and Tyler for part of it. Yeah. Anyway. Um. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, that those are cool, man. Those are definitely some good those streaming are, games. Those are, the mechanics of those games is so cool. And they they like they just kind of scream. Uh, to be streamed, yeah, a little bit like right? like yeah. those are kind of perfect. The, the, streaming games. It's 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 the closest you can get to a movie without having to pay for one of the rights to do the movie watches or the, right. the party watches. That is so bright. Why is it so dark everywhere? Come on. Release day, nice. Nice. That'll be that'll awesome. Be I'll try and cool. pop in for that. I'll try and pop in for that. What? No. Can you? Can you please? No, that's not the direction I want you to go. I haven't played Little Hope, but I played some of. Uh, I don't know. What was the first <laughs> one? Man, Man of Medan. Or Man of Dawn, whatever it is. I, I cool. you know, I really, as, as much as I love Until Dawn, I'm not as big into yeah. the Dark Pictures anthology. Like, I, I don't, not that they're bad. I just, I didn't find Until it Dawn. as... Until Dawn also raises the bar for those ones. Because you yeah. see how much they can do when they have the budget to do their most, exactly. their best. Exactly, exactly. That's my thing, is it's just there's a big difference in budget between that and the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is kind of my stream. But <laughs> I can say what I want. I do what I want. <laughs> exactly. But no, I get teach their own. Not trying to change anybody's mind. <laughs> oh, there's another, there's one, another one of those chairs. Yeah. You just, sometimes you just find them like randomly I'm sitting out in the forest. For for Twin Peaks chair. Easter eggs in Alan Wake. 
But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still said like the timekeepers. Study. If I could get my back there, hair. if I could read the page, then I could read the story and save Alice. Oh, it readjusted something there. There we go. I don't know why that did that, but. It's the second episode of Twin Peaks that the red chairs are in. The red chair. Well, yeah, because it's the the lodge. Uh huh. Right with the backwards talk and the, the yeah the weird, weird just dream dream. And dream stuff. Um, Max Payne, two crossed gold Berettas. I mean, we got a lot of it. Oh, the me medicine bottle only con or medicine cabinet only contains a single. Bottle of pills like the yeah, Max yeah. Payne. Oh yeah, I'm, I wonder if there's Easter. I mean, there's probably some Easter eggs that even I haven't noticed. So I'm curious, but we've caught okay, a lot right of these. The <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you said the miss the missing people are the game developers. Yeah, yeah. In one of the toilets in the police station, you can read Mira was here from Max Payne Two. Oh, okay. I don't know if I knew about that one. Uh, Night Springs. De uh, oh, Death Rally poster. I don't know if that was in. Oh, uh, Death Rally is the first game yeah. that we ever made right before Max the, in, Payne. In, they like had a... that arcade machine in American Nightmare. That's yeah. where I looked it up. Uh, Night Springs board game. Here's been rumors of the fourth devil inside. Huh. Yeah. I'm curious uh, about the what does it do. I, I don't know. I just. So I'm like, I'm curious about the House of Ashes, but I'm not going to pick it up to day one. I picked up Little Hope and Man of Madon on day one. And I just. This is the dialogue more than anything. I just don't think the characters sound very natural. They, uh. There's a, a stilted. There's just kind of a stilted nature to the way they talk. They just don't sound like. Nah. You can't get me inside. Yeah, Emerson is actually a an insane video game developer in this. In that scene where he's mumbling uh, about mullet time, he's yeah. actually a dev he's supposed to be. His character is supposed to be a dev. Huh. Okay. So maybe he's. It says he's muttering about. Interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's true or if they're just saying he looks like one of them. Interesting. Oh, I remember this. I personally have my own experiences. Yeah, hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Everybody is entitled to believe what they feel. What is... I can't remember this one. Found lack of reality. In Martha's basement? Yes, I was doing so well too. I came up with two old ladies and put something really is there, in the basement. Oh, the thing story. is moving. Huh. I can't believe it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've heard a number of people say that, that I, like, trust. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Apparently, if we went towards three crosses on a bar, like, graves on a barn, skeletons come up that's taken. <laughs> Stupid and the sublime. It's, oh, it's a very good parody. Alright, so the bridge is still doing its thing, right? <laughs> hey, I like this part. You get a floating healing light. Mm, yeah, down. that's right. Oh, come on. You Are you already tired, Alan? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just take some steroids then. Good God. Ah! Yeah. Football tackle. At least they have to come into the light. <laughs> and then she oh. takes the light away. <laughs> And then she just draw, flies away without paying attention to where I am. <laughs> Fuck it. This is a good, this is a flare gun situation. Yeah, that's good call. I'm playing One, with you No, no, no. Ooh, bring that light back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Can, can can you just Come on. I got they're hurt by the light, but then once you get the shield off, mm, then you they're fine. Just walk through it. No problem. Yeah, there's no more. Maybe the darkness burning off is the part that hurts. Right. No, that does make sense. Okay. Uh, no, it's definitely this way. Yeah, no, they got it. They got it. His stamina has to be better in the sequel. <laughs> Co ghost, it is Halloween. Halloween after all. Right? Fair enough. <laughs> that's it. Co ghost, that's a good one. I wish, uh, I wish I had the, uh, the equipment to really make the stream like a hundred percent the way I want, because we could do like some horror watch parties and stuff. Yeah. If I had everything set up. Oh god. Okay. I can't believe the longest stream before this one. <laughs> yeah, like we're past four, a little over four hours. We we doubled at this point. Yeah. Oh shit.
Where are you where are you getting these hook stamps from? <laughs> you ever see somebody like Google translated like the classic like hookman story from like another language? <laughs> but like with Google Translate, so like all yeah. the grammar was all fucked up. And like the end of this it's like the this it's like mostly pretty normal with like a few gram grammatical uh -huh. mistakes. Uh, but then at the end, when, when he's like, and the, the boy, and she went to go see if her boyfriend was still there, but man hand cook car door. And that was just, that, that was just it. That's just it. Yeah, but man hand cook car door. Man hand cook car door. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the lady of the light in the song. You can help me. You you were the one that had the ridiculous glitch on the Telltale Batman yeah. game, right? I want to see it here. I in that game did it, does Batman not always sound as suspicious as Alan just did? <laughs> like uh yeah, like he, literally every question he, he answers always he like that. He, yeah, he always sounds like he, he's trying to think like of what yeah. <laughs> yes, he does look like Archer, and the art style being similar does not help that. I, or honestly, maybe it does I help just that. Use that character model and make yeah, an Archer yeah. game. I a tall tale Archer game would be funny. Kind of perfect Get combo, honestly. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, here we go. Can't she give me her lantern? No, that's hers. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't share. I am taking her coffee though. <laughs> Uh oh. Even her in her own room. Yup. Wouldn't you be able to see it with the lights in the house? Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. She's yeah. petting it. Kill switches outside. Well, I'm hitting a wall soon, I think. Yeah. Fair I don't know fair how enough. you're gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it the entire time. Uh huh. I mean, I'm still feeling pretty good right now. Um, I, I don't think I've yawned once in the whole stream so far in nine over nine hours. It's over nine hours. <laughs> oh, bullshit! You came out of nowhere there, little buddy. You had a Shaun of the Dead's tie on. Oh, he totally looked like a, one of the, like, little worker zombies. Oh, God. Can you keep, sir? 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 He doesn't care about the light after a second. Yeah, the flashbang grenade, like, that did not even work that well on him. Yeah. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. Mm, oh, God. I'd stumbled into this crazy world. Oh, maybe the one where there's no she ropes is uh, in decades. American Nightmare. Uh, there is you know that. What? I actually think I remember what you're talking about. It's in the it's in the movie theater mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. I'm driving. Yeah. Never go outside at night. God, she that makes just, sense because I played that more. Huge recently. electricity suck. Like, is like, isn't this the power pants. station? Yeah. One like else, but also like she has all yeah. those lights on all the time. I'm using it right before back. I'm going to make goes. a quick trip to the bathroom. Be right back. If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I know, I am too old for staying up all night like this. I, uh, I'm gonna go sleep for like eight hours, wake up. No, I'll try to sleep for just a couple hours, I guess, because I gotta, like, go to sleep a, tonight. I don't know. I should uh, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be miserable this week. I just woke up two to three hours ago. I want to go back to bed. Yeah, that's uh. 
exhaustion's a hell of a thing. It'll... Oh, I definitely. I'm in, I'm definitely gonna end up sleeping longer than I mean to, and being up all night tomorrow night. So that'll be fun. <laughs> we'll talk Sage into doing 48 hours instead of 12, and then, then I'll still be streaming when I wake up. <laughs> Let's see. If we're at 8 hours, I go to bed at 9. Well, let's say 9.30. <laughs> he would still be streaming at the end of that definitely for hours I don't know how he's going to do it I could not do it let me tell you what you want Pepper Authorized personnel. I'm going to operate those. Always remember the lantern. I don't know if I'm trying to open all of them or close all of them now that I made it happen. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you definitely did it right. That's, yeah, that's perfect. What did I miss? Yeah. Uh, you know, I just woke up two to three hours ago. I want to go back to bed. Well, hey man, if you're tired, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting rest. Yeah. You know, my man with universal credit, securing a contract with the soon-to-be landlord, and getting him benefits as well as shopping. Being you know, able to grab some wood stone. Ah, uh, sounds like, is that like all today? Is that like all stuff you gotta do today? That's a busy day. What's a big day? Or is that just like, in the near future, you gotta do that? I'm just, just curious. Uh, me, camera, shit, when I use my Xbox, I'm gonna decorate the top of my table shelf thing in Halloween and have the alcohol. Nice! Uh, Yoshina posted some pretty badass pictures in the Discord. Yeah, I saw those. The, the those Discord. were really yeah, cool, and pretty, the oh, glasses too. Um, yeah, that's all today. Damn, well, that's a, that's a busy day, dude. You got yeah, a very busy day, Eddie. That's a busy day. Well, good luck with all of that, seriously. I hope that that all goes well and it's as, you know, as little stressful as it can be. Yeah, even though it does for sound sure. like a lot of work. Gatekeeper. Truly, you are the master of blood <laughs> games. Game's just straight up patronizing me now. <laughs> oh, and yeah, now it starts doing this. Ooh, a little bit of Which platformer. Is a really simple puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even a puzzle. But... I mean, this one you can you can like ride it in. Yeah. And now there's just a bit more dudes out here. I need it. Uh, my mate's gonna be mentally and emotionally drained. He's gonna suck my soul away. Oh no! Oh, uh, that's that's rough. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry. Well, seriously, I do wish you the best. I do. Yeah, for sure. No, uh, I'll kill some Oof. shadow people in your name. <laughs> Fuck them up. Get the darkness. Take care of your jewels. 
take care of it. <laughs> this is a ridiculous thing. It's called growing up. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's, that is, oh god, it's a chainsaw, dude. She just escaped into the chainsaw. He was too far on that second one. I think we can just not deal with him now. <laughs> nice. Safe haven. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah, that's true. Growing up, you got I me. Mean, you got to do a lot of stuff as an adult yeah. that you. It's not necessarily enjoyable. That is true. For sure, for sure. No right, shit. She's I'm going to be. Have, I'm going to end this. Tw when I'm done with the stream, I'm going to end and then have to, like, go to bed so I can go to my day job. <laughs> right. <laughs> have, like, a reasonable amount of sleep before that. So. Yeah, seriously. And I wish I didn't have to, but <laughs> I do. Maybe Change someday I'll just be able to do this. Who knows? That'd be cool. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, because the darkness takes, it takes advantage of plot holes. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Again, it just did such a clever way to play with them, the way that uh -huh. the, the meta mechanics and how the story works. It's... And it's again with the I just I want I I, I want to know so badly. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> Al Al and I feel like also it. must be very tired. Yeah. Well, I think he's gotten more sleep than me. To be completely did honest. Did he sleep? Uh, maybe a little oh, bit. Oh, probably, yeah, in the, in the jail. Yeah, he slept in the jail. He got drugged. He slept then. Yeah. It's not that that was, like, good sleep. I was going to say, you might be kind of hungover or messed up after that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not good rest, or not, yeah. not rest, but, like, sleep, unconscious. You should have been. Alright. I think I am going to order a little Yeah, call it quits. Alright, alright. Yeah, you stuck you stuck around for over nine hours. Yeah. <laughs> I am impressed. I also like how Alan is just letting her do this. Right? He's, he's and it's like, like this big thing. I a just giant just... wheel she's got to fucking turn and he's just, he's just like, nah, I'll just let the old woman do it by herself. No network connection. What? I don't have any service here. Don't have service here? That doesn't make any sense. Right, request. It says no network connected, but it's going. No, I lift. I lift. I assume we're one of those. Right, request. Oh, Alan Wake is always a selfish idiot. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you mean? It's always tied 24 7. It's for it's Alan Wake. It's time to be a selfish him. idiot. <laughs> when, is, when is it ever not? All right. Lifts you up better. Right. Goodbye, chat. You might be. <laughs> for a little bit longer on Sage's microphone, but I got to put my headset away. What did I do? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're fine. I ruined Whoa. the screen. Nah, you're alright. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll turn... Uh, we'll turn the other controller off here and give it a chance to charge. And then... Yeah. And then uh, by the time the next co-host arrives... That could, you know, we'll be able to plug that controller back in and get him on here. Now, you know, if you want to hang out for a moment, I will be back in just a few seconds. Let's give it, give a proper goodbye to No Name. When the other, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know for sure I got Tim coming at 3 p.m. Uh, I might have, I, I think I'm going to have Tyler coming in sooner than that, but I don't 100% know. He didn't give me an exact time. In fact, you know what? I'll text him. I'll text him and just be like, hey, what time did you want to come by?
All right, yeah, I'll be I'll be back in just a second. Or apologies for the little wait there. I'm back and it's just me for a while. Okay. Oh, I might not. I might have been looking away, but was that the ridiculous slow motion jump that he makes? I think I might have missed that. swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly in the board, <sighs> telling her what she already knew. Did she know you watch any uh, any good uh, stuff for Halloween yet? Like an area for for the month of October? Has anyone in the chat watched anything? Played anything? Already? Sorry, I watched the first two episodes of that midnight. Yeah, horror. Just any like it could be like full on horror. It could be more of a thriller. Just if, if it fits the the general spooky October vibe. I watched the first two episodes of that new Midnight Mass show. That seems cool so far. Not, definitely not sure where it's going, but it seems intriguing enough. Oh my god. Is that it? 
playing Dark Pictures and plan on finishing Made of Skur. Haven't watched anything. How is Made of Skur? What uh, I, I've heard the name, but I don't know exactly what that game is about. Is that is that pretty cool? What kind of like what kind of game is that? Puzzle, first person. It's amazing. Yeah. What's like the What's like the basic idea of the game? More birds. Oh, it's always more birds. Oh, sounds so you sneak back. For okay, cool. So it's like a stealth puzzle horror. That's cool. That sounds pretty cool. Is it like full-on monsters, or is it more like human enemies that you're trying to run, kind of just sneak around? Human mile. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, that sounds cool. Maybe I'll uh, maybe have to check that out some point are you are you streaming that or are you or are you just playing that kind of in your own time the crash site looked bad. musical horror now that's an interesting combination that's a very that's a very interesting combination of things um yeah i, I might have to check that out are you streaming that you're, you're you know or are you just kind of playing it in your own time your off time And then you'll fall in love with the game before you play it. Okay. Is that a... Kalanian, is is that a streamer on Twitch or is it like a YouTube channel or... Is that a... Is, I actually, I, I haven't heard that name before. Doing shit for me when I make that together. Cool. Did you, uh, is the VOD still up for your stream from that? Because if it is, I totally go back and watch it. Check the game out. Name in the main oh, it's a song. Okay. Cool. I will check that out. I will definitely check that out. It's not sadly. I haven't played it in like four months. Okay. All right. Are you you're playing it again though for uh, for October? Is that am I understanding that right? Oh my god, Alan. Uh, he's just so out of shape. Whoop. 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 No, okay. Can you please just... Uh, nothing in here anyway. Alright. You know, to try doing it tonight or tomorrow, depending on my friend. Might have to wait a week. Oh, well, hey, uh, I will try to stop in when you do stream it. If not, I will go back and look at the stream afterwards if I do miss it. When you spend most of your night running uphill while the crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in a nice spring. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I swear Barry is still running faster than Alan is. Oh, 
song and buy the game after you get your music uploader. <laughs> I will. I'll. I will definitely listen to the song. I definitely will. Let's see. I got a reply from Tyler. I don't know what time exactly yet, but I'm starting to hear back from him. Oh, it's the dam up there. Oh boy. I can host it, but I don't think I could get a plane ticket and a hotel. Yeah, probably not for the stream. Probably not for the stream. I don't think, uh,. Today, I don't. I don't think you'd be able to pull. I don't think you'd be able to do it off today. No. But you have lights too. You know how this works. My bank account. Yeah, shit. Mine couldn't either. Yeah, my bank account couldn't handle that either. Really couldn't handle a whole hell of a lot of anything. Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Hey, how? I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Oh boy. Cries when I buy bread and milk. I shit. Yeah. No. I under. I feel that. I feel that, Yoshino. I feel that. I see. I under. I seriously. I do. I understand. Hey, coffee. Wait. Call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. And of course, it's the slowest fucking elevator in the goddamn world. Here they come. Oh, hey, Tyler's gonna hang. Come, come over right now. Wish milk lasted longer. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I do too. Sometimes it's just I feel like it just it's just it goes. Sometimes I swear I buy it and it expires like within the week. Super, super, just annoying sometimes. Hell, a kiss is like the fresh. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be quite. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be quite doing that. We'll see. Tyler's a Tyler's a real mellow guy. He's not he's not as raunchy as we are. Ah. There we go. Kiss the air on the cheek. The French? Uh We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wayne? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well The guy that mind. doesn't exist. Yeah, well, he was real. Maybe you kisses, two kisses on either side of the face is a hello. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little familiar for me, but uh, Americans are uh, are all weird and 
hung up on shit, so, you yeah. know. Is there something down there? Yeah, I don't. I don't generally love people. Just like, to, uh, I, I'm. I'm. I'm from uh, Minnesota, in the in the states. Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. I hold the button down, uh, so you guys can get in there. Okay. You sound like Minnesota. <laughs> do, 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 do you hear the, the Minnesotan accent? What? I threw my back there shovel in the driveway there. Yeah, that's uh, that hardcore Fargo uh, Minnesota accent. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry. Of course, we couldn't just have a two working elevators, no. Are you doing, Mary? Yeah, I mean, hey, that's, uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's true of any place. If you're not from a place, it's hard to tell the differences in accents. It is, it's any, any, that's true, that's true of anywhere. It's kind of, it's just, it's just a matter of, I mean, you just spend time in a place and you kind of, you pick up on stuff or you grow up in a place and you, you know, you really pick up on stuff. But yeah, that's just true of any, every place. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. I could tell the UK apart and that's it. Yeah, hey, fair enough. And I mean, I could tell some UK accents apart from each other, but not all of them. Like, I, there are certain ones that I, if I hear it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is this one's clearly different from that one. I probably still couldn't tell you where each of them are from, at least well, not all of them anyway. But certainly not all of them. Probably not many, but I might recognize like a few. But I think if I, if I can... That's more because I've just I've watched so many like movies that I just I just pick up on actors more than like necessarily like regular everyday people. So Northern England compared to South England, same with wakes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 why not? Bet I bet because your ear is is trained right to hear those accents and and really be able to kind of discern the difference. So I bet that those are, those ones are probably super super easy to to kind of tell apart. I bet. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just had to pause real quick and look at something. What game is after this? Uh, when I so when I finish this, um, the twenty for, for the twenty four hour stream, we're gonna stick to this game. I'm going to like go back and I'm gonna start looking for trophies. There's certain things you can only find on like the harder difficulty, so I'm gonna start kind of going back in and like looking for some of that extra stuff. Um, as far as like the next whole game I'm going to stream. Um, I, next Tuesday I'm going to do Outlast with uh, Ulysses and Alex, I know for sure. Um, that's the only like horror game I think I've 100% decided on like for absolute certainty.
Oh, apologies, Yoshino. Ah, that 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 uh, the energy drinks are really getting to me. I'm gonna go use the bathroom one more time. <laughs> Twenty-four hours of just around and die and do that. Yeah, well, hey, that's uh, that is the that is the plan. Uh, well, part of it's also the co-hosts that keep coming in are not necessarily going to have. They're not going to have sat, sat and watched off, uh, seen the entire thing. Oh, my God, I took a horrible place to pause with them. Uh, leave me alone, you stupid birds. Ah, uh, well, hey, hey, you don't have to like the game as much as I do. And then, and obviously, you don't have to stay for the whole thing, so. But. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm basically, once I finish the story mode, I'm going to just start trophy hunting. And it might not be a full, let me also reiterate, it may not be a full 24 hours. I, I don't think I'm going to end up doing an entire 24 hours. I like it, that's the thing, Troy for shave would make me never look at it. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Some people get sick of stuff faster, and that's okay. That's totally okay. I if I'm if I'm into something enough, I I really can just spend a stupid amount of time on it, and I it doesn't really put me off of it. Now, if let me say, I I. If, if I had a PC and I had like a computer that I want to get to like have like a more professional stream setup, um, it'd be a lot easier for me to, you know, stop this and put a different game on without stopping the stream. But because I'm streaming directly off of the PlayStation 5, um, if, I, if I exit this game, the stream stops. So I can't do one continuous stream. Uh, and also, like, switch, like, switch games. Which is unfortunate, because I, I would like to be able to do that, but it's, uh, it's all just another matter of I don't have the money to buy a nice computer that I want. And when I do... When I do, that is absolutely what'll happen. Oh god, oh shit. I need to pay more attention. Oh no! Whoop, and he's dead. What about a sub view? I was poor. I need the money for this girl. Hey, no worries, dude. No worries. Hey, so you, you, no one. Is, you are not expected to give money. You are so not expected to give any money. I just appreciate your time. You know, that's 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 my thing. And I just appreciate the time. 
that you have, and the fact that you are you want the fact that you want to spend it with with me and hanging out on this stream. That is what I think is important. And the people that can spend money, that's awesome that they do. It is so not anything that I I would never tell someone that is a requirement though. Yeah, no, you save your money for the things you need it for, yeah? That's that that is that is way more important that you that you make sure you get your money for that. I know it feels to have no one to talk to in streams to constantly be alone, so of course I'm Hey, I appreciate it, Shino, and I, I I end up working so much during your streams, but I I swear I I try do try and pop in when I do have time. I really do. And I will continue to try to be in your streams as often as I can. And I will 100%, I will 100%, I might not be there for the whole thing, but I will 100% uh, be there for part of your Halloween stream. Definitely, definitely going to do that. I'm, I'm literally, I'm asking for the, the, that weekend off um, from my job, so. Uh, yeah, but, well, that's, I mean, you, you, you still got stuff going on. You got your stream going on. You're still doing some work there, right? I mean, that's that's still that's still important. You're still doing something. I think that's awesome. Thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> that lady is nuts. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. Damn, almost but ten hours in. This. Wow. I cannot believe I've been streaming for almost 10 hours. Holy shit. Whew. That's, uh... That's nuts. Never give up. Give up what was the point. Hey, I agree. I agree. Absolutely, Shino. Never give up. Never give up. I'm right there with you. I'm determined. I am determined to eventually make a full-time job out of this. It might take a while. It could take me a couple of years. It could take years before I'm at that point. But 12 hour shame is no longest is 24, 20. Nice, nice. This is the, so far this is the longest I've ever done. Um, and I'm planning on going, you know. God, uh, I'm planning on going about 12 more. <laughs> Something like that. Well, I, I, I may not make a full 24. We'll see what happens. Because Alex and Ulysses are going to be my last co-hosts coming in to this stream. That's about 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, my time. Uh, it's, it's just about to be 9 a.m. my time. Interesting to watch a music game. Yeah, yeah, I'd watch a music game. Like, do you mean Made of Skur, or are you talking about a different game? With the nature revealed, and the senses growing by... And skip to avoid copyright strikes. Uh, Cynthia Weaver is taking you to the well later. Yep, no, I know. I saw that. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. Different, it's music mainly. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd still be curious. It's still, I'm still curious. Check it out. I, I like music. I like video games. Why not put them together? The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. All right, episode six, the final episode of the main game. And then there are still two more episodes after for because uh, they were DLC episodes to the original. So there's still this is this is there's still. Through, starting with right now, there's still three more full episodes of this game left. So it's going to go a decent amount of time. I had a hangover. My head was about to go for a while. And the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. See, I get my migraines, or actually they might be cluster headaches. I actually don't know because no doctor has been able to figure it out. But uh, I can't even walk around when I get my headaches. 
I'm literally just, I am gone. I am down. Hey, no name. <laughs> the sunglasses made the world I'm surprised you didn't just fall asleep as soon as you got home. Without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Yeah, episode six. Last episode of the main game and two more DLCs. And then the trophy hunting. And there's the Max Payne painkillers. I might pass out, but I'm here for now. <laughs> awesome. Tyler is going to be coming over, I think, fairly soon. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. I wish just taking some pills and some sunglasses like did something for my migraines, but it doesn't. I wonder if that's the same QR code as the last time we were in the apartment flashback, or if it is a different one. Go to bed or have a dr or drink a beer with me. Chugs a beer. Fucking disgusting drink. <laughs> I know you like your fruity drinks, Yoshino. You know. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. As she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are... Fall asleep immediately if I drink. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It, that's it, that shit puts you to sleep. At least if you're already tired. If you're already tired, it just it'll just send you right down. BRB. No worries, Yoshino. No worries. I will still be here when you get back. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show oh, was supposed to be ha. For me on our oh yeah. Also, uh, here's where people thought they saw the oldest house uh, in the snowstorm. You can tell there is not a building right there. <laughs> you, can, you can really tell now that there is not a building right there. Uh, oh, here, let's watch the little TV interview. There we go. Me and myself while we watch this little episode. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sun Stop. Good read, go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might Just be a walk spoiler closer. for those who haven't read the book yet. So I have to Based hold the button down. Figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. No. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great Just to like hear. Thomas Zane. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good? Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, uh... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Get it. That means the two of you out there have been having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests. Alright, uh, can you hear me now? Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for the Sam we have for you tonight? Our musical guests, Bo 
Cool. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry, mostly at myself, and she was there, a convenient victim. All right, I'm just making sure is the sound working here. I just want I'm make sure that I'm whether I'm muted or not. Sure. All right, man. Yeah, it's good. All right. Oh, man, here we go. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. And you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Cool. Some peace and quiet. Yeah, that didn't work. That vacation didn't work out so well, did it? Oh, and also the fact that the Poets of the Fall was the band uh, that came in. Uh... During like the entire at the end of the little show there, I thought that was somehow. <laughs> no, why are you pausing the game again? I'm not trying to. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. <sighs> I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my I do I do think I remember this last uh this last chapter of the main game being a bit shorter than the other like main game chapters but then you know still got the DLC so take her gun Miss Weaver close the door when I leave Good luck, Al. Oh, Barry. See you later. <laughs> when I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. That was a Verizon wireless uh, <laughs> ad in the original. <laughs> it's a lot of those. There's a lot of spots where that's, that's, yeah. It's amazing how many of them I've noticed. So I definitely played this, the, the, the original within the last two years. In daylight. So not yet seen it until then, so West landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Uh, what was this? Uh, uh, what would you watch? An uh, Avicii based music game with dramatic backgrounds and characteristics, lights with on base attacks and dodges in a ship, or a music game where fights are on beat to the music like a 90s space car? I mean, the, honestly, both of those sound cool, but I, I think I kind of maybe like the idea of the, the fights are on beat to the music. Like a 90. I, I kind of like the second one. They're, they're, both of those sound cool, though. I will say both of those sound cool. But maybe the second one? Maybe if I had to pick one, go the second one. Cauldron Lake Campgrounds. Hey, another spot for uh, that used to be a Verizon ad. 
Because like, there's so much. So many of those. Alright. We're going to go for about... Uh, let's see, seven more minutes, and then I am going to take a short break because I'm going to give all of my, all three of my pets breakfast. So, yeah, we'll hang out for just seven more minutes or so, and then I'm going to, yeah. It won't take me that long to do that either, though. That'll only be like a couple of minutes. What if we just go backwards? No. Oh. No, nothing we can go backwards. Uh, I figured. I figured. You gotta check though. It's a hor it's a horror game. You gotta you gotta make sure. You gotta make sure that your exits are all uh, properly cut off. The Majestic Hotel, just down the road, come on in. Huh. This is a really long stretch of road, just to be like... Nice for a radio, okay, radio station. Ooh, is there something around here somewhere, maybe? Seems like it'd be a good place to hide a page. Oh, shit, that's not the button I meant to hit, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I knew there would be some supplies over here. Alright. What do you got for me? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, not really. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. And back up we go. I do. I have to imagine these. Some of these driving sequences are like kind of left over of what the kind of bigger open world would have been, right? In the earlier kind of versions of this game, it was supposed to be like a full open world game, and I just don't think they had the budget to actually like finish that properly. With some of these like long driving scenes, I like I I have to assume, whoop, I have to assume that these are pieces of of what that would have been. Hey, coffee thermos, give it to me. That should be it over here. Ooh -wee. Ooh. No, okay. Cool. 
What's that billboard say? Bright Falls, Deer Valley. Oh, okay, we've seen that one. Of course, because we can never have nice things for very long. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Yeah. Ah, it's not going to go great for you, Ben. It's not going to go great for you. The music in the second game goes hard. What's it called? What's the second game called? Jack about the, the 90s Konami fighting game. At least for the pistol. The dark presence was no longer trying to capture the rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. I will say, what you know, like, I love this game. And I do think that the combat certainly, it, it certainly is somewhat samey, for sure, throughout the game. There's not, like, a, there's only so many things, like, variations you can do. But I do think, uh, I, I, I think that in the sequel that we know is coming, we know there's an Alan Wake 2 on the horizon. Um, it'll be really interesting to see all these years later what they could do with uh, with the combat and what they could add to the game design to to make to give it a little more variety, right? Keep it a little fresher. Because I know they could do stuff. They, they they could absolutely do more with it. Majestic Hotel. Aha! I remember we just some. So remember something we find over here. Something. Uh... Who just leaves their coffee thermos in the bathroom? Fucking savages! Fucking savages! Uh, you don't do that. You don't do that. Okay. Uh, Alright, it's been one minute longer than I said. I'm going to take a break for just a moment here, and I'm going to feed my pets. I will be back. Give me five minutes. Promise it won't be real long. If you, anybody hanging out just want to hang in there for just that short five minutes, I'll be right back.
All right, apologies, I am back. All of my animals have now are, well, are in the process of eating at this very precise moment. And we are good to continue. Also, just double checking about the sound. And we're good. Awesome. All right. And here is Agent Nightingale's room. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Cover that up a little bit better. Uh, it hint, there's just there's there's hints at like a bigger story behind the FBI agent character, and it's sadly not explored at Trust all yourself. more. It's not explored at all in this game, not really. But if you bought the collector's edition of Alan Wake back in the day. You'd get that little book that would explain a whole bunch about his character. Hmm. Let's see, is there anything else out and around here? Doesn't look like it. Gotta be something over here, right? Come on, something. Nothing hidden over there. Interesting. All right, what? Yeah, yeah, good. There's a let's see, four that are only available on nightmare difficulty. There's still a decent amount that you can find. That, oh, nope, it did not want you to get out of the car. God damn it, man, get back in the car. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's just right back up. Never mind. Wah. Ha. Ah. What's happening? Okay, it's the possessed objects. Anyway, there's something over here. No. Oh, sorry, Shane, I didn't see that earlier. Apparently it's under one hour and just a gamer grabs car. I mean, if it's a cool game, though, I mean, like, I, honestly, my thing, I, I think games can be super short, but if you give me a short experience that is really good the, that whole time, then I'm cool with the short game. I'm very, in fact, I actually prefer games to be a bit shorter, to be honest, because it requires less time and it allows you to play even more different games. All right, where's the fuck the other thing go? You good? 
mean, clearly not, but... Alright. Oh, shit. Ah! Hey, and we got Tyler on his way here, too. Awesome. Woo. No name? Did you pass out? <laughs> Yoshida, you've been here for a long time, too. I'm surprised you're not getting tired. Or maybe you are. Or you did say you wanted to go back to sleep earlier, didn't you? So I guess I guess perhaps that means you are tired. Always. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Just kind of always a little tired. I hear that. I definitely feel that. But, hey, Yoshida, thank you for hanging out for so long. It's been awesome, man. I appreciate it. We've been generally fluctuating between about... Let's see, between five and seven viewers almost the entire stream. Which is pretty cool. And I do, oh, and I already said it, but Tyler, I do have Tyler on his way. And I don't know how long he's staying for, but that'll be another good chunk of, of game. Ah! Okay, am I just like trapped in a corner here? Cool, there we go. Nice to see you too. Awesome. Just gonna text Tyler back real quick and tell him. Uh, the Avicii game, the other one is apparently broken for consoles. Oh, damn, well, that's too bad. Awesome. Just texting Tyler back and letting him know what I saw his message and he is on his way. Fantastic. Oh. It'll be good. I can tell I am. my energy is going down a little bit without a co-host. I, I can tell. But uh, we'll have somebody else in soon and I will should be able to perk up for the audience quite a bit. I'm glad they don't just, like, pull you out of the car like they do in Grand Theft Auto, though. That would just make the game a little irritating. Oh, this car is, like, kind of fucked already, huh? Oh, God. Be right back. Food's calling me. Hey, no worries, dude. Take your time. I'll be here. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about the monster truck bullshit. Oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Oh, God. The fuck is this monster truck horse shit? Maybe there's a car up here. I see a light. 
What is that, a fucking battleship over there? What the hell? Is, why is that here? I mean, imagination brought to life, you know, yada, 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 yada. But, like, I want to know the specifics. Oh, thank God. Is that all that was up here? It's just the one... Oh, wait, no, there's more. Oh, really? That's it? That was just the whole area up here was just for the one flare? That's weird. That's super weird. Huh. Well, whatever. I mean, like, I get on the car, I guess, but... Seems weird to have that whole area up there. It's a cooler car, but whatever, we're already in this one. Oh my god. Just go forward. Move ahead. That cannot... Aha! Oh, okay, now you really can't get past that. Alright. Fine. Now that's trying to make me get out of the car. Oh, shit. Guys, there a trophy for getting all that, all of these things. It's just like a certain number of them, maybe. So let me just real quick. I'm gonna look at my trophies. Just ever so briefly. You're only gonna be able to hear my mic for a moment. Interesting, okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, not a bird lover. Oh, okay, I need to take out more with the hunting rifle. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's still a decent amount. There's a decent amount of stuff. Oh my god. Oh, you got me. 
Oh, did I just somehow miss those flares? That would have been so helpful the last time. Oh, there's a bunch of shit that I just wasn't even noticing on the first time. you got to throw at me darkness oh oh shit i gotta pay god damn i gotta pay more attention there's shit all over the place that i'm not picking up hey light what light three on it is the east and the flurgan is the sun nice The trail of the dark presence was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering. Oh, that's right, right, right. The remains of a long ago crashed airplane there. How's everybody in the chat doing? The earth groaned, it didn't even notice. I hope everyone is having a good time. I'm sorry if I have gotten a little bit quiet. I could definitely feel the ten and a half hours just getting to me just that little bit. But I will soon have another co-host in, which will greatly liven up the conversation. Oh wait, was there a car? Oh goddamn it, I walked right past the car. Because of course I did. Oh goddamn it, I gotta stop. Sitting with my knee bent. Not like that. Whew. Okay. I decided to talk alone. I got so bored and exhausted. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, mean, I think I would be a little more. I, I think I'd be okay if I, if I, if I had already been going for ten and a half hours. Nice. What'd you get for breakfast, Yoshino? What'd you get for breakfast? I'm curious. Because I might order some Taco Bell for myself. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Chico Bell breakfast. Because I'm unhealthy like that. Weird mix and Frosted Flakes. Nice. Nice. That sounds like a pretty good breakfast. In the end, it sounds sense. great. I know that was corny. Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor. Do you want the shit staring at 24? <laughs> Talk doesn't happen to me. No, no, honestly, doesn't happen to me. We'll talk about it. I, I swear to God. Maybe I'm, I might just be the weird one, but it doesn't happen to me. I don't know why. Because everybody, it seems like everybody's got that problem, but... I am. I am all good. I 
share a pizza with Tyler. I mean, I, I could. I, you know, I feel I've eaten like two frozen pizzas in the last like 12 hours. So I kind of just want something just a, a bit different, you know? I don't know. Like, not that the pizza's not good, but it's, uh, it's like too much of one thing, you know? So I just got paid by my job today, so I, I can, like, yesterday I could, oh my god, what, how did that hurt me? Really? Just got paid today, so I, I can't afford to just get, like, I, I can splurge on, like, a meal. Talk about stuff for face. I mean, I, I might wait for him to get here first, and then, uh... Because he's already on his way. I'm gonna wait for yeah, wait wait for him and just see see if he's also hungry. Maybe we'll get Taco Bell together. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just like shut the. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, he may have had breakfast already. I don't know. It is breakfast. It is breakfast time. It is breakfast time right around here, though. I will say that much. Obrb. No worries, dude. No worries, dude. Take your time, do what you gotta do. What did that do? Did you think you were being fucking sneaky? Because you were not being sneaky. I hear footsteps that aren't mine. I know that there's some somebody over here somewhere. God damn it, would you Carney, you have heartlessly knocked over five defenseless can pyramids. the gate. Okay, that's what that did. Well, let me check it. Let me check real quick. Let's see, I'm going to ask Tyler to eat breakfast already. I'm thinking of ordering uh, some uh, Taco Bell. Let's just see. Let's just see, huh? Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Wow, it's uh, the final Smash character is uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Wow. Huh. All right, I guess that's just what it is. Oh, and I think we've got a Tyler. I think there might be a Tyler at the door. No, oh, he did it already. All right, cool. Oh, it's just going on. Oh, no worries. I was gonna. I was thinking about ordering some tea now. Oh. Would you like this? Oh, yeah. If you'd like something, I don't mind getting some for you, too. 
I mean, I will obviously pay you, but I will be definitely down to do that. So we are uh, almost at the 11 hour mark. Right on. Also, that is biscuit. Yes, that is the other uh, kitty. Okay, bye. It was nice meeting you. She'll come say hi at some point. She's uh, slightly less adventurous than me, but she is uh, very friendly nonetheless. Um, I woke up at like 4 a.m. Couldn't fall asleep for like an hour and a half, so I started watching like old gameplay of Alan Wake. Oh, of the original? I, yeah. I got like 30 minutes into it. I'm like, I don't remember a single fucking thing. Oh, <laughs> well, you're about to see the end of the game. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, essentially, yeah, so we, we, we've, we're, on, we're on chapter six, which is the last episode of the main game. There are two uh, DLC chapters, uh, which we will be going through. Right on. Uh, and then we will be restarting the game from the beginning on the hardest difficulty. That oh, we so you didn't do the hardest difficulty yet? Okay. You, you don't, yeah, you, so it so it doesn't come standardly oh, unlocked. Oh, so you have to unlock you it first. You have to beat it on normal first. Heard. Okay. Okay. So so it's yeah, it's like, all right, all right, well, you got to do a little bit of extra stuff, but you know. And then you do not have to be on camera if you do not want to. I've got it all set up for me, but it is up to you. Oh, all right, sweet. All right, and welcome to Tyler. I'm also, while you're sitting here, I'm also going to order some time for it. Because I am starting to get hungry, and all I've had is two frozen pizza, or like, basically one frozen pizza in the last 12 hours. <laughs> my caloric intake is at an all-time low. Ah, my cloaca. <laughs> ah, my cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been bouncing, we've been generally bouncing around between, like, I'd say, like, five to seven people-ish on average. Right on. Most of the stream. Definitely had a decently active Pepper, chat. if you're going to want me to pet you, you yeah, just, there you go. Come over to you, yeah. I'm not she's gonna... not great at that sometimes. No, she's really... <laughs> I know, I know, you're not You're not the brightest, are you? <laughs> yeah, let's see, uh... My T-bail... But yeah, uh, the 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 game is um, fan. I mean, the upgrade they did was just fantastic. Um, like, it looks like for being an eleven-year-old game, and I mean, obviously they touched it up, right? That's part of the point. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then here, if you wanna, what would you would you like something at Taco Bell? Um. But, uh, um, yeah, I'll even, I'll even put, put the game in for it a little bit more later. Order. No, just stop fucking Well, so right car. off the bat, just stop fucking uh, up my car, dude. complete and utter difference in visuals. Yeah, that doesn't look pretty good compared to what you were looking at before. Oh my god. It's like Windows 96 to... What what Windows are we on currently? 10? <laughs> 10, I think. Well, so here's an interesting thing I don't know if you know. The original Alan Wake on the Xbox 360 is actually running at 540p, scaled up by the console to 720p. This is 4K, right? So okay. It's a big jump, right? You're jumping from... <laughs> 540 to 720, and then 720 to 4K. Yeah. Okay. Because it's this thing is it's, it's not running natively in 4K. Right, so it's like it's 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 not running natively in 720 even. It's like four four. It's like 540 up res. So it's not even really four, 720. That's... But this is actually 4K. So yeah. the corners, the corners that were cut. You know they. Uh, well, here's the thing. Alan Wake was supposed to be a launch title for the Xbox 360. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in development that long. It was supposed to be a launch title for the 360. That's how long that game was in development. Holy Didn't actually shit. come out until 2010. Right? Think about that. That's only three That's, years uh, yeah. away from the launch of the PS4 and the Xbox One. So, for that... And so, like, that, that, that also just, like, raises the question of, like, why did they just keep it at 540? Unless... I mean, did they just... It was just because the engine, engine was old was, and, the, okay. and the development time took so long that, like, by the time the game came out, it was a little behind some modern standards, right? 
And because the because the age of the engine, they couldn't really do a whole lot to you know to, to, to change that. Now here you are definitely working with the same engine overall. There are certain spots where you can still tell it looks a little old in certain places. Like there's certain animations are a little janky. Uh, but I mean, for the I mean, they did a really great job for the most part though with this. Um, even though just the for, uh, full 60 frames per second, right? You got that fluid, really nice fluid motion in here. Uh, because of the uh, improved resolution and everything, you can focus on the draw distance. So it's actually less foggy than the original because you can see farther into the distance. Oh, and right. Then they on. made it darker and foggier specifically because they couldn't they could only program so much right but now with these, these new systems you can the draw distances from are ridiculous right you can look basically as far as they program you can see in like a single shot without having to move in that direction whoa like in the spider-man games you can just kind of look and see the, the entire city yeah right all the way to the end of the okay well that didn't work uh, i'll see you, you just got an idea twice. and mistakes were made come on have you ever played Rock, Paper, Scissors, Flare, Dump Truck? Nope, that's not a dump truck, Tyler. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big bulldozer. Am I, I feel like I'm in the right yeah, realm no, if oh, I oh. say that, at least. Bulldozer works. There we go. Oh, I got Don't fucking do it. See, the problem with that is that they're hitting you. Yeah, they really like doing that. <laughs> oh, they like check. I oh, mean, shit. oh, can I get him to? Oh, no. Okay, he can't, he won't like turn around and face the camera unless it's like a cutscene. Um, oh, sweet. Did you pick what you want already? Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Let's do this little order real quick. Give you. And then Nadia said that. Sorry, I didn't mean to to, e to eavesdrop on your conversation with her, but it was just over the top. On the stream? No. no. On. Oh, oh no, you're fine. Oh no, yeah, she's just, just been kind of sick the last couple of days. Her allergies are kicking her ass. Damn, she's very unfortunate. Well. When she gets home, I will go check in with her and see if I can order her some food, too. Right on. Alright, well, that car's just fucked now. Yeah, like, they fixed, they fixed up the faces a fucking lot. In, for instance, Alan's wife no longer looks like a horrible fish monster. Oh, thank God. Yeah. See, that was the biggest, like, takeaway that I, that <laughs> I remember from the game, was just how horrible the, the models looked in general. Hers was particularly bad, I think. Like, worse than any of the other ones. Because again, she just, just like fish lips that just, it just, looked, it just looked bad. Um, uh, but, yeah, they did a lot with the faces, a lot with the character models in general. The environments, I think, hold up pretty well. It's just that now you can see them a lot more clearly. Um, so I don't know how much work they did to the environments to make them look better, but... Um, Certainly a lot of work on the character models. The cutscenes, they, like, just went over, like, totally went over them again. Um, mm. uh, for the most part, it plays the same. Uh, oh, no, one big difference is, do you remember all the Energizer brand batteries in the original game? Like, every time? No, yeah, I Yeah, all not. the product, play, and they're all the, the Verizon wireless, like, billboards. Oh! The Those are all gone. They all are, they're all replaced with in-universe advertisements for, like, Cauldron Lake Lodge. Or, oh, awesome. So, like, it, the product placement's all gone now, which I think makes the game better. <laughs> like, yeah. the product no. placement that is there is in-universe product. It, like, it makes sense for it to be there. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's changed. Um, there are some cool... There is one cool thing that is added into the game. I can't really see it on the stream um because you see every once in a while it's it'll be like in the police station on the poster board there'll be uh a qr code thing to scan with your phone like you put it up to the and it takes you to a youtube video oh. remember the hotlines that you would get in control yes it's a hotline of alan lake what yeah and those are new just those are new give me there are hotlines from alan wake in control 
that is a thing in Control. You get, like, there's some very direct Alan Wake stuff in Control, but the hotlines we're seeing in this game weren't ones that were in Control. They're brand new ones they oh. made for this remaster. Um, they look the same as the ones in Control, but they are new. And one of them sounds to me, and I'll, I'll show it to you at some point, but one of them to me sounds like a like di- an exact narration of uh, of of like an opening sequence of Alan Wake Two to me, okay. which we know is in development. We know that is happening. So I, I mean, yeah, I just teasing wa- it real hard. Just give me the control Alan Wake crossover game that we all deserve. I mean, that's kind of what the second expansion of Control is. Is kind of an Alan Wake crossover. Yeah, it's the no, same universe, but not. It's more direct than you think. Really? You, you just, I, I, you know, I don't want to spoil anything because you haven't seen it yet. But it is more direct than you think. Um, I, if you want, I can give you some spare, sparse details, but uh, no, I don't want to spoil stuff. So. No, nah, no. But trust me when I say it is. Yeah. Something's glitching out. Is that noise you hear in the background? What Must if the monsters are jumping out of bed? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. I know Baba Yaga. Yep. Yep, no, pick up the. Oh, no, I already have that. And there's the tornado we got to fight. Oh, am I Superman? <laughs> Fighting tornadoes. <laughs> you see that axe just like... <laughs> I mean, who else but Superman fights tornadoes? Uh, meth heads? Meth heads. Well, okay. <laughs> I didn't say believes fighter fighting tornadoes, I said fights tornadoes. <laughs> Caught you there! <laughs> Got me on a technicality. <laughs> I swear that enemy looked like Tucker from Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. A lot of them do, honestly. I mean, I don't know how many construction workers we've killed. Like, in <laughs> woodsmen and tree cutters. I don't, I don't know, I couldn't even tell you. It's a lot. It's a, it's a fuckload, though. I'm just saying, the job market's gonna open up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um... But no, um, well here's, so here's an interesting thing that I can tell you about in full detail because it's not from Control, or Alan Wake, Mm. or Alan Wake's American Nightmare, but in 2012, when Alan Wake's American Nightmare came out, Mm -hmm. Remedy, um, had a fake, like, kind of, like, marketing, it was like a marketing thing that tied into the game, it was Mm -hmm. uh, like a fake blog, um, and there's some really interesting mythology that's only ever been brought up there. So, for instance, it's a widget wall behind the game capture. Uh, now, I'm streaming directly off the PlayStation 5's uh, skin soap box, so I don't have, like, any of, like, the, like, tools that I would have if I was using a proper computer for this. Um, which, some morning, need you get a wrong chat. <laughs> no worries. Good morning, skin soap box. How are you doing? Welcome in. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. We appreciate you. Skin soap box. That sounds, uh, something straight out of Texas Chainsaw. I love it, right? Uh, oh, we got a whole bunch of. Y'all still going strong? Yeah, literally two minutes to 11 hours now. Um, but no, so it, it, this, this fake blog called This House of Dreams is, uh, it, it was literally a tie into Alan Wake's American Nightmare. And it, it, the, the blog is this woman, she moves into a new house, and it's like her talking about like the stuff she finds and like these weird things. Just so happens the town that she moved into this house in is called Ordinary, which is Jesse's hometown from Control. Keep in mind this was 2012, this blog post. Right? Oh. Control didn't come out until 2019. This is a tie into American Nightmare. Now she uh, finds a shoebox in her closet of Thomas Zane's poems. Thomas Zane, right, in Alan Wake, uh, wrote himself out of existence, right? And the only things left in 
the world where he put a couple things in the shoebox. It was the clicker, which Alan right uses to fight the darkness. Right? It's like the magic. It's basically an object of power, which we have now know that terminology from control. We can reapply that here. Mm. Cauldron Lake is a threshold. Mm. The clicker is an object of power. Right? We can reapply all of that stuff from control back into this game. Um, and uh, she says, so yeah, she buys a shoebox with a bunch of poems. She gets attacked by some Taken at night, right? Like, at once she survives. And, you know, it goes on and on. Uh, at one point, she gets visited by an agent, right, who's asking mm. for the stuff she found. Now, they didn't quite have every detail figured out back then because the badge that the agent has is it's, 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 the, it's the FB... A W E, right? It's the better the the name they had at the time was the Federal Bureau of Altered World Events. They went with the Federal Bureau of Control. It just rolls off the tongue. It's just a better name. Mm -hmm. um, but clearly, they they knew a general idea of where they were going, right? Control um, came out way earlier than twenty nineteen. Nope, twenty nineteen. Really? It was my that was my game of the year, August twenty nineteen. Yep. And the, oh, what do you know? The DLC came out like over the course of twenty twenty. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of that other game. Uh, like SCP Foundation. No, not that. Definitely not that. No, um, it's the one That's where it was. To control. But. Uh, it was the one where like they tried to make like a short series that like oh, was like random. Break. Yeah, Quantum yeah, Break. Yeah, that Quantum Break is probably my least favorite Remedy game. Like it has some interesting ideas, but I don't think it executes them super well. Yeah. Um, there are some cool things in there in the form of Easter eggs, which I find very interesting. Um, which I could totally get into that too. That's some really cool stuff uh, there, actually. Like all the cool things Quantum Break has to offer in the form of Easter eggs, uh, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, like at least at least there's something. Mm. Um, but no, so in the, so in this House of Dreams blog, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she gets approached by the agent, and then the last post. I think it's the last post. She has this dream. Uh, all about Thomas Zane and Barbara Jagger, right? Ooh. Now, in her dream, this is the part where it's the mythology that is not brought up anywhere else, right? But in this mythology that she that this is added to the story, uh, she the dream she sees is Thomas Zane. He puts the diving suit on. He takes the corrupted, like taken, possessed Barbara down into the lake, right? Mm -hmm. That stuff we all know. Mm -hmm. But then he creates. He writes into reality like this little pocket dimension that he takes Barbara into, right? And the real Barbara and Thomas Zane basically go into this pocket dimension inside the dark place, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they're gone. They're basically actually living like a kind of happy ever after thing in this pocket dimension. Mm -hmm. And then this, the woman right, writing the blog describes the bright presence taking the form of Thomas Zane. Just like how the Dark Presence took the form of Barbara Jagger, which tells us that all throughout the big, the diving suit, light in the sky, Thomas Zane that's guiding us throughout this game is in and of itself some sort of supernatural entity that is disguising itself as Thomas, Thomas Zane. Zane. Now, mm. because he's the light entity, and of course he's against the dark entity, right? There's this impression that, oh, well, that's the good one. And yes, he's antagonistic to the Dark Presence, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean it, it's good, mm. right? It's helping us now because the Dark Presence is the villain of this story. But what happens when, what happens when the Dark Presence is gone? What does the Bright Presence actually want for itself? And that's something I think will get explored in Alan mm. Wake 2. Mm. There's even uh, lyrics in one of the Old Gods of Asgard songs. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not like, seriously. This is something I, I noticed back when this game first came out, and I was like, that seems like a weird like line in the song. Uh, and it's, the lyrics go, is like something, can't you feel his embrace in his leathery lace? That sounds like it's describing the diving suit to me. Can't you feel the play he's staging? Mm. And I'm like, that seems like mm. some suspicious, right? And they, literally in the game, right? There's the whole thing where you have to go find their album. And, it, and the album tells you to go find the Lady of the Light. And she's going to have the So their songs are directly stated within the story of the game to be prophetic. And to like have these things where they can kind of tell the future or at least give you instructions on what to do so like it would make sense to me if there are some other things hidden in the lyrics that maybe weren't meant to be picked up on right away i mean just the amount of easter eggs and like clues that remedy gives you mm -hmm. like in every game like 
Also, it's, did you know James McCaffrey, the voice of Max Payne, is also the voice of Thomas Zane in this game and director Trench and Control? I did read that. I was looking at fun facts of uh, fun facts of Alan Lake, uh, <laughs> just in case we uh, couldn't think of anything to talk about, um, and that was one of them. Uh, yeah, that is a good backup. That is a good backup. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the big thing from that blog. That's the, that's the big interesting thing from that blog. Now, Quantum Break has a couple of interesting Easter eggs. Um, there's two, there's basically two um, big ones, right? Mm -hmm. In the uh, first area, sorry, I'm going to pause this to make sure that food is like, yeah, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, the first big Easter egg in Quantum Break is uh, there's this like live action video. Um, there's this live action video uh, that it basically shows the FBI looking for missing person Alan Lake. And it even has, like, Return as, like, the title card at the end of it, which is the second book Alan starts writing in the last DLC episode of this game. Right? He's like, I gotta write my Return into the world, right? Mm. Like, that's, that's what I'm gonna start working on, which he's now been doing for 11 years in game time, right? Because Return mm. actually takes place that much later. So Alan's actually been trapped for 11 years, right? Like, in real time. So in, so in Quantum Break, you've got this live-action video. It's the FBI investigating missing persons, Alan Wake. Except the FBI agent in the video that's investigating is Alex Casey, the star of Alan's fictional novels in Alan Wake, who is a stand-in for Max Payne. Now, in this live-action video in Quantum Break, Alex Casey is played by Sam Lake, the head writer of Remedy, who, in the original Max Payne, was the face model for Max Payne. So him playing Alex Casey in that video is a reference to him being the face oh, of Max Oh, that's weird. Payne. It also implies that there might be, because of Alan's ability to kind of write things into reality, that there may be a real Alex Casey walking around, which, because Remedy doesn't have the rights to Max Payne anymore, could be their way of having a Max Payne character in this crossover oh. universe, right? It's an alt-universe Max Payne, essentially. That'd be, that's, that'd be such a neat way, like, a neat workaround like, and if they ever got the rights or something back, they could have like Alex Casey meet Max. But I don't know. That, that'd be getting real weird. Who, who owns Pain currently? So so after uh, after Max Payne to the fall of Max Payne, Remedy thought, hey, you know, we feel like we're done telling the story, mm -hmm. and they sold the rights to Rockstar. Rockstar made Max Payne three, and Rockstar actually called Remedy up and was like, hey, will you come approve of our script? We want you guys to like what we're doing with this third game. So Remedy mm -hmm. actually had like some final say over the story choices in Match right 3, which is, I, I thought was super cool of Rockstar to do that. Heck yeah. And like, pay some respect to the original creators that way. Um, now, what's, yeah, so, so like, Alex Casey's a workaround. It's interesting because, based on that relationship, you'd think, well, maybe they could just use Max Payne because the company seemed friendly. I don't know what's going on there. Who knows what's you know, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But Alex Casey is definitely their way of, like, fully owning the character. Hey, Yoshino, what's up? Welcome back. Um, but that, that is definitely Remedy's way of having a kind of match pain character that they fully own the rights to. Right? Oh, I just realized that's, uh, that's uh, My Hero Academia reference. Good job. I'm, uh, as, as a person who hardly watches any anime whatsoever, I'm that's really proud that I was do. able to, to get that one. I definitely did not notice that before. I am here. It's uh, um, all night. Um, uh, emojis show up as words in there for some reason. I don't know why, but again, I think it's a product of streaming on the PS5 and not like a computer. Mm. But uh, but no. So um, uh, the, okay. So then the other thing in Quantum Break is in the first the first level of Quantum Break takes place in like a college campus. Mm -hmm. And there's a school, you go into the classroom at one point, and there's this big chalkboard, and it's like literally scrawled in just literally the name Alan Wake all over, right? It's literally it's talking about the fact that he went missing. It's like trying to figure out what's going on, going shopping soon. Oh, well, thank you for hanging out with us, Yushin. I don't know how much time you're going to be here for, but I appreciate all the time you spent with us. Shin has been here, like, most of the stream. Oh, wow. So she is like one of our uh, biggest supporters right Hell now. Hell yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, but yeah, so so in the, on this chalkboard, uh, there's a few things. Uh, one, throughout the rest of the game, you see the the acronym AWE scrolled in graffiti randomly throughout 
quantum break, right? Alter mm. world event, right? Which is your control lingo again. Mm -hmm. But on the chalkboard at the beginning, you want to get up there? Hmm? You want to get up there? Can you not jump for yourself? I'll just leave the phone on while I'm out. There you go. Cool. Hey, hey that gives us another view. You know, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Do a lurk view. That's cool. Um, but on the chalkboard, it says AWE, and then it's like two lines, and one is to Altered World Event, question mark, and the other is Alan Wake Experience, question mark. So the AWE expansion for Control... Oh, yep, the cat. <laughs> uh, uh, but the AWE expansion for Control could also be referred to as Alan Wake Experience, right? Based mm. on that Easter egg in Quantum Brit. Now, you also, I think the most interesting thing is on the other side of the board, you have them straight up right, Campbell's Monomyth. Now, Tyler, do you know Campbell's Monomyth? So Campbell's Monomyth is like a literary kind of blueprint for writing a classical hero's, like an archetypal hero's journey. Hero story. The first stage of the Campbell's Monomyth is Departure. That's the name of Alan's book in this game. The one that he wrote in the dark place, he doesn't remember writing, that is like the whole story, right? That the, the dark presence like forced him to write. The third, so the second part is just question marks. And then the third stage is Return, which is the book he starts writing at the end of the final DLC to bring himself back. Now what's interesting is, I believe, I believe that Control is meant to be that second stage. Because you need a Jesse, who is a much more classic moral hero, right? Mm -hmm. You need someone so powerful at the head of a organization that investigates things like this to be able to help Alan get out. Mm. Jesse has to come to exist for the return. So they're literally splitting the hero's journey like archetype up against multiple characters. Right? Instead of having one character go through all three steps, you're having if you're having one character go through two of them, but having someone else kind of come in and experience that middle portion of the story. Mm. So the the middle step of Campbell's Monomyth is is thought of as initiation. Now think about control. Jesse, who's already interested in all the supernatural stuff, and just kind of accepts it and takes something and takes it in stride. Right? She's she doesn't question it. She's like immediately like, yeah, I'm interested in this stuff. I want to know what's going on. I'm not freaked out. She's being initiated into the stranger paranormal mm. world priming Alan Wake 2 mm. for the return, right? So, like, they, they really, I think, very cleverly built this story arc between these different games. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think that, and it's not explicitly stated at any point in Control, but my personal theory is that Alan, and I don't think he can just create things out of nothing. He has to, he has to kind of uh, take things that exist already and push them in the right direction, but I think that control, at least on part of it, is something that Alan kind of pushed into happening, so someone powerful enough to that that could rescue him would exist. So that's my theory. Control, in some ways, is one of Alan's stories. Jesse is she's a real person. Je she's so totally Jesse is a real person. person the FBC is real. All of that stuff, the hiss, all of it exists. But I think Alan nudged certain things to kind of certain aspects with each other. to make things fall in tandem yeah okay okay so i see that, what you're saying so that jesse it, like because he because so he talks jesse about did, um, and so jesse yeah. will end up with yeah the, and, and okay. that motivation of hers is real right all that stuff is real that her story is not a, a piece of fiction but alan can kind of encourage events to happen. In, like influence, yeah. Yeah, he's like influencing reality to go a certain way. That's what okay. I believe is happening with Control. That's That that does make a lot of sense, especially from just what we see in this game alone as well. And, and, well, and then, right, there's all this reality warping stuff, right? And think about how, like, think about the way the Taken are always, like, muttering these weird words. It's like they're, it's like, it's almost like Alan describes it, like, because they'll, they'll, like, say random shit and then mm -hmm. they're, like, you know, human hosts may have said sometimes, like, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's goofy too, they'll be like, there's a seven billion cows in the world, like, they'll just say random shit, right? Mm -hmm. Think about how weird the random shit the hiss say in Control is. How similar the way that entity mm. works, it possesses all these people, uses them as drones, and then it has this weird, like, lingo. Okay, cool. Has this, like, weird lingo to it, right? Like, mm -hmm. they all have these weird phrases and sayings that they kind of... It's just, yeah. And, uh, you know, if Jesse, if Jesse was able to deal with the hiss, right, and, like, end that problem, 
Well, she's basically got superpowers, right? Mm -hmm. Like, she could fight the darkness. In theory, right? She would be a lot more capable than just Alan with a gun and a flashlight. That's it. I'm calling it Control 2 slash Alan Wake 2 is going to be co-op. They're, they're actually two separate games. Both of them are going to be co-op then. There, and Well, here's the thing. There's actually three games in the works for sure. All three of them are going to be co-op then. So we got for sure Control 2. We got Alan Wake 2. And then we don't know what it's called exactly, but there is a basically uh, cooperative uh, like horde mode multiplayer game coming out where you four, four players play as FBC agents and you go and like hunt like supernatural Oh phenomena. yeah, you told me about that. So that's going to be its own game, which I think that's cool because you could like explore. If you really think about it, the events of Alan Wake are essentially one of just one of the many AWE cases, mm -hmm. right, that the, F the FBC investigates. Mm -hmm. You have a multiplayer game where you're just playing as random field agents, right? You're not playing as Jesse, you don't have all the superpowers, you just got guns, mm -hmm. right? You're playing as all these like, field agents, right? You could totally explore a bunch of smaller AWE stories, mm. like, through this multiplayer game. And I, th I think that could be a really clever writing tool to just kind of have, like, these little mini AWE stories. As kind of like an anthology thing, or perhaps I mean I think being I like multiplayer. Kind of I think being multiplayer, like they're gonna have to do something like that, right? It's not gonna have just like a single story mode. You just kind of work your way through, and then it's over, right? If, if it's gonna be a multiplayer game, it's gonna need to be ongoing to some degree. Oh yeah. So maybe it's light on story, but maybe the story that is there are these kind of anthology cases that the FBC agents go and investigate. That makes sense. And Alan, that's one thing that's not different, is Alan still can't run for it. Alright, who's throwing trains? Oh wow, that's a... And a truck. And a boat. That's the second boat. What the hell? But a Alan still can't run more than like 20 feet, though. Oh, god damn it. That, that's, he's still a schlubby rider. There's one thing, me and Corbin were joking about, like, how funny would it be if Alan, like, comes out of the dark place at the beginning of Alan Wake 2 and he's just fucking jacked. Like, he's been, actually, he's just been like, working out in prison, basically. <laughs> But then, you know what we thought, what would be even funnier is if Alan comes out, basically looks the same, and then Barry shows up and Barry is Jacked. <laughs> and I want to play that. I want a Barry game where you play as Jacked Barry. <laughs> He's got like a Ghost Rider. Like, yes. this, this, if you remember, he wraps himself in the Christmas lights right, in this game. And he had like a Ghost Rider chain of Christmas lights to fight off the tank. Jacked Barry with fucking Christmas lights. I would I I I'd pay i pay for that game. Hell yeah. Remedy, make it happen. <laughs> um but yeah, there's I mean there's just so much uh there's just so much going on. You're gonna go now and then Alright, Yoshina, we will see you later. I appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging out with us. You are awesome. Have a good time shopping. Hopefully it is a Relatively stress free, stress free endeavor for you. Am I going there? Oh yeah, now here we go. <laughs> I do need to just like use. I've been hoarding my. Uh, oh, but you know what? No, we do want to keep it a little longer. We do want to keep that a little longer. Um. I'm gonna let you run around for just a little bit. Do what you will do if you make story progress. Don't worry, I've seen it all before. Experience the game for a moment, and I will be back in just a few minutes. Also, feel free to like chips, just candy, just fuck around with whatever's on the table. <laughs> Yeah, do we have some homemade salsa? Which I I, I will get a new bowl out because we ate like the first bowl, but I still shit on salsa left, so right I, I will get a new bowl of that. Oh, that's a your hat. I mean, you can if if it's all right to put it right there. If it's oh not yeah, all right. that's totally fine. Right. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if you wanted it or not. Yeah, I, it's totally fine. Okay. All right, in the last episode now. Ooh, nail. All right, guys. Well, 
I'm gonna go ahead and yes, no, go uh, go ahead and just do the. the uh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, the controls are all wrong. I'm kidding. Um, uh, I'm a fucking heathen, and I play inverted because uh, fuck you. Um, hi guys. Uh, this is obviously not Sage, but I'm really glad you guys decided to drop in. Um, Alan Wake was actually one of the very first games I played on the Xbox, uh, 360. Um, besides Halo, uh. I didn't really get much of a chance to do a lot of stuff with 360 because I was just so much more enthralled with the PlayStation 3 um, because of the entire idea of the console wars and I was also a young chillin' back then so like having both systems wasn't really an ability that I could get yet. Um, The really funny thing is that even though I claim this was one of my favorite games of the 360, I watched about the first 45 minutes of the gameplay of Alan Wake uh, this morning to get myself ready, and I had no idea what... I had no idea what was happening at all. And so... Going into the very last chapter, probably not the uh, greatest idea, but, you know, I'm kind of picking things back up. Um, Sage is just also an encyclopedia of information, so it's, uh, it's pretty easy to get caught up. Northern California! Say hi and give some support, love to you. How are things going so far? Um, we just reached, uh, 11 hours. Uh, we have been playing all night, um, and when I mean we, I mean, uh, Sage. I had just gotten here about an hour ago. Uh, nailed it! Yes! Um, and... You're, uh, you're seeing things unfold as they are, organically and terribly. Um, oh, nice, you got some. Do that, do that, and do that, and yep, make sure the X button still works. There we are. So how are you enjoying the remaster? Uh, from uh, me watching the first 30 minutes of the OG 360, uh, and then also trying to remember what Weddle I do uh, from the original. Uh, this game is absolutely visually beautiful. Um, uh, Sage was telling me about the, uh, the new Easter eggs that they incorporated. Uh, let me learn how to run, and I don't know how to run. Uh, and so I'm really excited about this game. Uh, I just wish that I was here at the beginning so I could actually uh, figure out what's uh, what's happening. Um, L1 is to sprint. Thanks, guys. Uh, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, sorry that you're seeing me do the same thing for the third time in a row. Uh, let's hope that I can go get a little further. Um, can you believe that this is normal difficulty? Uh, in other words, only up and up from here on out. I did see that, Sora's in Smash. I, I'm not super surprised, but I also think it's really fucking hilarious that it is, because isn't Nintendo the only, uh... <laughs> the only uh, console that doesn't have uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, cool. Yep, still don't know how to do this. Uh, will this stream be on VOD to watch? Uh, I have no idea, absolutely, and will be uploaded. To... Well, there you go. 
Honestly, people, I am the last person that would probably know anything about anything. Uh, so, honestly, I'm a little surprised that they just kind of let me uh, on stream alone. Um, but I'm hoping I'm at least being entertaining somewhat done that before. Let's go to this one, see if I can do anything. Yep, cool. Awesome. Yep, awesome. Perfect. Alright guys, this is just not going my way at all. Um, No, I want to get the thing next to the shotgun. I don't want the shotgun, I want the thing next to the shotgun. Oh, I guess I can. What? Well, okay. Um... Oh. All right. Well, this is uh, looks like this is just going to be the frustrating part for me. Um, uh, all right. New idea. We're gonna go ahead start the. Uh, Start the thing, and then we're just gonna beeline it straight to the, uh, straight to the, straight, straight to the elevator. Straight to the left. Alright, ready? We're ready? All kinds of and new fancy tangles. Confidence! Just keep going with the confidence! I've got so much confidence! Oh, look at me! With the confidence? No! I think Cal, I just drew a cryptid. Say hi and give some support. Love you. I think go for it. Cool. I missed a few things, but Marks, if you're still there, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for coming in. <clears throat> we appreciate you. We just lost two viewers because of my screaming, and for that, <laughs> I apologize for nothing. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Oh, we got one back. <clears throat> All right, one more time. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then this is not even as, like, obviously, like, one of the harder parts of the game, because it's right, you literally get the very end. Uh, but, uh, uh, Mark, to answer your question, uh, having played the whole game, uh, over the course of these 11 and a half hours here, I'm just back. gonna, just gonna let you do that <laughs> part. No, it's, you're fine. Uh, this, this also, I, I do, I do feel like I have to play just because it's part of what's keeping me awake. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to get uh, a little hazy until you got here. You giving me another boost of energy. Have somebody to talk to. Uh, okay, where's it right here? Cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, um. Yeah, this game's been great so far. I'm really enjoying it. Doing great so far today. Thanks. That's how you're streaming this. Awesome. Yeah, hey, man. Thanks for coming in. I super do, super duper duper dooby scooby doo appreciate it. Uh, I'm just talking now. I'm going to be delirious uh, by the time this is over. <laughs> and, of course, it's going to be when the, the last people to come in are going to be Alex and Ulysses. So, like, the fucking nonsense conversation <laughs> between them and me being delirious is just, just going to be a fucking fever dream. Uh, <laughs> but, uh,. But, uh, yeah, no, this has been great so far. I've really enjoyed it. It's mostly the same game. Just It just looks a lot better. Um, especially, like, I can't wait for Tyler here to see, uh, like, a cutscene coming up, like, when we finally get to one, just because, like, the, the faces, the character models just look so much better. You guys... <laughs> what? I'm sorry? You guys smoked without me, didn't you? No. In fact, I went out of my way not to smoke because I knew it would make me tired. Or oh, that's just coming from downstairs, then. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, that's all her. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. 
I'm about to say, like, wow, does that permeate from downstairs or what? Never mind. You just have a good nose. I have a terrible nose. I can't smell anything. You know, after uh, three years uh, of cocaine, I didn't okay. think I would be. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's completely fine. No, it's I, just I like... figured because we're all stoners, so it's okay, but I'm still going to be my hyperzealous self and I'm about to go light a fuck to the inside. So. I need you to get the gym. We're a, it's a 420 friendly show. It is. Just throwing that out there. It's a 420 friendly oh. podcast. Stream. Whatever. No, I'm currently inviting anyone who doesn't like weed to fuck off. <laughs> and we lost another viewer. Thanks. Thanks, Nadia. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ah, that's just the numbers. No, I don't. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Back into this house, back into this house. There's a... Wait, no. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. Into this house. Oh, fuck, wait, how do we get into the house? Oh, no, is this... Oh, god damn it, it's right there. Wow. I'm about to say, I, I swear, yeah. I was doing the right thing. No, I was you were. doing it wrong. You were. You 100% were. <coughs> Glad I didn't charge full price. It's like 30. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's only, it was only 30 bucks. At least for me, it was only Oh, wow, really? Bucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's not, a, it's not a new game. It's just an upgraded version of an old game. And I think 30 bucks is a good price tag for, for the visual enhancements. Oh, definitely. Did. Definitely. That's like one of the cheapest. That's like one of the cheapest remasters we've gotten yet. You know, and like if it was a full-on remake, I'd be like, yeah, you know, sure, charge sixty bucks for yeah. it. But like, it's just a remaster. I think it's per. I think it's perfectly uh, priced. Uh, like, I think this is like exactly what you want. Fun fact: Did you know that Remedy Entertainment was started in a basement? I did. Many companies have humble beginnings, and Remedy Entertainment is no Death different. Rally. Sam Lake family. has talked about how the company started in the basement, belonging to one of the founder's parents. Yep. yep. Even though there were only We're about finished. ten people in the company at the time, was that was still a, it was a Finnish mom's basement. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, even though there were only about ten people in the company at the time, there was still a tight fit for a basement, especially after accommodating <laughs> for computers. Mattresses were also in the room for people to sleep on for a few hours before getting back to work. That's. I can only imagine the smell. Oh god! From, yeah. from that basement. Oh, just the feet alone. Oh god! Just the just yeah. Just like on top of that, it's a fucking basement, so like mm -hmm. no ventilation whatsoever. Oof. Oh god! And then all the weird fucking finish cooking. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, sorry, Fins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Some of the best creators. Sorry. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! They do. Absolutely. Oh yeah, they do, Marks. Um, so yeah. Oh, we're, uh, remember the weird uh, uh, motel in on uh, in Control, the Ocean View Motel. It was like transporting you like through the worlds, right, and then back into the. I don't think house. we got that far. Oh, we went in there once. We we, we only went into because you go in there a bunch of times. Oh, okay. We only went in there once, so that might be why you don't totally remember. I feel like we almost. Would we would start that game over again if we did it for yeah, a stream? Yeah, no, anyway. we yeah, we uh, definitely should. Find a way to the cabin. I'd rid myself away through this place. Because also, I've talked to uh, Michael. Also, has not really seen like any of Control. So that would be one I think it would be fun for like the three of us to oh, play definitely. that because you and him would both be. You guys could kind of trade playing yeah. it, uh, and I just, I would just commentate. So love Control. Hell yeah, Control is a great game. Hell yeah. And the Control coming out and being successful is the only real reason that we have this remaster right now of Alan Wake. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, Control is... I mean, the Control is very much its own game, but it is also being used to launch the RCU, or the Remedy mm. Connected Universe, right? And the fact that it's... You know, Control is, Control is teeing up an Alan Wake 2 to some, to some degree. It's being not super subtle about it either. And uh, this remaster is just another piece of that setup, um, especially because like this is the first time this game's ever been on PlayStation. Right? Oh yeah, this is a 360 exclusive. But six months after Control came out, Remedy bought the right, the publishing rights for Alan Wake back from Microsoft. So now they can do whatever they want with it. Hell yeah! Which means Alan Wake 2, Alan Wake Remaster, and you know the characters fully crossing over in future games. <laughs> no, Nadia's fine. <laughs> no, you're... 
it was it wasn't super it's great. strong to begin it's with. Great. It was like a fan. It's amazing. Okay. I am so relaxed. I am the <laughs> most relaxed right now, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, did you know that Max Payne was originally going to be called, uh, Dark Justice? I had heard that, and I'm glad they went with Max Payne. After Death Rally's surprise success, Remedy moved on to more ambitious title that eventually went on to become Max Payne. It was first known as Dark Justice, and development initially started with a team not much bigger than the group who made Death Rally. Even looking at the 2001 shooter today, it is difficult to believe it was made by an independent company. It is big, intense, and visually impressive. The use of slow motion, or bullet time, was also a revelation for gamers. First video game to really do that. Watch Matrix. Mojo if you need another voice actor, I am for hire. Oh, there you go, there you go. Fucking promote that shit. <laughs> um... Max Payne is one of the older games that I most would like to see, like a ground up remake. Oh, it's like, just, it's old enough that like it's not it's not a bad game, but it is rough. It's rough around the edges. It is two decades old. It, yeah, but then in two thousand one. Yep. It is, yeah, two thousand one. It it's been a minute. Like Alan Wake, I think was that was twenty ten. That was good with just an, like a like a slight visual upgrade. Yeah. Max Payne needs more than that. Oh, <laughs> it, it needs, needs a, a little more DLC um, to be uh, just a ground to be up break. remake. Just a but, complete like just redo it from scratch. I would love to see that. I don't know how likely that is to happen, but I think it would be a very cool game to get that. It's just it's I don't know. Like it, like I have. I just want the today. running animation to stop when I hit a wall. <laughs> That's all. Did you, you know ever notice in Alan Wake they use the exact same uh, uh, locked door sound effect in running the every lock? single fucking time? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but as the one in Max Payne, it's like oh it's, wait, it's really? The same sound effect as the one in Max Payne. So I like, had no idea. But that makes. All the more sense as well. Yep, there needs to be proper Max Payne reboot. Yeah! Yeah, hell yeah! There for that, most definitely. Oh, 110%. Hands down. I think I need to be a little bit closer. Oh, and that Oh, happened. watch out for the flying bus. <laughs> uh, do you remember how surreal Alan Wake gets at the end here? Yeah, no. how like, weird and trippy the ending is. Oh, it's, it's so weird. This tornado is like the least crazy thing that happens. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I'm also drinking uh, my Monster Energy out of uh, my Federal Bureau of Control mug right here. Because, you know, I have to do that. <laughs> plug, no plug, plug. Which is also the only way I've like been staying awake this entire time. Yes. How you haven't healed over and or oh, had kidney failure is a little surprising. At I mean, this I've, point. I've also been like drinking like an equal amount of water to try okay. to balance out the hydration. That's good. But I definitely need the energy to like the I, I need that to like. To keep myself awake. I fucking. Boy, when he's starting to fall, to, like really start to crash. When uh, he took a left home and everything, he was just like, yeah, no, I, I, he still, he still, I didn't even expect him to stick it out for as long as he did. I mean, he's over nine hours. Wow. Corbin. Holy Started cow. at 11 with me last night. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, still going now. <laughs> and we will be going till at least 9.30 p.m. tonight. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, My turn. That early 3D platform. Well, it's not early 3D. You can, you can take a stab. Or a flare gun, okay, I guess. And then L... L O Okay, so I do... I uh, X or A Nailed on it. Xbox is the jump. Nailed it. And I'm honestly okay with trading off every other death, too. That's, that's totally worse for me. And then what do I do here? Just shoot, just, just shoot the flare gun over and over, cool. and over again. I can do that. I know how to do that. I, was, I, I, I love that, the, that like, they made a game that the flare gun is the best weapon in. Yeah, no, the... I just love that idea. The utter, the the utter flash like, irony of it. Um... Also, the haptic feedback. I, I felt it. Yeah. That was uh, that was super neat. Oh my like... god, look how fucking beautiful it is. Yeah, right? Look at this fucking face. 
compared to I mean again it's I had you know, it's not up with no modern idea. standards but it's, I had no idea that there was an actual like textural pattern to Alan's coat. Until, oh yeah, it's it's until a, right now. It's a tweed jacket. <laughs> the, the the power of the PS5 people. Uh, also find it really uh, really. Uh, I'm neat. gonna go get my food. Oh yes, just no, I will continue. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of seconds. <laughs> yeah, like, look at that. His face is just, it's so, he looks more like the actual actor that, you know, that was supposed to be based off of. No, definitely. He looks good to be. Oh, just like your face, I mean. Oh, fuck. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Carry me home. No, 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 no. That's uh, a reference to uh, Blink-182, uh, for all of you hip young fans out there. You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. <laughs> God, I just ruined this game for me now. <laughs> Alan Wake is just one big Parabell for, uh, <laughs> for <laughs> or not Parabell, uh, I can't even think of a word now. It's just one big metaphor for Blink-182. <laughs> um, okay. Me now. Come back to bed. Oh, yeah, no, uh, you're, I'm scaring you? Uh, definitely not, uh, I you find the clicker. You know, you do Oh. Uh, jeez. How about you stop stroking my non-existent ego? That'd be... Hey, how'd you get here? Um... It got darker. And I'm not... Oh. Yeah, it got very dark. Okay, I'm gonna turn left. And then... Right. And then... See, come on. Oh, wait, what? What? Who's Tom? Have you been seeing someone else? Oh. God, I knew I shouldn't have picked up the thousand watt light. Tom and Zane's always in the diving suit, you never see what he really looks like. Oh. God, yeah, I. What? <laughs> the diving suit just looks like one big minion. A minion. Pepper, you're fine. And that's that's uh, James McCaffrey, the voice of Max Payne, right? Oh yeah. And he is also the director, Trench. Oh hey, buddy. Oh do you wait. This? No, I do not. As in, like, senior scratchy? No, as in, like, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. No, I'm Miss Kitty. <laughs> yeah, it gets real fucking surreal at the end here. But also, like, yeah, right? Like, the faces? Oh, yeah. Like, they didn't. Phone. Home. Did you know that the uh, OG uh, 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 version of this game was open world? That was another fact that I also read. I had no idea how they would have accomplished it. You um, also were going to play as two different characters. The other was the FBI agent Nightingale character that like is chasing Alan around throughout the story. Oh, really? He would have been the second playable character. Think about how it's almost kind of weird how like e, that character is kind of in the story, but we don't really get that much of him. Mm. There's an FBI, like he's there. There's so, clearly something going on with him. Like there's some more story there, but like you really don't get a good idea of what it is. Well, if you bought this Alan Wake Collector's Edition uh, back in the day when it came out for the Xbox 360, you know, uh, just, just a small book. 
Well, uh, it's hollowed out, right? It's the game inside here. Oh, well, but there you one go. of the things that's so like soundtrack, the game, and then one of the other things is an actual book called the Alan Wake Files, which is like a fake book from inside this universe, and it actually talks a bunch about that FBI agent. For instance, he was actually <laughs> not. Is it coming from outside? That is coming from outside. I'm gonna close the window because that might get us a copyright strike. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's not get shadow banned. Ooh. Just for right now, we can open that up again later. Um, but yeah, so in this uh, in this book, it talks about how FBI agent Nightingale is actually had been fired. He's not on official business, chasing Alan Wake around out here, and he believes Alan is responsible for like a serial a ser like a serial killing spree basically of like these weird kind of paranormal killings that have been going on across the country. He thinks Alan is responsible for all of these and that's why he's here off duty not even a real FBI agent anymore trying to hunt Alan down which is why he constantly, the sheriff is like I want to talk to your superiors and he's like yeah well we all want a lot, like he just won't like respond to the local police in the way that a federal agent would, right? Huh. And so there's this information in this, uh, this, this actual book that, uh, yeah, gives you all this other background on him. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of going on in this universe, and you can see them planning it, um, even back in this game. Uh, like, for instance, um, in the in, in control, right? You go into the you pull the light switch cord three times. You go to the it transports you to the Ocean View Motel, which is like another place or world or something, or a door, a nexus. Mm -hmm. and there's doorways. You go through the door of the Black Pyramid, and it brings you back into the Federal Bureau of Control's like headquarters, right? Mm -hmm. You really only ever go through that door in the whole game. It's like, this is that one door, which is used as like a shortcut to get keep getting back into the all the different parts of the headquarters. But there's a bunch of different doors with different symbols. One of them is this like swirly spiral symbol, mm -hmm. which shows up several, which shows up a couple times in Alan Wake, which must be a symbol for the dark place. So oh. in that motel in control, there's a direct doorway to the dark place that Alan is trapped in. And these are just a little like these are minor background details. <laughs> like right, like these aren't even like the main points of these stories. These are like these small little pieces. And it, yeah, they, they, they're just there's there's so much here. There's so much to this universe. And I can, I can't wait. I can't wait to see where they take it because control goes, and I won't give. I won't get into like the main story of Control because especially because Tyler hasn't played it, or at least all of it yet. Um, but like that game goes some really, really crazy places. Like just some absolutely weird, fascinating places, and it opens up the universe. Like, like, like imagine if Alan Wake is the first Iron Man movie, right? Think about it, think about it. Imagine if the Marvel movies, the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe was being done by an experimental indie like art house studio. Instead of like a big corporate, mega like a mega corporate studio, right? Instead of Fox, it was A24. Exactly. If Marvel was a made by A24. That's what Remedy is doing with this game universe. That's that's what they're doing. This is going to be an ongoing series of games that all have this, this weird universe they all connect back into. And who, who knows how significant, like, there's probably shit I haven't even noticed in this game that'll come up as important. I am much older than you. And that's what I love about, like, thought. studios that actually take time with their work. Like, or just, like, people who... People people who take time with their work. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're, you can... You can Read, play, watch the same thing thrice over and still have new things to learn or look at. Like, that's that's the same with me and 
almost every A24 film. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. brings it full circle. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a great fucking movie studio. Uh, I like every single thing that comes out of them, but like at 90%, 95% of it is I think pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. I feel like A24 is just the Generation Z's version of watching uh, Fight Twilight Club. Zone. Oh, Fight Club, yeah. It's just like, no, I'm different. I watch Fight Club. <laughs> no, I'm different. You've just come to me at a really weird time in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, so fucking original. Look at look at the 20-year-old referencing a 25-year-old movie. <laughs> so original. Fight, Fight Club was groundbreaking at the time. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It definitely was. It's like, not. But you're not impressing now. anyone at, in yeah. 2021 yeah. when you reference anything from Fight Club anymore. Like, that train has gone and went a long time ago. Well, and it, it, the, twi- the, the twist of Fight Club is a little bit done in other things now. Like, oh, yeah, like, no, that, definitely. That is not an... I mean, it's still original for that movie. Yeah. But it is now... Overplayed. Eh, not even overplayed, really, but I like... I just it's... would say has been done in a longer form, more in-depth way. Hmm. That's a good way of putting it. So, like, it's not... I don't even... I don't even... Because I haven't seen it in many other things. But... And I won't even say what, because I don't want to spoil... Give spoilers for the thing I'm thinking of. But there's one specific thing that I think does that twist. But near the beginning of the story. And then spends the rest of the story ex- exploring the psychology of that person. Mm. Like, in a really in-detail, in-depth way. Rather than just having it be the twist at the end. And I think that's why I, I like I, I I think I can think of one thing I, I think is ultimately I like more than Fight Club because it took that and then it expanded on it like way more. And I won't say what it is, but if it, it, I feel like if you've seen it, you probably know what I'm talking about. What do you think? So is the lady that's dragging Alice down? Was that? That was that Barbara? was the darkness. That that's, was so. That's, so so essentially, right? Thomas Zane. Thomas Zane. He is... his so Barbara. His Barbara drowned in the lake. He mm-hmm. discovered because of his assistant Emil Hartman, right? Mm-hmm. The doctor who tries to convince Alan he's crazy and owns mm-hmm. the lodge, right? Mm-hmm. He back in the day, Thomas Zane's assistant convinces him to try to basically resurrect Barbara with the power of the lake, right? The, this this other world, right? That brings fiction to life. Mm-hmm. He does it, but he doesn't, he's not careful about his writing. He leaves plot holes. And the the dark entity can take advantage of plot. There's all this meta stuff mm-hmm. about like how like you write things and like there has to be balance, which is why Alan leaves himself in the dark place while letting Alice get away because he realizes that Thomas Zane made the mistake of trying to just have no consequences in his writing, right? In his do you story. Think and that, that's what, yeah. Do you think that the darkness that takes advantage of Alan's plot holes is a commentary about how fans take advantage and ridicule studios today? Um, Profound thoughts with Tyler. Maybe, maybe. No, I'm, I, I'm kidding, I mean, no. you could. I think. I mean, I feel you, like you can you definitely can, apply that, but I don't think that was intentional. I don't think it was the intention. All. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I think the intention was more just, <laughs> just to talk about storytelling no, in general and, and how you you've got to you've got to kind of in a you can't just have everything work out perfectly in a story, right? Like there have to be negative consequences to any positive outcome. Um, Thomas Zane ignored that idea and just wrote Barbara back to life without any care for the I, the fact that that didn't really make sense. Oh, God, all the old people have just tuned oh, that's the, oh, hey. that's the FBI agent who got taken by the darkness earlier, that one I was talking about. Yeah. His character's like only barely explored. Yeah, and then they have that little tease of him, and then you never heard anything about him again. Um, but, uh... But, uh... Yeah, that was the end of the game, which is referencing the, which we can now apply the mythology from Control, right? The idea of thresholds are doorways into other universes that open up. Cauldron Lake is a threshold, right? That's what that is. The Dark Place is a universe, and this is it. The the Cauldron Lake is a threshold into this universe. Um, And... 
Oh yeah, we'll just skip because we don't. The music will get us. Now we're gonna go to episodes. Normal. Can we not do that yet? We should have unlocked nightmare mode. Just click normal for a second just to see. Okay, we gotta do this. Now we have to do the specials. Still on normal difficulty because these are the two DLC chapters which you made out of. I don't know. Did you play these back? I have today? not. So these are interesting. Uh, yeah, no, just continue. Um, these are okay. I, true I, expansions. People are really piling in. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all having a good day. Thank you for coming to hang out with us on our marathon stream. Literally five minutes away from 12 hours. <laughs> and that's halfway. <laughs> it may, we, I may not do it full 24 hours. We will see. 9.30 for sure though. 9.30 tonight for sure. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. <laughs> oh, and okay. It's also the, the numbers also are just fluctuating because it's the system isn't always waiting. Whoa. Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. They debt me, but not me, but it's me. It's like a chunk of the game where Barry is just carrying around that cardboard cut. I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment, but something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. I'm gonna kind of see through. Well, that's what you're streaming to watch, but I don't want to spoil the game. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, bittersweet. Don't worry. I appreciate that you want to be here. I understand that you don't want to be spoiled, though. We are, like, into, like, the DLC chapters of the game. So, like, we have completed the entire main story at this point. I still appreciate you stopping in, though. Thank you. I gotta hit it one more time with the fonts. So, don't you know? Don't worry about it. I totally understand. I appreciate. I appreciate you coming hey. in now. Hey, he's a hey. I met Henry Link Linkler once actually. Really? Yeah, he was super nice. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Super chill, dude. Like I've never asked like a celebrity for a picture before. Yeah. Um, he's the one that I ever have because he was so nice and talkative and friendly anyway. That I was like, you know what? This is like I'll make an exception because normally I don't like to bother people. Um, if I do see someone famous, I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother them or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But th that was like the one time I'm like, all right, he's so friendly. Like I feel like he won't care. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was when I was working at the <clears throat> airport. Oh, right. On. Um, came through and ordered. Uh, two, I made him two chai lattes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I made the fonts two chai lattes. No. Uh, but uh, um, uh, what was I saying? Um. But yeah, uh, seems like a nice guy. You wanted, to, you don't usually ask him. Before people I started for... talking about Henry Winkler, though, what was I saying? Um, Yatta. I mean, before you just couldn't get into that room in the main game, right? You're supposed to get the key from the cabinet manager. I don't remember. <laughs> no, it's, it's been it's been eleven years. It's been eleven years. I do not expect you to. <laughs> so this is Thomas Zane, but also because of that blog, we know it's uh, the bright presence. Hmm. What the fuck? At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where. So these DLC chapters, we are fully in that, that other realm. For that real makes sense. Itself, but what it represents, you will need it. Oh, cool! Thanks, guy. It is not a weapon, but a process of elimination. 
It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. <laughs> Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. I didn't understand Zane's Thanks, Tom. Right. And knowing where so, I was didn't fix anything. Something so you have... The the dark place, the sentient darkness, works of art being made into reality. Mm -hmm. You have just what we've seen in Control, what you have seen in the beginning of Control. You've got the hiss, a sentient sound frequency, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> now. In this kind of uh, otherworldly, like somewhat Lovecraftian kind of thing, where there's these just worlds and creatures beyond our capability of understanding, mm -hmm. and there's like multiple thresholds that we are like. In, oh, this just is in the booty hole. Just in the beginning. This is booty hole. I'll also tell you that the expansions are harder than the main game. They just fucking 